Chapter 551 Let them have a taste of the wizard's highest masterpiece. Thousands of artillery ammunition rained down like raindrops. And the large number of corpses and skeletal warriors rushing at the front were instantly exploded into pieces of flesh. But the undead in the back are still pouring out of the space-time gate in a steady stream. As if they are endless. At this moment, a battle was going on high in the sky. Thousands of airships surrounded the entire valley. But they did not launch an attack rashly. The outside of each airship is wrapped by layers of copper wire barriers. But these are not used to resist enemy attacks. But to protect against mines. Inside the airship. Wizards, who are proficient in thunder spells work together to activate the legendary spell the Thunder Prison Net. The powerful thunder used the airships distributed over the valley as its base points. And the giant network of thunder that was intertwined with each other instantly completely enveloped the airspace of the entire battlefield. The violent arcs jumped non-stop, exuding frightening destructive power. In the area swept by the thunder, a large number of wandering souls and screaming demons poured out from the time and space gate and were directly annihilated under the thunder light all over the sky. Even some flying monsters with high resistance will fall to their death from a high altitude because their bodies are paralyzed and lose the ability to fly. The air force is much more difficult to deal with than the ground forces. It is almost impossible to destroy so many flying undead creatures without missing a beat by relying on traditional means. Therefore, Vittorio specially sent wizards, who were proficient in thunder spells to the airship with the help of a large number of thunder stones filled with electricity as energy reserves. The thunder spells cast together were enough to cover the entire airspace and maintain more than a day. Under the raging gunfire and thunder in the sky, even if tens of thousands of undead pour out of the time and space gate every second, they are often wiped out before they can break out of the valley. However, there are new changes within the space-time gate, and a huge black shadow appears in the surging whirlpool. It was a huge suture monster, more than a hundred meters tall. It was uglier and more ferocious than other suture creatures. Its back was covered with barb-like bone armor. And its elbows and ankles were hung with various sharp edges. Claw hook. Continuous artillery fire hit the body covered with bone spurs and blasted holes. But it was not enough to shake its huge figure. More importantly, everyone present soon discovered that there was more than one such monster. And the second and third giant suture monster soon appeared in front of everyone. Within ten minutes, a total of 35 giant suture monsters walked out of the time and space gate, as if towering giant mountains were approaching them. Hundreds of electromagnetic rail guns had begun to accumulate power, accompanied by bursts of violent explosions and instantaneous sonic booms that shocked the surrounding soldiers and covered their ears. Immediately afterwards, more than a hundred red streams of light roared in, shooting towards the nearest stitch monsters. At seven times the speed of sound, the attack arrived in just one second. One of the stitch monsters was hit by 20 rail cannons. Holes were directly punched out in the entire body. Blood and broken limbs were flying all over the sky. In an instant, he was killed on the spot. In one blow, the tin-headed giant suture monster was killed on the spot. And its mutilated body fell heavily to the ground. Sinking directly into the ground. Seeing this scene, everyone present breathed a sigh of relief. Such a large suture monster rushed out of the time and space gate. They almost thought it was a large group of legendary creatures. But they didn't expect it to be just a look-alike. Under the bombardment of several rounds of electromagnetic guns, these monsters as huge as hills were completely wiped out. But this thing is obviously used to attract firepower. Along with these giant suture monsters, there are also a large number of high-level undead such as Skeleton Crusher, Necromancer Knight, and Dark Guard. Even in the face of artillery fire, they had good protection capabilities. With the giant suture monster attracting most of the firepower, they quickly approached less than one kilometer away. On the outside of the valley, rows of machine guns were set up one after another, and dense tongues of fire poured into the distance. Bullets pierced the void and tore into pieces the undead souls who tried to approach the valley halfway. But the sea of undead rising, like a tide, is still approaching slowly. This number should be about the same. Right. Mr. Speaker? Sanchez turned to look at Vittorio and asked. The number of undead gathered in the valley now probably exceeds one million. It's time! Vittorio nodded, then raised his hand, and a purple beam of light suddenly shot into the sky, on the outside of each corner of the valley. The alchemists who saw this beam of light immediately took action and activated their spells together. The entire valley immediately shook violently, and the ground beneath his feet began to crack. Thick cracks spread toward the center of the valley from all directions. Thousands of undead knights who were charging in groups suddenly collapsed under their feet. And they were thrown off their feet. And they all fell into a giant hole with a depth of more than 60 meters below. 
in the past few months. More than 8,000 elemental wizards have worked together to hollow out half of the entire valley. If the time had not been too short, Sanchez would have even wanted to dig the valley into an abyss. This move was undoubtedly very effective. The millions of undead stranded in the valley all sank into the ground. Immediately afterwards, the artillerymen replaced the special ammunition. After a round of SH, Ling, the sea of fire began to burn underground in the valley. Spread. It seems that these undead spirits are not a big deal. If they are only to this extent, it doesn't matter if there are more of them. Arad looked at the skeleton that fell into the ground and was smashed into sections. Parts of it struggled to stand up but were buried. The worry about this interdimensional war suddenly eased a lot. Weak. Too weak. Artillery. Muskets. Airships. And a few traps alone are enough to crush all the invading undead. There are not a few wizards who think like Arad. And some people even start to comment and discuss which of the undead emerging from outside the time and space gate is stronger and which is weaker. Harav and others have not relaxed their vigilance. Because no legendary undead has appeared in front of them so far. Which probably means that all the undead that appear now are just cannon fodder to test them. Which is why he has never let anyone use some powerful weapons. In fact, just as Harav thought, as time went by, Arad and others, who originally looked disdainful, began to break out in cold sweats. This battle lasted from morning to late at night. Countless undead emerged from the time and space gate. Many wizards were keenly aware that since they sank the entire valley, there were no more undead on the ground coming out of time and space. Coming out of the door were more flying undead. And they are not as stupid as imagined. They have been changing their attack strategies. Many clusters are scattered. And some scream demons even try to approach them by flying at low altitude. The blockade of the thunder net alone was no longer enough to stop all targets. The roar of the cannons never stopped. Relying on the crossfire net to eliminate those fish that slipped through the net. This means that the commander of the undead army seems to have a way to know what is happening here and make tactical adjustments accordingly. Moreover, the opponent's soldiers are much more than they expected. So they don't care about this loss at all. Very calm. Have you noticed? Some of the undead did not participate in the battle after flying out of the time and space gate, but immediately returned to the time and space gate, Harav said in a deep voice. Is he the sentry in charge of the investigation? Sanchez reacted immediately. But even if they knew, it was useless. They couldn't kill every undead that passed through the time and space gate. And naturally they couldn't stop them from going back. How many of them are there? Arad couldn't help but asked. Nearly one-third of the ammunition that the parliament had spent more than a year reserving had been consumed. After running for more than ten hours, the energy storage of the Thunderstone was almost exhausted. It emerged from the other side of the time and space gate. The number of undead that came out did not decrease at all. Although the darkness would not weaken their combat effectiveness with the help of the thunder nets that filled the sky and the wizard's fluorescence technique, many of them were already feeling exhausted after fighting for more than ten hours. Even warriors with strong willpower need to rest. Is the opponent planning to spend ten days and a half to use up all their ammunition and status? No one can answer this question. Harav has already adopted a rotation system. Even the official wizards have participated in the battle, replacing part of the artillery. Even the thunder web has been temporarily suspended. Magic power can be restored. But the production and replenishment of ammunition and energy cannot be solved in a short time. Do you want to use that? Aurora asked naturally referring to nuclear weapons. To deal with such a large number of enemies, Skyfall is obviously the quickest solution. It can even be thrown directly into the other side of the time and space gate. Judging, it should be able to eliminate millions of undead at once, and also give them some buffer and rest time. Harav was somewhat hesitant. After all, according to previous assumptions, the parliament's nuclear reserves were used to deal with those legendary creatures and the lord of the undead. It would be too wasteful to use these cannon fodder. However, there is no way to continue fighting like this. It seems that the only option is to use the nuclear reserves in advance. Harav quickly made up his mind. What is that? Sanchez suddenly pointed at the space-time gate surging ahead and said in shock. Harav and others paused and looked in the direction Sanchez pointed. A few kilometers away, a fist-sized dark ball was floating out of the space-time gate. Without the influence of far-sighted magic, no one would have noticed it. Is it some kind of offensive technique? Or some kind of strange undead creature? Harav could not guess. But he would not let this thing exist. As he raised his hand, an electromagnetic gun flashing with runic light appeared in front of him, speeding towards him at more than 30 times the speed of sound. Soon he hit the chaotic ball and exploded it instantly. But Harav's expression became extremely ugly. 
because as the ball exploded, an invisible force immediately swept towards the valley. The way to activate this technique is to be detonated. The other party used their hands to complete the last step of the spell. A large number of undead that were shot down by machine guns in the sky and shattered by the beam exploded one after another before they fell into the fierce sea of fire below. Waves of dark green poisonous mist erupted from the fragments of the corpses, quickly covering the entire airspace. This is the legendary necromancy technique advanced corpse explosion technique. This fog must not be touched. Vittorio looked at the thick fog floating over and felt a vague feeling of palpitations. Even a legendary wizard like him would never feel comfortable once he is contaminated. Seeing that the poisonous mist was spreading towards them, Vittorio and Harav immediately joined forces with a dozen or so elemental wizards around them to summon a hurricane, hoping to blow the poisonous wind back into the space-time gate. After all, there are armies of the kingdom on all sides of the valley, and there are even airships in the sky. However, even with the combined efforts of a dozen great wizards plus the legendary wizards Harav and Vittorio, they could only barely seal the poisonous mist within the valley. Under the blow of the hurricane, the sharp-eyed Sanchez discovered that this was not fog at all, but a sea of ghosts with no end in sight. A series of ferocious and painful faces emerged in the surging mist. In other words, what they are facing now are actually millions of dead soul polymers that died on this battlefield. Realizing this, the wizards present felt chills in their hearts. These resentful spirits, who died tragically during life and were enslaved after death showed their greatest malice, constantly attacking the incoming storm trying to break through the blockade and devour all the living people in the outside world. Immediately afterwards, the roars of the giant skeletal dragon resounded in the dark green mist. Following the cover of the undead mist, the real offensive begins now. More screaming demons than before rushed out of the time and space gate, accompanied by dozens of skeletal dragons, a large number of undead griffins, and even high-level banshees and corpse witches. They are the backbone of the undead army, to the level of cannon fodder. At this time, Hera breathed a sigh of relief. They were most worried and frightened because they couldn't see the depth of the enemy just now. Now that they have waited for the opponent to dispatch elite troops, they can relax a little bit. Let these skeletons have a taste of the wizard's highest masterpiece, Hera said without hesitation. The Yongin cannon, which was standing in the center of the queue, but had been standing still, immediately turned its muzzle to point in the direction of the space-time gate, as a 500-kilogram high-purity uranium stone was loaded into it. A brilliant light of destruction immediately appeared. Emerge on the battlefield. Chapter 552 The Power of the Sun Flame Cannon The Suffering Nine Ring Demon In the valley filled with undead fog. Plague Spreader Nickel rushed out of the space-time gate waving his wings. As a high-level demon, Nickel was born with legendary power. After taking refuge with the Great Lord of the Dead, he became a Nine Ring Legendary Demon, gaining the power to spread plagues and poisons. This time he invaded this new dimension. He even took the initiative to ask King to be the vanguard, because he wanted to achieve great achievements and gain the favor of the Lord of the Dead again. Just like Cecil, thinking of the lucky Archlich, Nicola was filled with envy and hatred. Previously, Cecil was selected by the Lord of the Dead to go to the domain of Diana, the god of the moon, to explore information. He was also a little gloating, thinking that the other party would probably not be able to return. Coming. After all, if you take the initiative to step into the realm of a god, even the legendary wizard of the Nine Rings will be in danger. However, what they considered to be a dangerous and even life-threatening mission suddenly turned into a job for nothing. Who would have thought that the moon goddess, after learning that the Lord of the Dead was eyeing her divine domain, would flee in a panic, giving Cecil a huge advantage and conquering the entire plane effortlessly. He also received a promise from the Lord of the Dead. After conquering a new plane, this divine domain that originally belonged to the moon god will be rewarded to Cecil. The jealous rage in Nickel's heart was burning. As long as he achieved more achievements than Cecil, the Lord of the Dead might also generously grant him the opportunity to become a true god. So Nicola took a risk in exchange for the opportunity to become a pioneer. He was betting that the moon god had not been able to fully integrate into this plane. Otherwise Cecil would not still be slaughtering his own domain. When he stepped into this world, Nicolu immediately understood that he had won the bet because the elements in the void do not contain anyone's will. This is a plane without a master. Stupid mortal. Death has come! Nicola opened his mouth excitedly, and a loud and sharp voice resounded over the valley. The surrounding plague and poisonous fields expanded rapidly, and soon combined with the fog of death, breaking through the shackles of the storm. The advanced corpse explosion technique just now was his masterpiece. This is a magical technique given to them by the Lord of the Undead. 
which can control the lives and even souls of these low-level undead, invading the plane with a large amount of cannon fodder, consuming the opponent's divine power, ascertaining the true and false, and then using the corpse explosion technique to mobilize the remnant souls of these undead to increase his own strength. This is his plan to defeat the natives of these planes. However, what greeted him was not the horrified eyes of the natives and the howls of their devoured souls, but an extremely strong light of destruction. The moment the light lit up, Nicola felt the strong threat. The terrifying radiation flow instantly penetrated the dark green poisonous mist, the huge skeletal dragon, the screaming banshee, and countless other things. The wailing and screaming ghosts were annihilated in an instant. What followed was a concentrated energy wave and a high temperature of tens of millions of degrees. Nicola was swept in before he had time to dodge. At this moment, it seemed that only this cone-shaped energy column running through the sky was left in the entire valley. The surging fog of death was also broken through a huge gap. Harav and others stared at the center of the light beam. Until the real results came out, no one could guarantee that this attack would definitely work. After the dazzling light dissipated, a vague shadow soon appeared in front of everyone. With the help of the fog of the undead and the dual weakening of his own domain, Nicola was able to catch the fall of the sky. It's just that the condition looks very bad. The strong body is like a plug, and the original appearance is almost unrecognizable. Despite this, there are still signs of life, and it is still recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. The wizards present were all horrified. Except for Ella. This was the first time they had seen someone who could withstand a single blow of nuclear magic. Although due to the limited power that the material can carry, the destructive power of Sunfire Cannon is much weaker than in-game Atomic Breath, and the range is far inferior to Skyfall. But as the highest masterpiece of alchemy, its power is still terrifying. Just one strike can evaporate lakes and penetrate mountains. Not to mention that they deliberately used twice the critical amount this time. Hera felt that if he was hit directly within one kilometer, even if a force field protection was set up in advance, it would be difficult to survive. On the battlefield at this moment, the surging mist of the undead seemed to be summoned by some kind of summons. It gathered crazily towards the center and was instilled into Nicola's body. The body of this scarred high-level demon also began to expand rapidly. Anger, violence, and a hint of fear and panic filled Nickel's mind. When they met, he withstood a sunfire cannon, directly blinding the high-level demon. If he hadn't just merged the domain with the mist of the undead and temporarily used the remnant souls of millions of undead as a shield to offset 70% of the damage from the energy impact, he would have completely disappeared under the impact of the nuclear explosion. What's this? Could it be that the moon god took action? Nicola didn't know it, but the panic and anger of nearly dying drove him completely into madness. Roaring sounds continued to resound in the valley. But he was preparing to devour all the remaining souls of the undead to increase his own power. However, Harav obviously would not give him this opportunity. After realizing that one sunfire cannon was not enough to solve the problem, he spoke again. Go on! Harder! The moment the voice fell, the other five Yongin cannons that had been adjusted in the direction also lit up together. The intense light of destruction flew out from all directions and blasted at the high-level demons high in the sky. No! Nicola was stunned. And then, he was completely submerged by the blows of several energy pillars. If he was prepared, he was confident that he could block the bombardment of a sun flame cannon again. But the opponent obviously didn't follow martial ethics. So in order to ensure a one-hit kill, they directly used five Yongin cannons in a combined attack. As a result, it only took two minutes before and after he rushed out of the space-time gate. And Nicolou, who had not yet figured out the situation and failed to exert his own strength, was so unlucky that he was submerged under the joint attack of several Yongin cannons. As he said, death has indeed come, but not on others, but on himself. This time, after the energy pillar dissipated, all the wizards present breathed a sigh of relief. The fog of death that filled the valley had evaporated, and not even the scum of the high-level demon was left. Harav has always believed that as long as the power of higher dimensions is not touched, all living beings are equal under the attack of nuclear explosions. If anyone can withstand the attack of the Sunfire Cannon, it must be that the yield they used is not high enough. However, for a vanguard sent by the Lord of the Undead, it requires the combined attack of multiple Sunfire Cannons to ensure a sure kill, which makes Harav a little worried. It can be predicted that the number of legends under the command of the Lord of the Undead will never be small. If five or six legends break into the time and space gate at one time, even if fifteen Yongin cannons work together, it will be difficult to guarantee that they will all be eliminated. 
if the number is larger, then they will have to do it themselves. Moreover, the Sun Flame Cannon is not without its weaknesses. A powerful enough force field magic can resist it to a certain extent. If it is used many times, the opponent will discover this sooner or later. Although he was somewhat worried in his heart, Harib did not show it on his face. Under the bombardment of five Sunfire Cannons, the undead all over the valley were also reduced to ashes. The soldiers of the kingdom who had been fighting for nearly a day finally had a chance to breathe. Even under the successive attacks of artillery, machine guns, and sunfire cannons, all the undead emerging from the time and space gate were often killed before they could reach them. Directly eliminated. But the psychological pressure it brings is not the slightest. Vittorio knew very well that such a high-intensity battle could not continue forever. After discussing with the other speakers, he took out a high-purity uranium stone and blasted it towards the space-time gate like an electromagnetic gun. Direction. As the saying goes, it's rude to come back without reciprocating. So it's just a good time to let the other person see their gift. Violent bright lights, violent explosions, and mushroom clouds rising in the sky once again appeared in a foreign land. Millions of undead souls gathered in front of the door of time and space were all destroyed in an instant. It seems that Nicolou is dead! Winter Dragon, Varric said with palpitations, as he looked at the army of undead that turned into dust under the sweep of energy waves. Fortunately, there was this idiot who wanted to take credit. So it was saved. Of course, as a price, Varric had to send some of his own troops. Dozens of skeleton dragons to assist Nikru in launching the offensive. And now they were obviously killed together by the believers of the moon god. Warlock looked at Cecil and couldn't help but feel chilled in his heart. In his opinion, the reason why Nicola died so quickly was because Cecil deliberately concealed the information about this powerful divine technique. I have warned him to be more careful before. Cecil sneered darkly. Also, you don't think that knowing this information will defeat the moon god. Right. Ever since he gained the favor of the lord of the undead and received the promise of becoming a god, many undead souls, who were also nine ring legends, were jealous of their good luck. Nicola was one of them. And he danced the most happily. The one. Now that the other party is actively trying to steal the credit, Cecil will naturally not let go of this opportunity to play dirty tricks. In such a situation, no one can blame him. Nicola's sacrifice is definitely worth it. The arrival of this Nine Ring legendary demon and the continuous offensive of tens of millions of undead armies should be enough to make the opponent believe that they have dispatched all their forces here. Incidentally, Cecil also confirmed that the Moon God did not fully control the plane. This is undoubtedly very good news. As long as this divine battle can be won, the Lord of the Dead will probably not care about the death of a high-level demon. It seems that my luck has always been good. Let's go! It's enough to leave it to Dios to command from now on, Cecil said lightly. The corpse which he sent out has found the location of the second space-time node based on the flow of magic power. Chapter 553 The Godhead is the Nucleus And the field is the Probability Cloud While Harav and others were fighting in the north. Lin's promotion ceremony in Morcell City was also at a critical stage. As the scope of the field expanded, Lin In found that he was increasingly unable to control the internal elements. There is no way this continent is too big, with an area of more than 10 million square kilometers. Even with a huge computing power blessed by the magic network, it is impossible to control every element within the domain. In fact, when the domain expanded to the entire empire, he lost even the most basic perception ability. Lenin understood that he had reached his limit. Sure enough, even with the blessing of the magic network, with the power of the legendary wizard of the seven rings, it is impossible to turn the entire planet into a divine domain. Even Ella, who possesses godhood, has to establish a church and spend hundreds of years accumulating it. Thinking of this, Lenin couldn't help but sigh, and then quickly adjusted his mentality. After all, such a result had been expected before. The promotion method he envisioned didn't need to go to such an extent. Lin and slowly closed his eyes and began the most critical and dangerous step of the ritual. The transformation from low dimension to high dimension. There are three media in total. One is the quantum brain or godhead. The second is microscopic particles. And the third is the soul. The first step he needs to do is to completely integrate his soul into the body of energy and magic. And then quantize it. Reconstruct your own life form from a microscopic level. Infecting magic and elements with souls and investing one's own will into them is not a novel idea. Creating a magic incarnation requires similar techniques. Lin In was already familiar with this. In the past, he had used a bit of his soul power as an avatar. But this time, it was to dismember the entire spirit body. The difficulty was different. If he wasn't careful, 
he would end up in a state of dismemberment. But we have already reached this point. And it is obviously too late to regret, fear, and retreat again. The only way to achieve success is to succeed. While thinking, Lennon's body was shaking like ripples. And then the oscillation became more intense. The solid body gradually began to disintegrate, dissociating from the flesh into the most basic elements, then into a pure energy state, and finally it collapsed directly, along with the disintegration. There is also the soul that is completely integrated with the energy body. In just a few seconds, Lin's body and soul had disappeared from this world. How to think without a brain? How to survive without a soul? This is a question worth pondering. From a low-dimensional level, he is dead, and Lin's consciousness is gradually dissipating. But from a higher dimensional level, the situation is completely opposite. His soul and body are converging in some strange form. Together, he is turning himself into a special atom. The field is the range of the probability cloud. The soul is the most mysterious and uncertain electron. And the Godhead is the nucleus that binds the electron. Relying on the Godhead and the expanded domain. Everything in the magic domain was presented in front of Lin In. A piece of grass? A piece of wood? A cloud? A drop of water? The existence and movement of all things are within the scope of consciousness. He turned into a gust of wind and blew slowly through the wheat fields. Or followed the cannonballs and blasted into the undead army. At this moment, a massive amount of information overwhelmed his consciousness. Harav and others, who were blocking the sea of the undead in the northern valley, vaguely felt this subtle change. Somehow, there seemed to be something extra in the elements they controlled. And it seemed like an illusion, because the spells were still being released normally. Could it be that the promotion ceremony has been successful? Harav and the others looked at each other, and they suddenly had a guess in their minds. However, According to Lin Un's previous statement, the ceremony would take about a week. And now it is only about five days. And if it really succeeds, Lin Un will be able to reach the front line in an instant with his speed. The doubts in their hearts only lasted for less than a few seconds, because Harav and others could not care about it at this moment. The nuclear explosion that blasted into the foreign land a few days ago did not bring any chance to breathe. These undead souls poured out of the time and space gate again as if they were desperate for their lives. Despite the high temperature and radiation effects of the nuclear explosion, some of the screaming demons even had their bodies melted by the high temperature the moment they rushed out of the space-time gate. But they still rushed towards them like crazy. In the past few days, they repelled each other's attacks one after another. At the most dangerous moment, three legends and hundreds of skeleton dragons rushed out of the time and space gate at the same time. And just as they had finished using the moment of a round of Yang Yin cannon, only by taking action personally did Harav, and others finally control the situation. Although everything has gone smoothly so far, and the kingdom's army has successfully blocked these undead souls in the valley, there is a strong sense of uneasiness in the hearts of several people. I must have overlooked something. After all, the opponent must know that such an offensive is not enough to break through their defense line. But they still use such an unchanging method of strong attack. Could it be that they really wanted to use up their ammunition and energy reserves? Vittorio frowned, and was also thinking about this. But soon, he seemed to sense something. His expression suddenly changed. And the electromagnetic gun that was originally aimed at a bone dragon immediately shifted its direction. And almost almost hit an airship in the sky. What's wrong? Speaker Vittorio? Aurora immediately turned to look at Vittorio beside her and asked in confusion. Harav and Anthony also noticed the change in each other's expressions. With the calculation power of the legendary wizard, there was absolutely no chance of a miss. The time and space gate. The time and space gate near the royal capital has been touched, Vittorio said eagerly. Hearing this, several people present could not help but feel a chill behind them. This is undoubtedly what worries them the most. After all, in order to deal with this cross-dimensional war, they concentrated most of the kingdom's power in the north. Only in this way can they have a chance of victory. And the defense forces left in front of the other gates of time and space are very weak. I'm afraid there is no way to resist the invasion of the undead army. What's the situation over there now? Is there any news? How many people do we need to send for support? Aurora asked quickly. Vittorio shook his head. He had not received the electromagnetic wave communication yet. Logically speaking, the message transmitted at the speed of light should have arrived by now. To save or not to save, and how much force needs to be deployed for rescue is obviously a question worth pondering. Because it is very likely that there is a faint attack over there. Once they disperse too much power, the defense line here will collapse in an instant. But if there are fewer people to support, the situation will be equally serious, which means a large number of the kingdom 
and city will fall and turn into a paradise for the undead. Harav was faced with this difficult choice. Just leave this place to me. With fifteen Yongin cannons and hundreds of thousands of kingdom troops here, there should be no problem in withstanding the offensive here. Anthony was the first to speak. And in his opinion, this the offensive in this film must be just a cover. Otherwise the previous attacks would have been more intense. Okay. In that case, it's enough for Aurora. Vittorio. Me. And I to go to the other side. Harav quickly made a decision. Now is not the time to procrastinate and move the army from the north. It was impractical to send him back to the capital. And it would be impossible to make it in time even by train. Then let Lydia go to support first. She is the fastest among us. Vittorio suggested. After a brief discussion, Harav and others impatiently turned into a stream of light and disappeared into the sky. In the sky, Lydia, who was fighting, also received the communication and immediately turned around and flew towards the royal capital, in a mine just 20 kilometers away from the kingdom. Under the horrified gaze of wizards and guards, the rune locks that blocked the time and space nodes burst open in just two seconds. Immediately afterwards, a huge dragon head emerged from the space-time gate opened its mouth and breathed out a breath of ice. And the flying bullets and the frightened soldiers turned into ice sculptures. With the expansion of the time and space gate, the body of Varric, the dragon of winter, completely appeared in the mine. And a large number of elite undead monsters behind him also rushed out of the door. Quickly, call me the electromagnetic gun. We must not let them break through here. The great wizard Jowen shouted in fear. And at the same time, he used electromagnetic wave communication to convey the news that this place was invaded. However, the entire mine is within the opponent's territory, and communication electromagnetic waves cannot be sent out at all. Damn it! Jowen cursed loudly, but the next moment he froze. His body was as straight as a rag, and he fell to the ground without making a sound. This is the legendary necromancy deprivation of life. It can instantly kill any opponent who is not a legend and is not under the protection of divine magic. Varric happily swallowed the souls of all living creatures present. Varric! You idiot! Archlich Cecil, who had just walked out of the time and space gate, was very angry. The spellcaster in front of him was the leader at first glance. He should know a lot of information. He should be able to retrieve the other party's memory. There was little news about the moon god. But it was intercepted by Varric's domain of the dead. That's my prey. I can do with it how I want. Cecil! Varric said quite dissatisfied. He has not fully recovered from the trauma he suffered in a foreign land last time. And he needs some powerful enough souls to recover. The injury? How could he let it go now that he finally had someone to take notice of? However, Derek also knew that once he won this battle between gods, Cecil would break through the legend and become the slave of the Lord of the Dead, which would inevitably lead to his own mysterious death like that big devil. So he spoke again. I might as well tell you some good news. Cecil, their souls are not protected by God. This was not beyond Cecil's expectations. Not only that, he also sensed that the elements in the void seemed to be infused with some kind of power, possibly because of their invasion. The moon god began to make a desperate attempt to completely control the world before the Lord of the Dead came. It seems we have to move faster. Cecil raised his hand with only a layer of bones left. All the fallen creatures stood up again, but they lost their souls, and their eyes became very empty. Just a bunch of walking dead. Chapter 554, I have something very important to report to the priest of the great moon god. At night, in the capital of the magic kingdom, in front of the northern city gate, Ham was leading the musketeers on a routine patrol inspection. Although the kingdom now dominates almost the entire continent, many opponents are still hiding in the dark, trying to overthrow the rule of the wizards and return the world to the dark age when the nobles and the church jointly enslave the common people. Naturally, Ham would never allow such a thing to happen. You must know that a few years ago, he was just a lowly mining slave. The meaning of his existence was to stay in the dark mine every day and work tirelessly to dig for or until he died in the mine one day. In a mining disaster, as the most devout believer of the moon goddess, Ham once thought that everything was destined. The suffering he suffered was the test of the great goddess. And the humiliation he endured during his lifetime would become blessings after his death. When you ascend to heaven, you will be able to enjoy endless peace and joy. However, the wizards told him with facts that all this was false and a scam of the church. And there was no need for them to use their own suffering to create the happiness of those noble men. Let alone wait until death to enjoy it. Peace and joy can be realistically lived in the kingdom of heaven on earth. Ham, who has experienced hard times, naturally cherishes his current life. 
after becoming the city guard of the royal capital. He has done his duty conscientiously, and does not dare to slack off for a day. Ham, who was walking through the city tower, saw several guards on guard duty gathered together chatting and gossiping. He immediately frowned and scolded in a deep voice. Go back to your posts. Which captain is in charge of travel records today? Where did the others go? The scolded guards were hesitant and speechless. It wasn't until Harm asked sternly again that they mentioned that the captain had just sneaked back to drink with some friends. Ham's expression immediately darkened, and anger rose in his heart. But a few lazy soldiers carefully defended themselves. Lord Ham, the shift is about to change now. The captain has just left for a short while, so it shouldn't have much impact. Unlike Ham, who is always vigilant. For most of the guards in the royal capital, daily duty and patrol are just a routine. After all, in their opinion, the war against the empire has long ended. In addition, the royal capital is the most powerful place for defense in the entire kingdom. Even now, there are several great wizards, those believers of the moon god who are hiding in the dark like mad dogs. No matter how brave they are, they don't dare to attack the royal capital. This is simply a matter of death. Do you know that the kingdom is still at war? Several lord speakers are leading the kingdom's most elite troops to fight against the evil spirits from foreign lands in the north. Now is not the time to relax. Amhit Ibu Chungking scolded angrily. Although the northern border is far away from here, the parliament has imposed strict security on all major cities and asked them to increase the number of patrols and conduct detailed identity verification of every person entering and leaving the royal capital. It can be seen from the strength of the protection that even if they are located at the rear, they are not 100% safe. Ham, who is not aware of the existence of the space-time gate, thinks that this is probably to prevent people who want to take advantage of this opportunity to create unrest secretly. Ham severely scolded the lazy guards, and when he was about to send someone to retrieve the captain for punishment, he unexpectedly saw a large group of people walking towards the north gate. Master Jowen, why are you back? Ham recognized the great wizard at a glance and greeted him eagerly. I have something very important. I need to report to the priest of the great moon god. Please let me go. Jowen's words seemed a little unfamiliar, as if he had just learned to speak. God of the moon? Ham looked at Master Jarvan with a strange look, then looked at several guards with surprised expressions, and said calmly, I may need to send someone to inform you. No, I can just go in by myself. Jiowen also noticed the subtle changes in the expressions on the guards' faces, and said slightly forcefully, Please wait a moment. Master, the entire king's capital is now under martial law. Anyone entering or leaving must register and report. Ham tried his best to appease the great wizard but a guard had already reported quietly. I'm only going to say it once. Get out of the way. This is very important information, Jowen said extremely forcefully, and at the same time, he was ready to perform the spell. However, Ham was more decisive. The moment he realized that Jowen wanted to force his way in, he shouted loudly, Enemies attack! Attack them all! The guards had already been prepared because the other party's words were too outrageous. Reporting to the great priest of the moon god? This made them wonder if the person in front of them pretending to be Master Jowen had something wrong with his mind. Even those crazy church believers would not use such lame disguises. They are clearly looking for trouble. The new muskets installed by the guards of the royal capital no longer need to be loaded before battle. They can be fired directly by raising the muzzle. However, the barrage of barrage stopped when Jowen's body was still five centimeters away, and then flew back at a faster speed, directly piercing the armor of the guards. And the wail suddenly resounded throughout the place in front of the city gate. Fortunately, although the kingdom's guards have seemed a little slack due to the recent peace, after all, it is less than a year since the war with the church. They still show their due qualities. After Ham's warning, next, a large number of patrols immediately came to support. Several wizards stationed there also used electromagnetic wave communication in time to spread the news of the attack to the royal capital. Cecil, who was lurking outside the royal capital, glanced at Varric coldly. If this stupid dragon hadn't devoured the souls of those people, causing him to fail to obtain their memories, he could only use the magic of language proficiency. How could he be seen through so easily after temporarily learning the lingua franca of this plane? I have already sensed it. There is no aura of strong men in this city at all. You are too careful. Cecil, this is just a waste of our time. Varric let out an inspiring roar. And then Zhang Chi flew to the capital of the Magic Kingdom, preparing to massacre the city, using death as a sacrifice to let the great lord of the undead come. At this point, Cecil said no more, 
He immediately lifted the concealment spell on the large number of undead and started massacring the nearest indigenous city. Quick! Stop them! Close the city gate! Close the city gate quickly! Waves of hurried shouts resounded throughout the royal capital. And as more and more support arrived, Jiawen and others who tried to break into the city were quickly killed by the two great wizards who arrived. Damn it! It turned out to be a necromancy technique. The great wizard bird was extremely angry. When he received the report before, he thought it was someone disguised as Jiawen and others who wanted to sneak into the city. Unexpectedly, someone killed him and used necromancy to control the body. This means there is a problem with the space-time gate. The next moment, the great wizard bird realized that his guess had come true. Because a huge figure appeared in the sky above the royal capital. It was a giant skeletal dragon with a length of more than a hundred meters. It looked ferocious and terrifying, and emanated from the whole body. The power even made many timid guards collapse to the ground unable to move in fear. Dragon of Winter, Varric opened his mouth wide and spit out a terrifying breath of ice. This dragon's breath mixed with ultra-low temperature and resentful spirits is enough to freeze any living being to death in an instant and take away their souls. However, an invisible magic barrier soon rose up all over the capital, intercepting the freezing breath. As one of the core areas of the magic kingdom, the royal capital naturally has the highest protection level. In the magic tower standing in the center, there are alchemical formations set up by Vittorio and a dozen alchemy masters. Even legendary spells are difficult to break. Dragon of Winter, Varric swung his dragon tail violently and hit the protective barrier hard, causing ripples. Seeing Bird, he was frightened. Once the protective circle was damaged, they would be unable to fight against such a monster. But there is no way to continue like this. Their magic power reserves are not unlimited. Facing the fierce attack of a legendary creature, they can only hold on for about a minute at most. It is difficult to wait for support to arrive. It seems I can only use that one. The great wizard bird secretly thought that they also have a secret weapon that can pose a threat to the legend. And that is the solar furnace located in the magic tower below the city. Just as Bird was thinking about it, in the magic tower, the three great wizards responsible for guarding the sun furnace also took action and activated the magic circle for the promotion ceremony. This kind of alchemical array can gather the endless energy of the solar furnace, since it is used for promotion. Of course, it can also be used for attack, as long as three great wizards work together to guide them. They can use the power of fusion melt to cast the legendary spell, Spear of Judgment. Winter Dragon Varric who was furiously destroying the magic barrier, suddenly felt a palpitation in his heart. He immediately stopped his movements and flew to avoid it. But a huge beam of light had already shot out from the ground and penetrated straight through its right wing. Along with a painful dragon roar, the huge dragon body suddenly fell from the sky. Cecil, who had never shown up before, looked at Winter Dragon, Varric who fell down. He was not surprised at all. It was undoubtedly the stupidest move to expose his opponent casually in front of everyone before he could figure out the reality of his opponent. While Varric was attracting the attention of others, Cecil quietly used the corpses of Jiawen and others to activate the corpse explosion technique. A dark green poisonous mist immediately erupted from hundreds of mutilated corpses, shrouding a dozen guards who were preparing to move the corpses. Chapter 555 All the True Gods Are Ants Ah! The dark green poisonous mist instantly enveloped the surrounding guards. Amidst the burst of shrill screams, their armor was corroded. Their skin and flesh quickly withered and dehydrated. And then, their entire bodies dissolved, turned into a pool of rich dark green pus, and merged into the mist. This spell, the great demon Nikru, had been used in the north before, but it was restricted by the breath of storm released by Harav and others, and was destroyed by several sunfire cannons. It was unable to show its due power at all. However, it was different now. There was no existence at the same level, and the power of the corpse explosion technique was soon fully demonstrated. The souls of the guards whose lives were taken away were directly pulled out, and their bodies turned into nutrients and merged into the poisonous mist, which continued to spread and expand, swallowing more people. This is the terrifying thing about the fog of death. There is almost no upper limit, and it can expand without limit until it engulfs all living creatures. Touch of fire! The great wizard bird raised his hand, and released a burst of violent fire, trying to burn the poisonous mist with fire. Obviously this is just a useless effort. How can the magic of a great wizard compete with a legendary spell? After the hot flames got close to the poisonous mist, it was eroded away, and then the dark green poisonous mist quickly disappeared. Spread. The expression of the great wizard bird suddenly changed. After realizing that he could not solve the fog of death, 
he hurriedly asked everyone to evacuate the area immediately. The civilians in the nearby area have already been dispersed. But the soldiers guarding here cannot escape the rapidly spreading mist of death. Waves of screams and wails of vengeful spirits resounded through the thick fog, enough to frighten people to death. A guard who was escaping hastily was knocked to the ground by the aftermath of the spell, seeing the poisonous mist surging. The resentful spirit was about to pounce on him, and a strong look of despair appeared on his face. At this moment, an inexplicable strong wind blew past, carrying the spreading poisonous mist and rushing in the opposite direction. The guard who had narrowly escaped death was stunned for a moment, and then he hurriedly rolled and crawled out. The great wizard bird, who was bracing himself to continue trying to use ice and thunder to break the poisonous mist, couldn't help but pause. He watched helplessly as the poisonous mist was blown into an uninhabited area. The most unexpected thing was Cecil hiding in the dark. The sole fire in his eyes was burning, and he was already on guard. The mist of death created by the corpse explosion technique was essentially a wraith. The aggregate will not be affected by ordinary storms at all. Has enemy support arrived? Arch Lich, Cecil thought to himself as several sharp roars came from a distance. Faster than the speed of sound are two supersonic missiles. Winter Dragon Varric, who was shot down by Spear of Judgment before, just got up from the ground, and the magic missile carrying the eternal flame roared towards him and fell. On its head, two dazzling white lights shone, and accompanied by scorching heat, violent explosions suddenly resounded outside the royal capital. Varric, who had just stood up and suffered another major blow, was extremely unlucky. But in Cecil's opinion, it was quite normal. With Varric's size and arrogance, he was just a moving target. It would be strange not to be attacked by focus fire. This was also the reason why he took Varric with him even though he knew that he didn't obey orders very well. For a lich like him, who was not very capable of close combat, he needed a human shield in front to attract firepower. Under the gaze of Arch Lich Cecil, in the distant sky, a fighter plane has appeared on the sky, roaring towards this direction. The two missiles just came from that direction, flying in. A high-pitched dragon roar followed, and the angry Varric's whole body was filled with cold air. Then he waved his sharp claws and tore off the small half of the wings covered by the immortal flames. Varric had seen this weird immortal flame before in a foreign land, and it was still fresh in his memory. Naturally, he figured out a way to deal with it. His breath of ice could suppress it for a short time. The simplest way was to the method is of course to peel off the parts contaminated by the flames. Amidst a roar, Varric flew into the air again and rushed directly towards the fighter plane. Seeing that Varric had already gone to deal with the strange flying instrument, Cecil ignored it. In fact, his trouble had already come. In almost a moment, two streams of light had already arrived in front of him. Those were Hera and Aurora who arrived. Seeing that the capital city had not been completely breached, both of them heaved a sigh of relief and then turned their attention to the great lich floating in the air in front of them, with all his flesh and blood stripped away, leaving only a skeleton. This is at least an 8th level spellcaster. No, more likely a 9 level legendary spellcaster. Harev and Aurora both felt the strong threat from each other, which was no less than the big demon that rushed out of the space-time gate before. There are not a large number of Yongin cannons here to help, and they are not completely sure of taking down the opponent. They can only wait until Vittorio has dealt with the chaos in the capital, and comes to support. The three of them may have a better chance of winning together. However, a doubt still lingers in Harav's mind. That is, there is too little power to attack the royal capital, and there are only two legends on the surface. This was abnormal. But he didn't dare to think about it because the answer was too terrifying. In the royal capital at this moment, the magic barrier covering the city is already crumbling under the siege of a large number of undead monsters. When the Spear of Judgment just shot down Varric, the Dragon of Winter. It was inevitable that the magic A gap was made in the barrier. Even though it was quickly repaired, it also weakened the protective ability of the barrier to a certain extent. A large number of screaming demons, banshees, and undead monsters are constantly gnawing at the magic barrier with their sharp claws and fangs. Small traces are slowly spreading outward, and the repairability of the barrier gradually cannot keep up with the speed of destruction, and soon opened a small opening. The small screaming demon and the half-energy banshee immediately got in through the opening, and the roar of machine guns and the light of magic also resounded throughout the royal capital. Hundreds of screaming demons were beaten into a gag in an instant, but their blood was highly toxic and corrosive, and the rain of blood that fell all over the sky immediately caused a lot of chaos. I have to say that these monsters are simply enemies of living things. Those banshees that also got through the cracks in the barrier are obviously more difficult to deal with. 
ordinary bullets have little effect on them, and they can only be dealt with by magic. Bursts of harsh, wails of the dead, echoed over the royal capital. This was the resentment of the banshee. The wails of the dead. Everyone present felt as if their brains had been hit hard by a heavy hammer. Even Bird, as a great wizard, was inevitably affected. And the flame spell he was casting was also stagnant. A large number of banshees took advantage of the situation and swarmed up. Their eyes flashing with the soul fire of malice. They had suffered painful torture both during life and after death. And now they wanted to vent their malice on these living people. Flame torrent. Chain lightning. The great wizard bird endured the discomfort in his brain and directed the wizards, who could barely tolerate the pain in his brain, to use spells to destroy the undead that came in through the gap. Amidst the explosion of flames and the resounding sound of thunder, a large number of undead souls flying in from the gap were burned and ionized in an instant. The Torio's support arrived quickly, and rune locks glowing with magic light extended from the void, sealing the gaps in the magic barrier. Thank you for your assistance. Mr. Speaker, seeing the Torio's figure, the great wizard bird finally relaxed his heart and spoke happily, and then seemed to think of something. He continued to ask rather fearfully, Were you also using the elemental wind just now? If you hadn't dispelled the fog of death in time, I'm afraid this city would have suffered. What kind of wind? The Torio couldn't help but frowned, not quite understanding what the other person was saying. He had clearly just arrived here. However, he did see the fog of death that Bird was talking about, and he used the rune lock to confine it to an open and safe place. Fortunately, the fog of death did not swallow many souls, and its power was more than a hundred times weaker than the one in the north, so he could barely control it alone. If it's not you, then who is it? Bird was very surprised. It couldn't really be a gust of wind, right? He didn't think that just a strong gust of wind could make such a powerful spell retreat. The Torio had some vague guesses, but did not give any answers. After casting a spell to restrengthen the magic barrier surrounding the city, he hurried to support Harif and Aurora. They must solve the trouble here as soon as possible. If he guessed correctly, the royal capital may not be the only one under siege now. Otherwise, there is no way to explain why the undead army attacking the royal capital is much smaller than expected. In fact, just as Vittorio thought, after crossing the gate of time and space, Arch Lich, Cecil considered that they had an absolute advantage in military strength. Plus, he was afraid of these. Believers of the moon god! They had used the skyfall in foreign lands to divide the tens of millions of undead armies that invaded this plane into seven teams and fully occupied the world from different directions. This is undoubtedly a very cruel but effective strategy because the fallen enemies will be driven by necromancy to fight again. The number of enemies will become less and less and the number of your own will only become more and more. It won't be long before the whole world is swallowed up like a snowball. However, things did not progress as smoothly as Arch Lich Cecil expected, because the undead legions invading everywhere suffered inexplicable devastating blows, or mountains suddenly collapse, or rivers reverse flow, or forests burst into flames. Even a meteorite fell from the sky, wiping out hundreds of thousands of undead that were attacking the city. On the Tower of Sertod, the City of Steel, the guards who were nervously waiting for the attack of the numerous undead witnessed the spectacle of meteorites falling from the sky. What on earth is going on? God! This must be the power of God. For a group of guards with little knowledge, everything in front of them can only be described as a miracle. Where can there be any gods? This must be some kind of powerful magic. Which speaker should have arrived? The wizard on the side suddenly laughed and said, If these people have seen those alchemists using sunfire cannons. After exiting the tunnel, he would not have said such ignorant words. A certain existence in the dark world silently turned its attention away from this area and began to clean up the undead legions in other areas of the kingdom. At the same time, it was gradually becoming familiar with the power it possessed. In five days, Lin In had successfully completed the first two steps of the God Becoming Ceremony, expanded his domain to a continent, and achieved the quantization of his soul. However, due to the limitation of soul strength, he still cannot control all the elements in the entire world at the same time. He could only affect a small area to perform miracles. Even so, it was extremely powerful. Among the undead armies that invaded this plane, there were many legendary beings, but in his hands, they had little ability to resist. Lin In spent a lot of effort to use natural disasters to quickly destroy millions of undead souls. And after closing several open space-time gates, he finally turned his attention to the direction of the royal capital. This is one of the most important cities in the kingdom. The protection is very strong. 
even if it faces the attack of a large number of undead legions. It can barely resist it. So naturally it is postponed to the end. What's more, Harav and others have already arrived. So there won't be any problems for a while. However, when Lenin cast his gaze further, he realized that the situation was not as optimistic as he thought. Because there are three legends in the undead army that arrived in the royal capital. Winter Dragon Varric, Arch Lich, Cecil and Shadow Assassin Pelamon. The latter has been wandering on the battlefield without any intention of showing up. His figure is illusory and transparent. Shrouded in a layer of gray mist. Harav, Vittorio and Aurora, who were fighting Arch Lich Cecil, were not aware of it at all. But it was clearly visible in Lin's eyes. And there was no secret at all. With a thought in Lennon's mind, he wanted to pull out the other person and crush him to death. For him now, this was not a difficult thing to do. On the contrary, he had dozens of ways to kill the other person. There just happened to be a few targets here, enough to try out other abilities. Thinking of this, Lennon stretched out the non-existent hand in his imagination. And the elements in the void immediately became active. Chapter 556 Mobius Strip in High Dimensional Space Outside the royal capital, the originally flat open space has become pitted and pitted in the aftermath of the battle between the digital legends. The most eye-catching thing is the long ravine, which ranges in depth from low to high and is more than two kilometers long. This is exactly the trace left behind by using final atomic breath. However, it is obvious that this blow did not have the desired effect. After being prepared, Arch Lich, Cecil just relied on his ability to control space and deflected this blow. Even though he was faced with it at the same time, he was still able to attack the three people with ease. The Nine Ring legendary caster is only one step away from the true god, even though this step is like a natural chasm. Blocking countless legends, the power of the Nine Ring legendary caster is still undoubted. With preparation, even the fusion bomb representing the power of the star cannot guarantee that it can be erased. On the contrary, Harav and others looked solemn. While dealing with Cecil, they were also carefully paying attention to the movements of the surrounding elements. And beware of the shadow assassin who might appear at any time and chop off their heads. If Aurora hadn't used the mirroring technique in time to escape the disaster, they would have been reduced in number by now. La 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 la. Cecil smiled strangely and used a advanced undead impact to push back Harav who tried to sneak attack him with a sonic attack. And then said mockingly, Your resistance is meaningless. The remaining legions I sent are probably already killing the creatures in this plane. The Lord of the Dead will come soon. Welcome the end of the world. All things will pass away. Only death will last forever. Cecil's hoarse and unpleasant voice echoed outside the royal capital. Although Harav and others knew that the other party was trying to shake their will with these unfavorable news, they could not help but become a little anxious. After all, in order to stop the enemy's invasion in the north, they mobilized too much power except for a few important cities including the royal capital, which were fairly well defended. The protection of other cities and towns was very weak, and it was impossible to resist death. The attack of the spirit army. It seems that the battle must be resolved as soon as possible. Harav and others looked at each other and quickly made up their minds. Due to the elusive assassin, few of them dared to use magic like final atomic breath, rashly, which requires preparation and activation. Aurora took the lead in attacking and a strong laser beam shot into the sky. Directly cut, Arch Lich, Cecil in half. Immediately afterwards, several rune locks suddenly emerged from the ground, firmly binding the skeleton that was divided into two halves. However, what was trapped was just a pile of skeletons. As a burst of purgatory fire was ignited, the rune locks were dissolved, and the figure of Arch Lich, Cecil reappeared in another place. The next moment, more rune locks shot out from the void and rolled towards Cecil even though he had full confidence in dealing with it. Cecil did not dare to be careless in the slightest, because just two minutes ago, the people in front of him used rune locks to restrict his movements, and then used some extremely terrifying energy spells, almost sent him away directly, summoned high-level undead guards. Cecil's rotten, pale mouth, with only bones and some flesh left, opened and closed and spat out a few weird words. Several soul fires flew out of his palms and then a burst of magic surged in the void, and each of them was strong. The undead guard, who was composed of magic power and elements, with soul fire burning in his eyes, appeared in front of the archlich, tightly grabbing the rune chains that were flying towards him. These resurrected undead souls are the souls of some legendary strongmen captured during their conquests in other worlds. With the control of necromancy techniques, 
they can barely exert their pseudo-legendary power. The moment the four undead guards appeared, they directly broke Vittorio's rune chain, withstood the electromagnetic cannon released by Aurora, and surrounded them. Cecil himself raised his hand again, and a wave of imperceptible magic power spread rapidly. Advanced Curse. This is undoubtedly another legendary spell. And this time the target is Harif. The latter immediately felt that his energy body was corroding and decaying. His expression suddenly changed. And at this moment, he completely lost the ability to cast spells. Aurora and Vittorio also looked ugly. They wanted to come back for help. But they were tightly surrounded by high-level undead guards. However, Harif was not attacked. And the expected, Shadow Assassin, did not appear. This surprised Cecil. But he did not stop moving, and raised his withered index finger. Finger of Destruction. A creepy black light escaped from the withered fingertips, and shot directly at the defenseless Harif. Then. Then he hit an illusory figure. After, Shadow Assassin, Pelamon failed to attack Aurora. He found himself in a strange place. In front of him were countless crisscrossing corridors. And at the end were rooms that were exactly the same one after another. Is this a mental illusion? Or some kind of magic that can transform space? Pelamon didn't know. And could only guess that he might have been counterattacked by some kind of spell when he attacked the female spellcaster. The other party's mirror magic was very strange. Which impressed him deeply. And could even reflect, Arch Lich, Cecil's necromancy spell back to a certain extent. In view of this, Pelamon did not dare to stay in this place for too long. But he was not prepared to follow the path directed by the other party. Instead, he directly blasted the ground of the corridor. But he soon discovered that there was still a corridor underneath. The other side of the room is still a room. Everything here seems to be repeated infinitely. Pelamon tried to use physical torture to stimulate the spirit to break away from the illusion. And tried to find the direction by making marks or leaving magic marks. But in the end it was all in vain. Everything as far as the eye can see is gray and white. Every room and every corridor is exactly the same. Even at the atomic level. It is impossible to tell any difference between them. After countless attempts, Pelamon has broken countless the wall also tried to move forward obediently in the direction of the corridor extension. But what awaited him was still more corridors and rooms with the same appearance. Pelamon could no longer remember how long he had been in this space. It might have been a minute, an hour, a day, a month, or a year. Time seems meaningless here, and space becomes fragmented and distorted, making it impossible to distinguish up down, left, and right. After tens of thousands of attempts and efforts, Pelamon went from calm thinking at the beginning to crazy venting and destruction, and finally lost his mind and became gotta be hysterical. Can't you stand it now? Lennon shook his head helplessly. He was defeated before he could try more methods on the opponent. The space he created is like a Mobius strip, completely closed. No matter which direction Pelamon goes, he will eventually return to the starting point. It's just that the space is very large. And everything inside is made of his magic power and can be repaired quickly. So this piece of time and space is created that can be repeated infinitely. Not only that, Lin also interfered with the opponent's time perception on a high dimensional level. This is an imitation of torture. If you can create an empty and absolutely dark space and lock people in it, even those with the strongest willpower will not be able to withstand it for long. Spaceship pilots in the new century often have to face similar cosmic claustrophobia which is why ultra-long-distance interstellar voyages require cryogenic chambers. In order to experiment with the production of Mobius strips, Lin did not make the space void, but changed it into an endless loop of pure white corridors. There is no sound inside, and there are no superfluous elements other than the walls. Lin and originally thought that the other party was a legend after all, and should be able to persist longer, and ask him to provide more research data. However, he did not expect that it would collapse in just a few minutes in real time. Of course, for Pelamon, whose perception was disturbed. It had been going on for several months. Forget it. It's time to let him go. Seeing that Harab was in a life and death crisis, Lin untied the Mobius strip. After Pelamon, who was destroying the space crazily, smashed another wall. His whole body suddenly trembled with excitement. Because for the first time, he saw something that was not pure white. He couldn't wait to rush out. Outside is the dim sky. Green grass and the oncoming dark beam of light. It is the finger of destruction of Archlich Cecil. This powerful legendary spell can destroy all visible matter. Most of the body of Pelamon, who was struck by the spell was directly wiped away, leaving only a head and half a shoulder rolling down from the air. Everyone present could not help but froze on the spot. And Cecil was even more stunned. He did not understand why Paramon, 
who had been invisible, would suddenly rush to block Harab's attack. One blow, finger of destruction. Pelamon, who suffered a heavy blow, did not die immediately, and finally woke up from his madness. Moon God! This must be the power of the Moon God? Pelamon shouted in fear. The fire of the soul in his eyes was constantly trembling. In his reflection, only God could do such weird things. Cecil also woke up immediately, thinking of the scene where the mist of death he had released was suddenly blown away by an inexplicable strong wind. Are you looking for the moon god? I'm sorry. She has been dead for a long time. But if you insist on looking for her, I can send you to see her. A voice in the void rang in everyone's ears. This was not whose words, but the sound waves formed by the air elements vibrating at a specific frequency. The next moment, somewhere in the dark, an indescribable and incomprehensible existence arrived. Chapter 557 The Battle Between the Laws of Mathematics and God Along with the sound that resounded in the void, an illusory and bright light and shadow appeared in front of everyone, and then gradually solidified to form a humanoid appearance. Lin In, who was thinking about constructing a low-dimensional projection, stretched out his hand and snapped his fingers the moment the figure appeared. The next moment, the millions of undead that besieged the royal capital immediately began to be annihilated from the microscopic level. Whether it was the large number of screaming demons, the high-level banshees existing in the form of souls, or the fierce and powerful skeleton dragons, they were all destroyed. It was broken up and reduced to the most basic particles. Floating in the void, the terrifying power of destroying millions of undead souls with one hand made all the legends present feel trembling. Although they were sure to destroy all these undead legions if they were prepared, they would never be able to do so easily. It was freehand. And there was no accidental damage at all. The ability to control energy alone shocked everyone. The most critical thing is that they simply cannot understand how this attack was launched. But for Harav and others, they were more shocked than surprised. And more of a joy. For five days, everyone was exhausted under the ultra-high intensity attack of the undead army. Now it was finally delayed until Lin completed the ceremony of becoming a god. Aurora breathed a sigh of relief and then immediately thought of Archlich, Cecil's words before. Apart from here, it seemed that other parts of the kingdom were also attacked by the undead army. This is likely to be one of the conditions for the coming of the Lord of the Dead. Don't worry. I have already dealt with all the undead that entered the country. Lenin said lightly before a few people asked questions. Although he didn't explain too much. Just because of the destruction at his fingertips. No one asked any questions. While speaking, Lin stretched out his hand again ignoring the distance of space, passed directly through Harav's energy body, and took out a strange light point from the other party's body. Harav immediately noticed that he had regained control of his energy body, and he was still afraid. What on earth is this? Harav couldn't help but asked. It's just a technique that can interfere with mental power's control of magic power. Lenin instantly saw the details of this thing, and it had actually reached a high-dimensional level. Should he be said to be a nine-ring spellcaster, the commander of this plane invasion war, Sure enough, there are some tricks. Only then did Lin turn his attention to Archlich Cecil. The soul fire in the latter's eyes was fluctuating violently. Apparently, he did not expect that a true god would come. And he was even more surprised by Lin's words just now. Diana, the goddess of the moon, is dead? Cecil suddenly felt that the situation was gradually getting out of his control. But facing a new and unknown god, he still tried hard to maintain his demeanor as a legendary wizard of the Nine Rings. Great alien god, I am the most loyal assistant and servant of the Lord of the Dead. I was ordered to come for the relics of Diana, the god of the moon. Now that the goddess is dead, maybe we should not the fight continues. Cecil kept his posture very low and tried to consider his tone. He knew very well that it would be difficult to compete with a real god with his own strength. Lin In was not in a hurry to kill the other party directly. After all, he still had a lot of information to ask for. From the beginning to the end, he had doubts about the words of the unknown crow. But now Lin In was more curious about another thing, and said with interest, You want to negotiate with me? Even if we kill so many high undead? Although he had been completing the promotion ceremony in the past few days, the realm enveloped the entire continent. So he knew very well that in just five days, more than seven legendary undead souls had died in their hands, including those cannon fodder and other high-level ones. Not to mention the undead, the number definitely exceeds tens of millions. Such a huge loss. But the other party can say it so lightly. Which means that the accumulation and foundation of the Lord of the Dead may exceed his expectations. I'm not negotiating with you. Alien God. 
Cecil said extremely humbly. Only the equally great Lord of the Dead is qualified to discuss with you. Negotiate with the Lord of the Undead in person? Lennon's face showed a slightly sarcastic look. He was not that stupid. And he could naturally tell that the other party had bad intentions. Because that meant that he had to face the god who had lived for who knows how many years, and whose strength was completely unknown. Cecil couldn't see the change in Lennon's expression. But he heard the sarcasm in his words. His heart suddenly sank to the bottom. He knew that he might not be able to escape today. But his soul phylactery was still in the hands of the Lord of the Dead. And he didn't dare to even think of betrayal. Who is the god of life and creation? Lennon suddenly asked. Cecil was obviously stunned for a moment. And then his expression was a little surprised. I didn't expect you to know about this, your majesty. Lennon nodded. Since the so-called god of life and creation really exists. The star messenger's words can be somewhat trusted. Then I'll give this thing back to you. Lennon suddenly raised his hand. And the light spot floating in the palm of his hand was immediately compressed to a limit. And then with a flick of his thumb and middle finger, the light spot turned into a stream of light. To Cecil. Cecil, who had been alert for a long time, suddenly burst out with the soul fire in his eyes. But it was not until this moment that he realized that his body was frozen. The surrounding elements were like iron nails, firmly fixed in place by some kind of force. And also fixed his body. He could only watch the light point flying towards him at an extremely fast speed, with no way to avoid it. However, advanced curse technique is a technique released by Cecil himself after all. No one knows how to crack it better than him. More importantly, due to his previous achievements in conquering foreign lands, the generous lord of the undead has considered becoming a god the most important thing. The certificate the godhead was given to myself. This is why Cecil knew that this plane was the territory of the moon god. But he dared to step into this world. A strange crystal in the boundless sea of consciousness trembled slightly, and the light point directed at him was immediately deflected and disappeared in front of everyone. Huh? Lin was somewhat surprised. Even though he didn't exert much force, he also didn't expect that Cecil could deflect the blow. Cecil was even more surprised, because he had blocked God's attack just now. But if you think about it carefully, this is normal. After receiving the gift from the Lord of the Dead and possessing Godhood, you can be called a demigod. And what he needs to face is a god who has just completed his promotion and has not had time to master the laws. He may not have the slightest chance of winning. Cecil, who was gradually swelling, regained some confidence and launched a challenge to the new god in front of him without hesitation. As his mind turned, the four high-level undead guards, who were controlled by his will quickly exploded. Cecil knew very well that ordinary means could never threaten the superior gods. So he had to use the four legendary souls as nourishment to perform the corpse explosion technique. The moment the spell was activated, Cecil also felt a burst of heartache. After all, legendary souls are not so easy to collect. Most of them will be transformed into undead to enhance the power of the Legion. These four legendary souls are one of his most important trump cards accumulated over the past hundred years. And now they are used as disposable fuel. The power that explodes is also particularly terrifying. The terrifying soul scream suddenly resounded in the void and in the dark green mist of the dead. Ferocious resentful spirits emerged from the mist, and then rushed towards Lin N and the others. Harif, Aurora, and Vittorio were all tense. But soon they discovered that the spreading mist of death seemed to be approaching them. But in fact it was getting worse. Come farther and farther. This kind of conflict between perception and reality is very weird. But Harif and others had experienced similar things when they faced Ella more than a year ago. Lin stretched out his hand again and the undead mist that surged in like a wave suddenly curled toward the center from all directions. In fact, it is not the sole mist that curls, but the entire space, seeing that the mist of the dead was easily broken. Arch Lich, Cecil's confidence that had just grown was shattered in an instant, because this was already the most powerful method at his disposal, but it had no effect at all. Escape. There was only this thought left in Cecil's mind, and the godhead in his consciousness trembled again. Unfortunately, it was too late. Chains of arcane locks stretched out from the void, binding him tightly. These chains are different from Vittorio's rune locks. They not only bind his body from a higher level, but also bind his soul at a higher level. Connected to the chains are huge and exquisite roulette wheels. That's a gear. A large number of illusory gears emerged in the void. Each two section meshing with each other, intertwined layer by layer. As Cecil expected, Lin had just completed his promotion, and was not proficient enough in controlling the new realm. However, compared to other new gods, he had a large number of microscopic theories as a basis. 
and there were countless methods that he could use. These roulettes of different sizes floating in the void are a set of gear speed increasing devices. The force exerted on the first roulette will continue to increase by 10 times. An exponentially growing number is undoubtedly terrifying. Even with Lin Un's current ability, he can only manifest 9 gears, which is an increase of 100 million times. The gear that appeared behind Lin turned violently. Hundreds of millions of tons of high pressure were instantly applied to Cecil. Anything that reaches its extreme has terrifying destructive capabilities. Not to mention that this pressure does not only come from the three-dimensional space, but from higher-level dimensions. Under Cecil's horrified perception, the skeletal body, which was created by the Lord of the Dead and filled with magic and was extremely strong, began to deform, bend, and crack, and everything from body to soul was crushed bit by bit under the pressure. Cecil blocked all his hopes on the Godhead, desperately urging the power of the cube in an attempt to break free from the shackles of the Arcana Lock. A strong wave immediately escaped from the cube, but before Cecil could rejoice, he realized that his soul, which had been crushed to pieces under layers of pressure, was being drawn into the cube. It was only then that Cecil finally realized that what the other party had given him was not a godhead at all, but a creation containing the divine power of death. Now, under the weight of the arcane lock, this creation is shattered. Cecil only had time to let out an angry roar before being completely swallowed by the power of death. Lord of the Dead! You deceived me? In an instant, Cecil understood everything. Why did the Lord of the Dead value him so much? It was precisely because his soul life box was in the opponent's hands. With the help of divine power and soul entanglement effect, he could open to the passage to the world is the last insurance for invading this plane. Lin in immediately sensed something was wrong. Within the mathematical lock that wrapped Cecil, an aura of chaos was constantly spreading to the outside. Lin's open right hand clenched suddenly, and the phantom of the gear that appeared behind him turned violently again. With a clatter, sound of the chain turning. Cecil's body and soul were all crushed into powder. The inside of the chain gradually fell silent. Harav and others who also felt this terrifying aura breathed a sigh of relief. But Lin's expression remained solemn. Sure enough, just ten seconds later, a gap opened in the boundless sky, and endless magic and matter continued to emerge from the inside. But what is different from opening the time and space gate is that the magic power and elements pouring into this world contain a special will. Or it may be said, that the divine domain of the Lord of the Dead is invading this world. The entire space was shaking violently. Time became chaotic. And a chaotic color was flowing in from the gap. It was an extremely dark pallor. It reveals a strange and frightening power. As if it is going to swallow up the whole world. Lord of the Dead? Lin In said the name of the god solemnly. The moment the crack appeared, a big hole opened in his divine domain. Or it could be said that he was suppressed by the other party's divine domain. For the guards and wizards in the royal capital, they could only see the sky splitting and the pale chaos expanding. But Lin En could clearly see the ferocious heads emerging from the cracks in space. It is difficult to describe the opponent's divine body in words. It is a twisted body of souls, similar in appearance to the mythical multi-headed snake Hydra, with more than one head. As a legend, Harav and others managed to catch a glimpse of the true appearance of the Lord of the Dead. And then, the endless fire of purgatory soon burned around them. God is invisible, unfathomable, and unknowable. This is the iron law of the main world. Unless someone like Lin actively constructs a low-dimensional projection for communication, peering into the divine body itself is an extremely dangerous thing. Chapter 558 Neutrons are bones and energy is the blade. This is the antimatter sword. Speaker Harov? Anthony, the weakest person present and the least affected, watched helplessly as several of his colleagues beside him were suddenly burned to death, wailing in pain. But before Anthony could come to the rescue, the scene around him suddenly changed. When he came to his senses, Anthony realized that he had left his original position and appeared on the wall of the royal capital, with Harav almost burning. The fire of human purgatory is also extinguished. It was obvious that the person who took action was Lin In. Harav and the others, who were just legendary wizards of the Seven Rings, had no ability to participate in this divine battle. Even watching on the sidelines comes with great risk. While sending Harav and others away, Lin's eyes never left. In fact, the first confrontation between the two sides had already begun. The moment the crack appeared, the two divine realms collided and melted with each other. Annihilated, the pale chaos has undoubtedly gained the upper hand. And its scope is constantly expanding. The moment he invaded the plane, the Lord of the Dead noticed the special features of this world. He could hardly sense the boundaries of the plane. The laws here were extremely stable. 
possessing almost endless energy and energy. Substance. Once he completely seizes this world, he may be able to surpass the Lord God and reach an unprecedented realm. Realizing this, Donatus, the Lord of the Undead, could no longer suppress the surging desire in his soul and drew more power from the foreign land. The countless giant mountain-like heads opened their mouths and overlapped. Dai's soul words immediately spread to every corner of the planet. My name is Donatus, the ruler of death and the enemy of all living things. At this moment, everyone seemed to hear an ancient voice announcing its existence. An unspeakable fear began to spread throughout the world. Lin In very clearly noticed that the opponent's invasion of the world was getting faster and faster. It was obvious that the fear of living creatures could bring new power to the Lord of the Undead. Lin In, who originally expected the God of Life and Creation to take action, immediately changed his mind. He knew he could not wait any longer. It is obviously not a wise idea to put your hope in a God who does not know the details. Only, just fight. When Lin In thought of this, he took the lead and took action. The arcane locks emerged in the void and rolled towards the heads of the Lord of the Dead with cracks extending from all directions. Every head of the Lord of the Dead showed a mocking look. And a newborn god actually tried to fight against him. The overlapping arcana locks began to decay and decay after entering the realm. By the time they reached the huge body, they were already decaying like scrap metal and were instantly bitten off by several extended heads. This is the law of death in Donatus. Everything will come to an end. Even planes and gods are no exception. Seeing the mathematical lock being easily crushed, Lenin's face became extremely solemn. The material that makes up the arcane lock is naturally graphene, which is the strongest material that he could create when he was still a legendary wizard. But obviously it's not enough in front of the Lord of the Dead. Probably only substances that are stable enough, like neutrons, can have a chance of locking the opponent. While thinking, in the sky, the top ten heads open together, and a great breath condensed and formed in the void. In the name of the Lord of Death, Donatus, I grant you, destruction, as countless heads roared in unison. A gray-white mist composed of the divine power of death burst out in an instant. It was like a white streak falling from the sky. Wherever it passed, the space was distorted, and the elements were disintegrating. All that is left is chaos. This is the necromancy magic, breath of destruction. In comparison, Arch Lich, Cecil's finger of destruction is simply a joke. Lenin did not dodge. Because this attack had locked him from a high-dimensional level. More importantly, behind him was the royal capital. With millions of citizens inside. Harav and others alone could not do anything. Block the blow. So the moment the Lord of the Undead cast, Breath of Destruction. The surrounding elements were frantically drawn by Lin and, and gathered in the palm of his hand. Immediately afterwards, a large number of positrons were created. As we all know, the substances that make up an atom are the nucleus and electrons outside the nucleus. The electrons outside the nucleus are negatively charged. And the positron is its antimatter. A few days ago, Lin used a high-speed particle collider to create these mirror particles, which can be called the opposite of matter. However, with the ability of the legendary wizard, he could barely analyze them. But he could not simulate them with magic at all. But just as Lin N had expected before, after breaking through the realm of God, everything became a matter of course. At the same time as the breath of destruction fell from the sky, Lin N had already controlled a large number of anti-electrons to merge into these elements, colliding with the negative electrons that constitute the core of the elements. The energy released by the annihilation of matter and antimatter is undoubtedly terrifying, even more violent than stellar fusion. The powerful energy generated instantly shattered the elements in the palm, and the protons and neutrons inside also fell apart under the terrible impact. Even Lin In was unable to control such terrifying energy at all, and could only burst out with a little guidance, using protons and neutrons as bones and annihilation energy as a blade. The beam sword containing billions of tons of TNT energy flew out from Lin In's palm and slashed towards Donatus, the Lord of the Undead, by Lin, who was speeding towards and contained the divine power of death, was cut open directly. Also cut open were the gray white divine realm and the huge divine body of the Lord of the Undead behind. The huge and ferocious heads of the Lord of the Dead were filled with anger and astonishment. Apparently, he did not expect that a newly promoted god could actually use such a powerful destructive spell. In the midst of his high roar, hundreds of heads extending out of the cracks were all chopped off. Those fallen heads were like meteorites falling from the sky. What a pity! Is it wrong? Lin In was somewhat disappointed. These microscopic particles themselves have certain high-dimensional characteristics and are absolutely capable of truly injuring the Lord of Death. 
but unfortunately, the opponent's four-dimensional coordinates are not so easy to locate, although on the surface, his blow cut off all the heads of the Lord of the Dead. It failed to harm the opponent in a real sense. The most important thing is that what emerges from the gap in time and space is not the entire body of the Lord of the Dead. You must find a way to close the door. Otherwise the power of the Lord of the Dead will continue to grow. If he continues to delay, his chances of winning will only become less and less. After all, the total amount of magic power he can control is limited. And it is not like the Lord of Death, who has several planes as support. It seems that we have to find a way to borrow strength. Some thoughts flashed through Lennon's mind. But his movements did not stop. The space curve in front of him suddenly began to twist, deflecting another approaching breath of destruction. Those severed heads have also been smashed to the ground. The surrounding land was plowed by the burst of divine power. And ravines with a depth of tens of meters were plowed. The traces of the soil and hard rocks inside were wiped away in an instant. Even before that, Linen had already sealed off the space near the royal capital, forming a circular Mobius strip to prevent the aftermath of the battle from completely destroying the entire city. But whether it is the divine power of death or the energy aftermath of the antimatter sword, it is enough to affect high dimensional space and time. About 1% of the power breaks through the blockade of the Mobius strip and escapes. The wind is howling. The earth is disintegrating and the whole world seems to be coming to an end. Outside the royal capital, dense cracks have appeared on the invisible magic barrier. Vittorio and several great wizards worked hard to strengthen and repair the protection. The wizards who were hiding within the boundaries of the royal capital were extremely nervous. Although they could not see the specific battle situation, they could feel the terrifying energy fluctuations from the outside world, the roars that resounded through the sky, and the sounds that continued to flow outward, the spreading death realm. For a moment, Harav even wondered if the entire world was on the verge of destruction. He immediately looked at Aurora and asked, How? Who won? Aurora, who was observing the battle through an avatar, looked pale. At that moment, her avatar was burned directly by the fire of purgatory. Even the part of the soul that was separated was also severely damaged. But he still pressed his head that was a little swollen and spoke. I saw Speaker Lin chop off the head of the Lord of Death. A look of fear appeared on Aurora's face. The moment she saw the antimatter sword, she almost thought that her soul would be involved and destroyed together. So, Speaker Lin won? Harav was both surprised and a little unbelievable. The Lord of the Undead can be said to be the most powerful enemy they have ever faced. Not even Ella can compare with it. The Parliament mobilized the resources of the entire continent and spent a full year and a half just to deal with this Lord of the Undead. Host. But then Harav thought that the star messenger said that the strength of gods will be greatly reduced after leaving their own divine domain. And Lin and occupies the geographical advantage. So it is not impossible to deal with the opponent so easily. Matter. Then why does the opponent's divine domain continue to expand? Vittorio frowned in confusion. If the lord of the undead had fallen, the divine realm should gradually recede. But in their sight, the pale chaos was still spreading rapidly around, almost covering the entire sky and judging from the aftermath of the surging energy in the outside world. It is clear that the battle is still going on, and is getting more intense. How do I know? Maybe an injury like this is nothing to the Lord of the Undead. Aurora shook her head helplessly. The scene she saw was very limited, and she had no idea what the subsequent battle would be like. We must not just wait like this. I remember that there is a fusion furnace in the capital. We may be able to mobilize the power of this thing. Harav said in a deep voice. The magic and energy in their bodies has been exhausted, and they can only participate in the battle in this way. I'm afraid it won't work. Did you see the beam of light that shot into the sky just now? Aurora said with a wry smile. The energy contained in that beam of light is at least dozens of times that of the solar furnace. In other words, even if they explode all the nuclear energy accumulated in the solar furnace, it will only be a fraction of what Ling can casually hit. Do you want to be so exaggerated? Harav suddenly clicked his tongue. When he thought about how difficult it was for them to just block the energy wave, he could no longer say anything about intervening. I will be watching the battle from now on, and the protection of the royal capital will be left to you. Harav! Vittorio also quickly created an incarnation, even though they could not directly intervene in this divine battle. But no wizard would want to miss this kind of high-level duel, even if it may cause some soul damage. Just when Vittorio was connected to the magic net and looked up to the sky, Suddenly all the creatures on the planet felt a palpitation in their hearts. This feeling seemed to have no origin. But it was real. As if it was caused by biology. Instinct rhythm. What's going on? Harav also sensed this change. 
but he couldn't tell where it had changed. It should be that the magnetic field of the planet has changed. Vittorio, who was connected to the magic network, said with a trembling tone, the planet's magnetic field? Harav and others paused for a moment, and then remembered that someone mentioned in planet theory that the eternal star under their feet was like a super large magnet. Even if it used one thousandth of its power, it would enough to destroy heaven and earth. At this moment, in the royal capital, Crow, who was locked in a cage with his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes. There was no arrogance and stupidity in his eyes at all. Only endless indifference. When the first crack opened in the sky, it sensed the arrival of the Lord of the Dead. After all, the other party's aura was too strong, and it had no intention of hiding it. It seems it's time. The crow opened its mouth and shouted loudly. The electromagnetic barrier around the cage was constantly shrinking, coupled with the outer force field vortex and the legendary monster Mudo guarding the room. The triple protection completely blocked it. It's possible to escape. But sometimes you don't need to go out if you want to convey a message. Mudo, who was feeling restless from the aftermath of the strong energy collision in the outside world, immediately sensed the strange movement here and ran over as fast as he could. The crow looked disdainfully at the flying beast figure. When it spread its wings, strong starlight bloomed from the black wings. And then its body expanded and exploded. Sometimes death is the best message. Soul entanglement is also one of the few methods that can communicate across two connected worlds. What Mudo saw when he just ran to the cage was a few black feathers remaining in the cage. It's over. It's over. The bright-colored giant beast Mutual was anxiously circling the room with its tail between its legs, not knowing what to do at all. Chapter 559, Come to Life. Moon God Realm. Your master has returned. Great Moon God. You are so generous. You have given us food and warmth. And let your light cover this land. In a foreign land. At the corner of the continent. In a station covered by large magic plants. More than 100,000 Moko people are performing their daily routine prayers. Since the moon god returned to this world. They have escaped from their original precarious life. As long as they pray seriously every day and dedicate their faith to this great god wholeheartedly. They will be able to obtain sufficient food and brilliance without any need. No more worrying about the invasion of those ferocious demonic beasts. So even though the name of this moon god is a little different from the previous one. No one cares about it. And the faith in their hearts becomes more and more pious. Ella, the moon god whom they chanted, was hiding her figure and looking up at the sky. In the dark and boundless night sky, a powerful energy was constantly surging. Through the observation of the divine head, Ella could clearly see the divine body spreading for several kilometers on the sky, extending to a dark space-time crack. Middle, the power of the lord of the undead was much more powerful than she had imagined. Fortunately, those wizards seemed to be more capable than she expected. They could actually bring down the true form of the Lord of the Undead and even delay him. This situation is undoubtedly much better than she expected in advance. At the same moment, Ella also noticed that a part of her soul disappeared. After obtaining part of the memory of the moon goddess Diana, she had the idea of using the opportunity to provoke conflicts and finally reap the benefits of the tiger and the wolf. But compared to the Lord of the Dead, who controls several planes, the Wizards of the Eternal Star were obviously not enough. So she took the initiative to send the information about the Lord of the Dead and deliberately delayed the arrival of the Lord of the Dead. Time to find the space-time gate. The purpose is to make the other party more prepared so that they will not collapse when faced with an invasion. The crow that went to the Eternal Star through the time and space gate was naturally her work. The soul entanglement effect is also one of the few means of communication that can be perceived across planes. In Ella's view, although those wizards have just entered the legendary realm, their power cannot be underestimated especially the magic named Skyfall by the wizards. Its destructive power can only be described as terrifying. Some alchemical creations were also very powerful. The church's divine punishment legion, which had dominated the continent for hundreds of years, had almost no ability to resist in the face of the torrent of steel and was crushed to pieces. Ella believed that as long as the council was given sufficient preparation time, it would be impossible to capture that world with the sea of the undead alone. So the lord of the undead must come in his true form. This is the opportunity she has been waiting for. Sure enough, just a few seconds later, she realized that her soul had self-destructed. Although there is no way to transfer memories, because the two worlds are not yet connected. Sometimes death itself is a signal. This means the time has come. Ella, who had been hiding in a foreign land for a long time, finally no longer hid her power. The godhead in the sea of consciousness also fully demonstrated its power. An invisible magic wave spread towards the entire world at the speed of light. 
This divine domain that was gradually dying and on the verge of collapse has regained new vitality. The elements are surging. The wind is roaring. An infinite light is emerging from Ella's body. The light appears and instantly dispels the boundless darkness. More than 100,000 Moko people who were kneeling to pray all showed fanatical expressions and fell to the ground one after another, shouting loudly, Light! This is light! Lord, your generosity is enough to make all things dim. Praise you, great moon god! Amidst the increasingly fanatical shouts, many Moko people vaguely saw the source of light reaching out to them, and a gentle wind blew over their bodies, and an unspeakable joy suddenly surged through them, of body and mind. This must be God blessing them. Countless Moko people thought this way. And in the midst of joy and peace, their souls were pulled out one by one, turning into dots of starlight and blending into the light. The souls of a mere 100,000 believers are nothing. But they can be used as a medium to transform a certain amount of divine power. My name is Elamor, the Lord of the stars, the God of the moon, the creator of the earth and life. Revive, moon god realm. Your master has returned. The clear voice resounded throughout the entire plain. Immediately afterwards, the souls of 100,000 believers turned into bright starlight and spread over the entire divine realm. The withered vegetation and barren land were rapidly recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. Green buds emerged from the soil one after another, and then quickly grew into towering trees. The endless breath of life began to permeate every inch of the land in the God's domain. Whether it was ordinary wild flowers or messy bushes, everything was there. The price skyrocketed under this majestic power of life. In just a few breaths, the entire seat was filled with vitality. Of course, these are just appearances, and everything is the embodiment of divine power. Even so, it still frightens the high-level undead who are stranded in foreign lands. The moon god is back? How dare she? This plane was originally the domain of the moon god. Ella, who had spent several months successfully integrating her godhood, could regain control of it in just an instant as her consciousness gradually spread and merged with the entire plane. Ella also felt that the magic and material in the entire foreign land were rapidly losing. Ever since Diana opened the time and space gates of the two planes, as of today, nearly half of the magic and material in the god's realm has passed away and has become no longer stable. It is precisely because of this that the lord of the undead does not look down upon this world that is destined to collapse. He only wants to capture and dismember it, and replenish the material and energy of this plane to other planes. But Ella doesn't mind it. After all, this is her only chance to step into the realm of God and reverse the unfavorable situation. Even if you can only obtain a weak divine power, you are still a god. The self-vision caused by the ascension ceremony quickly attracted the attention of the Lord of the Dead. And pale chaos descended. Above the sky illuminated by the divine light, a gray breath was circulating. On a higher dimension, a ferocious head extended from the void. Ella is not afraid. The connection between the main world and the eternal star is interrupted. Even gods can only obtain information through the circulation of the divine realm. Only when the time passage on both sides is completely balanced can they communicate with each other. If the true form of the Lord of the Undead comes in person, then she who has just completed her promotion will have no chance of winning. But if only a part of the remaining power wants to run wild in her divine domain, it would be a bit overthinking. A silver crescent moon slowly emerged, bright and cold, with a hint of holiness. Starfire! In a low groan, the full moon behind Ella suddenly exploded, and the divine light that filled the sky immediately turned into endless sparks. And in an instant, the bitten head was burned away. The gray-white mist surged crazily, apparently irritated, and instantly transformed into the shadow of the Lord of the Undead. Ella ignored it and controlled the fire of stars to surge up. Then she put all her energy into sealing those time and space nodes, preparing to cut off the connection between the two worlds in order to buy herself some time. When she completely controls the plane, she will fight to the death with the Lord of the Dead who has eliminated those wizards in this divine domain. A few minutes ago, inside the Eternal Star, under the continuous battles between the two gods, the earth was devastated, rivers dried up, and forests were destroyed. The magnificent mountains turned into bottomless abyss under the erosion of breath of destruction. The earth was covered with shocking lines. Crack. If Lin En hadn't intentionally guided the other party away from the vicinity of the royal capital, this important city of the parliament would have been destroyed long ago. While fighting, Lin En was also quickly familiar with the abilities brought by the new realm. The power of the star god is undoubtedly powerful. Just like his specially named name, he can control all elements in the entire galaxy. 
even involving to the microscopic and high-dimensional fields. Even so, it is not easy to destroy a star. After all, a planet is too big, with a mass of tens of trillions of tons. If nuclear weapons are used alone, even a billion-ton hydrogen bomb can destroy it. The explosion could only shake the surface continental shelf slightly. Of course, if you want to exterminate all life on the entire continent alone, or dismember the planet, there are still ways to do it. Above the sky, gray-white chaos continued to spread. A rich rotten atmosphere shrouded the entire sky, and huge and terrifying shadows surrounded Lin's area. Vicious Banshee. Twisted Corpse Witch. Huge Bone Dragon. They are all the best among the undead legions, and they have manifested themselves under the blessing of divine power. Almost every one of them possesses the legendary power of the Nine Rings. Their form is between matter and energy, and they are extremely difficult to deal with. In a sense, every undead emerging in chaos is part of the Lord of the Undead. The true form of the Lord of the Dead has never appeared before. Obviously, the previous shot of the antimatter sword also made the other party become cautious. Lenin's figure kept flickering, and whether it was the bone dragon's breath or the corpse witch's magic, it penetrated directly from his body. It's like a group of ground troops with no long-range attack methods surrounding a griffin, and the other side can choose to fly up to avoid it at any time. It's just that the spreading chaos is covering all the points he can set foot in in the four-dimensional space. And the space he can escape is getting smaller and smaller. Can I still use this method to locate? Lenin thought to himself that although he was surrounded, his face did not show the slightest fear. It would be better to say that he had actively created this situation. After all, he was not the only one surrounded. The outermost divine realm surrounded the fog of chaos. And the fog of chaos blocked him inside. Forming an inside, outside, and inside structure. It's almost time! Lenin raised his hand and waved several space-time blades, cutting into pieces the approaching skeleton dragons, while fighting the Lord of the Undead and getting familiar with the power. Lin didn't do nothing. He created a motor with arranged elements at the outermost edge of the domain. That's right. A motor that covers an entire continent. Chapter 560 Real Antimatter Destruction Cannon What is a magnetic field? In layman's terms, it is the field that transmits the magnetic force between physical objects. The so-called field is one of the important evidences that high-dimensional space affects low-dimensional space-time. The planet itself is a huge magnet. However, the strength of the magnetic field is not very high overall. But it cannot support the extremely vast range under Lin Un's careful control. On the outermost side of the divine realm, circles of metal elements were arranged in a ring, doing the simplest magnetic line cutting work. Magnetism generates electricity and electricity generates magnetism. They are constantly blending and transforming with each other. The intensity became exaggerated with each increase, and even distorted part of the magnetic field of the eternal star itself to a certain extent. All the creatures in the eternal star have become irritable, especially the creatures and monsters that rely on magnetic fields for positioning. They are scurrying around like headless flies. The huge compass placed inside the royal capital is also constantly beating. Turn around. A terrifying electromagnetic field surrounding the entire continent has quietly formed. The Lord of the Undead naturally sensed such changes. But it was obviously too late to stop him now. It would be better to concentrate all his strength and kill Lin, who was forced to the corner. No matter how powerful the spell is, it cannot pose any threat as long as it is out of control. And Lin's incarnation is not just a projection. It is also the location of his godhead and main soul. Only by forcing oneself into danger, and using it as bait can the Lord of the Undead focus his attention. A large number of undead souls that emerged from the gray-white mist rushed over crazily. Huge heads hung down from the chaos, and the powerful divine power of death shrouded and condensed in the open mouth. At the same moment, Lenin stretched out his hand, faced the incoming sea of undead souls, and shouted loudly, Thunder comes! A strong beam of light shot up into the sky, like a lightning rod, completely tearing apart the pale chaos along with a burst of dazzling thunder. The dazzling white light occupied the entire field of vision, and violent thunder suddenly resounded throughout the world, like the lightning that jumped when the world first opened, or like the brilliance flickering at the core of a star. All the elements in the void were ionized at this moment, and the howling banshees, rotten liches, and ferocious bone dragons were also here. They were all swallowed up in the terrifying thunder created by the planet's magnetic field and the continental motor. The roar of the undead suddenly stopped in an instant, and was replaced by a series of explosions of plasma. The head extending from the chaos also exploded instantly. Lin-In was naturally within the range of the attack, 
But these thunders contained his magic power. So when this incarnation was shattered, his consciousness had also been integrated into the thunder that filled the sky. After completing the ceremony to become a god, Lenin's biggest gain was gaining the ability to control electromagnetic force. As one of the core forces of the universe, the ultimate power that unifies the three basic forces. Its power is self-evident and can almost be said to be the fundamental force that constitutes everything. Although this kind of control is limited, it is enough. The whole world became extremely clear in his eyes. Lin Eng could clearly see the spreading electronic probability cloud, which was occupying the higher dimensional space in the entire area at an extremely fast speed. He also saw Nayuchi, the lord of the undead, a body made of twisted souls. Lenin didn't know how to locate high-dimensional coordinates before, but the Lord of the Dead is undoubtedly a very good teacher. The other party used the power of death to erode his dimensional space. And now Lenin returned it exactly as it was. Like a sharp-eyed fisherman, he tightens the fishing nets around him erratically, gradually driving the nimbly moving fish to the predetermined location. Huge gears reappeared behind them, but they were connected to electromagnetic wires that were no longer made of graphene, but electromagnetic wires that could not be seen at all. These silk threads are intertwined with each other. And at the same time, the huge divine body of the Lord of the Dead is firmly bound from four dimensions. The countless ferocious-looking heads gradually merge together. Obviously, the Lord of the Undead has only one head from beginning to end, and the rest are mirror images projected in different dimensions. It is like placing mirrors of total reflection around him. So what appears in front of him is all false projection. So even if they were all chopped off by the antimatter sword just now, the source was not damaged at all. The Lord of the Dead, who was tightly bound by the electromagnetic force, let out an angry roar, with a hint of fear in his expression. The terrifying divine power of death surged out from the whole body, corroding the magic threads that bound it tightly. However, what is used to maintain the electromagnetic field is the motor covering the entire continent. This energy is huge enough even for a god. The two constantly blend and offset each other. Click. A slight muffled sound reached Lin's ears but there was a gap in the gear connected to the electromagnetic wire behind him. Not only that, the gap was expanding all the time. Lennon's expression changed slightly. He did not expect that even billions of tons of high pressure would not be enough to completely suppress the opponent. Fortunately, as the body of the Lord of the Undead was bound, the high-dimensional coordinates that had been changing all the time finally became fixed. The game fish is caught in the net, and Lin's harpoon is ready. Incomparably strong light condensed in Lennon's palm and then blasted directly towards the bound Lord of the Dead. The moment the latter sensed the danger, they had already made the maximum counterattack, and nearly 70% of the death power was mobilized. The necromantic magic, Breath of Destruction, emerges again. Attack is always the best defense. The flying, Breath of Destruction, had the absolute upper hand, crushing the light beams layer by layer in an almost crushing manner. However, this beam of light is only a pipe to accommodate the passage of antimatter, and a diaphragm to prevent the antimatter inside from contacting the normal matter in the void in advance. After about 0.01 seconds, it penetrates the beam and collides with the breath of destruction. Due to the continental motor created by Lin In, this space was filled with a large number of electrons. After the antimatter rushed out of the light beam and came into contact with these electrons, the annihilation of matter and antimatter began. The spread speed of antimatter cannon is slower than that of light, but its power is hundreds of times higher. That is a destructive power more powerful than the power of death. And the truth of the mutual transformation of matter and energy. The gray-white, breath of destruction, was quickly crushed in reverse. This antimatter cannon, which seemed to break through time and space, quickly bombarded the huge body of the Lord of the Dead. The sky above the continent erupted with light tens of thousands of times more dazzling than the sun. The terrifying current began to dissipate in all directions along the trajectory of the antimatter cannon. At this moment, a strong quantum tide appeared in the nearby space. The vacuum was broken, and the orbit of the entire planet shifted slightly by tens of meters. Everything lost its meaning under such a terrifying energy explosion. The body of the Lord of the Dead was rapidly dissolving and disintegrating. For the first time, he, known as the Controller of Death, felt the feeling of approaching death. No! Don't even think about killing me! Unforgivable native! You will definitely pay the price! I curse your faith to collapse! Your soul will cease to exist. Accompanied by waves of curses, the Lord of the Undead had already decided to retreat because the electromagnetic wire that bound him was also destroyed by the bombardment of the antimatter cannon. Now he is free again. 
Although his divine body will be completely destroyed by the annihilation energy in another 0.3 seconds. For a god, this time is enough time to do something. For example, transfer the godhead. However, the next moment, the Lord of the Undead was horrified to find that he was completely cut off from the cracks in time and space. Which bastard is this? Which bastard secretly closed the space-time rift he opened? The Lord of the Undead became more and more crazy. But before he had time to curse, the huge divine body completely collapsed. A strange polygonal crystal lost its protection and was suspended in the void. But compared to what Lennon had seen before the moon godhead is much larger, and the interior is filled with chaos. The godhood that had previously remained indestructible under close-range nuclear explosions was now bombarded by antimatter cannons. It exploded. The godhead is undoubtedly the source of power for a god. And it is also the most important thing. The destruction of the godhead often means the fall of the god. The remaining antimatter cannons flew straight into the distance and rushed into the space-time rift that was about to close. The horrific explosion lasted for several hours before it gradually subsided. When the aftermath completely dissipated, Lennon's figure reappeared, with a hint of fear remaining on his face. He was too close just now and almost killed himself. There was a huge hole in the divine domain, and even the ozone layer of the planet was affected. Lin looked up at the sky. A large number of cosmic rays flew in from the broken hole. Next time, you must direct the battlefield to other places. No matter what, you cannot start a war in your own world. The damage will be too serious. Lin and couldn't help but sigh. The entire area where he was, with a radius of 10 kilometers, had completely disappeared. It's not a scene of scorched earth like after a nuclear explosion, but it's completely turned into energy and evaporated. And it's a mess even further away. But what he is more concerned about now is the survival of the Lord of the Dead. The last words of the soul spoken by the other party resounded in Lennon's mind, making him quite concerned. So for a while, he was not sure whether the other party really died under his antimatter cannon. There is no breath of the Lord of the Dead in this world. Lin in pondered, and suddenly realized that there seemed to be something more in his divine realm. After some investigation, Lin's face suddenly showed a bit of joy. This turned out to be the death law of the Lord of the Dead. Chapter 561 The law is the law of a different universe. It seems that the Lord of the Undead has died. Lin raised his hand, and a pale chaos condensed in his palm. Everything he touched was disappearing, and it seemed that even his soul could be erased. It seems that one of his antimatter cannons indeed destroyed the Lord of the Undead spirit and form, even destroying his godhead. That's why the other party's priesthood remained and was integrated into his own divine domain. After some experiments, Lin guessed that this so-called law should be a law, just like the speed of light, the gravitational constant, and the mutual annihilation of matter and antimatter. It is one of the basic frameworks that constitute a plane. It just belongs to the laws of another universe and the power he gets is only equivalent to a seed. It erodes matter and energy very slowly, and it can only be used within his own divine domain. Obviously, the basic rules of the two universes are not exactly the same. Lin suspected that after the Lord of the Dead arrived in this world, the power he could use would be greatly reduced. This was one of the most important reasons why he could defeat the other party. If it were the other way around, and he entered the divine realm of the Lord of the Dead, he would probably have little chance of winning. After probably experimenting with the transformation of the divine power of death, Lin began to deal with the battlefield, especially the hole in the ozone layer above, which was better to be dealt with as soon as possible. Otherwise, those dangerous cosmic rays can easily pass through the atmosphere and continuously deteriorate the ecological environment of the eternal star. This kind of work of mending the sky is not too difficult for Lin now. Ozone surrounding the entire planet is composed of three oxygen atoms, which is the most basic chemical equation. The only difficulty was that the damage to the entire ozone layer was quite large. In addition, the battle with the Lord of the Dead had just caused a lot of damage. Lenin worked hard for more than half an hour before finally completing the important task of mending the sky. At the same time, Harav and others on the other side were anxiously waiting for the result of the battle. Because the aftermath of the battle between the two gods was so terrifying. The terrifying power could be felt even from a distance of more than 50 kilometers. So no one dared to get close. Even the several speakers, who were legendary wizards. I didn't dare to go to observe this battle. And I was even more worried about being used as a breakthrough and affecting Lin An's performance. The civilians in the royal capital huddled at home and shivered. The scene of such changes in the sky and the earth was completely beyond their understanding. The changes in the planet's magnetic field made all living beings become irritable and restless. As if the whole world was in the next second. It will be broken into pieces. 
Is this a battle between gods? Harav sighed and said. When he first broke through the legend, he thought that this was the limit that life could reach. He even felt a sense of arrogance in his heart, thinking that all legends were just ants. And no matter how many they were, they were not worth mentioning. But now I know that the so-called legends are nothing more than ants in front of God. Standing on the city wall, Vittorio and others used farsighted magic to gaze at the post-war scene. They also expressed the same emotion. Every blow Lin and fought against the Lord of the Undead was far more destructive. It is stronger than the most powerful magic they have. Even a nuclear explosion is quite inferior. The battle should be over now. Right. I don't know who won. Aurora said worriedly when she saw that the aftermath of the battle had not spread for more than ten minutes. I think it should be good news. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to stand here. Vittorio said optimistically. The reason is simple. Once the Lord of the Undead wins, there is a high probability that the other party will come and kill them all in the next step. Now that they are still alive and everything is safe and sound, that is the best news. Harab nodded, and the worried look on his face suddenly eased a lot, but he was not completely relieved. Because of the same reason, if Len In wins, he can reach him in an instant with the opponent's speed. How about we go and take a look together? Aurora said thoughtfully. This was related to the fate of the entire world. She couldn't feel at ease without confirmation for a moment. Harav held an opposing opinion. After all, their power could not affect the outcome of the battle at all. Waiting here was the right thing to do. While several people were arguing, a strong pressure suddenly emerged, and then a gray-white beam of light was projected from the sky. Everyone present became nervous instantly, because this divine realm filled with death is the symbol of the Lord of the Dead. However, what few people expected was that a figure that was quite familiar to them came out of it. Speaker Lin? Harav said in surprise. He did not doubt that this was a trick played by the Lord of the Dead. After all, the other party could easily crush them to death. Vittorio even laughed and stepped forward to pat Lin on the shoulder. I knew you would definitely win this divine battle. Um, the feel was the same as before. And Vittorio was a little surprised. He thought that after Lin and was promoted, he would become an indescribable thing like Artok and the Lord of the Undead. Lin calmly moved Vittorio's hand away. Just as the other party thought, he has now completed the transformation from a low-dimensional to a high-dimensional form, let alone a human. He can no longer even use it to describe it as a creature. However, this descended incarnation is still made of elements. As long as he wants to, he can do everything that ordinary creatures can do. Staying in this body will help him maintain emotional stability and not change due to the lack of hormones. Have to become more and more indifferent. By the way, how is the Lord of the Dead? Aurora asked this most important question. In fact, what they were more curious about was the course of this battle and how Lin In defeated the Lord of the Undead. Lin In didn't mean to hide it and even told the battle process roughly. It's really a crazy idea to use the entire Eternal Star as a magnet and the continent under your feet as a motor. After listening to Lin's story, Harav was speechless for a moment. Aurora and Vittorio were also shocked by Lin's handiwork. He could actually think of using the planet's magnetic field as a weapon. No wonder it could explode with such powerful energy. They are also very interested in what Lin and said about antimatter. The annihilation of matter and antimatter can actually convert and release energy with 100% efficiency. This can only be described as an exaggeration. However, it is not easy to obtain this thing. It requires the use of a high-speed particle collider, and the output is very rare. Only by stepping into the realm of God can one mimic antimatter with divine power. In short, I destroyed the body and divine head of the Lord of the Dead, and also took away his priesthood. If he can survive this way, then there is nothing I can do, Lenin said with a smile. Harav and others were immediately relieved. Divine body, divine personality, and priesthood should be extremely important things to gods. It can be said that except for the divine domain, Lenin has given everything to the Lord of the Dead. Destroyed, no matter how you think about it, there will no longer be the slightest chance of life. It seems that there is no need for the God of life and creation to take action. We can solve this problem with our own strength. A slight smile appeared on Aurora's face. The crow that flew over from the other side of the space-time gate blew the Lord of the Undead away, frightening them to death. Lin and shook his head. The Lord of the Dead was not weak. He just left the God's domain and came to this big universe. It was good to be able to exert one-third of his power. As the crow said, leaving the divine realm is extremely dangerous for a god and I think the god of life and creation has already taken action. Lennon's face showed a bit of solemnity. He looked up and saw that the space-time rift there had been closed at some point. 
Not only that, several space-time gates scattered across the entire continent have also been closed. Is it just that this situation is obviously different from what the Star Messenger said? Or is it that the other party's way to help them fight against the Lord of the Dead is to close the time and space gate? If he had not found a way to break through the realm of God, even if he faced a Lord of the Dead who had lost his energy supply, he would not have the slightest chance of winning. On the contrary, it seems more like the other party hopes to trap the Lord of Death in this world and then take the opportunity to do something. Lennon's heart felt vaguely uneasy. And then he suddenly seemed to have thought of something and cast his gaze to a certain place. His brows suddenly furrowed and he spoke immediately. I have some things that I need to take a step forward. If there are any other questions, we can discuss them later in the conference room of the royal capital. After the words fell, Lennon stepped in and disappeared in front of everyone. Harav was very surprised to see Lin in in such a hurry. Now that they had defeated the Lord of the Undead, and the door to time and space had been closed. What else needed to be done so urgently? Let's get this good news out first, Aurora reminded. The impact of this battle was too wide. It is estimated that the entire kingdom has been affected. Beyond that, there's a lot of aftermath to deal with. On the other side, Linen stepped out of the palace in the royal capital, walked directly through the courtyard, and came to the room. At first glance, Lin looked at the cage placed on the table. The entire cage was safe and sound, but the crow inside was missing. Mudo also rushed over immediately, circling Lin in, looking at Reeved. It had not yet learned the common language, so it could only keep making gestures with its two front paws, making a flying motion, drawing a big circle in front of itself, and then suddenly spread out. In this way, it means that it is not that the guard was not in a good position, but that the crow exploded on its own. Chapter 562 Mathematical Olympiad and the God of Knowledge? I don't mean to blame you. Mudo. Lin patted Mudo's head, comforting the aggrieved beast, and then suddenly stretched out his hand and pointed in the direction of the cage. An invisible magic wave spread rapidly in all directions. And then the elements in the air surged and began to arrange and reorganize spontaneously. On the ground, the chair that had been overturned by the self-destruction air wave stood up again and the pages that fell on the ground returned to their original positions, followed by a surging air wave surging in the room. Mutuo's copper bell-sized eyes widened, and he looked at the scene in front of him in disbelief. This was exactly the shock wave caused by the Black Crow's self-destruction. But now, it was restored to its original form, as if time went back. Of course, this is not a true reversal of time. Lennon can't do such an exaggerated thing yet. He is just recreating what happened in the God's domain. After all, all the elements in the entire continent are part of him. It can be said that everything is produced in his body. So it is not difficult to recreate what happened an hour ago. Stop! Lenin suddenly said. And the whole scene was frozen in place, as if the pause button had been pressed. In the cage, a crow has condensed into shape, and is maintaining the posture of spreading its wings and soaring. The dazzling starlight is blooming from the body. This kind of starlight made Len feel extremely familiar. And he couldn't help but think of an old acquaintance in his mind, Ella, who once controlled this continent and posed a great threat to them. After escaping to a foreign land, the other party suddenly disappeared. After that, he kept thinking about the Lord of the Undead and delayed it. Even though he had confirmed with the Lich before that the God of Life and Creation was a real God, Lin still couldn't help but doubt that this star messenger was really sent by the so-called God of Life and Creation. Of, Lenin thought about it and waved his hand to continue to reverse the pause time. The Black Crow gradually tightened from its spread-out form, and let out a clear crow. Then it lowered its head, and closed its eyes without any movement. Lennon didn't do much research on animal language, and he couldn't analyze the meaning the other party wanted to express based on this sound. The crow that reappeared in the cage was just a polymer of magic power without a soul. The starlight was just a mimic, unable to reproduce its essence, let alone ask questions. That's it. Lennon stretched out his hand, and snapped his fingers. And the black crow was immediately reduced to its most basic elements. Since it was not certain for the time being, he was not prepared to spend too much energy here. Whether it's the plan of the God of Life and Creation or Ella's secret tricks, as long as you are strong enough, you don't have to worry too much. Lin sighed and stretched out his hand, and a strange crystal appeared in his palm, attracting Mudo's attention almost instantly. It seemed to be the most exquisite creation in the world. It was constantly changing its shape in the void. Each crystal surface was glowing with a faint golden light. There was something vaguely flashing inside like runes or something. Special symbols. Mudo stared for a while, then felt a little dizzy. 
and countless complicated formulas instantly poured into his mind. Maxwell's equations, Fourier transform, Euler's formula, Piano's axioms. Mudo let out a painful cry, and his whole body rolled under the table with a bang, unable to hide out. For it, learning is a very scary thing, far more difficult than sunbathing, eating, digesting, and sleeping. Lin Ying glanced at Mu Tua helplessly through the table. He had tried various methods before, but failed to make him learn well. This was obviously a waste of talent, so he could only use this method of forced indoctrination. With only strength but no knowledge, it would be good to be able to exert 30% to 40% of the strength. The clergy of the church at the time were easily defeated by them because they suffered from lack of culture. The strange crystal in front of him was naturally his quantized brain since he time-traveled, and it was entangled with his soul in a strange way. As for why this happened, was it a miracle, a conspiracy, or an act of kindness? Lennon didn't know and didn't have the slightest clue. But judging from the facts, the probability of the former was higher. After all, his ability is by no means outstanding in the entire Federation. With the technological level of the Federation, it is impossible to quantize his brain into his soul and then project himself to eternity who knows how many light years away. On the star, this obviously makes no sense at all. Therefore, Lin never spent too much attention on this. The only concern was that the brain was a creation of the Federation after all and obeyed the laws of the Earth. If he hadn't already arrived on another planet, and the electromagnetic wave signal of the intelligent brain could not be transmitted at all. And he used the sophistry of Aliens have no human rights to deceive the situation under control. I'm afraid he would have to consider it every time he did something. Compliance with federal law. So after breaking through the divine realm and possessing the ability to interfere with the microscopic world, the first thing Len and did was to take out this thing. And with the help of this deep connection in the soul, he modified the underlying code of the intelligent brain. He made it his own godhead and obtained a law based on the laws of the foreign land. Lin named it the Mathematical Olympiad. For example, when he was fighting the Lord of the Undead, the gears that appeared were the embodiment of the law, using the exponential multiplication law. As for other corresponding usages, they are still being explored for the time being. Lin In is still very satisfied with this priesthood, because mathematics has a very wide scope of application. And theoretically everything can be presented in the form of mathematics. It can be said that this is the best tool to explain and apply the laws of the universe. In the next few days, although the war against foreign lands has subsided, the wizards in the entire magic kingdom have not stopped. After all, the scope of the divine war was too large. Many giant mountains were leveled, lakes were evaporated, and several railways were disrupted. Even Lin Ang couldn't use magic to restore it, because the destroyed area spread for hundreds of kilometers and created several deep pits with a depth of more than 200 meters. The energy required to fill them was incalculable, so it could only be roughly estimated. After building a stone bridge, the rest of the work will be left to the wizards. Most of the hundreds of thousands of kingdom troops gathered in the north have withdrawn. More than 30,000 people died in this battle. Most of the casualties occurred after the withdrawal of Harif, Aurora, and Vittorio. More than five legends and a large number of undead elites rushed out of the time and space gate at once. Anthony alone and the 15 Sunfire Cannons could not destroy them quickly so they were forced to engage in dangerous close combat. Fortunately, as the time and space gate was closed, the Lord of the Dead was also killed by Lin in beheading. These legendary undead souls suddenly shriveled up, and were finally wiped out by a few sunfire cannons. Another person who made great contributions was Lydia. She piloted a fighter plane to lure away a legendary skeleton dragon alone, and delayed it until the end of the entire war. With the support of the rest of the parliament, she successfully captured a legendary creature alive, super undead. On the third day after the war, a new round of wizards meeting was held in the royal capital. Lin In was undoubtedly the last one to arrive, but he immediately attracted the attention of the members of the House of Representatives. After all, they all know that this magic star has crossed the level of legend and reached a new realm. A true god. Thinking of this, Raphael and others couldn't help but become a little embarrassed. But Lin In did not have any change in attitude due to the improvement of life level. Apart from replacing Harav and taking the main seat. Everything was as usual. Don't be too restrained. I think you should have a lot of questions you want answered. You can ask them now. Lin glanced around and said straightforwardly. Everyone present looked at each other. And a bold wizard took the lead in asking. Speaker Lin, I want to know what God is. You can understand it as a higher dimensional life form. Lin replied succinctly. Dimension? 
Raphael pondered for a while. Someone had mentioned this concept before when introducing quantum theory. Yes. The space we live in actually does not only have three dimensions, length, width, and height, but also has higher dimensions. All the matter and energy we see are just projections of high latitudes. Lenin explained said. Then what should we call you now? A great wizard said hesitantly. God of wizards? After hearing this question, Lin also paused. She had never thought about this problem before. Based on his priesthood, maybe he can be called the god of mathematics, the god of Olympiads, or the god of knowledge? Lenin finally shook his head and said casually, God is just a title. If you like, you can also call it an astral wizard or a high-dimensional life form. Ella, who was just a legend at the beginning, was also called a god by the people of the empire. Do you need to rely on faith and believers to increase your power now? Aurora asked solemnly. Both Ella and the Lord of the Dead have a large number of believers under their command. No, it's not necessary. Lin shook his head. This is also the biggest difference between him and Ella and the Lord of the Dead. Gods and believers have a master-slave, servile relationship, with the former completely dominating the latter. But Lin doesn't like this. Not only may it lead to dissatisfaction and resistance, it can also easily stifle the creativity of believers and lacks tolerance. Therefore, gods often do not deal with each other very much because of the disputes of faith related to the source of power. And his magic network system is obviously much gentler. Adopting the concepts of exchange, cooperation, and win-win. So he doesn't need to worry about the purity of his faith. Let alone the collapse of his faith. Chapter 563 Moon Landing Plan Since many wizards were very interested in this new realm, Lin briefly described some of God's characteristics and non-confidential information. The entire wizard's promotion system is now obvious. Formal wizard preliminary mastery of magic. Able to control some elements and promote simple chemical reactions. Grand wizard controls force fields. Owns domains. Can control most elements. And complete complex chemical reactions. The legendary wizard completes the transformation from carbon-based life to energy life. Can control. Decompose and mimic all elements, and further expands his own domain, which can cover an entire city to the extreme. Obviously, all of this is to condense the divine personality, descend to the divine realm, and prepare for becoming a god. Quantum. Dimension. Law. Harab murmured the three key points of becoming a god in Lenin's words, with a burning light shining in his pupils. Since breaking through to the legendary realm, they have lost the direction of progress for a while. How to go next? and how to continue to improve have undoubtedly become the most important problems that trouble them. Now Lin's description of the realm of God has undoubtedly become the best reference. The other wizards were also talking about it. But they were still far from exploring the realm of God. So the most discussed issues were about quantum theory. Now that Lin has successfully broken through, it means that the magic star's microscopic theory is absolutely correct. It seems that the foundation of magic needs to be demolished and rebuilt, even if they no longer want to believe it. Jeffrey. Arad, Sanchez and a few others have to admit that the truth may really play dice. After all, the facts are right in front of them. By the way, what happened to the dragon you captured? Did anything come out from torture? Lenin suddenly thought of the giant skeletal dragon captured alive by the council, which was also one of the biggest gains of this war. As a subordinate of the Lord of the Undead and a legendary level high level undead, the other party should know a lot of information. That bone dragon is very honest. Basically, it answers whatever we ask. Vittorio replied with a shrug, probably realizing that the Lord of the Undead was dead. Winter Dragon, Varric was more cowardly than expected. He just surrendered before he could use any interrogation methods. He had no intention of resisting at all, and even expressed it as willing to turn from darkness to light and turn to believe in their god. Could this be a trap? Aurora asked slightly worriedly. Logically speaking, the other party should be a devout believer in the Lord of the Dead. How could he be so cooperative? Surrender so easily? And be willing to change his faith? It shouldn't be possible. Vittorio said confidently. Dragon of Winter, Varric said a lot of things. For example, the Lord of the Undead's method of creating believers is very direct. He leaves a mark on their souls through the ritual of killing creatures and transforming their bodies. With this deep hierarchical links to control believers. So those undead are not really loyal to the Lord of the Undead, but rather resentful? Aurora said unexpectedly. That's not entirely true. Low-level undead have no ability to resist the other party's control. But many high-level undead are voluntarily transformed into undead in order to gain more power. Vittorio explained. Hearing this, 
the wizards present were stunned. They voluntarily gave up their lives and became undead in pursuit of more powerful power. This can only be described as crazy. However, Harav and others can understand that. Strictly speaking, they are no longer human beings. And their bodies are only mimicked by elements. On the surface, they are no different from other carbon-based organisms. But in fact, their inner life levels are already earlier, already transformed. Whether it is true or false, I will look for it to confirm it, Lenin said succinctly. Without God's protection, it is not difficult to search the memory of a legend with his own ability. Besides this, did the Skull Dragon say anything else? Was there anything about the main world? Lenin asked again. This was the thing that concerned him the most. It's basically the same as what the Star Messenger said. The total number of gods in the main world probably exceeds a hundred. Vittorio said solemnly. The Lord of the Dead is not very powerful among these gods. He is a god with medium divine power. After leaving the divine domain and coming to this world, he could only display weak divine power. On top of this, there are powerful divine powers, great divine powers, and the main god who can form a god system. Lenin also frowned. Unlike the moon god Diana who took the initiative to leave the main world and died here inexplicably, the lord of the undead's divine domain is still in the main world. After its death, the divine domain will inevitably be divided up and robbed. Maybe there will be new gods taking notice of this universe. Those gods are not monolithic and may not be without the possibility of differentiation. Harav reminded, the fall of the lord of the dead should be able to demonstrate part of their strength and make the gods of the main world dare not act rashly. They may choose to cooperate with some gods and fight against each other. What happened to the star messenger? He should be surprised that you killed the lord of the dead. Right. Harab asked with a smile. Since the god of life and creation took the initiative to send an envoy here, he could try to win over the other party. That crow is dead. To be precise, it blew itself up. Lin shook his head, interrupted Harab's fantasy, and roughly described the scene he saw using magic to go back in time. Harab and the others were shocked and soon realized something was wrong. It seems that this matter should be related to Ella, Vittorio said with great confidence. After all, the other party is undoubtedly the biggest winner in this battle. The entire foreign land has been in the hands of the Lord of the Dead before, which is undoubtedly a huge threat to Ella who fled there, and she is the only one who knows the locations of all time and space gates. Vittorio even suspected that the Lord of the Undead was deliberately attracted by the other party in order to avenge the council for driving her out of the world. Lin also nodded, agreeing with Vittorio's guess, which was exactly what he thought. Speaker Lin, I wonder if you can now locate a foreign land and open the space-time door to two places, like the Lord of the Dead? Aurora asked in a deep voice, but was put aside by Ella. She naturally, he was very unhappy and angry. If you can locate a foreign land and inflict some hate on the opponent, for example, throw all the remaining nuclear weapons reserves of the parliament over and let Ella experience the taste of nuclear baptism. You can relieve your anger. I already have some clues about the establishment of the space-time gate, which should be related to the quantum entanglement effect. But further experiments are needed, Lin explained. As for locating foreign lands, I have no choice. If his split soul is still there, maybe he can find the coordinates of a foreign land through this soul connection. But it's not, okay, now. That's really an advantage for her, Harav said helplessly. Since he couldn't locate the foreign land, he could only postpone the matter of dealing with Ella. Lin shook his head, ignored the topic, turned to look at Raphael and the others, and asked, Have the remnants of the church and the empire done anything these days? Although the entire continent has become a divine domain, the area is too large. His mental power is limited, and he cannot cover everything. Unless something big happens or someone calls his name, he can sense it and project his consciousness. There are indeed many remnants of the church who want to take advantage of the opportunity to cause chaos in the past few days. But they obviously did not expect that we could solve the invasion of the undead from other lands so quickly. So they have all been dealt with, Raphael explained with a smile. Then paused. His expression became more serious. And he spoke again. Lord Speaker, do you still remember that foreign native? The halfling prisoner who was imprisoned? What happened to him? Lin certainly remembered this. After Raphael and others entered the foreign land through the time and space gate, they captured a prisoner and the psychic wizards extracted a lot of information from his mind. Since the war against the foreign land has ended, and since he is a civilian without the ability to cast spells and cannot cause any trouble, the parliament is considering whether to release him after ideological reform. 
The wizard who was guarding him reported that the halfling prisoner has been performing routine prayers in recent days. Raphael said hesitantly. Isn't he a believer of Diana? The god of the moon? There's nothing strange about that. Right. Arad didn't care. It's not that simple. Raphael shook his head and then looked at everyone present. I wonder if any of you have felt that there is something unusual about the recent moon. Moon? The wizards present were stunned for a moment, some not quite understanding what Raphael meant. According to the observations of some wizards who study astronomy, the brightness of the moon has been very obvious in the past few days, and it has also triggered a very strong magic tide. This usually only occurs on Sundays, and this situation continues to intensify. Raphael explained. Lenin raised his eyebrows. These days, he was busy studying the laws of mathematics and had no intention of paying attention to the brightness changes of the moon. As for the magic tide, Lenin certainly felt it, but he thought it was his antimatter cannon that shook the eternity. The orbit of the star has some consequences. Is it Ella? Harav immediately stood up from his seat. He did not forget that one of the church's titles for Ella was the god of the moon. When they attacked the holy city, there was even a strange sight of the sun and the moon in the sky. It seems we need to go and take a look in person. Lenin thought for a while and immediately said, Chapter 564 This is not the moon. It is a dead god. So you are planning to fly to the moon to confirm? Vittorio looked at Lin and said in surprise, Harav, Aurora and Anthony are also very interested in Lin's moon landing plan. At their current life level, they no longer need oxygen to maintain body functions and can survive even in a vacuum. However, so far, Harav and others have never really left the eternal star under their feet. So they are some movement. Not bad. Lin nodded. The size of the moon is very small compared to the eternal star. According to the estimates of some astronomical wizards, it is only about one fiftieth. But for living beings, it is extremely huge, with a mass of hundreds of billions of tons. It will also affect the tides, atmosphere, rotation and ecology of the eternal star. If this satellite is controlled by the enemy, it will be like having a sword of Damocles suspended above the head, and it will be threatened at all times. However, how to go to the moon is something that requires careful planning. The departure time and route must be planned based on the rotation of the eternal star, the revolution of the moon, and their flight speed. After all, the straight-line distance between the two planets is more than 400,000 kilometers. Even if the whole journey is flown at twice the speed of sound, it will take 200 hours, which is eight and a half days. If the route is deviated midway, then we don't know how long it will take. Lennon's speed was several times faster than Harav and others. If he were alone, he could arrive within a day. However, Lin In did not refute everyone's interest and quickly decided after some discussion. Said departure time for tomorrow evening. After the most important things were resolved, the focus of the next meeting was the next development and construction of the kingdom. After the major construction in the past few years, the magic kingdom has begun to take shape. The parliament has built various infrastructure facilities such as train stations, magic base stations, and civilian colleges in every major city. The next step is to continue to expand to villages and towns. It is expected that it will take 10 years to complete the initial magicization process of the kingdom. This large-scale project can also play a role in poverty alleviation and promoting the development of commodity economy. With the civilians working hard and the parliament paying wages, each magic workshop can successfully sell the various goods produced, thus forming a positive cycle, as long as sufficient food and materials can be ensured. The entire kingdom will be able to can develop at an extremely fast speed. However, Lenin still felt that the expected 10 years was too long, and planned to develop some constructive magic and personally assist in the construction of some major projects to further shorten the time. A few hours later, the wizard meeting came to an end. Almost every council member was assigned a task. Now is the time when the kingdom is developing rapidly. There is a shortage of manpower everywhere. Even high-status council members cannot be idle. With, in fact, no one dares to sit there because the kingdom and parliament have changed so much in recent years. And if you don't pay attention, you will be far behind the times. Now the number of great wizards in the kingdom has exceeded 200, and the threshold for becoming a formal member is gradually increasing. In the past, even a three-ring wizard could be nominated as long as he could make enough achievements. Now the minimum you have to become a great wizard to reach the threshold. Therefore, those congressmen who have not completed the breakthrough or whose breakthrough has failed are worried, fearing that they will be kicked out. Tick is one of them. Because he was selected to join the foreign exploration team, he temporarily delayed the promotion of the Grand Wizard. 
It was only when he submitted the application two days ago that he discovered that this year alone, there are 500 third level people. The wizard is planning to use the computing power of the magic network to complete the breakthrough. Even if he queues up one a day, it will take him a year and a half. Many great wizards of the sixth ring have also submitted applications for promotion to legends because they all know that the number of speakers cannot be increased without limit. Otherwise, it will violate the original intention of the parliament to establish this position. Maybe in the future, the position of speaker will require eight the ring and even the nine ring wizard came to take charge. These application letters were all gathered into Lennon's hands. The number of people was unexpectedly large. Apart from letting them line up slowly and using the exam to eliminate some people who could not meet the promotion standards in advance. There was nothing else to do. Method. Although the computing power of the magic network seems to be sufficient, it has to supply tens of thousands of wizards to cast spells. And at the same time, it has to use a large amount of computing power to assist promotion. And it also has to set aside part of it to deal with possible threats. In comparison, Harab and others felt much more relaxed. All the things that should be arranged have been arranged. The only thing to do is to prepare for tomorrow's moon landing. Anthony, the most junior person, stayed to take charge of the overall situation. So as to avoid the parliament being leaderless and suffering heavy casualties when some emergencies occurred. The day passed by in a blink of an eye. Since the moon landing was only announced within the parliament, it did not cause too many waves. Only some astrological prophecies and wizards from the astronomical school paid great attention to it. Yolanda was the most enthusiastic and even asked if he could take a few more people up there. Obviously, he wanted to see the moon with his own eyes. Not this time. There might be a fight. And I might not be able to take care of you then. Lin and shook his head and refused bluntly. It's okay to say that the legends of Harav at least have the ability to survive in the universe. But Yolanda is different. Once out of his protection, he may not be able to hold on for even a few minutes. And his lungs will explode. The relatively quick and humane way to die. Yolanda was quite sorry. But he didn't force it. He just watched the several speakers fly into the sky with energy. The moon! Yolanda looked at the bright and twinkling stars in the night sky. According to Speaker Lin, each starlight represents a star or even an entire galaxy. There may also be a kingdom, a church or a star on it. Wizard, while Yolanda and others were thinking about it, Harav, Aurora and Vittorio had already flown to an altitude of 10,000 meters, penetrating the troposphere. But the distance ahead was completely out of the atmosphere of the eternal star. There is still quite a long way to go. As the altitude climbed rapidly, a hint of fear appeared in the hearts of Harav and others. This was not timidity, but the fear of completely leaving the planet they lived on and going to the endless void. In the vast universe, direction, speed and time seem to have lost their meaning. After flying out of the ionosphere, this feeling becomes more obvious. Harab didn't even know whether he was flying or how fast he was flying because Aurora and Vittorio beside him were almost the same speed as him and there was no reference object or wind resistance. The three of them seemed to be floating aimlessly in the void of the universe. A few of them had a better understanding of the concepts of relative speed and relative distance in quantum theory. Is this the eternal star? Aurora turned around, looked at the huge and magnificent planet below, and used electromagnetic waves to convey messages with emotion. Harav and Mitorio are no exception. Even though they have seen the face of the planet in this small universe, they are still stunned by the magnificence and grandeur of the eternal star. The entire planet is blue. And most of the area as far as the eye can see is the ocean. And you can vaguely see the islands dotted above it. In the center of the ocean, there is a continent that occupies one third of the area in the field of vision. This is the area where the kingdom is located. It is shrouded in thin clouds. The green part is the forest. The yellow part is the desert. And the white snow. It turns out that this is the whole world they live in. A unique star of life. In addition to the continent where the kingdom is located, there are actually several other smaller landmasses on this planet. But they are not on the side they can see now. Recently, the parliament has sent people to explore. Judging from the latest news, only some indigenous people with extremely low civilized levels were found. Combined with the records and church materials, thousands of years ago, people on this continent also existed in the form of tribes. It has to be said that the moon goddess from a foreign land and the magical system she brought have greatly improved this the degree of civilization of life on the planet. Okay, let's wait and see when we get back. We'll have plenty of time then, Lenin said with a smile. He had been a spaceship pilot for a period of time in his previous life. He had seen similar scenes many times. So he was very satisfied. Adapt. 
probably because of its magic power and lack of pollution. The eternal star looks much more beautiful than the Earth, with an almost dreamy beauty that makes people intoxicated. By the way, Speaker Lin, how is our talk? Vittorio suddenly thought of his colleague who had turned into a quantum form and kept asking, now that Lin In has broken through to the divine realm and has the ability to interfere in higher dimensions, he might be able to rescue Altok. It's a pity that it's too late. I went to the wizard's land a few days ago. His consciousness has completely dissipated. And even the realm has signs of disintegration. Lenin said helplessly. If I could complete the breakthrough a month or two earlier, maybe the other party could still be saved. But now I'm afraid they are about to be assimilated. Hearing this, Harav and others were silent for a while and couldn't help but sigh after a long time. However, this result was not beyond their expectations. Even being promoted to a legend has many risks. Not to mention the ceremony of becoming a god. It is extremely dangerous to attempt to control a power far beyond one's ability. There was a long silence after that. This bad news made the three of them feel a little depressed. And no one else spoke during the rest of the journey. Flying in the vast universe is undoubtedly boring. All the novelty is consumed within a few days. And what is left is endless dark space. After an unknown amount of time, the planet beneath her feet became smaller and smaller. Aurora became a little impatient and began to vaguely wonder if she was in the wrong place. Harav suddenly spoke. Look! It's the moon! It's coming towards us! Several people immediately looked towards the direction Harav was pointing. A silver-gray dot was slowly approaching, and its size gradually became larger as the distance increased. Just as they had calculated before, the moon's size was the revolution will happen to arrive in front of them. This is... Lin In, who was also looking at this scene had a solemn expression, because in a higher dimensional vision, this was not a planet at all, but a corpse the body of the dead moon god. Chapter 565 Sword Cuts the Moon Mobius Barrier What's wrong? Speaker Lin? Aurora looked at Lin, whose expression suddenly changed, and asked in confusion. Although sound cannot be heard in a vacuum, as legends, they can still communicate through electromagnetic wave communication and the language of the soul. Lin and didn't speak but connected them into the magic network. Harav and others looked at the speeding moon again, feeling chilled in their hearts. They saw an unimaginably large female corpse, shrouded in starlight and floating in the void of the universe. The opponent's state is a bit similar to Altok, but the coverage area of the probability cloud is countless times larger, covering the entire moon. The most eye-catching thing is that a huge hole opened in the chest of the female corpse, almost tearing the entire body in half. This is undoubtedly the moon goddess Diana. Lin and understood instantly. It seemed that Diana, the god of the moon, came to this universe for the first time. Not on the eternal star, but on the moon. The other party first took the time to control and assimilate the satellite, and then stepped into the eternal star, where he created several portals and prepared to further expand the divine domain to this planet with life. In fact, he was able to complete the ascension ceremony within a few days thanks to the preparations made by the moon goddess Diana. It took him years to pour a large amount of magic into the world, saving himself some complicated steps. Of course, due to Lin's limited mental power, he was only in charge of a continent for the time being, not an entire planet, or plane, like Diana. Is this the cause of death of moon goddess Diana? Harav said in horror. The entire moon is the body of the moon god. In his opinion, these tens of millions of tons of material are enough to crush any existence. The other party actually died like this and unlike the Lord of the Dead, he died in his own divine domain. Who in this universe can do such terrible things? Lin In was also a little surprised. According to his previous guess, the moon god was weakened due to the different rules of the universe after arriving in this world. In addition, he fell due to unknown dangers after leaving the divine domain. It seems different now. The opponent has assimilated a satellite and lost the home battle. But since Diana died here, how did Ella obtain godhood? Could it be that she has also been to the moon? While Lennon was thinking, the huge satellite that was getting closer and closer to them suddenly started to move. That's right. The entire moon started to move. It was rotating slowly, with strong starlight shining on its surface, and it was speeding towards a few people. The feeling of a planet tens of trillions of times larger than itself rushing towards me is indescribable. Harav, Aurora, and Vittorio were all surrounded by ghosts and an indescribable feeling of powerlessness arose from the inside out. Is she still alive? Aurora asked in disbelief. It's probably just the remnants of consciousness, Lin explained. The moon goddess Diana is undoubtedly dead. Probably not completely dead yet. 
her divine personality, divine realm, and divine body are all still there. But her divine personality has been stripped away, and her divine body has been severely damaged. But she still retains a certain degree of power. It was obvious that Harab was calling the opponent's god's name at close range just now. So it was sensed. This is a conditioned reflex. But even so, facing a planet rushing over, even if it was just a satellite, no one dared to ignore it. Lennon raised his hand. A large amount of the most basic hydrogen elements were gathering in his left hand. And his right hand was continuously generating anti-hydrogen. Adam. In just a moment, the moon was getting closer and closer to them. This is a planet that is 10,000 times taller than a giant mountain and vaster than the sea. Under the huge pressure, the minds of Harrow and the others are extremely tense. Three seconds later, Vittorio, unable to withstand the terrifying pressure, took the lead. Harrow and Aurora followed immediately. Final Yenatomic Breath. Three terrifying energy waves burst out instantly and flew directly towards the oncoming moon. This is the most powerful magic mastered by Harrow and others. A star level power. The diameter of the light cone continued to increase from small to large. And the energy wave coverage diameter soon exceeded several kilometers. But even so, it only covered less than one thousandth of the moon's surface. This is the wizard's challenge to the gods. The huge light cone quickly hit the starlight covering the moon's surface. And a dazzling fire suddenly bloomed under the starry sky. Endless energy spread toward the surroundings with violent vibrations. Lenin shook his head. Indeed not optimistic about this massive blow. After all, power. Two scattered. As the diffusion range of the light cone increases, the energy density decreases rapidly. If Harav and others could withstand the pressure and take action later, there might be hope of breaking through the moon's protective barrier. Sure enough, just as Lenin thought, after the fire dissipated, the huge satellite was not damaged at all. And it did not even slow down one bit. Its only function was to chip away the starlight on the surface. One level. This is really... Harav smiled bitterly feeling very depressed. They tried their best and couldn't even break through the protection put up by a dead god. This gap was really too big. At this moment, Lenin took action. Atoms and anti-electrons converged and collided together. This is exactly the super magic, antimatter sword used in the previous battle with the Lord of the Dead. The neutrons that make up the blade are one of the hardest substances in the universe. And the annihilation energy is also the most powerful blade. In almost a moment, the length of this antimatter sword exceeded two kilometers, facing the moon that was heading straight towards him. Lenin raised his hand and waved it down with an indifferent look. The starlight barrier that covered the surface of the moon and resisted three rounds of endgame atomic breath was instantly penetrated like paper by the billions of degrees of high temperature and annihilated energy, and then directly struck. In the desert land behind, there are no sound waves in the vacuum, but Harav and others faintly heard the sound. It was the wail of quantum tide caused by the vacuum exceeding the limit. The antimatter sword, which was several kilometers long, cut a huge trench on the surface of the earth, as if it was going to cut the entire planet in half. The violent explosion shook the void, and the terrifying heat flow dispersed in all directions. The energy aftermath alone set off a sandstorm hundreds of meters high. The yellow sand raged like a storm, enveloping countless gravel and dust, burying everything. After the smoke and dust dissipated, Vittorio and others were horrified to discover that there was a bottomless canyon on the surface of the moon. At the same time, on the high-dimensional horizon, the body of the moon goddess also had more an ugly scar appeared. The whole planet shook violently. It was the remaining will of the moon god Diana that was angry. The mountains are rising. The elements are rioting. Endless starlight bursts out on the surface of the planet. And strong pressure envelopes the entire land. Lenin stretched out his hand again and the curvature of space around him immediately rolled up layer by layer, blocking out the starlight coming from all directions. He did not continue to bombard with antimatter cannons, but was waiting for a suitable opportunity. It is very difficult and impossible to completely destroy the moon, the divine body of the moon. Otherwise the ecology on the eternal star will suffer heavy damage. Therefore, Lin Ng could only choose targeted elimination to further weaken the remnants of the opponent's consciousness. The blow just now was intended to draw out the remaining consciousness of the opponent. The dazzling starlight continued to explode. And the exploding sparks continued to emerge around him. Harav, Aurora and Vittorio were all in a cold sweat. They knew very well that if they were involved, they would definitely die, probably realizing that such an attack was meaningless. The starlight spreading on the surface of the moon began to quickly move towards the center. The energy intensity in front became more and more terrifying. But within 10 seconds, 
an illusory figure appeared in front of everyone. She towered above the sky, with her back to the blazing sun, her silver eyes like the moon, her figure hazy and fuzzy, and she held an illusory crescent moon spear in her hand. When she raised her hand, the spear turned into a silver waning moon, spanning time and space. Distance. It fell down. This blow cannot be avoided. Lenin realized this immediately, because the other party locked him firmly from a high-dimensional level. There is no doubt that this is another technique that directly attacks high-dimensional existence that is different from the fishing net method. The nine materialized Olympiad wheels suddenly appeared in front of Lin In, and the silver waning moon penetrated downwards. The six gears broke in response, and the seventh gear also burst into cracks. Lin In did not dare to delay any longer. As his mind turned, a series of arcane locks flew out of the void, binding the remaining consciousness of the moon god Diana. Due to the lack of help from the planet, and not being in its own divine domain. The arcane lock was still made of graphene, which soon fell apart layer by layer under the burning of the sparks. Taking advantage of this moment, Lin put his hands together and created a Mobius barrier in this space. This can be said to be a high-dimensional prison. Ordinary three-dimensional matter cannot trap high-dimensional life forms. To use a low-latitude example, drawing a circle on the ground cannot restrict a person's movements, but building a few walls can naturally trap the other person inside. This barrier can also work wonders against low-dimensional creatures. For example, when he used it to deal with Assassin, he tried the low-match Mobius barrier. It's just that high-dimensional creatures have the ability to see and break through walls, while low-dimensional creatures don't even realize what's trapping them, and they will just go back and forth in an endless cycle. Fortunately, the moon god is dead, and the remaining consciousness does not have such a high IQ. Otherwise, a dimensional wall alone would not be enough to restrict the opponent. Chapter 566, Cosmic War and True Galaxy Level Civilization Seeing that the remaining consciousness of the moon god Diana was trapped, Harav and the others breathed a sigh of relief, while Aurora still said a little worried, Why don't you just kill her? As long as I'm here, she can't make any trouble. And we need information very much now, Lin In said with a calm expression. The blow from the moon god Diana just now was indeed very powerful, even beyond his expectation but the consumption was also huge. Lin could feel that after this blow, the remaining strength of the moon god Diana was weakened by nearly half, which is why she was bound by him so easily. Let's go and see what happened here thousands of years ago, Lenin said after placing several seals in succession. Harav and others also nodded. Since the divine realm and divine body of the moon god are here, it means that the other party died here. They are all curious about what kind of power caused this foreign god to die. S. Fall as we explored all the way. What we saw was a desert. There were no rivers, no trees, just endless wasteland. Even in the northern part of the kingdom, which is the most barren, the living environment is much better than this. Lin In understood that this was the result of Diana's transformation with divine power. Otherwise the place would only be more desolate. About half an hour later, several people arrived at the back side of the moon. The terrain became lower and lower, filled with pits and canyons. At the very center was an exaggeratedly huge abyss, spreading with no end in sight. Only when they flew to an altitude of 10,000 meters did everyone see clearly that about a quarter of the entire backside of the moon had disappeared. Lennon's expression also became serious. Such terrible destruction could never occur naturally. Either it was hit by a large meteorite, or it was blasted out by some powerful force. Both Lin and Harov believed the latter more. After all, the entire backside of the moon looked like a battlefield. It was probably this blow that penetrated the divine realm and the protection put up by Diana and killed the moon god. Several people looked at each other and then Lin and took the lead and flew into the bottomless abyss together, surrounded by overlapping mountains. They flew continuously for more than 10 minutes, just when Lin was wondering if they were going to fly to the core of the star. They finally saw the bottom. This place is very close to the mantle at the core of the moon and the surrounding rock walls are made of solid metal. After landing, a huge and weird-looking disc suddenly appeared in front of everyone. The exposed part alone is hundreds of meters high, and most of it is buried under hard rock formations. Its appearance is dark blue, and its surface is still as smooth as new after hundreds of years. It seems that no dust can be trapped on it. Leave traces on the surface. What is this? Some kind of alchemical creation? Vittorio couldn't help but frown, because he didn't sense any trace of magic on this thing. I'm afraid this is a spaceship dot a spaceship. Lin said with a solemn expression. As he raised his hands, the hard rock layers began to peel off layer by layer, 
and the huge disc weighing millions of tons was lifted. Got up. When the full view of the disc appeared in front of everyone, Harev and Aurora realized that what was just revealed was just the tip of the iceberg. The diameter of this thing was more than 2,000 meters. But the part buried underneath was severely broken. The appearance is almost distorted. Almost beaten into a sieve. Aurora looked at Lin curiously. What was this spaceship? You can compare the universe to the sea. Each planet is like an island hanging alone in the vast ocean. And the spaceship is a tool for traveling between the planets. Lin and explained succinctly. Is it an airship that can run faster and last longer? Vittorio understood immediately. But this thing didn't really look like it could fly. It didn't even have a blowhole. So it couldn't be seen. Where is the hatch? I don't even know which side is the front and which is the tail. You can say that. But this is much more powerful than airships and fighter planes. The two cannot be compared at all. Lin In frowned and shook his head. Although he had similar conjectures before, he still felt uneasy after knowing that the death of moon god Diana was related to extraterrestrial civilization. Lin knew only too well how terrifying a real interstellar civilization was. Not to mention anything else. Just being able to achieve interstellar navigation is enough to create a crushing situation. Because even the nearest star is several light years away. After Lin explained the distant scale of the universe, Vittorio and others immediately realized the seriousness of the matter. The measurement unit called light year made several people take a breath. It takes a year to travel at the speed of light? Do you want it to be so scary? With the computing power of the legendary wizard, Harav and others calculated that one light year is equal to 946 billion kilometers in less than one second. If you fly at twice the speed of sound, even if you fly for 100,000 years, you won't be able to complete one ten thousandth of the distance. Vittorio also realized another terrifying fact. If this thing is a creation like an airship or a fighter plane, it means that it is mostly produced by energy. A creation that could be mass-produced and used to kill gods. Vittorio could no longer imagine how powerful the civilization that created it was. Lennon's expression was equally solemn. Even the Earth Federation in the previous life had only reached the standard of a quasi-interstellar civilization, barely possessing the ability to sail far in the universe. And a person who could easily cross galaxy distances and kill gods with just one spaceship. True interstellar civilization is undoubtedly much weaker than it. Of course, they are not without advantages. That is, magic. The eternal star is the intersection between the two universes. And magic is an extremely magical energy. Lenin felt that with the power of magic. It might be possible to create cutting-edge technologies in the Federation that were only theoretical and envisioned due to material and energy constraints. Thinking of this, Lin looked at Harav and others and spoke with relief. Don't worry too much. This battle happened a thousand years ago. Since the Eternal Star has not been attacked for such a long time, I think there should be no mistakes in a short time. On the contrary, intercepting this spaceship is enough to bring them a lot of convenience. If they can fully understand the opponent's technology and transform it into their own power, then they no longer have to fear the threat posed by the main world on the other side of the time and space gate. A true interstellar civilization! Lenin murmured as he stared at the huge spacecraft. At the same time, in the big universe, the unknown galaxy, the second spiral arm, and next to a red star that shines with dazzling brilliance, an interstellar battle for life and death is going on. Tens of thousands of interstellar battleships are lining up in rows, almost enveloping three dark blue spaceships standing alone in the void of the universe. Strong energy beams are constantly blasted from the ship's cannon. On one side are three disc-shaped spaceships. They don't look too big, not even half the size of the opponent's main ship. But the situation on the field has completely turned over. A large number of energy beams were deflected ahead of time before they hit the energy shield around the spacecraft. Then, a hole suddenly opened in the front end of the disc-shaped spacecraft. And millions of fist-sized neutron clusters ejected from it, shooting out from within. This is one of the weapons carried by the spacecraft. Scattering particle cannon. It can increase the speed of neutron clusters to half the speed of light within 100,000 atomic seconds. The huge kinetic energy and extremely strong characteristics make these neutron clusters an indestructible weapon, supported by the huge size of the battleship. These neutron clusters, which were as big as ants, caused unimaginable damage. The energy shields on the outside of the battleship were torn apart one after another, and hundreds of neutron clusters penetrated into it. Violently the explosion sparks immediately illuminated the entire void. The ultimate speed represents the ultimate power. With the computing power of the airborne quantum device, even though it is hundreds of millions of kilometers away, not a single neutron cluster misses the target. In this one blow alone, 
More than two neutrons were missed. Thousands of battleships turned into brilliant sparks. In a sense, this is not a life and death contest, but a one-sided slaughter. About 200 atoms later, the entire battlefield was left covered with debris. And the three dark blue spaceships did not even have the slightest damage to their outer SH. LS. After wiping out these resistance forces, a dark black dot suddenly appeared on the main ship at the front. Then this dot began to expand rapidly, containing indescribable energy. The civilization in the Earth Yellow Planet was obviously aware of the danger, or the coming of death. Countless interstellar ships flew out of the planet crazily and fled in all directions. But it was too late. After one atomic minute of preparation, the Star Destroyer Cannon suddenly exploded until it turned into a violent beam of light and hit the Earth Yellow Planet ahead. This is a Star Destroyer Cannon. A thousand atomic seconds later, the battleship wreckage stacked in the front row was instantly annihilated in the deep black light. And then this energy blasted into the core of the planet with an unstoppable force with a burst of bright light blooming from the core of the star. After billions of years, the planet with a mass of trillions of billions of tons exploded. Countless amounts of matter erupted in the opposite direction at extremely fast speeds. And the interstellar ships that were accelerating to escape were all involved. This is indescribable despair. Under the technological gap, no matter whether to resist or escape, it is futile. On top of the three spaceships, a long creature pressed the confirmation button on the screen projected in the void. A star civilization has come to an end. Chapter 567 Stellar Gas Station and Geometric Civilization Lord Archon, the target has been cleared. On the disc-shaped spaceship, after the long creature cleaned up the civilized planet, it turned to look at the Archon behind it. Circles of colors began to flash on the surface of the skin. This was their communication. Organ. By emitting electromagnetic waves of various frequencies to transmit information. Real-time communication can be achieved even in space. Very good. Once we capture this star system, we don't have to worry about the reserve of element 7. The Archon's body glowed with red light, which represented a look of joy. Its shape is a spire-like isosceles triangle, which looks out of place with the rest of the long-shaped crew members, exuding an indescribable majesty. For a civilization that has fully mastered the technology of physical body and genetic modification, and can weave body shapes at will, appearance is not important. The reason for choosing to transform into this appearance is due to the worship of geometric shapes. Most of the top leaders in the civilization firmly believe that geometric shapes represent the truth of the universe to some extent. However, the shape transformation also has very strict specifications. The lower class citizens cannot even adopt a complete geometric shape. So the long vertical shape has become the choice of the vast majority of people. As for triangles, squares, polygons, etc., they are characteristics of higher citizens. Above that is the circle, a form that only the elders and supreme rulers can transform. Generally speaking, the higher the status, the rounder the shape. Because of this, they are also called geometric civilization. The importance of element number seven is self-evident. If they had not accidentally discovered this strange substance that could affect time and space more than a thousand years ago, ushering in a scientific research explosion, I am afraid that it would still be barely a leap. A fourth-level civilization that has entered the galaxy level is even less likely to survive the last great war with silicon-based life forms. Thinking of this, the light around the Archon turned from red to black. An expression of fear and anger. Those damn silicon-based monsters come from the four-armed galaxy next door. They are like locusts, locust-like creatures. They expand endlessly in various galaxies, plunder all resources, and transform them into armies and battleships. War supports war and does not accept any negotiations. Now it has become the enemy of geometric civilization. Without element 7, the mother star at the border between the two galaxies would have been breached long ago. Lord Consul, we have just received a message asking for help. Next to him, another square adjutant suddenly called, interrupting the Consul's thinking. Can you determine the position and distance? The Consul calmed down his fluctuating emotions and hid his thoughts. He was somewhat worried that his home planet might be invaded. The news should come from 70 light years away not from the mother star. A long branch extended from the square adjutant's body. He clicked it in the void, and a complex galaxy map suddenly emerged. On top of everyone's heads, there are densely packed star dots all over it. Each star point is a star, and the position of each planet is even marked in detail. However, nearly half of the area is still a foggy area, and only the corresponding stars are marked. As for the specific situation in the galaxy, it is still a fan. 
These areas are either under the jurisdiction of some powerful civilizations, or are relatively dangerous or marginal areas, and the location pointed by the square crew member is an edge area. The Archon's mood fluctuated again, this time a confused reddish color, because according to records, they did not send any fleet there. The communication uses a very old encryption method. According to the records retrieved, it is an encryption method that was abandoned thousands of years ago, Fong's adjutant reported. Is it the remaining ship from that exploration? The console reacted immediately. After the parent star completed a new round of technological breakthroughs, it directly became one of the most powerful civilizations in the visible star field. Then it began to explore the entire galaxy with great ambitions, preparing to draw a complete galaxy. Map. A total of 70 exploration fleets consisting of one capital ship and two frigates were dispatched. Although they were few in number, they were all the most advanced ships at the time. Unlike some civilizations that like to win with numbers, they'd prefer to strive for excellence. According to the elders, creating a large amount of cannon fodder is meaningless and is just a waste of resources. As for the daily patrols among the stars, renovated retired old ships or civilian ships can also be used according to the weapons. However, the results of this exploration were not good. Only half of the 70 exploration fleets returned, which greatly dampened the enthusiasm of the enterprising faction. It also provoked a powerful enemy and dragged the home planet into the quagmire of endless war. Precisely because of the continuous wars, they really couldn't spare much energy to search for the inexplicably missing fleets in the entire star field. They could only swallow the bitter pill silently and mark these areas as dangerous areas. Adjutant Fong, who had retrieved the database, could naturally think that the message was probably sent by a certain exploration fleet. And AC electromagnetic waves were soon emitted from his body again. The communications we received were intermittent. They seem to have discovered a new, very powerful energy dot perhaps comparable to Element 7. An energy source comparable to Element 7? The Archon immediately took it seriously. This might very well mean a new technological breakthrough and even become the key for geometric civilization to defeat those silicon-based monsters. I think the technological level of the other side civilization should be inferior to ours. Although they killed the exploration fleet sent by the home star, they did not completely destroy it. Otherwise, we would not be able to receive this message, Adjutant Fong suggested. No, you missed a very important detail. This news came from a thousand years ago. At that time, the other party had the technology to block communications. But now they allow the news to be transmitted. I suspect this may be a trap. Another adjutant retorted, said, Although the technologies of these thousand-year-old exploration fleets are relatively imperfect, they are equipped with quantum communication technology. In this galaxy, the communication delay is about one atomic minute. It makes no sense that he was intercepted at the time and could be interrogated again now. Colorful light waves flash continuously inside the spacecraft, which was a sign that the dispute was gradually becoming more intense. The consul was also caught in a dilemma. This may be a rare opportunity, but it may also be a dangerous trap. In the past thousand years, due to the prompting of war, the rate of scientific and technological progress of geometric civilization has not been slow, and the spacecraft has been updated several times. But in fact, there is no real technological breakthrough. Just continue to improve on the original basis to improve performance or the power of weapons. He had heard that some cutting-edge scholars on the home planet had some clues in the research on the curvature engine, which was the key to developing a super-light spacecraft. But it would still take a lot of time before it was actually installed. And because of the war, they don't have much power to mobilize. But soon they no longer had to think about it, because a communication from the home planet was delivered. The content is very concise. You can go to the location where the signal was sent and judge the situation by yourself. If the civilization that destroyed the exploration fleet is relatively weak, destroy it directly, find that special energy, and bring it back. If the technology level is very high, they will try to coexist peacefully, indicating that they sent the exploration fleet before to actually have friendly exchanges. But some misunderstandings accidentally occurred. Regarding this order, the Archon chose to execute it without hesitation. It is the consistent practice of geometric civilization to evaluate the way of dealing with each other based on strength and threat. There are endless possibilities in the vast universe. No one knows how many unknown elements and energies there are. It is entirely possible for a weak civilization to surpass a powerful civilization in just a few thousand years. For example, although the civilization they destroyed before could not threaten the home star at all, a large number of reserves of element 7 were found in the star system, which means that a round of technological innovation may break out at any time. 
It is undoubtedly foolish to place hope on the kindness of the enemy. There is no room for two powerful galaxy-level civilizations in this area. Instead of having a dispute break out thousands of years later, it is better to resolve it now. Where are our closest coordinates to this star system? Wide light waves appeared around the Archon's body, which was a cold expression. Near the Western Har Nebula, which is about 240 atomic hours away from the target star system, 8 light years. And there are two other fleets within 50 atomic hours away from us. We may you can apply for support, the adjutant replied. The Archon nodded, and after issuing the order for help, he controlled the spacecraft to hover above the red, dazzling star. Immediately afterwards, the bottom floor of the spacecraft suddenly unfolded, for wide cantilevers stretched out from the inside, and the space began to twist and deform. Under the strong gravitational pull, the energy on the surface of the star was rapidly extracted, forming a huge vortex of plasma flames, and a steady stream of fusion energy poured into the spacecraft crazily. Although the battle just ended in a crashing situation, the energy consumption was not a small amount. Fortunately, they were in a star system and could replenish energy in time. The Archon just waited quietly for the energy pool to be full, and then slowly picked out a knuckle-sized ball and put it into the launch port. The launch speed this time was very slow, not even reaching one-tenth of the speed of light. After one atomic minute of flight, the ball began to suddenly collapse inward, and the surrounding space curled and spread inward. A temporary wormhole was quickly formed. The geometry stars inside the spacecraft entered a dormant state one after another, and the three spacecrafts flew out at sublight speed and rushed into the surging spacetime node. Chapter 568 Are you sure they are the alien life forms we are looking for? A week later, in the Eternal Star, the capital of the Magic Kingdom, Lin An and others who successfully returned from the moon landing immediately attracted the attention of the citizens of the kingdom. After all, the spacecraft they brought back was so big that it almost covered the entire sky making it impossible to cover it even if they wanted to. Many civilians suspected that this was the latest super weapon developed by the parliament, and some people thought it was a city suspended in the sky. A large number of alchemists are very interested in this trophy from the moon. Reports of various research applications are piled up in the wizard's council, but only a few great wizards have obtained the qualifications for research. Considering that the size of this spaceship was too large, even the royal capital could not accommodate it. So Lin and simply placed it in the land of death the same place, where the nuclear explosion was originally tested. After a hydrogen explosion, the amount of radiation nearby has returned to normal levels. However, due to various shocking rumors, not many people are still willing to get close to this place, which is used for the research of some cutting-edge magic results. Is this the alchemy creation that killed the moon god? It's really huge! Raphael looked at the spaceship in front of him that was so huge that it was about the same size as a village. And he suddenly clicked his tongue. Dennis kept circling the disc aircraft. After searching for a long time, he couldn't find where the propeller was. In the end, he could only guess that it might have been destroyed. Strange. Why is it shaped round? Dennis touched his chin and was puzzled. In his opinion, the shape of the most perfect aircraft should conform to fluid mechanics as much as possible. Although a disc-shaped object can resist resistance better than a boxy thing, it is obviously not perfect. The vacuum of the universe is different from the interior of the eternal star. There is no need to consider wind resistance, Lin explained, also frowning and thinking about this issue. There are also many shaped designs of spaceships in Jinao's database. They are basically more inclined to be diamond-shaped or semi-ring-shaped, which is conducive to the work of the thruster. If it is a disc, uneven force may cause it to rotate directly. Stand up. However, Lin In is very aware of the fact that a true galaxy-level civilization will obviously not make such low-end mistakes. They cannot understand it which only shows that the technological generation gap between the two sides has reached an incomprehensible level. Vittorio and others also discussed whether the circle has the effect of alleviating some kind of resistance at the spatial level. Raphael on the side opened his mouth. Since there is no need to consider wind resistance, is there a possibility that the civilization that built this spaceship likes circles? But in the end, Raphael swallowed the words that came to his mouth again. After all, the speakers obviously knew much better than him and maybe they really meant something profound. That's it for the discussion about the appearance of the spaceship. There are so many things worth studying on such a large spaceship. The first is the material used for the outer SH. L of the spacecraft. After experimenting with magic material deconstruction, Lin was pleasantly surprised to find that he could successfully analyze this substance. And to his expectation, the core element for making the spacecraft is very ordinary iron. And it also contains carbon, silicon, vanadium, 
zirconium and other elements. The special thing is the arrangement of chemical bonds between these elements, which is a very unique rhombus structure. It is a very common method to improve the strength of materials by changing the arrangement of elements within a substance. For example, the essence of graphene is carbon. Blocks of graphite can be easily smashed by a child. However, when it exists in a single layer two-dimensional honeycomb lattice structure, it has higher strength than steel of the same magnitude, hundreds of times stronger. As for why the most abundant element is iron, Lenin pondered for a while and felt that this might be related to the properties of the iron element itself. In the process of fusion, the iron element is an obvious dividing line. The fusion of elements above this requires reverse absorption of energy instead of release, which means that the cost of manufacturing it is not high, and it can even obtain energy incidentally. Of course, there may be some deeper reasons. Lenin stretched out his hand, and various elements in the void began to surge. Iron, carbon, vanadium, zirconium and other elements were arranged together in a specific order and formed into shapes. But at the last moment they fell apart. Lin frowned slightly. This was due to the mutual repulsion of electrons of the same sex in the elements themselves. It seems that the other party has used some method to break the repulsion between atoms. Instead of relying solely on chemical reactions. This is where its technical barriers lie. After wanting to understand this, Lin tried again, using the antimatter sword to cut off a small part of the outer SH, L of the spacecraft. Without the rest of the energy protection, the sword edge cut down and encountered only slight resistance. After reacquiring some experimental materials, Lin did not directly use divine magic material deconstruction, but penetrated magic and spiritual power into the materials trying to cut off the chemical bonds between atoms at the microscopic level to explore reactions between these elements. After struggling for about an hour and analyzing about two tons of materials, Lin finally had some clues. If he wanted to combine these elements with each other, the key points were high temperature, strong pressure, and high speed. These elements must be converted into plasma first, state, and then use ultra-high pressure to collide these several elements together at high speed at appropriate angles thereby overcoming the repulsive force between electrons of the same sex. Lenin stretched out his hand again, and iron, carbon, vanadium, zirconium and other elements gathered in the palm of his hand, and then turned into a plasma state under ultra-high temperature, colliding and blending with each other. And then the temperature began to gradually decrease. About one-tenth of the elements are combined in a collision. A few seconds later, a bright-colored, spherical special metal appeared in his palm, stretching and deforming according to Lenin's thoughts. After discovering that the elements inside this substance were rhombus-shaped, Ling guessed that the spacecraft might have the ability to deform to a certain extent, and now his conjecture was undoubtedly verified. Not only that, this thing can also repair itself. Lin looked at the part of the spacecraft that he cut off. It has now repaired itself. It has only undergone a relatively large stretch and deformation, and the strength will be corresponding. Reduce. This should be the reason why this disk spacecraft can still maintain its shape after experiencing a divine battle. As for the severely damaged part at the rear, Lin thought it was because the damage was too wide, and the material's ability to expand, contract, and repair had its limits. It has to be said that the magical power can be called a cheat. If this spaceship had been obtained by the Federation in the previous life, with its technological level, it would have taken decades to thoroughly research a brand new material and manufacture it on a large scale. However, for Lin and who has mastered the magic power, it would take decades. It was said that the technical difficulties were overcome in less than an hour. This is due to star gods, quantum level observation and control capabilities. And judging from the difficulty, the legendary wizards should also be able to do it. But they are not as easy as myself. But in any case, they have mastered the method of making this special material. And if necessary, they can mass produce it immediately. With this harvest, Lin, Haroff and others began to further study the various facilities of the spacecraft relying on the cutting work of the antimatter sword and the analysis of the divinity material deconstruction. In a few days, it was considered, I barely understood the general structure of the entire spacecraft. For example, there is a unique ring-shaped ornament on the top of the spacecraft. According to inspection, this is an energy generator used to create a protective energy shield for the spacecraft. Another example is cutting open the protective SH. L on the side, and they found that there is a the launch port with a unique structure may be the weapon system of this spacecraft. As for the interior of the spacecraft, it can be roughly divided into the ecological circulation area, the snow storage area, the member cabins, and the hall like the control area. 
but there are no joysticks or projection screens as imagined by Harab and others. This means that the other party has completed highly intelligent control and no longer needs buttons. However, Lin En has not found any trace of artificial intelligence in the past few days. Perhaps it has been damaged. What are these strips? Vittorio pointed at the long strips. Squares, triangles, and polygonal decorations placed on the ground in the control room in surprise. And said strangely, these things don't look like decorations. They just give people a creepy feeling. Is it some kind of sacrificial tool? Harib said thoughtfully. After Lin and stepped forward and used the material deconstruction technique to decompose it, he suddenly had a strange look on his face and hesitated for a while before speaking. I think this should be the alien we are looking for. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of Harib and others beside him suddenly widened, and they almost thought they were hearing hallucinations. Raphael was even more shocked and spoke in disbelief. Is this an alien life form? How could a creature look like this? Then how do they eat? How do they move? How do they communicate? Who knows? For a galactic civilization with unlimited technological possibilities, nothing is a problem. Lin replied with raised eyebrows. The reason why he was so sure was that the other party was also a carbon-based creature. So this must be a living body. But thousands of years have passed and the other party's consciousness or soul has long since dissipated, and no information can be obtained from it. Let's go! There's only one last area left! Lennon raised his hand and froze the corpses to avoid the possibility of fake corpses, and then led Harav and others into the most critical part of the entire spaceship. Place the area where the spacecraft's engines and energy are stored. Chapter 569 Lin. We want to build our own faster-than-light spacecraft. What is the most important indicator for a spacecraft? Naturally. It is the power system. After all, speed is the most critical factor in a long voyage and the endless void of the universe. How fast it can fly and how far it can fly are always one of the most important indicators to measure a spacecraft. However, this area is also the place where the damage is most serious. It seems that the crash of the spacecraft is related to this. In fact, Lin also found a lot of wreckage parts under the rock formations of the moon and brought them back. However, judging from the shape and size, they did not match the damaged parts of the spacecraft. This probably means that this is not the only spacecraft that reached the moon. But the main bodies of the other spacecraft were completely destroyed and directly erased from the microscopic level. It must be some kind of magic similar to great disintegration. So only this hull that looks like the main ship is left. Fortunately, despite the serious damage, Lin En and others still made many discoveries, such as a strong magnetic field restraint device which can also sense strong energy fluctuations. Is this dot a nuclear fusion device? Vittorio suddenly became interested. After all, this was the only thing he could understand. No, to be precise, it should be an anti-hydrogen fusion device. Lin explained. Anti-fusion? This novel concept surprised Harav and others. And Lin quickly explained that antimatter is like the mirror image of matter, with completely opposite properties. And there is no other difference since normal elements can undergo fusion reactions, combine with each other and fuse into elements with greater mass, changing their position in the periodic table of elements. Antimatter is certainly no exception. Doesn't that mean you can use anti-uranium-235 to perform Skyfall? Anthony said with great imagination. Of course. No problem. Lin nodded, and then continued. But this doesn't make much sense. Although the power of anti-skyfall is powerful, it is much weaker than the energy generated by direct annihilation of matter and antimatter. This thing should be used to create larger mass antimatter elements. Just like they can combine hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium into helium in a normal fusion furnace. And then fuse helium into carbon. After all, it is not that easy to directly capture and create heavier antimatter. So when Lenin fought against the Lord of the Dead, he used anti-hydrogen elements. Or simply used anti-electrons. He guessed that there should have been a positive hydrogen fusion furnace here. While synthesizing larger mass elements, it continuously used the annihilation effect of positive and negative matter to generate huge energy to provide kinetic energy for the spacecraft. What an unimaginable masterpiece! After listening to Lin's account, Vittorio couldn't help but sigh. A fusion melt composed entirely of antimatter. He couldn't even imagine what kind of existence it was. Maybe call it the anti-solar furnace? What would it look like if this thing collided with the real sun? Thinking of this, Vittorio suddenly shuddered. Harav and Anthony were equally surprised and frightened. Lin En was relieved. Although antimatter was powerful, it was still within the scope that he could understand. This was good news for him. 
This proved that the gap between the two sides was not as huge as expected. During his time travel, the Federation was also building an anti-fusion furnace. And Jinao's database contained many records and even design drawings, evaluating solely from the perspective of energy acquisition technology. Although the technological level of the galaxy civilization they encountered was more advanced, it was not technologically superior to several levels of the Federation. This is like a civilization that is still undergoing the first industrial revolution and directly encountered the three Western European countries at the end of World War I. Although the technological gap is huge, there is also hope of catching up. If the opponent uses quantum tides or dark matter and dark energy as driving energy, then they have no second option except surrender. Just as Lin was thinking about it, Aurora's voice suddenly came over. Come over here and take a look. Several people present immediately turned their heads and looked over. Aurora was standing in front of a broken device and said in confusion, Inside the device is an energy ball that is constantly rotating and flashing red light. Is this thing still running? Anthony asked in surprise. From the moment they entered the spacecraft, everything they saw seemed to have been destroyed or silenced due to the loss of energy supply. Suddenly they discovered that the fact that the instrument was still running naturally made him extremely surprised. Lin observed carefully for a moment, then stretched out his hand and placed it on the instrument. After exploring for a few minutes, he suddenly made a move, and a strong wave of magic power immediately erupted in the spacecraft. Harav and others looked at Lin in sudden outburst in shock and confusion. The red light in the device also began to tremble violently. After about five seconds, it flashed suddenly and disappeared completely in front of everyone. There was also an illusory bottle in Lennon's hand, and a red light spot was spinning inside the bottle. Is there any new discovery? What is this thing? Vittorio asked quickly. I'm afraid this is a quantum communication device, Lin said with a solemn expression. The so-called quantum communication uses quantum superposition states and entanglement effects to transmit information. Because it involves high-dimensional links, messages can even be exchanged at superlight speeds. It is a relatively convenient means of communicating on the scale of the universe. At that moment, Lin and also detected the opponent's position through this high-dimensional connection. There are many locations that I have explored, and the closest point is about dozens of light years away. Lin said in a deep voice. This feeling was very vague, and there might be some delays or errors. Hearing this, Harav and others breathed a sigh of relief. Tens of light years were too far away. It would take decades to travel at the speed of light. This shows that they still have a lot of time. But the next moment, Lin continued, They are approaching here at a very fast speed. It is not ruled out that the other party has the ability to cross space. Just like a space-time gate, the hearts of Harav and others who had just been relieved suddenly rose again. And they looked at Lin speechlessly. It would be better to tell the worst possibility from the beginning. No matter what, we must build our own light speed or even super light speed spacecraft as soon as possible, Lin said decisively under Lin and heroic words. In the next few months, all the high-level alchemists in the entire parliament devoted themselves to the research of the DISC spacecraft. Thanks to the power and magic of magic, even if the technological level of the opponent's civilization is far superior to theirs, a large number of useful things can still be obtained through analysis and reorganization using material deconstruction techniques. There is something new to learn almost every few days. New elements, new materials, new technologies, Every discovery is exciting enough to win a morning star or even a silver moon medal. Lin In even supplemented everyone's knowledge of quantum mechanics. Regardless of whether they can learn it or how much they can understand, they should first instill it in them with divine magic. This kind of behavior is tantamount to undermining the leadership of the team, making Raphael and other great wizards dizzy for a while. But it is still somewhat useful. In addition, their primary goal is not to build an interstellar battleship from scratch but to transform this relatively intact spacecraft on the existing basis and accumulate some experience first. After all, the entire spacecraft is kept intact, and the weapons and various technologies on it are already made, which can rival the combat power of a god. If they can build a hundred such spaceships, then they will have the capital to start a full-scale war with the main world. However, due to the serious damage to the power and energy areas, how to make this big thing weighing millions of tons fly, or even reach the speed required for space navigation, has become the biggest headache for Harav and others. The problem. In my opinion, how about using electromagnetic drive? In the Institute of Death, Anthony looked at the alchemists, who were thinking hard and suggested. Accelerating internal conductors through electromagnetic fields is a very common method of speeding up. But its potential is huge. For example, 
the high-speed particle collider created by Lin can accelerate protons to one-fifth of the speed of light. This is not yet the end of the line. As long as the energy is sufficient, it can be almost infinitely close to the speed of light. But how much energy will it consume? A great wizard frowned. They were able to accelerate the proton to an incredible extreme speed because its mass itself is very small. According to the relative mass and relative velocity proposed by Lin formula, this must be an astronomical number. We can completely use the magnetic field of the planet itself to provide power. Anthony explained again. Lin's method of dealing with the Lord of the Dead gave him a lot of inspiration. They can use the planet as a magnet and deploy a super strong magnetic field. The spacecraft continuously accelerates around the planet. The principle is similar to that of a particle collider, except that the magnets and conductors are enlarged more than a billion times. This method is not bad. Harab nodded thoughtfully and immediately discussed the possibility of a planetary accelerator with Aurora. The Torio and a dozen great wizards who were proficient in electromagnetism. And Dennis even proposed a new idea, which is to use the energy waves generated by antimatter explosions as propulsion. As soon as this statement came out, all the wizards present broke out in cold sweats. Dennis's idea was not just crazy. It could be described as crazy. However, he had to admit that this was indeed feasible if they could find a material that resists antimatter explosions. Anyway, we can start with nuclear explosions first, Dennis said excitedly, ready for a big fight at any time, and then turned his head to look at Lin on the main seat, wanting to win over this magic star, no matter what. Now it should be called the approval of the god of magic. However, Lin in ignored their discussion and kept drawing patterns on a piece of paper, frowning and thinking from time to time. About three minutes later, Lin suddenly stopped what he was doing, attracted everyone's attention while clapping his hands, and spoke succinctly. Actually, I already have some ideas about the power system of the spacecraft. I call it a warp drive. Chapter 570, Curvature Engine. The idea of a super light spacecraft. Warp engine? The wizards present were stunned for a moment. And then, they thought about what this so-called curvature engine was. Lin in did not explain directly, but looked at the two people who had just spoken and spoke. Master Dennis and Speaker Anthony, your ideas are very insightful and indeed have the possibility of implementation. But there are also many problems. The first is Anthony's electromagnetic acceleration method. I have to say that this is indeed a very interesting idea. It uses the Coulomb force of a strong magnetic field to continuously provide power to the spacecraft. Just like the strong magnetic field tunnel of a particle collider, the speed of the spacecraft will increase by one every time it goes around. Great. But the closer it gets to the speed of light, the more terrifying the energy consumed will be. Even if he personally creates a super large electromagnetic accelerator using the sun as a magnet, it will only accelerate the spacecraft to about one tenth of the speed of light at most. Although this is already very fast, it still does not meet the needs of interstellar navigation. The most important thing is that the acceleration and deceleration of the spacecraft will be very problematic. They cannot wait for the spacecraft to circle around the sun hundreds of times every time they sail. By that time, the enemy will have already attacked. Dennis's method is even simpler. The same as the previous explosive thruster. What stands out is a big brick flying. In theory, using the energy waves generated by nuclear explosions or even antimatter explosions can indeed increase the speed of the spacecraft to a terrifying level. Just where to find materials that can continue to withstand hundreds of millions of degrees of high temperature and ultra-high pressure is a problem that is currently difficult to solve. You must know that even the spacecraft SH L material they intercepted will not last long under the cutting of the antimatter sword. Under Lin Un's explanation and analysis, Harav and others who were about to agree with these two plans immediately became hesitant. Dennis and Anthony also frowned. Of course, they were also aware of these shortcomings. But they were already the most reliable method they could think of. Then I wonder what your warp engine uses as the driving force. Dennis asked in a deep voice. Curvature. This is an Olympian term, that usually indicates the degree to which a curve deviates from a straight line. It is very common in differential equations. Harev and Vittorio vaguely thought of something. Do you still remember how the other party achieved super speed movement when we fought with Ella? Lin asked with a smile. Ella's speed is actually not much faster than them. The reason why they feel unbelievably fast is because the opponent changes the curvature of space and shortens the distance. Being able to directly control time and space through magic and mental power is their greatest technological advantage compared to traditional technological civilization. Lenin still has a say in this matter. The technological level of the Federation in the previous life has actually reached the minimum requirements of interstellar civilization. 
The technology is at least several levels higher than theirs. They are still struggling to find a truly stable and controllable gravity. Worrying about the source. Let alone being able to control space at a subtle level like a wizard. If you swell, there may not be any possibility of overtaking in corners. In addition, I think the upper limit of the curvature engine is very high. It is the only way I can think of to achieve faster than light speed, Lin said decisively. Since you want to build a spacecraft, of course you must choose the propulsion device with the most potential. Moreover, the resources of the parliament are limited, and they don't have much time. They only have enough time to specialize in one direction. But, I remember you said that the speed of light is the upper limit of the speed of the universe, a great wizard said eagerly. At first, he felt that this theory was not very reliable. Especially the faster the speed, the slower the flow of time. Even the concept of time stopping after reaching the speed of light can only be described as outrageous. So after hearing Len N mention super light speed, he immediately got excited. Either quantum theory is wrong, or this curvature engine is unreliable. The so-called unsurpassable speed of light is based on the nature of three-dimensional space itself. Any object with mass can only stop at sublight speed. But the curvature engine is different. Lin In replied with a smile. In order for everyone present to clearly understand the meaning, Lin In reached out and tapped lightly on the round tabletop. The next moment, the wooden tabletop immediately became as soft as plasticine. Let's assume it's a spaceship. Lin used elements to assemble a 10 centimeter spaceship model, and then let it move forward at a speed of 1 centimeter per second. When the spaceship model was halfway through the voyage, Lin tapped his index finger again and the speed of the spacecraft suddenly increased by more than 10 times. Those present were all great wizards, and they could naturally see that the speed of the spacecraft itself had not changed at all. Only the desktop had changed. The space in front was pulled closer, while the space behind was stretched, one after the other, pushing the spacecraft forward at an extremely fast speed. Wonderful! Dennis immediately exclaimed. The curvature engine did not directly increase the speed, but directly shortened the sailing distance. Its true speed still did not exceed the speed of light. In other words, it is the space that moves, not the spacecraft itself. This is the most unreasonable thing about the warp engine. After Lin finished describing the design principles of the curvature engine, the focus of the next discussion quickly turned to how to implement curvature drive. As the saying goes, one person can think short and everyone can make mistakes. This is why Lin and brought it up for discussion. In many cases, inspiration suddenly comes from the brain. For example, Harris suggested that maybe they don't need to build any engines at all, and can directly use the wizard's domain to achieve this, which is convenient and fast. It's just that if you want to create such a powerful gravitational field, at least several legendary wizards must take action. It's better to take a two-pronged approach. It's best to use alchemy to achieve it. Otherwise, it will be difficult to provide long-distance navigation with the magic power of a wizard alone. Lin reminded. Vittorio nodded. After listening to Lin's idea of the curvature engine, he already had a rough plan in mind, and he immediately opened his mouth to discuss it with everyone. This discussion has been going on for a full week, and the curvature engine drawings that Lin took out have been changed beyond recognition. And then he began to transform the entire spacecraft. There is no doubt that this is another big project. Even if a hundred great wizards work together, it will take more than half a year to complete. Lin did not spend all his energy here because he also needed to study the second topic, which was the establishment of the space-time gate. Both the moon goddess Diana and the lord of the dead have mastered this extremely high-end ability in the eyes of technological civilization and can jump through time and space over long distances. After this period of research, Lin In had some clues. The first was the positioning of the two space-time gates, which used the entanglement response of microscopic particles at a high-dimensional level, which was regarded as an extension of quantum communication technology. Then, there is the most important issue. How to open the space-time tunnel. The Lord of the Dead opened a door in front of him once. And it might have been a time-space node across different universes. Using all the energy released by the soul of a nine-ring legendary wizard. However, they obviously do not have so many legendary wizards to sacrifice. Not to mention that there is currently no one in the Nine Rings Legend Council. Sacrificing Harav and several people may not be enough to open the door. Lin En then paid attention to the annihilation of antimatter. In this universe, what can affect space and time on a large scale is extremely fast speed, huge mass and extremely strong energy. Of course, these three can also be said to be the same thing. When he was dueling with the Lord of the Dead, the last antimatter cannon even broke the vacuum and triggered a quantum tide. 
using the quantum entanglement effect as a positioning method to allow two supermassive matter and antimatter particles to collide. Can space-time be distorted to a level that connects to higher dimensions in an instant? Magic is also very important, because the annihilation of massive particles cannot continue. So it is necessary to use magic that can directly affect time and space to stabilize this channel. In the next few months, the first phase of major construction in the entire kingdom has been basically completed. And the second and third phases of construction are also on the agenda. Fortunately, after three years of preliminary study, the students of the civilian college have also after graduation. There were suddenly 30,000 more wizards through the magic network link, which greatly alleviated the problem of labor shortage. For the common people in the kingdom, life is changing at a speed visible to the naked eye. Every common person is full of enthusiasm. Various novel creations emerge in endlessly. And trade is extremely active. As for the threats from the universe and the world outside the time and space gate, only the congressmen who are great wizards can understand the inside story. The legendary wizards promotion ceremony has also been restarted. Lin personally asked a thousand questions about quantum mechanics. And those who can successfully pass will be eligible for promotion. In this way, even if the promotion fails, it will not end up being destroyed. Harav, Vittorio and others frequently use the magic network to experience high-dimensional space and time, and are not far away from breaking through the 8th ring legendary wizard. Aurora also developed a magic projection device based on the analysis of the display instruments on the spacecraft, which can record the movements of mimic elements in a certain area, and store this information in a special container, which can be restored as long as the container is activated. Show up. After Lin and got the report on this technique, he was also very interested. Isn't this the magic version of the video recorder? The magic time backtracking he developed is much more advanced than this. But not everyone can use it. But the magic developed by Aurora has the potential to be popularized. With this, they might be able to create a magical version of the movie. Which would be a great propaganda tool. Chapter 571 The First Generation of God-Powered Curvature Spacecraft Filming? After receiving the summons from the council, Glenn and Roar hurried over. What they heard was this extremely unfamiliar term. And they immediately looked at Lin with confused expressions on their faces. Yes, you can understand the so-called movie as a more three-dimensional, connected photo, Lenin said succinctly. Glenn was very interested in this concept. When optical photography was developed, he was obsessed with photography. You must know that the elements wandering in the void are changing their positions every moment. After the proposal of Lin's quantum theory, it is almost impossible to go back in time in the true sense. But photography can freeze what happened forever. Now the camera he invented has become popular throughout the kingdom. With hundreds of thousands of units sold. What limits its entry into every household is not the high price. But the production that has been repeatedly increased but cannot meet the demand. Glenn has recently been thinking about how to continue to increase production and further reduce its selling price. However, after Lin gave a rough description of the video magic developed by Aurora, Glenn felt a little excited and a little nervous at the same time. Worry. What's exciting is that this technique can directly record what happened at a certain time with magic. What's worrying is whether the sales of the camera will be affected. After all, this kind of projection technique is much more convenient than his photography. It also has the possibility of popularization. And Roar was simply delighted. As a journalist, he knew the value of this technique very well. Did you say that when making a movie, we need to be responsible for recording something? Could it be the spacecraft brought back from the moon? Glenn immediately thought of this and looked at Lynn expectantly. Recording a major and memorable occasion is also the original intention of the development of photography technology. A few months ago, when the speakers moved the unimaginably huge spacecraft back from the moon, it caused a heated discussion. Although there were quite a few people who saw it, filming and taking pictures were not allowed at all. The council did not give any explanation to the outside world, and even released a lot of rumors to confuse the public. So much so that the citizens of the kingdom now think that it was caused by wizards. Come out. A flying magic city. Even some official wizards are convinced of this news. Glenn, who is friends with Magic Daily Editor Roll, certainly knows some inside information and will not listen to those false rumors. No. It has nothing to do with that spaceship. Filmmaking can actually be compared to an opera. Only more high-end. Lin In briefly explained the concept of acting. All they need to do is to conceive a story then perform it, and use video magic to record and save it in the device, and send it to various parts of the kingdom for looping. Isn't that just false propaganda? Glenn said subconsciously. But then he realized that what he said was too straightforward and quickly shut up. Luo Air coughed twice 
and hurriedly corrected him. It should be said that this is a reproduction of the facts with some reasonable modifications and optimizations. Lin looked at Roar and nodded. The content of the movie he wanted to make was roughly divided into two types. The first is to destroy the remaining influence of the church and the empire in the hearts of the people. For example, how the church uses faith to fool the people. The so-called entering the kingdom of heaven is actually becoming Ella's reserve energy. Another example is how the nobles of the empire violently rule and brutally exploit the civilians. All in all, the Wizarding Council has only been ruling the kingdom for a few years. Before that, it had been the territory of the church and the empire for nearly a thousand years. Lin knew very well that although they now relied on absolute force and sufficient material supplies to suppress most of the conflicts, it went on. But there were still many problems behind the scenes. It's better in the city. If you move the perspective further down to the township level, the parliament's control will plummet. Lenin has received reports before that some civilians in the fringes of the kingdom are still secretly offering sacrifices to AI. Pulling habit. It's just that these people have not taken any further action. And it is not easy to kill them all. Therefore, public opinion propaganda must keep up and truly change from the ideological level. The second is to eliminate the misunderstanding and fear of magic among some territorial residents and to publicize the existing policies of the parliament. Lenin gave an overview of his requirements and then reminded the two of them that they can find more information about the film materials from the lower-level civilians. He believed that there are countless similar real-life examples, and he used real cases. It is also easier to resonate with the lower-class civilians. Actually, I think some of your deeds are very suitable, Glenn suddenly said. A persecuted wizard, who was hunted by the church and the empire, fled to the land of wizards, and then counterattacked to end the evil rule of the church and the empire. It is both interesting and explosive and it can also let the civilians understand the parliament, the history of witches, and the origin of wizards. Luo suddenly glanced at Glenn in surprise. He had always thought that Glenn was an upright and honest man. But he didn't expect that his skills and flattery were so solid. And he could even think faster than himself. Let's talk about this kind of large-scale drama series later, Lin said noncommittally, asking Glenn and Roar to film some simple dramas first to test the waters, and see the effect before considering it. I have written down some techniques on film shooting. Lend use and script creation in this book. You may wish to read it when you have time. Lynn threw a thick booklet to roll. And Glenn, let them study hard. As for the content of the book, of course it is found from Xi Nao's database. And then printed directly using magic, which is very convenient and fast. Roar was the first to take the four-finger thick booklet. After flipping through it a few times, he was immediately attracted by the content inside. What about the four-step creative method? The three-stage script structure? And the explanation of the use of Lin's language? It was very detailed. Which surprised Roar. He didn't expect Speaker Lin to understand this. Isn't this a bit too omnipotent? But then Roar thought that this magic star had broken through to an unimaginable level. And his computing power was infinitely higher than theirs. He might be able to concentrate on counting. Or even count by tens. Okay. Take this book and read it carefully. Give me a script within half a month. Lin and waved his hand. Luo Air and Glenn responded wisely, and then left. Lenin stood up from his seat, and with one step, he had already crossed several kilometers. The walls, trees, and rocks in front of him seemed to not exist in front of him. Everything larger than the microscopic scale has huge gaps for him, and he can squeeze through easily. In just a dozen steps, Lenin had reached the place of death outside the city of Fire Oil. After months of practice, this kind of spatial control has become more and more comfortable. This area has been heavily protected. The outermost part is a huge magic barrier. And the innermost part is a one meter thick wall. The innermost part has a protective barrier that he personally arranged. Which can even block the detection of gods. Lenin did not make any cover up when he entered. And was naturally quickly discovered by the wizards guarding him. Speaker Lin, Lord Vittorio has been waiting for you for a long time. Dennis hurried forward and said excitedly. It seems that you have figured out the power system of the spacecraft? Lennon's face also showed a bit of anticipation. Even though the curvature engine is a science fiction weapon in G. Now's database, it only exists as a concept. It cannot be made. If they can make a breakthrough in this area, it can be said that they have left the Earth Federation in the previous life behind in the field of power. We've got more than 90% done. The main part has been completed. What's left is the protection of the alchemy circle. In fact, we can start the test flight today, Dennis said quite proudly. In the development of this power system, he provided a lot of ideas, 
and he also had his own contribution to it, surrounded by a group of alchemists. Lin quickly entered the spacecraft. Many areas inside were dismantled, and a curvature generator was built at the front and rear ends, thus forming a constriction in the front and expansion in the rear. The U-shaped curvature space is like a slide, allowing the spacecraft to slide all the way. Dennis smacked his lips and continued to explain to Lin. The spacecraft currently has two power systems. It needs to use a nuclear-powered detonation engine to accelerate the spacecraft to more than 15 times the speed of sound before leaving the Eternal Star. Atmosphere. Restart the curvature engine. Further increase the speed. And fly into the vast space of the universe. The reason for this extra step is that they currently have no way to accurately control the power delivered by the curvature engine. And flying at ultra-high speed within the atmosphere of the Eternal Star may cause some horrific consequences. Lin nodded. Extreme speed represents extreme power. Dennis and others' worries are not unreasonable. It is better to be cautious. He also doesn't expect the first-generation spacecraft thrusters to adopt full curvature drive mode. It would be good to use hybrid power first. By the way, what did you use as the energy source for the curvature engine? Lin and suddenly asked curiously. But the next moment, he saw a spherical soil block with a diameter of more than 100 meters suspended in a huge alchemical formation. Above, bound by heavy rune chains. Using dirt and rocks as fuel, Lennon was stunned for a moment. And then he felt that the aura above was vaguely familiar to him. This thing shouldn't be. Lin immediately thought of something. And then Vittorio's voice came over. This is the lunar soil, which is the body of the moon god. Only this thing can provide enough energy. Chapter 572, Space Navigation and the Clock Slow Effect. The body of the moon god? Hearing Vittorio's explanation. Lin's expression suddenly became very strange. The good guy dared to use the divine body as a source of power. This is quite fierce. Vittorio also had a helpless expression on his face. He had tried to use high-purity magic stone crystals as energy source before. But after calculation, even if he consumed one ton of magic stone reserves, it would not be enough for the spacecraft to move one kilometer. After all, this thing is so big that it can be regarded as a fortress or even a small city. Its mass is as high as hundreds of thousands of tons. This is because of the special materials. The energy required to drive it can only be described as terrifying. The only thing that meets the conditions is the lunar soil that they dug back for study before. After testing, the magic density of this thing is very high. Hundreds of times more than the highest purity magic stone. Having said this, Vittorio looked at Lin cautiously, somewhat worried that this would cause the other party's displeasure. After all, the magic star has now broken through to the divine realm. To some extent, this is blasphemy. Act of. Lenin obviously didn't care about this. In his opinion, God is just a high-dimensional life form. It is unimaginable to be powerful on a planet or a galaxy. But in a wider universe, it's nothing. The fall of Diana, the goddess of the moon, is a warning. Therefore, although Lenin was surprised by Vittorio's boldness, he soon discussed with him the composition of the lunar soil used to construct the divine body, similar to the moon in a previous life. The ten tons of lunar soil they brought back was rich in rare elements such as silicon, aluminum, potassium, barium, lithium, helium-3, neon-2, and neon-22. Of course, the most important ones are these elements. The huge amount of magic power contained in it. This can be seen from the fact that the revolution of the moon can trigger the magic tide of the eternal star. Have you done experiments before? How fast can it go when using the curvature engine? Lin asked curiously. The test flight of the spacecraft has not yet been carried out. But our experiment on the model has been successful. Vittorio said confidently. They made a smaller aircraft one by one and carried out preliminary tests. Experiment. No problems occurred. Model. Why does it sound so unreliable? Lennon raised his eyebrows. But didn't say anything. With him here, there wouldn't be any big surprises. Vittorio turned his head and spoke to the great wizards present. Get busy with me. Perform one last inspection. And then launch this spacecraft. Raphael. Jeffrey. Arad and others immediately devoted themselves to the final maintenance work. For seven months and more than half a year, everyone has been preparing for this moment. No one wants all their efforts to be in vain because of the last mistake. Charging is complete. The front curvature drive device is normal. The electromagnetic field detection device has been activated. The path planning is completed and all obstacles have been avoided. A series of reports followed one after another. Since they were well prepared in advance, this inspection was just a routine matter. Harav. 
Aurora and Anthony were all present. And no one wanted to miss this historic moment. The high-spirited Vittorio stood on the alchemy instrument in front of the console and expanded his domain to all aspects of the entire spacecraft. This is the method he developed to control the spacecraft, directly using the wizard's domain to control every atom inside the spacecraft. The open hatch of the spacecraft closed quickly, and the outer SH L gradually shrank without leaving any gaps. Then the disc-shaped spacecraft weighing hundreds of thousands of tons slowly rose up amidst violent vibrations. This is the anti-gravity device burned into the bottom of the spacecraft. Then Vittorio spoke again. Start the nuclear thrusters! Dennis immediately and solemnly took out two transparent spheres with a diameter of half a meter and put them into the channel of the bottom cabin. Harav and others' eyelids jumped when they saw it because they all knew that it contained deuterium and tritium elements. They all knew that Vittorio was very bold and even participated in the production of part of the propulsion device. But they did not expect that the other party would be ready to use this big killer as soon as they came up because this nuclear power does not refer to converting nuclear energy into electricity for driving, but directly using nuclear explosions to generate propulsion to drive unimaginably heavy spacecraft. If they hadn't discovered that the surface of this special metal had a layer of film that could withstand the terrifying high temperatures and pressures while studying the spacecraft's weapon system, they would not have had the guts to make such an attempt. In an instant, the entire spacecraft seemed to shake. This was when the two hydrogen bombs that were thrown exploded. Violent fire and light erupted in the burning cabin of the spacecraft. The huge power made many great wizards present feel frightened. Because at this moment, they were only a few hundred meters away from the hydrogen explosion. Once the cabin could not bear the explosion, it would be terrible. The power of the hydrogen explosion can tear them apart in an instant. Fortunately, the technology of alien civilizations is still worthy of trust. A mere hydrogen explosion is not enough to destroy them. Not to mention that the combustion chamber is one of the strongest places. Raphael and others wiped the cold sweat from their heads. Even Vittorio and Dennis, as developers, secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Although they had tested it before, they were still not sure. Very creative. Lin, who witnessed the entire startup process, was also a little surprised. He did not expect that Vittorio would choose to use the powerful reverse thrust generated by the legendary technique, Final Atomic Breath, to drive the spacecraft forward. Completing the most dangerous level also heralds the official launch of the spacecraft. From the two nozzles specially left at the rear, extremely hot energy pillars erupted instantly, stretching several kilometers away. The spaceship weighing hundreds of thousands quickly rose into the sky under the power of fusion. The huge mass and the sonic boom caused by the extreme speed instantly caused the ground that was already devastated by the double baptism of nuclear explosions and hydrogen explosions. Experienced another devastation. In just 10 seconds, the speed of the spacecraft has increased by more than five times the speed of sound. And it continues to soar all the time. A strong sound barrier appeared on the surface of the spacecraft. And the entire disk seemed to be wrapped in clouds and mist. This is because Vittorio and others specially burned windproof magic on the SH. L. Otherwise the destructive power would be several times more serious. A huge light screen soon appeared in front of everyone. Showing the outside world. This is the light and shadow projection magic developed by Aurora. It can replace the display device and see the outside world directly from inside. However, everything in their field of vision had been blocked by the sound barrier. All they could see was a vast expanse of white, which then turned into pitch black, which meant that the spacecraft had broken away from the planet's atmosphere. It only takes a minute or two for Raphael and others. This is incredibly fast. However, this was just the beginning. After completely leaving the planet's atmosphere, Vittorio solemnly started the curvature engine device. The lunar soil placed in the center of the alchemy formation peeled off layer by layer and was converted into a large amount of magic power. At the front end of the spacecraft, the space was constantly twisting like ripples and finally formed a circular space depression. The spacecraft is also accelerating at an extremely terrifying frequency. Raphael and others inside could only see the rapid decrease of the lunar soil inside the circle, but could not sense the increase in speed at all because it was too smooth so smooth that they could not sense any fluctuations at all. Are we really accelerating? Arad said in confusion. Of course. You'll know just by looking there. Aurora pointed to a small dot on the light screen. That is. Moon. They were passing by the satellite at an extremely fast speed. Arad watched in horror as the moon changed from an imperceptible small point of light to a behemoth. And then rapidly shrank in two seconds and disappeared in front of them. Before. How fast is this? All the great wizards present were shocked, even though their calculation power was very strong.
because they could not find a reliable calibration object. We'll find out when we get to the brown star, Vittorio replied. This is the destination of their trip, the planet farthest from the sun in the star system. According to the estimates of wizards who study astronomy, the distance between the two planets in their orbits at this time is about 1 billion kilometers. At the speed of light, it would take 3,300 seconds. That's about an hour. The time scale on the atomic clock passed by minute by minute. And everyone was staring at the light screen above. During the long dark voyage, another massive planet appeared and disappeared from their field of vision. Raphael recognized this planet as the second farthest planet from them. And it happened to be within their planned flight orbit. This means they are not far from the brown star. Just as Raphael expected, the huge brown planet was already in sight. And the two sides were approaching at an extremely fast speed. Time. Look at the time. Vittorio said excitedly. It's two hours. Seven minutes and thirty-six seconds. Dennis hammered his palm with joy. His words filled with disbelief. This means that the cruising speed of the spacecraft has reached half the speed of light. Harav, Aurora, and Anthony also had expressions of disbelief on their faces. They could actually increase their speed to such a terrifying level. Raphael and others were equally excited. This is one half of the speed of light. 150,000 kilometers per second. Orbiting the eternal star twice. Lin and waited until everyone's excitement subsided before correcting him with a smile. It's useless to look at this clock. We'll have to wait until we return to the eternal star and look at the clock over there to find out how fast it really is. Due to the slow clock effect, their time is not accurate at all. But according to his estimation, this speed is definitely not too slow. You must know that this is only the engine of the first generation spacecraft. And there is still a lot of room for optimization. After Lin Un's reminder, all the wizards present gradually calmed down and thought of the clock slowness effect mentioned in quantum theory. Although the magic star has proved that his theory is accurate, there is no question about the speed caused by the gap in time flow rate still makes many people confused. Is it really slow? Chapter 573, Tear Apart Satellites Gravitational Time Dilation Effect The discussion about the slow clock effect did not last long. After all, whether it was true or not, they would know when they got back. Immediately afterwards, Vittorio began to experiment with deceleration and hovering, turning, drifting, and the most critical weapon system detection. That's right. It's a weapon. The disk spacecraft they intercepted was equipped with very powerful weapon systems. But most of them were either damaged or used up. The only one that was still intact was a neutron launcher. This time I want to test its power. The next moment, a launch port opened at the front of the disk-shaped spacecraft. And a hundred thousand fist-sized neutron clusters flew out from the inside. Targeting a satellite orbiting the brown star. Its diameter is about 1,500 kilometers. In front of it, this spacecraft is like a grain of sand under the mountain. And the neutron cluster flying out is as small as dust. However, these neutron clusters, which could not be seen after flying out, exploded with extremely terrifying power, bombarding the surface of the satellite at nearly one-third of the speed of light. In an instant, a violent energy wave spread across the void. It broke out. Harav and others inside the spacecraft could not hear the sound. But they could see the scene of the satellite being torn apart. 100,000 neutron clusters were like 100,000 large mass hydrogen bombs exploding at the same time. And the surface of the planet was directly torn apart. Cracked. Countless materials erupted from the interior of the planet. This blow blew up one third of the satellite surrounding the brown star. And the remaining parts completely deviated from the orbit and flew into the boundless void of the universe. What a terrifying power! Vittorio said solemnly. Harav and others who observed the whole process were also breaking into a cold sweat. Although the mass of this satellite was much smaller than that of the moon, it was still a celestial body after all. And one third of it was torn apart by one blow and flew off the track. Lin was not too surprised. Destroying every satellite in an interstellar war was nothing. He guessed that this was just one of the less powerful conventional attack methods among the weapons carried by the spacecraft. Otherwise, such an attack alone would destroy the spacecraft. It is not an easy task to kill Diana, the goddess of the moon, who is located in the divine domain. How about calling it a scattering particle cannon? Lenin said in a deep voice. This method of attacking based on strength and pure impact reminded him of a weapon in science fiction concept. That is, water droplets. Although their attacks are very simple, ultimate speed is ultimate power. No matter how many fancy magics you use, it can't compare to swinging a punch at the speed of light. Return to the moon. First go to the moon. Lenin said after looking at the lunar soil 
that had shrunk by a full circle on the alchemy circle. Vittorio nodded and did not continue the experiment. The remaining neutron clusters on the spacecraft were only enough to be used three more times. Being able to conduct a weapons experiment was already considered a luxury. A few hours later, in the Eternal Star, the Land of Death, a huge disc-shaped spacecraft slowly docked on the devastated land, with a mass of hundreds of thousands of tons. Even after layers of deceleration, it still caused a high-intensity earthquake the moment it fell to the ground. The moment they officially walked out of the cabin to greet the sun and set foot on the ground. All the wizards couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. Although they just went for a spin on the brown star and then returned to the eternal star. But in the universe, the dead silence and darkness still make people feel extremely depressed and frightened. The universe is really too big. In their eyes, planets that are unimaginably huge are as small as a light point when sailing. They can't be seen at all when they are farther away. And there is no direction and distance there. Raphael is very he suspected that if the spaceship deviated slightly from its course, he would be floating in the endless void forever. The time does seem a little wrong. Harab looked up at the rising sun in the sky. After going back and forth, the clock on the spacecraft only passed about 6 hours and 35 minutes. But they set off around 10 o'clock in the evening. And it was already morning. The great wizards who were waiting near the place of death also immediately gathered around. Because there is always a need for someone to observe flying on the ground. A full 10 hours have passed on the planet. There is actually twice the time difference. Vittorio sighed. They spent a lot of time testing weapons on the brown star and on the moon. Remove these factors. When the spacecraft is sailing at high speed, compared to eternity, the star's time flow rate is only about half. Lenin also nodded, which was not beyond his expectation. Although the curvature engine is different from the traditional propulsion method in that it directly changes the distance. Since time and space are one, and the essence of time is the movement of matter. The distortion of space also means the distortion of time. The changes in time and space caused by the gravity of the planet are the most direct evidence. It can be regarded as a natural curvature engine. And its ultimate is a black hole. This is why Lin is sure that the curvature engine can exceed the speed of light. Because the black hole's powerful gravitational vortex is enough to prevent even light from escaping. This is a guess based on the gravitational time dilation formula mentioned by Einstein in the theory of relativity. Now it turns out that the big man is undoubtedly right again. The curvature engine will also trigger a clock slow response. In other words, whether it is extremely fast speed or extreme mass, the fundamental reason why they can cause time dilation is the distortion of space. And the curvature engine directly distorts space, thereby affecting the movement rate of objects. Which is what people often time to talk. It seems that our real sailing speed is only about a quarter of the speed of light. Dennis smacked his lips. This is already a very exaggerated value. But under the stimulation of reaching half the speed of light, this speed does not seem so dazzling. In particular, they also need to face an unknown civilization from the starry sky. According to Lin In, the speed of light is only the basic requirement for realizing space navigation. The power provided by the lunar soil alone is still limited. Even if we continue to improve, it can only reach about 60% of the speed of light at most. Vittorio said in a deep voice, and he had checked the fuel reserves before, and just walked back and forth. After walking around for a while, 50% of the 10 tons of lunar soil they took had been consumed. Of course, the sailing distance also reached a full 2 billion kilometers. Vittorio couldn't help but think that just a god's body could possess such a powerful magic reserve. But what if it was a godhead with a higher energy density, or even the god itself? Will it be possible to directly allow the spacecraft to reach, or even exceed the speed of light? Lin In is also thinking about this issue. If they want to obtain the force that can rival the galaxy civilization in a short period of time, they must at least ensure a certain degree of threat. They can only rely on tricky methods. The resources of another world have become very important. After defeating the Lord of the Undead, he had a large amount of loot that he had not collected, such as the entire foreign land and the planes controlled by the Lord of the Undead. Now he has a complete plan for the establishment of the space-time gate. Perhaps, he can locate the coordinates of the foreign land through the remaining consciousness of the moon god Diana. If Ella or even other gods from other worlds could be captured to provide power. Perhaps a real warp spaceship could be built. However, there is still some way to go before this dream. At least until they have completed the improvement of the spacecraft and can carry out actual combat. Vittorio did not waste a moment. After confirming the real existence of the clock slow effect, he and a group of alchemists check the alchemy circle arranged on the outer SH. L of the spacecraft to see if there were any signs of damage. After this test flight, he had a lot of ideas. 
Aurora. Harov and Anthony are responsible for researching the weapon system of the spacecraft and replicating the antimatter fusion furnace. Preparing to weaponize Lin's antimatter cannon as another big killer weapon for them to deal with gods. Although the particle cannon on the spacecraft is very powerful. It only has three shots left. You can't always rely on this. Right? The production of the neutron cluster is also a difficult problem. Now only Lin can do it. But it will also take a lot of time. With only weak divine power. There is no way to directly control neutrons, like elements and electrons. It can only affect them indirectly. And it is impossible for him to put too much energy here. Lin stretched out his hand. And an illusory crystal suddenly appeared in his palm. This was the signal source he had intercepted before. Although Lin blocked it. He did not destroy it directly. Firstly, it is to study the other party's quantum communication technology. And secondly, based on the ability to perceive higher dimensions, he can reversely locate the other party's position through this signal source. Lin guessed that although the civilization that created the disk spacecraft also had the ability to observe high dimensions, at least it was not to the point where it could do as it pleased. It was likely that it needed some kind of instrument to locate it, and could not directly locate it through perception like he did. This was also very important to them. One of the advantages, but the bad news is not without it. According to his observations, as of today, the distance between the two sides has spanned from dozens of light years to less than 10 light years. It seems that just as he expected before, the other party has the ability to span long distances. It's normal when you think about it. A true interstellar civilization cannot master wormhole technology. Otherwise, it would take hundreds of years to fly casually in the vast universe. By the time your fleet reaches the enemy, you don't know what the enemy's technology has developed. Lin Ng could only hope that this was the closest time and space coordinate to them. Otherwise, there would be too little time left for the council. Thinking of this, Lin In took out an entangled quantum and prepared to experiment with the establishment of a space-time channel. First create a space-time node between the eternal star and the moon, so that it will be much easier for them to collect energy. Chapter 574 Meeting of the Gods Late at night, in the main world, in the floating city, in the main temple of the god of life and creation, Rupert, the chief priest of the Yavar people, was praying devoutly, and soon attracted a response from God. A huge crack appeared in the sky of the temple, and then a bright beam of light fell from the sky, illuminating the dim floating city. This beam of light is not a simple beam of light, but the embodiment of the divine power of life, an energy that can be perfectly absorbed by living creatures. On the surface, grass and trees soared and flowers bloomed. Trees that had withered and decayed due to seasonal changes, and were waiting for the next cycle also took out their branches and buds again. Those yabbers who had scars and illnesses due to work, and fighting all felt that the scars on their bodies were falling off and their illnesses were disappearing. For some gods, coming is a blessing in itself. Praise you, the great god of life and creation. You are the father of all living things. Praise you. Spread the grace of God to every corner of the earth. The Yaver people in the entire city knelt on the ground one after another, thanking God for the gift. Rupert, the chief priest, also knelt down in fear, and then told the reason why he prayed for God to descend. Great Lord, according to our divination and exploration, the kingdom of the dead on the other side of the world seems to have undergone tremendous changes. Yes, the Lord of Death has fallen. A deep, high voice, indistinguishable from male to female, sounded in the sky. But for high-dimensional creatures, gender is not important. Upon hearing the news suddenly, Chief Priest Rupert was both surprised and horrified. I was pleasantly surprised because the Lord of the Dead and the Great God of Life and creation did not deal with each other very well. There was a lot of friction between the two sides, and there was even the possibility of a divine war. Now a threat has undoubtedly been eliminated. What is horrifying is that such a god, the controller of death, who is almost the same as the great main power, will also fall. Although his heart was struck by two intertwined emotions, Chief Priest Rupert quickly reacted and quickly asked for instructions. Great Lord, do we need to do anything? This is undoubtedly a good opportunity to add insult to injury. And the death of the Lord of the Undead also means that the opponent's divine domain is in a state of ownerlessness. They are undoubtedly able to seize the opportunity as they are not far from the kingdom of the undead. No, you don't need to do anything. The voice of the God of Life and Creation sounded again, directly refuting Rupert's idea. This bait is indeed big, but the risk is not small either. After all, there are not a few gods who know this information. This matter has even attracted the attention of a main god. He knows very well that it is difficult to gain much benefit from participating in this dispute. 
although the God of life and creation did not give any explanation. God's orders are supreme. Chief Priest Rupert immediately changed his words. I will do your will. Great Lord. The God of life and creation was extremely satisfied. Endless light immediately poured into Rupert's body and quickly integrated into his body. Thank you for your blessing. Great Lord. Rupert said with great excitement. A new divine war may break out recently. Don't get involved. And don't do anything unnecessary. The God of life and creation gave instructions again. But his voice was soon interrupted. Because he felt the call. Coming from a Lord God. I'm afraid things have changed a lot more than I expected. The God of life and creation hesitated for a moment. And after a few words of comfort to the high priest. The light that fell on the floating city quickly receded. It seems that I have to get involved in this matter. The pantheon stands between the main world and the endless void. There is no concept of time here, and it is the meeting place of the gods. However, except for the summons of the Lord God, no god would be willing to come here on weekdays. The last time he went here was 700 years ago. After arriving here, the god of life and creation transformed into the appearance of the Yavar people. Gods do not have a fixed form. But in order to facilitate their actions and gather faith, they usually appear in the appearance before they became gods, or in the appearance imagined by believers. He was obviously not the only one who received the call from the Lord God this time. The moment the God of life and creation entered the hall, he felt no less than forty powerful auras. In the deepest part of the hall, a huge black shadow emerged in the void. Its true appearance could not be seen clearly, exuding a terrifying pressure, and the surrounding time and space seemed unable to withstand the opponent's arrival, becoming chaotic and distorted. The only thing that the God of life and creation could see was a strange symbol on the forehead of the main god, which looked like an eye. Your Majesty Morgos! The God of life and creation saluted respectfully. Morgos, the main god who lives in the pantheon, did not mean to be polite at all. He stared at the dozens of gods gathered in the pantheon and said directly, Donatus, the lord of the undead, has fallen. This news is not beyond everyone's expectations. Obviously, Everyone has already known about the chaos in the kingdom of the dead. The fight for the legacy left by the Lord of the Undead has already begun. However, there are so many gods eyeing these masterless planes that no one dares to take action easily. They just send their followers to the kingdom of the undead as a test. Now that the Lord God Morago suddenly summoned them, many gods were worried whether their plan to seize the death god's domain would be affected. The god of life and creation is also extremely confused. He has no idea about the legacy left by the Lord of the Dead. But generally speaking, the Lord God should not interfere with the ownership of the plane. This time seems to be an exception. The main god Morgos did not care about the little thoughts in the minds of the gods. As the divine power surged, a hole suddenly opened in the chaotic and twisted space in the temple. Inside was a dark passage, and the other side was connected to the kingdom of the dead. The next moment, Ripple suddenly appeared in the distorted time and space, and a summoned suture lord stepped out from the distorted time and space gate. Its body shape is even weirder than the distorted time and space. It seems to be pieced together from countless different corpses. Its left arm is a long dragon tail. And its right hand is a claw as sharp as a sickle. It is over 70 meters tall. However, compared to its huge body, the movements of this suture monster seemed cautious. For fear that its ugliness and filth would stain this sacred hall. As a legendary being with nine rings, he has undoubtedly reached the pinnacle of mortal existence. But Lord Suture knows very well that any of the gods in the temple can crush into death with just one finger. Therefore, its movements were extremely reserved. After entering the hall, it knelt down without hesitation, even though it seemed a bit funny to make such an action with its short legs. I have revealed to you, the great Lord God, that my Lord Donatus had an accident when he was conquering a new plane. This is related to the moon god who left the main world before. The suture monarch who was summoned was very worried. He knew the reason why the superior god summoned him. So he hurriedly told everything he knew. From the lord of the undead looking for the reason why the moon god Diana left the main world. To sending the archlich Cecil to explore the moon god realm. To discovering a new plane. It was explained in great detail. The new moon god has been hiding in the divine realm without causing any trouble. It was not until the lord of the dead opened the passage between the two worlds and went to the new plane that he suddenly launched an attack and completely closed the time and space passage. Lord Suture is not clear about what happened next. He did not witness the death of the Lord of the Dead with his own eyes. However, the dead souls stranded in the Moon God's domain were slaughtered by the new Moon God and were able to escape. There are not even one undead in the country of the undead. If it hadn't been lucky, 
it would have been crushed to pieces, hearing that the Lord of the Undead died so aggrievedly. Several of the gods who were at odds with him were a little gloating about his misfortune. They thought that the other party had encountered some powerful enemy and did not even have a chance to escape. Now it seems that they were just too stupid to be killed. It's just a setup. The God of Life and Creation does not think so. In the past, when capturing new dimensions, there were many cases of gods being overturned. After all, leaving the gods' domain means that the combat power is greatly reduced. However, two gods in a row have fallen. Alien plane. This has to make people care. It can be said that the Lord of the Undead was accidentally attacked by a sneak attack. And the God of the Moon was not only dead, but even his godhood was robbed. The new plane was obviously not that simple. The God of Life and Creation was thinking. When he heard the Suture Lord once again said some explosive news. Under the crown of the great Lord God, I once heard my Lord Dineta say that what Diana, the God of the Moon, discovered back then was probably a large plane. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of the gods present immediately showed a bit of burning color. Even the God of Life and Creation was no exception. This was a temptation that no ambitious god could refuse. Large planes mean too many things, such as perfect laws and massive energy. If you can completely master them, you may hope to ascend to the position of Lord God. No wonder the moon god suddenly separated the divine domain from the main world back then. At first, he thought that the other party was afraid of the Lord of the Undead launching a divine war. So he could only use this to survive. Now he thought that it was to monopolize this large plane. It may even be that Diana took the initiative to spread the rumor. It is no longer unusual for two gods to fall one after another. It is not impossible for a large plane to give birth to some extremely powerful beings. The god of life and creation quickly calmed down the desire that emerged in his heart. He understood that this large plane was obviously being targeted by the Lord God Morigos, which should be the reason why the other party found them. Chapter 575 No God Can Escape Our Control The news about the large plane immediately moved the gods in the pantheon. And the god of thunder and war was undoubtedly the most excited one. As early as thousands of years ago, he relied on the dozens of planes he captured to become a god with great divine power. He is only one step away from being able to form the main god of the gods. If he can completely control this large plane, he may it can be an opportunity for him to be promoted. Your Majesty! At this moment, the god of harvest and breeding suddenly took a step forward and said, According to the information I received, the plane native who captured the moon god had plotted against the lord of the dead, then reclosed the connection with the main world and escaped into the endless void. This means that it is difficult to locate the existence of the moon god realm with their methods. No one knows how vast the endless void is and how many unknown worlds there are inside. Because even if it takes tens of thousands of years with the power of God, it cannot reach the end. This is definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. No god can escape our control. Lord God Morgo spoke. And for a moment, it seemed like countless voices sounded simultaneously in the pantheon. The power that caused the void to vibrate, and the meaning of the words made the expressions of the gods present slightly change. This was both an explanation and a warning to them. The god of thunder and war was undoubtedly the one with the ugliest expression. But he did not show any signs of it under the divine light. Lord God Morgos spoke again, speaking in an unquestionable tone. Everyone, go back and prepare. When the main star crosses the sky for the second time, I will open the space-time door to the moon god realm. The ownership of those divine realms left behind by the death of the lord of the dead will also be determined by this war. Your will shall be followed. Your majesty Morgos. The god of harvest and fertility was the first to say yes. She knew very well that after the lord god Morigos learned of the existence of this large plane, the possibility of monopolizing it no longer existed. Instead, he gained enough achievements to include those former death god realms. Is more practical. There are not a few gods who think like her. Not all of them have the ambitions of the god of thunder and war. They can gain control of one or two planes, increase their own strength, and get one step closer. Not bad. After receiving the consent of the gods, the main god Morgos quickly left, and the shaking void returned to calm. The god of thunder and war was the first to withdraw the power he projected, and then more and more gods left and began to prepare for the next war. The god of life and creation is no exception. He was unwilling to get involved before because he knew that even if he captured the Lord of the Dead's divine domain, he would not have enough power to keep it. The situation is different now. With the permission of the Lord God, there is no need to worry about another divine war breaking out between each other. While thinking, the God of life and creation couldn't help but think of the rumor. 
it seems that the Lord God cannot easily leave the main world. This may be the reason why they exist to conquer new dimensions. Pioneer. At this moment, the big universe, the unknown galaxy, the second spiral arm, the eternal star, and the magic kingdom. Five people, Raphael, Arad, Jeffrey, Dennis, and Sanchez, who had made outstanding achievements in the destruction of the church and the last foreign war, gathered underground in the city of fire and oil, in front of the solar furnace, and were nervously undergoing promotions. Prepare. After more than a year of preparations, the reserves of deuterium and tritium elements are enough for 50 people to complete the legendary promotion ceremony. It's just that quantum mechanics is too difficult. This year, more than 30 great wizards took the quantum examination, and only five of them successfully passed. Although they were fully prepared, Raphael and the others were still a little nervous when they actually stood in front of the sun furnace. After all, during the last promotion, two six-ring great wizards died, and only Anthony completed it. Ceremony? Let me do it first! Jeffrey took a deep breath and was the first to step onto the high platform with countless alchemical runes engraved on it. After connecting the magic network, he signaled to the speakers that they could start. Vittorio immediately started the promotion ceremony, and the solar furnace that was originally running smoothly suddenly exploded, and its size expanded several times in an instant. Then a huge amount of energy was materialized in the form of thunder. Along the runes all poured into Jeffrey's body, with a huge computing power provided by the magic network. Jeffrey could clearly feel that his body was being torn apart and burned by the violent current, and then his soul lost the protection of his body. The key to being promoted to a legend is to reshape the body and create a body of magic and energy, thus breaking through the limits that the human body can reach. However, this process is torturous, and the pain caused is definitely not something that most people can endure. Of course, Jeffrey would not be overwhelmed by the mere pain, but the last time he witnessed the two great wizards being wiped out by the violent thunder, it left a big psychological shadow on him. A shudder rising from his soul instantly occupied his mind. And the flesh, bones, and internal organs that had been quietly formed suddenly collapsed due to this moment of distraction. Seeing the sudden change in the promotion ceremony that was originally going smoothly, everyone present was extremely nervous. Once the promotion fails, it is likely to mean death, and it will also postpone the legendary promotion ceremony that was originally restarted. After all, a failed case may affect the mentality of Raphael and others, causing a chain reaction. At this moment, Lenin took action, and the violent thunder and surging elements were all frozen at this moment. Jeffrey, who originally felt that the situation was completely out of control and was lamenting and waiting to die, immediately found that the pain that penetrated his soul suddenly disappeared, and the violent thunder around him seemed to freeze next to him. No, Jeffrey soon sensed that time did not stop completely but slowed down hundreds of times. The current was still surging, but at a much slower speed. What are you waiting for? Master Jeffrey? Lin asked in confusion. Only then did Jeffrey recover from the shock and quickly activated the technique body reconstruction again. The originally violent energy became extremely gentle, and he completed this without encountering many obstacles. Promotion ceremony. Congratulations on your promotion to the legendary wizard. Lin smiled and patted him on the shoulder. Thank you very much for your help. Speaker Lin, Jeffrey said with great fear. At that moment, he almost thought that his soul was going to be extinguished. I'll be next. Right, Raphael said eagerly. After understanding that even if he made a mistake, someone would cover it up. Raphael's worries were completely relieved. This promotion went very smoothly without any surprises. Then came Dennis, Allard and Sanchez. Although they made a lot of mistakes, they still endured it. This made Jeffrey very embarrassed. Lenin also did not help in the whole process. In fact, with his current power, it is not a problem to create a few legends. But he cannot understand quantum mechanics. Even if he completes the promotion, he is just a pseudo-legend and cannot perform much. With such strength, it is difficult to continue to be promoted. And the pain caused by the promotion ceremony is not without benefits. In addition to physical reshaping, the spirit body that has reached the limit of the sixth ring wizard will also complete its transformation under the baptism of thunder and energy. The council suddenly had five more legends, which can be said to have greatly increased their strength in terms of high and power. Lin was naturally extremely satisfied. This meant that their efficiency in producing special alloys would more than double. During the period of preparation for the promotion ceremony, Vittorio and others have completed the remodification of the spacecraft and the research and development of the Annihilation Cannon 
has also been successful. After preliminary testing, this thing is ready to join the battle. So Lin In asked the council to build two more galaxy-class battleships, and the appearance should be as similar as possible to the spacecraft they intercepted. Time was once the most indispensable thing for them. But now it is the biggest advantage when facing what the star messenger calls the main world. After all, it is a full seven times difference in time flow, which allows them to prepare for offense or defense more calmly. I think there is no need to completely imitate the alien spacecraft. At least we can use our own plan in terms of appearance, Vittorio said consolingly. Judging from the experimental results these days, the circular shape does not have any advantages in space navigation. At least it is not suitable for curvature engines. Vittorio tested it with a 1 to 10,000 model. But it didn't help at all. On the contrary, it was a diamond-shaped spaceship. Just changing the shape could increase the speed by about 10%. This is already very scary. After further optimization, the ultimate speed of the spacecraft is close to one-third of the speed of light. Even an increase of 10% is a terrifying value. Sometimes we not only have to consider tactical victory or defeat. Speaker Vittorio, Lin explained with a smile. Before there is a larger energy supply, a 10% increase in speed cannot play a decisive role. On the contrary, sometimes some strategic changes are enough to affect the direction of a war. Vittorio raised his eyebrows, thinking about what Lin meant by strategic changes. They couldn't just rely on imitating their appearance to make the other party think they were friendly forces, and then launch a sudden attack. Right? This is a bit whimsical. Lenin didn't mean to explain too much, and gave his instructions straightforwardly. In short, the second and third interstellar battleships should be built according to the original model of the spacecraft we intercepted. The subsequent interstellar battleships can use our own design. Chapter 576 Moon Fortress In July, the warm summer wind blows slowly, and the central part of the kingdom once again welcomes the joy of harvest. Spread over hundreds of thousands of square kilometers, there are endless yellow and orange wheat fields arranged vertically and horizontally, with the joint efforts of magic and hundreds of thousands of workers. More than 300,000 hectares of land in the central region of the kingdom have been transformed into a kingdom. Granary. This place alone is enough to supply nearly 80% of the entire Magic Kingdom's food and livestock requirements. Five years ago, Beat was just a farmer in a territory directly under the royal family. Although the taxes in the territory were relatively low, he could still have enough to eat when the harvest was good. But once a drought or when war breaks out in the kingdom, life becomes extremely difficult. However, since the wizards captured the royal capital and occupied the entire kingdom, Beat's life has undergone tremendous changes. When the wizards first proposed to collect scattered land and implement centralized and mechanized planting, they were met with spontaneous resistance from countless farmers. After all, for the kingdom citizens who have been farming for generations, fields are the most precious property, to some extent, even more important than life. As long as the land remains, at least the minimum living needs can be guaranteed. Most people simply do not believe that the wizards, who are promoted by the church as doomsday and spreaders of evil god believers have such good intentions. So they are extremely resistant to the so-called agricultural reform plan. It's just that a group of farmers are unable to fight against the casters who have mastered the magic miracle. Fortunately, the parliament did not intend to engage in mass murder. Instead, it chose to reclaim wasteland first and use words and benefits to induce some less determined territorial residents to participate in management. Beat undoubtedly seized this rare opportunity, responded to the so-called big farm plan of the wizards, and became a large farmer managing thousands of acres of land around him. He also saw magic beyond his imagination. Fully automatic farming magic. Turning the soil and planting do not require manpower or animal power at all. As long as you drive a huge alchemical creation, only a few people can easily cultivate thousands of acres of fields. Even watering and fertilizing are handled by specialized elemental wizards. Casting a magic called nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium yield increase technique once a week can greatly increase the wheat yield in the coming year. The most important thing they have to do is to cooperate with the wizards' agricultural reform experiments based on past experience. Of course, these high ranking wizards were all very busy and did not waste much time on little things like planting crops. After surviving the most difficult first year, they stopped assisting them in planting. Instead, they provide a kind of alchemical powder in batches that can increase the fertility of the land and reduce insect pests. Beat, who has enjoyed the convenience of fully automated planting, even had the idea to use all his savings to rent an airship for daily watering and fertilizing work. After all, it is hard to recruit farmers now. 
the prizes offered by various magic workshops are frighteningly high. In the past, they firmly resisted the agricultural reform plan and wished they could die in the fields. All the farmers who lived and died with the land have entered the workshops to smelt iron and make glass. Therefore, renting an airship was a helpless move. It was precisely because of these magical alchemical creations that their family was able to properly manage thousands of acres of farmland. However, Beat was not without worries. What worried him most was the centralized planting. If a large-scale drought or flood broke out, wouldn't the entire kingdom's food supply be ruined? But in the past few years, Beat was surprised to find that her worries seemed to be unnecessary. Those wizards seemed to have the ability to predict celestial phenomena. In the past year, it has been even more strange. Even wind and rain have been timed and quantitative. Some time ago, a wizard apprentice sent them a questionnaire, asking them how much rain they needed each season, how many sunny days they needed, and which day was more suitable for rain. After reading the questionnaires, Beat was at a loss. She didn't quite understand what the purpose of filling in these questionnaires was. The above even detailed the measurement of each rain. Could it be that they just needed to fill out a report and the sky would will it rain regularly? However, things were obviously more exaggerated than he imagined. After collecting questionnaires from hundreds of large farmers in the entire eastern region of the kingdom, he directly made a four-quarter barometer. After a full year of observation, Beat was surprised to find that the weather in the entire area was exactly the same as what was filled in on the form. Beat secretly asked a wizard who managed the farm and found out that this was a domain an ability only possessed by very powerful wizards. In fact, not to mention the kingdom, the entire continent is under the control of the magic star. If it is sunny, it will never rain. And if it is windy, it will never thunder. After learning the news, Beat installed a statue of a magic star at home overnight. In his opinion, this is no longer magic. And only the omnipotent God in the Bible can do such incredible things. Moreover, under the rule of the empire in the past, they had to go to the church for worship every week. They had already formed a habit. But now that it suddenly stopped, they were really not used to it. Therefore, even if the parliament expressly objects, many citizens of the kingdom still retain the habit of praying. But the object has been replaced by the magic star from the moon god. In short, no matter whether it is useful or not, there is nothing wrong with saying goodbye. In the evening, Beat, who had finished harvesting a thousand acres of wheat fields, led his wife and three sons to earnestly complete the routine prayers, and then began to enjoy today's dinner five pieces of white bread, a bottle of honey wine and a palm-sized piece, a beast of burdened meat. This is already a rich meal. If it were five years ago, those little nobles might not be able to eat these good things every day. While Beat was mentally calculating how much money she could earn from the season's wheat grains, she listened to her youngest son recount the gossip and anecdotes he heard in the Wizarding Academy. For example, the wizards built a flying magic city. And there is a thing called a video stone that is popular in the royal capital recently. It is very magical and can record the past events. The last and most mysterious thing is that it is rumored that the parliament is recruiting a group of pioneers at a high price in the kingdom to build an outpost on the moon. Beat couldn't help but pause while biting the beast's meat. She looked at her youngest son in shock, almost wondering if he was joking. But the latter quickly swore that he was listening to his mentor. One of the wizards said that the council even offered a monthly salary of 20 silver coins. Beat looked up at the bright moon in the sky with hesitation, feeling that he could not understand the world more and more. Just as the Beat family talked about, after more than a month of trying, Lin successfully opened the portal between the eternal star and the moon. At this moment, the royal capital also became lively because of the recruitment order issued by the parliament. Going to the moon is undoubtedly a novel and unknown concept for the citizens of the kingdom. As the saying goes, there must be brave men under heavy rewards. And the kingdom has no shortage of adventurous people. In just one week, the 5,000 people who initially went to the moon were gathered together. In fact, what the parliament needs to build is not just an outpost, but a fortress of war, since the last decisive battle with the Lord of the Undead directly destroyed tens of thousands of miles of land. Lin En had already decided that he could no longer place the battlefield inside the Eternal Star in the future. Otherwise, he would be unable to stop the fight. The aftermath is enough to cause a devastating blow to all life on the entire planet. The moon, which is not too far from the eternal star, has undoubtedly become the most suitable choice. Although there is no atmosphere here, it is wrapped by the moon god realm, which serves the function of the planet's atmosphere to a certain extent. As for the gravity problem, it can also be adjusted by setting up a force field array. Once the lunar outpost is completed, Coupled with the two galaxy-level battleships, 
that the Parliament is currently building. It means that they have stepped onto the threshold of interstellar civilization. Lin Ng can also take advantage of the situation to expand his divine domain to the moon until all the remaining power of Diana is wiped out. In this way, the former moon god will no longer have room to stand up. So you have found a way to locate a foreign land? In the conference hall of the royal capital, Harif couldn't help but asked as he listened to Lin Ng's preparations for the war. Not bad, Lin nodded. Thanks to the remnant soul of the moon god they had discovered on the moon. After being dead for thousands of years, the remaining memory of the other party has become extremely confusing. But he still successfully extracted some useful information. Such as the high dimensional coordinates of the foreign land. And the method of locating there. This requires a medium. And it just so happens that the remnant soul of the moon god has a weak connection with the foreign land. In that case, it's our turn to attack, Anthony said with great anticipation. Before, they were trapped on the eternal star, dealing with the undead army emerging from several portals. It's frustrating. Raphael even suggested that last time they prepared a large number of nuclear weapons to deal with the Lord of the Dead. But the war ended too quickly. And they were fighting in their own territory. So they couldn't let go at all. This time they directly engage in a foreign war. And they can launch a wave of nuclear bombs first. Lenin turned to look at Vittorio and asked. How long until our new warship is built? Two more months will be enough. Vittorio responded thoughtfully. Lin nodded. Two months would be enough to establish an outpost on the moon. Although it would not be a problem to continue to postpone and integrate the resources of the mainland and the moon to build a few more galaxy-level warships. Lin was a little worried that the main world would find the foreign land first. Just like he could find the coordinates of a foreign land from Diana's remnant soul. If Ella was captured, the location of the Eternal Star might also be exposed. It is always better to strike first than to strike last. Chapter 577 This is the power and power of God. Foreign land. Broken City Arcana. After the fall of the moon goddess Diana, this prosperous sacred place was once reduced to a lair for the undead and demons. The stench of decaying corpses mixed with the filth of blood was almost nauseating. However, all this changed drastically the moment the master of the god's domain returned. This dark, chaotic, and dying world also ushered in new life. The divine light enveloped the entire land again, dispelling the heavy death aura. Most of the dead spirits that originally occupied this place were dissolved into pure energy under the sweep of divine light, which was used to nourish this barren land. However, Ella did not mean to kill them all. She knew very well that the foreign land was not safe now. Even if she cut off the time and space passage to the main world and the so-called eternal star in the mouth of the wizards, it was not 100% safe. The most important thing is that Ella got an amazing piece of information from the memories of several high-level undead. That is, the death of the Lord of Death. This news completely exceeded Ella's expectations. According to her previous expectations, even if the Lord of the Dead left the Divine Domain and was cut off by herself from the time and space gate connecting the two worlds, greatly weakening the other party's power, it would still be easy to deal with those wizards. All she did was to delay the Lord of the Dead a little, so that when the other party came back angrily, she would have completely taken control of the Divine Domain and be able to engage in a life-and-death battle with him. However, the development of things was obviously completely different from her previous speculation. The Lord of the Dead, who was trapped in the Eternal Star, actually died. Those wizards actually killed. God! Ella simply couldn't believe the information she had obtained from the memories of the undead. After also entering the Divine Realm, this power that was so powerful that it controlled an entire world could only be described as terrifying. A legend is no different from an ant in front of her. Even the Skyfall, which is powerful enough to burn mountains and boil seas cannot pose any threat to her current self. As long as she wants to. She can even use space transformation to turn the attack intact. Return it without moving. But the Lord of the Dead, who also set foot in the Divine Realm and was more powerful than himself, unexpectedly fell to the Eternal Star. Although memories can be woven and modified, the collapse of the undead army cannot be faked. Another important evidence is that he has not encountered any obstacles in searching for these undead memories, which means that they have indeed lost God's protection. This caused a strong uneasiness in Ella's heart. Regardless of whether the Lord of the Undead was careless or fell into some kind of trap and fell, at least one fact is certain. That is, the wizards have mastered the power enough to kill the gods. In view of this, Ella gave up the idea of killing all the undead in the gods' domain. Because she now needed an army capable of fighting, she directly gathered the remaining five million undead legions. This is not impossible. The low-level undead lack intelligence and are just a group of machines that only know how to kill. 
Therefore, they only need to control the lives of a few high-level undead to command the entire undead army. But this is not enough. Ella knows very well that the battle between gods is the basis for determining victory or defeat. When he resurrected the moon god realm, he consumed too much power and urgently needed to replenish his energy reserves. The fastest way is naturally to gather believers. Ella had arrived at the broken city arcana with just one step. As she opened her mouth, a cold voice resounded throughout the foreign land. Come here, people of God. All suffering has ended. I will build a kingdom of heaven on earth. Drive away all disasters and give eternal light, water, and food to the most devout believers. My name is Ella, the god of the moon, the creator of all things, eternal and supreme. The moment the words fell, divine power enveloped the entire city like ripples. Towering statues of God suddenly rose from the ground. With expressions of compassion, solemnity, or mercy, the same thing is that their whole bodies glowed with a strong light. The dilapidated holy city suddenly shook violently. And for a moment, it was as if time had flown backwards. The dilapidated city walls were restored at a speed visible to the naked eye. The ruins buried on the surface were put back together again. And the dry lakes were once again filled with sweet rain. The remaining mokos, halflings, as well as some orcs and goblins nearby all felt the call of God, left the dark cave they had been away from for a long time, and gathered in the broken city of Arkana, looking at the God in front of them in astonishment. A scene of traces. In just a few hours, this long-abandoned and ravaged sacred place had been restored to its original state. After more than seventy years and countless pains and sufferings, they finally waited for God's return. Excited cheers and excited shouts resounded continuously in the broken city and many remaining priests of the moon god covered their faces, and wept, with tears in their eyes. They looked up at the magnificent and dreamlike buildings in front of them, going crazy, as if kissing the earth under your feet. At this moment, everyone was only filled with enthusiasm for God, and they spontaneously knelt down and prayed devoutly, begging for God's protection. Even though the name of the god just announced and the statue erected in the holy city were very different from the original ones. But no one cares. They only know that the suffering is finally over, and they will all be given a new life. Are these the only ones left? Ayla hung high in the sky, staring at the tens of thousands of believers of the moon god gathered in Arcana. And she couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Even if only a small number of believers were able to get here, they were still too few. Under the sweep of perception, Ella discovered that the remaining population in the entire plane was less than one million. Even though they had all become even his most devout believer has no way to replenish the lost power in a short period of time. However, disappointment is a disappointment. Now every belief is very important. Ella used the bread-making art again, and the elements in the void began to surge crazily. In almost a moment, a large number of soft bread bricks came from the sky. Smashed down, the hungry believers ate the food given by God, and the faith that emerged in their hearts was strengthened again. In fact, the rain of bread will not only appear over the broken city, but also wherever intelligent life exists. Divine grace will be given. This is the power and power of God. Invisible golden threads emerged from the minds of the believers and stretched to an unknown region. This is the faith link. Performing two large-scale miracles in a row is also a big burden for Ella, who already lacks divine power. But what worries her most is not the consumption of energy, but that there are some abnormalities in her godhead. I sense some kind of call. It was a strange feeling, as if a certain part of the body was separated in two places and was desperately trying to come together. Could it be Diana, the goddess of the moon? Ella immediately thought of this possibility, and only the original owner of the godhead could have such an impact. When she integrated the godhood in the eternal star, she sensed Diana's resurgence. This was the most important reason why she was forced to flee to a foreign land. Otherwise, just relying on the fall of the sky, skills developed by the wizards would not be enough. As for letting her run away in embarrassment, could it be that the moon god has not really died yet? And it was she who united with the wizards to defeat the lord of the undead. The more Ella thought about it, the more it seemed to be true. But she was not afraid in her heart. She had now reached the divine realm. It took her several months to completely control the divine realm. Even if the moon god came in person, she would not be able to control it. Take it away easily. Just to solve this threat once and for all and only by taking back control of the eternal star can she be able to deal with the threat from the main world. Then, let's fight! Ella slowly opened her eyes, and dazzling light like stars shone in her pupils. There was almost no slack. After the believers below completed their first pilgrimage and consolidated their faith, 
Ayla read out the news about the Divine War. Those demons from another world, who are good at deception, disguise and concealment, and who can control powerful killing machines, are the culprits who have caused them to suffer for more than 70 years. And now these evil spirits will invade this plane again, destroy the kingdom of heaven that is about to be built, and return the world to darkness and chaos. Kill them! A high priest's eyes were red, and he shouted at the top of his lungs. They would never give up the light they finally saw. Kill all those damn demons! Shameless plunderers! More and more believers gritted their teeth and echoed. And the humiliation and hardship for decades suddenly found a reason to vent. Those who can survive in dangerous foreign lands to this day are all warriors with strong willpower. All they need is more powerful power. Ella is naturally able to satisfy this. When she gives the divine magic system, every young and strong believer gathered in the broken city arcana is transformed into priests, bishops and cardinals according to their faith levels. Bishop. He even put a lot of effort into forcibly instilling seven pseudo-legendary priests. As a price, Ella has drained all the remaining potential of the foreign land. This is undoubtedly a desperate move. If it fails to successfully seize the Eternal Star, this dilapidated divine realm will completely collapse within decades. But as long as this battle goes smoothly, everything lost can be exchanged for more rewards. Sensing the increasingly devout faith in the hearts of the believers in front of her, Ella couldn't help but feel a little more confident. This is her divine kingdom. The earth, mountains, rivers, and all elements are under her control. Not to mention Diana, the god of the moon, whose divine status and divine domain were robbed. Even if the Lord of the Dead in his heyday comes, there is still a possibility for him to fight in this kingdom of God. Chapter 578 The war begins, and the nuclear explosion wipes out the land. Two months pass quietly. In the midst of intense preparations, the two galaxy-class battleships were completed as scheduled taken together. It only took a year and a half from design imitation to final construction. This is obviously incredibly fast. You must know that the two newly built warships, although not as huge as the intercepted spacecraft, are already more than one kilometer in diameter. Even the most advanced manufacturing factory in the Federation cannot produce an interstellar battleship that can reach half the speed of light in such a short period of time. This is undoubtedly due to the wizard's incredible atomic level control capabilities. As for the great wizards and legendary wizards who own the field, one person is equivalent to a high-precision manufacturing factory. And magic mimicry is similar to 3D manufacturing technology. But it is much more high-end. Because legendary wizards can create, mimic, and control almost any element, and arrange them in a specific way. Their productivity in high-end fields can only be described as terrifying. The biggest obstacle they face now is the problem of magic power reserves. In the past, Wizards believed that magic power was inexhaustible. Element controller, Altok even came up with a magic power cycle theory that is, when wizards cast spells, they are not really instead of consuming the magic power. It allowed the magic power to return to the void. After Lennon's research these days, this kind of magic power circulation system does exist. But there is also the problem of magic power loss. And the premise of the cycle is that all magic power is blocked inside the planet. If there is an interstellar voyage or a plane expedition, the magic power used will not return to the original world. What's more, due to the establishment of the magic network, the number of wizards has increased sharply, and the annual loss of magic power is not a small amount. The discovery of the divine body of the moon undoubtedly greatly alleviated the problem of insufficient magic power reserves. Even so, according to Lin's prediction, it would not be able to supply the voyage needs of several lightspeed spaceships. As for how to create magic power, Lin also has some clues. Matter energy and magic power must be able to transform into each other. And this medium is undoubtedly the soul. However, Lin obviously did not intend to obtain magic power by killing lives. The cycle of waiting for natural death was pitifully slow. So plundering foreign lands naturally became the best choice. On the first day of September, 200,000 of the kingdom's most elite troops were ready to go in the land of death and stepped onto the moon through a space-time door that stretched several kilometers. The moment he stepped onto the moon, Old York immediately felt a strange change. His body became light and airy, as if he could fly with a high jump. Is this the moon? Old York looked around with great curiosity, except for the huge towering outpost in front of him. Everything he could see was a vast expanse of desert. There were no trees, vegetation, flowers, or even a trace of insects. This place is simply more desolate than the northern border of the kingdom. I heard that the wizards are planning to build a farm here. But can crops really be grown in such a desolate place? Old York muttered to himself. 
and a small-looking soldier next to him suddenly stopped moving forward, looked up at the sky, and shouted excitedly, The Eternal Star is the Eternal Star! Old York looked up curiously, and then saw an unforgettable sight. A huge, bright-colored star was suspended above their heads, occupying almost a quarter of the field of vision. It was an indescribable shock. The huge planet hanging high in the sky made people's hair stand on end, but they could not help but be immersed in the vast, magnificent, and beautiful starry scenery. Okay, come to your senses. This is no big deal. It's just the planet we live on. The leading wizard Igna saw the soldiers, who were marching in an orderly formation stopped one after another, and hurriedly shouted, completely forgetting that the first time he saw the eternal star on the spaceship. He was also shocked and speechless. However, his words were obviously of some use. The military discipline developed three years of training made the soldiers, who set foot on the moon for the first time quickly remember the purpose of their coming here to deal with a cross-border war. The only difference from before is that this time, they are no longer a passive defensive party, but want to enter foreign lands and nip the danger in the cradle. Everyone is full of confidence. Past experiences tell them that no matter how powerful the enemy is, the parliament will surely win. It should be almost time. Right. Speaker Lin? Arad glanced at the atomic clock he carried with him. Three interstellar battleships have floated into the air and are ready to enter battle at any time. Rows and rows of sunfire cannons were also erected in front of the moon fortress. As well as the big killer they prepared this time a full 150 electromagnetic cannons used to launch nuclear weapons. After many rounds of transformation and the use of the most advanced alien materials, the metal projectiles launched can reach a speed of 90 times the speed of sound, completely surpassing the speed of the third universe. The maximum range exceeds 10,000 kilometers which means that as long as the shot is accurate and the trajectory is calculated in advance, one shot can hit directly from the east to the west of the continent, penetrating the entire magic kingdom. Ninety sonic speed is nothing compared to an interstellar battleship calculated at the speed of light, but it is within the atmosphere. Even if it just passes by at such a terrifying speed, it is enough to shake a person into a ball of minced meat. Lin In had no intention of delaying. After the kingdom's troops arrived, he took out an illusory bottle and threw it into the void. This is a Klein bottle. Or you can call it a four-dimensional cage. What is sealed inside is the remnant soul of the moon god Diana. Probably aware of the approaching danger, the remnant soul inside began to struggle violently, and cracks appeared vaguely in the illusory Klein bottle. Linen did not increase the magic power to repair, but two spheres suddenly appeared in the palm of his hand. This is uranium, and it's antimatter. Uranium is the heaviest element found in nature, with a mass 238 times that of hydrogen. Elements heavier than it usually need to be manufactured artificially. Lenin plans to try this time, using the power generated by the annihilation of positive and negative uranium elements, and using the remnant soul of the moon god Diana as a coordinate. Whether he can open the passage between the two universes, two palm sized balls flew out at extremely fast speeds, and finally collided violently. At this moment, all the wizards present felt a fear that penetrated into their souls. Under the internal and external attacks, the illusory Klein bottle finally exploded. However, the terrifying annihilation energy did not spread outwards. Instead, it suddenly collapsed inward, curling up all the surrounding flat space. Just as Lin and expected, the portal connecting to other lands was opened. It's your turn. Go in. Farrick! Lin looked at the giant skeletal dragon and ordered. The winter dragon, which was as big as a small mountain, was like a pet dog that was about to be abandoned. It looked pitifully at this group of ferocious wizards, hoping and praying that they could find another person to carry out this task. It wasn't until Lin's face showed a look of impatience that, Dragon of Winter, Warlock suddenly trembled, flapped his wings compassionately, and flew into the space-time gate. The speed also becomes faster and faster, because as long as I fly fast, the attack cannot catch up with me. About ten seconds after, Dragon of Winter, Varric entered the space-time gate. Lin received the message. With his current strength, he could spread the divine domain into another dimension by opening the portal. Then let's get started. Following Lennon's order, 150 electromagnetic cannons immediately pointed at the wide open space time vortex. After just a few seconds of gathering momentum, hundreds of red streams of light cut through the sky and flew into the surging time. Within the node, one minute ago, the foreign land, the broken city Arcana, Ayla, who had received the divine warning, was already ready for war. Millions of the collected undead army gathered in front of the broken city, forming a mighty array that stretched for tens of kilometers. The spread of death made the believers, 
who had just been transformed into priests swallow their saliva. They knew very well how terrifying these undead armies were. Seventy years ago, the inexhaustible tide of undead turned this holy land into a dead zone. Fortunately, these undead spirits have now been enslaved by the great moon god and have become the vanguard against the alien demons. The powerful enemy suddenly turned into a friendly force, which gave the high priests a little peace of mind. Here it comes! Ella suddenly raised her head and looked up at the sky. A gap suddenly opened in the boundless sky, and endless magic and matter continued to emerge from the inside, pulling and expanding the gap. It's time for you to take action! Ayla tapped her fingers, and a message was conveyed to the minds of every high-level undead, giving an order to take action. Millions of air strike troops mixed with screamers. Banshees and various undead monsters immediately flew towards the open space-time gate. It also includes five legendary undead who are responsible for commanding. Executioner, Kallet is one of them. If possible, it would never be willing to fill the front line and use it as cannon fodder to consume the enemy's strength. However, their souls are already controlled by Ella, and a single thought can determine their life or death. All intelligent creatures are afraid of death, even if Kallan has already died once. Not to mention, the last death was not only a bad thing, it was also a gift of eternal life. Kallan's only hope is to win this war completely. Then maybe the new moon god can keep them alive if they still have some effect. Just as Karat was lamenting, he saw a huge figure emerging from the space-time gate. His heart suddenly tightened, but then his expression became extremely weird. Isn't this Winter Dragon, Varric? Chapter 579 700 hydrogen blasts clear the ground. And the star fleet attacks? Kalant naturally knows this stupid dragon with a bad temper. And even has quite a few conflicts with it on weekdays. It is even more clear that Varric is the legendary undead who followed Arch Lich, Cecil into that large plain. 1. Now it seemed that the other party had been caught just like him. And was sent to this world as vanguard cannon fodder. Even though he didn't deal with the Dragon of Winter very much on weekdays, Kallant still couldn't help but feel a little sad and angry. But now, Kallant has no intention of holding back. After all, his own life is always more important than the lives of others. However, Karen soon discovered that something seemed wrong. Varric's expression was extremely frightened. But it was not directed at them. A pair of dragon wings with only skin left left an afterimage. As if there was something very strange behind him. Horrible stuff. As for what? Karen soon saw it, which were dozens of red streams of light, carrying an aura of destruction, falling from the sky like meteorites. Ella also saw the meteor flying out of the rift in time and space, and recognized it at a glance as an alchemical tool used to perform skyfall. It can be said that she suffered a big loss with this technique at first, but now she is not afraid at all. To a god, an attack of this magnitude is nothing. As soon as Ella raised her hand, the entire airspace was blocked. The electromagnetic gun flying at 90 times the speed of sound seemed to be submerged in the mire. And its speed was decreasing at a rate visible to the naked eye. Everything in this divine realm is under her control. Stepping into it is like entering her body. Immediately afterwards, the elements in the void began to vibrate. And the huge divine power instantly enveloped 15 electromagnetic cannons. This is exactly substance analysis technique. With the power of God, Ella is able to analyze the principles of this technique and master it in a moment. However, Lin obviously will not leave such obvious flaws. The moment Ella used the substance analysis technique, the hydrogen bomb loaded in the electromagnetic gun was instantly detonated. Fifteen suns burst out in the sky, and hundreds of thousands of screaming demons and undead monsters flying in the sky were suddenly melted away in the heat of hundreds of millions of degrees. Even the sealed airspace was constantly shaking under the impact of this extremely powerful energy. Ella snorted coldly and clenched her outstretched palms. A huge hand of elements covering the entire airspace appeared in the sky. With his five fingers together, he actually forcibly restrained the energy burst of 15 hydrogen bombs within an area of about a kilometer. The scorching high temperature and terrifying energy impact almost condensed less than a hundred meters in front of him. Karen, who was spinning around in front of the gate of H, L, was extremely glad that he did not rush too far forward. Such a high density and high intensity energy the energy impact cannot be resisted by one's own strength alone. But the next moment, just as Karen was relieved, he raised his heart again. Because before he could breathe a sigh of relief, he saw hundreds of streams of light flying out from the gradually expanding space-time gap in the sky. Kallant was suddenly filled with ghosts, and immediately ignored Ella's order and turned around and ran away without hesitation. All the high-level undead that still had some sense were running away in the opposite direction like crazy. After all, 
being wiped out of their souls, and being annihilated by the energy impact was a complete death. This amount, staring at a total of 135 electromagnetic hydrogen bombs speeding at 90 times the speed of sound. Ella's expression became extremely solemn. We must intercept them all in the air. Thinking of this, Ella once again increased the blockade of the airspace. The divine power of the moon attached to the invisible threads of space. And the element surging in the void turned into sparks. Preparing to detonate these hydrogen bombs in advance. But Ella soon saw what nuclear explosion propulsion was. The more than 100 electromagnetic railguns before and after were not activated at the same moment. But it staggered times and flew into the world at different angles. The extremely high speed, coupled with a layer of special alien material wrapped on the outside of the hydrogen bomb, is enough to allow them to travel a long distance in the high temperature area of the hydrogen explosion before detonating again. The violent explosions are like tsunamis, advancing layer by layer, each time more violent than the last. The divine space that blocked the entire airspace was quickly torn to pieces, and the hand of elements exploded. The mass of undead that had not had time to escape from the explosion range were suddenly drowned in the explosion that was advancing like a wave. Callant managed to escape the scope of the explosion, but was unlucky enough to be penetrated directly by an electromagnetic gun that happened to pass through the nuclear explosion zone, and his huge body crashed to the ground. Fortunately, the first wave of nuclear explosions finally ended. Although it was a bit difficult, Ella successfully intercepted all the hydrogen explosions. In the broken city, the high priests who were originally full of confidence were now frightened to death. Such a battle was beyond their ability to intervene. And they were not even worthy of being cannon fodder. Is this a divine war? To unleash such a powerful attack at once. Even a god must have needed to practice for a while. Right? But then? The second? Third? And even the fourth round of hydrogen explosions plunged all the high priests into despair. In order to fight this first interdimensional war, the parliament took out half of its nuclear weapons reserves and a full 700 rounds of hydrogen bombs for a large-scale baptism. After all, for the parliament that is about to use antimatter energy, these nuclear weapons reserves are no longer as important as they used to be, so they can just throw them around with pride. This time, even Ayla couldn't stop them all. She could only grit her teeth and use all her strength to protect the broken city Arcana. The hydrogen bomb that fell like a meteorite soon showed its terrifying power. Accompanied by bursts of violent, eardrum-shattering roars, large mushroom clouds rose slowly over the foreign land. Violent energy waves continued to rage outside the protective barrier, and the dazzling bright light occupied the entire field of vision. The Moko priests only felt as if their ears were deafened and their eyes were about to be blinded. This world has never been since the day of birth, I am afraid there has never been a moment brighter than now. The end dot this is the end. A believer who was scared out of his mind shouted hysterically. The end is coming. This world is going to be destroyed. God, please drive away this disaster. Panic continued to spread like a plague. Even the most devout believers, under the successive hydrogen explosions, completely lost their courage and will at this moment, and could only kneel on the ground and tremble. Ella's face was extremely ugly. Although the energy impact of these hydrogen explosions could not hurt her, it could cause a devastating blow to the city and the believers in the broken city. What made her even more uneasy was that such a powerful spell was a nearly fatal means for those wizards. And they had to be used with extreme caution. But now it has become a conventional weapon for carrying out ranged strikes. The nuclear explosions continued for more than two hours before they finally stopped. Under the baptism of more than 700 hydrogen bombs, even though Ella had repeatedly reduced the scope of protection, the city was still inevitably under attack. Spread, the walls that had been repaired with divine power collapsed again, and even the streets, houses, trees, and even the towering statues of gods in the city were destroyed by the super-earthquake caused by the aftermath of the hydrogen explosion. It was even more tragic outside the city. Everything as far as the eye could see was turned into scorched earth. The hills were flattened, the rivers were evaporated, and the forests were burned. The mighty undead army that originally stretched for dozens of kilometers was now gone. There was no trace. And it melted under the terrifying high temperature. Whether it is a weak skeleton warrior or a powerful legendary undead. There is no difference under the bombardment of 700 hydrogen bombs. The only one still alive is Winter Dragon Varric. After it flew out of the space-time vortex. It flew high into the sky non-stop. According to the wizards. It can only fly to an altitude of 20,000 meters escaped the strongest wave of blows. Even so, at Varric's speed, it was almost torn apart by the aftermath of the nuclear explosion. 
It only survived thanks to the divine protection that Lin cast on it. Another function of this magical technique is to share perception. After all, to a certain extent, Varric is the eye set by Lin. But its good luck obviously ended here. Ella, who had lost face in front of the believers, released her endless anger. The elements in the void were rioting. Before Varric could even let out a howl for help, his body was killed by a long-lasting weapon. Hundreds of meters of elemental hands crushed everything. The huge skeletal dragon just turned into a ball of bones and dregs. And the soul fire burning between its pupils was extinguished. After dealing with the spy set by the wizard, Ella once again set her sights on the huge space-time rift that gradually expanded to five kilometers in diameter. Now that the opponent's tricks have been used up, the next step is the battle of gods. Ella has sensed that her divine domain is being invaded. But what rushes out from the space-time gate is not the god of the moon as she expected. But three huge disks that cover the sky and the sun. What's this? A new alchemical creation invented by wizards. Or a moving city? Ella didn't know. Nor was she frightened by the huge size of this thing. On the contrary, she vaguely sensed a familiar power, which was the power of the moon. Let Diana come out! Ella hung high in the sky, looking at the three alchemical creations in front of her that were tens of millions of times larger than herself, and said with a sneer, Or is it that she doesn't have the guts to step into the world she once controlled? The cold voice kept echoing in the foreign sky, but there was no reply, although the moon god has not been seen for a long time. Ella feels a little more confident. This means that the other party has probably not recovered the power of its heyday. Otherwise it would have jumped out and competed with her for control of the divine domain. Chapter 580 The Confrontation Between Gods and Star Battleships Let the moon goddess Diana come out! Harab and others in the interstellar battleship naturally heard Ella's roar. And they all had strange looks on their faces. They couldn't help but turn their heads and look at the body of the moon god in the alchemy circle that was used to supply energy to the spacecraft. I'm afraid the moon goddess can't come out. But we can send you to see her. Vittorio laughed and relayed the sound to the foreign sky through the spacecraft's loudspeaker device. Ella couldn't help but frown. Before she could think clearly, she saw an opening suddenly cracked at the front of the huge disc-shaped spacecraft. But it was Vittorio who activated the spacecraft's own weapon system scattering particle cannon. The next moment, a hundred thousand neutron clusters exploded in the atmosphere. Different from the calmness when launching in a vacuum. The neutron cluster with an initial velocity reaching one-third of the speed of light showed terrifying power the moment it left the launch port. Before the molecules in the atmosphere had time to react and form a sound barrier, they were torn apart, forming a hundred thousand long vacuum areas. Then these torn molecules were evaporated in the ultra-high temperature generated by the extreme speed, turned into plasma. Just the impact of the aftermath is more powerful than the energy generated by a nuclear explosion, relying on the powerful perception brought by the realm of gods. Ella was able to clearly see the speeding neutron clusters and reacted instantly. However, the distance between the two sides was less than 50 kilometers. It only takes 0.0005 seconds to reach times the speed of light. The improvised position protection could not deflect so many and dense scattered neutrons. Almost instantly, her body was submerged under this terrible neutron blow. Immediately afterwards is the broken city behind Arcana the magical barrier that originally remained motionless under the impact of 700 hydrogen explosions was as weak as paper and was shattered in the blink of an eye. The believers of the moon god who had just become priests, bishops and high priests in the city and had not yet had time to make big plans walked away very peacefully. When they saw the magnificent spaceship like a floating city, the attack was already coming. There was no resistance. No pain was experienced at all and everyone completely disappeared from this world the moment the neutron cluster flew past. His soul was completely destroyed by this terrible blow. Tens of thousands of bottomless ravines were plowed out on the ground, spreading tens of millions of meters, and there were once again horrific scars on this ravaged planet. Only the indestructible neutron mass is enough to complete such a terrifying impact at such a high speed that breaks imagination. Until then, the atmosphere gradually surged up to fill the vacuum tunnel left by the neutron cluster. The elements in the void were constantly stirring like a wave. The plasma elements flashed faintly inside. Just the remnants of power. But it still exudes an extremely powerful aura. Could she just die like this? Harav said involuntarily as he looked at the tragic scene outside through the magic projection. At this moment, there was only the devastated land in front of them. Ella had long disappeared. But Harav had clearly seen that the opponent was hit head-on by scattered neutrons. This is an attack that is enough to dismember a huge satellite. Aurora also looked relaxed. She felt that even if this blow could not kill Ella completely, 
it could still severely damage the opponent in one fell swoop. The god who had previously made them so fearful that they even went to war with the entire continent to win seemed to be no more than that. How can it be so easy? Lin In, who was also inside the spacecraft but did not take action, interrupted the fantasy of several people. The power of God is much more than that. If he could be killed so easily, then the alien fleet that originally arrived at the moon would not have been completely destroyed. Also, don't forget, this is Ella's divine domain. Sure enough, the next moment Lennon's voice sounded. A horrifying pressure emerged over the fragmented city, and the violent elements that filled the world gathered together in an instant. After Lin's reminder, Vittorio reacted and looked around nervously through the magic projection, looking for the new moon god. However, Ella's figure did not appear, and danger came from everywhere in this world. Storm. An extremely violent storm blew over the foreign land. Every element in the void has become the most dangerous weapon at this moment. And the strong hurricane cuts everything around it like a blade. This is the counterattack of the plane and the wrath of God. The reason why Ella does not appear is precisely because the entire plane is her body. And these three spaceships are within her body. Without a target for combat. The huge spaceship has undoubtedly become a huge target. It's just that the target is very hard. The protective shield fueled by the power of the moon is very strong. And the outer SH. L of the spacecraft can easily resist the attack of a nuclear bomb at close range. But even so, there is still a risk of falling in the face of the increasing storm. Violent thunder flickers faintly in the storm. And arcs with a thickness of more than 10 meters continue to hit the energy shield on the outside of the spacecraft. Causing ripples. The energy with rapid consumption. The intensity of the storm and lightning is also becoming more and more powerful. Immediately afterwards, a huge hand of elements covering the entire airspace was formed with strange sparks burning all around. And it fiercely grabbed the largest interstellar battleship in the center. Stop fighting her here! Go outside the Divine Realm! Lenin warned, still not intending to take action. After all, this time the opponent was Ella, who had just entered the Divine Realm. She was experimenting with the performance of the spacecraft and accumulating combat experience. Good time. Vittorio had already taken action before Lin and opened his mouth. In the forward and reverse fusion furnace, a large amount of energy was drawn out, gathered in the chamber of the launch port, and annihilated each other in the blending. And extremely dazzling, the destruction cannon bursts out. This beam of light met the huge hand of elements. In an instant, it penetrated the sparks ignited in the void, and opened a large hole in the palm of the sky-covering hand. The aftermath flew across the sky and hit far behind. On a high mountain, accompanied by a violent explosion, the towering mountain peaks completely disappeared. The wasteland on the ground collapsed inch by inch, and endless smoke and dust rose up to cover half of the sky. The moment Vittorio fired the destruction cannon, he started the power system of the spacecraft. After modification, the curvature engine can initially adjust the speed without the need to switch nuclear engines in the atmosphere. Vittorio directly stretched his speed to one-tenth of the speed of light, preparing to rush out in one breath. At such a high speed, the spacecraft only needed 0.3 seconds to escape the atmosphere of the Eternal Star. However, this time it took them a full three seconds to completely leave the airspace. Is this planet bigger than the Eternal Star? Harav couldn't help but frowned, sensing something was wrong. No, it should be that our speed is slowed down, Vittorio said solemnly. Although there is no reference object nearby, judging from the shrinkage of the ground below, the speed of the spacecraft is far from expected and it is not even 1% of the expected speed. It was Ella's divine domain that solidified the nearby space and time, Lenin answered, compared to Harav and others who could only rely on guesswork. He could clearly sense that Ella was attached to the nearby space threads of divine power. In other words, the entire space has been blocked, as if the seawater has been replaced by some kind of viscous liquid, and the speed of the ships in it has naturally slowed down. They must expend more energy to reach one tenth or even 1% of their original speed. To a certain extent, God's domain is the nemesis of the warp drive. However, Lin and quickly rejected this inference. Because if they used a conventional propulsion device, they would only be unable to move forward in the God's domain. Then go faster! Vittorio immediately put aside his scruples and directly increased the speed of the spacecraft. At this moment, the 10 meter high lunar soil within the alchemy circle shrank by a large circle. And the speed of the spacecraft also increased several times. A cold voice mixed with anger resounded throughout the planet. Leave them all to me, Xingqin. Explode! In an area that spread for millions of kilometers. All magical substances disintegrated under this stern scolding. 
and endless energy shock swept across the entire area. This so-called star explosion is exactly the magic developed by Ella by copying Skyfall. But there are some differences in the way of releasing it. Whether it is nuclear explosion, hydrogen explosion, or even antimatter annihilation. These three are essentially the application of the rules of the universe itself. So the magic power required by Lin In and others to perform the spell is very limited. And Ella didn't know the principle of spontaneous fission of large mass uranium-235 once it polymerizes. So she relied entirely on the power of God to detonate atoms in the most direct way. Although the energy consumption of doing this is terrible. The conversion ratio of matter and energy directly exceeds 15%. Which is far more powerful than a hydrogen explosion. Inside the spacecraft, piercing alarms kept ringing. Which was a sign that the energy shield was on the verge of collapse. Lin had raised his hand. Ready for rescue and then suddenly put it down. Because the spaceship finally broke out of the foreign atmosphere. The foreign universe is an endless darkness. The stars in the sky cannot be seen. And the hazy fog obscures everything. Harav and others on the spacecraft breathed a sigh of relief. The spacecraft as the main ship was still intact. But the energy loss was huge, and only half of the 100 tons of lunar soil was left. The other two newly built spaceships looked much miserable. The energy shields were directly broken, and the outer SH. LS were full of dents. There is no doubt that the special alien materials that can withstand nuclear explosions save the two spaceships. Otherwise, the moment the energy shield was broken, all that was waiting for them would be to be destroyed and fall. Chapter 581 Seizing the God's Domain and Positron Cannon The three spacecraft finally hovered at a place about 100,000 kilometers away from the foreign land, looking at the lonely planet hanging in the void from above and below. Unlike the Eternal Star, which is bright in color, full of vitality and full of life. The entire foreign land looks like a wasteland, with lakes, oceans and green plants occupying only a small area. This world, dying, for some reason, this idea suddenly appeared in everyone's mind. But now is obviously not the time to consider this. The two battleships that had narrowly escaped death activated their backup energy, and the extensibility of the special metal also came into play. They quickly repaired the damage to the outer SH. L and quickly opened the protective cover again. Fortunately, during this most critical period, Ella did not attack again. However, it is definitely impossible for the other party to deliberately hold back. So there is only one possibility. Very good. It seems she doesn't have the courage to catch up again. A smile appeared on Aurora's face. And this situation was also what they expected. After all, once the true body of the god leaves the divine domain, its combat power will be greatly reduced and along with the risk of death. If an incarnation is sent over, it will only be easily killed by them. So now she is the target, Arif said with a sneer. Vittorio coordinated the other two spaceships mercilessly, preparing to give Ella a hard blow together. At the same moment, the launch ports at the front ends of the three spacecraft were suddenly revealed, and a powerful annihilation energy gradually gathered inside. Ella, who did not dare to leave the foreign land, could only watch the three spaceships gathering momentum, and put all her energy into building protection. About 10 seconds later, three annihilation beams flew out one after another, aiming directly at the khaki exotic planet. Although the distance between the two sides is very far, and eight eternal stars can be packed in the middle, their target is too big, and the probability of evading it by changing the curvature of space is almost zero. So Ella can only choose to resist. Come down! At this moment, the ionized layer on the outermost side of the planet's atmosphere turned into the first shield. The dazzling lighting formed an electromagnetic barrier that stretched for tens of kilometers, weakening the annihilation energy submerged in it layer by layer. Then came the atmosphere below. A large number of elements were ready to attack, and they were piled together to form a dense array of elements, trying to completely stop the attack. But the energy beam produced by the annihilation of positive and antimatter was extremely terrifying. It forcibly penetrated the electromagnetic barrier and elemental shield with a combined diameter of more than a hundred kilometers and finally hit the khaki ground. Boom! Terrifying energy exploded on the surface of the earth, and the land with a radius of dozens of kilometers was directly flattened. The surging storm set off countless gravels flying into the air, and then they were crushed by the aftermath of the energy and turned into dust all over the sky. After the aftermath dissipated, three bottomless holes appeared on the surface. There were no expressions of joy on the faces of the people on the spaceship. Lin raised his eyebrows in surprise. And Vittorio also said in surprise. It's amazing. It actually blocked it. Although it seemed that this blow penetrated all the protection and caused indelible scars on the surface of the planet. 
Harev, and others knew very well that this blow only penetrated to a depth of two to 3,000 meters underground at most. But it didn't hurt the real core. If you look at the planet as a person, it is equivalent to piercing the surface layer of skin without damaging the internal muscles and bones. As a price, their prepared attack consumed one-third of the reserve energy. Vittorio quickly judged that even if he tried it again, he might not be able to penetrate the attack into the core of the star. Although Ella who is located in the god's domain may not be stronger than the lord of the dead, who originally came to the eternal star. It is definitely more difficult to deal with, and difficult to kill. It is not that easy to completely disintegrate a massive planet. Things. Especially since this planet is not a dead thing. There is also a star god inside, who can mobilize almost all the resources in the plane. It's just that this attack obviously angered Ella again. Although she didn't dare to step out of the divine realm. It didn't mean that she couldn't make any counterattack. Rounds of illusory waning moons appeared over the planet and then used the planet's magnetic field as power to speed towards the three spaceships located very far away under continuous acceleration. Useless resistance! Looking at the waning moon flying towards him, Vittorio said disdainfully, the distance between the two sides is 100,000 kilometers. It is simply impossible to hit a spacecraft that can speed up to one-third of the speed of light at any time. However, the remaining energy of the spacecraft is limited. How to kill? Seriously injure or even capture the opponent really made everyone present have a hard time. After Lin and pondered for a while, he spoke. Just switch to the positron cannon. The effect should be better. The so-called positron cannon can also be called an anti-electron beam. The reason why it is so confusing is because in real matter, the electrons carried inside the elements are exactly negative. The scary thing about the positron cannon is that any element has a negative charge, which means that once the positron comes into contact with any material element, it can produce an annihilation reaction, allowing powerful energy to burst out directly from the inside of the element, forcing it to disintegrate on its own. In a sense, this is the strongest spear, because all shields made of matter are meaningless in front of it. Of course, such an attack is not without its weaknesses. If Ella's cultural level is high enough, she can use the same powerful light energy as a barrier to protect it. Although light is a kind of electromagnetic radiation, or electromagnetic wave, it is actually uncharged. As long as it does not come into contact with positive matter, the power of the anti-electron beam will be greatly reduced. This is what Lin N does not use easily. Reason. But it is a pity that as a new god, Ella knows nothing about so-called antimatter. Facing the terrifying electron beams emerging from the front ends of the three starships, they still adopted the same strategy as before. And this undoubtedly played into Lin N's plan. Unlike the neutron cluster that is projected out and has a larger mass. A beam of electrons contains very little mass, which also means that its speed can be increased to an even more terrifying level sublight speed. It only takes 0.3 seconds to cross a distance of 100,000 kilometers. The three positron cannons soon collided with the electromagnetic barrier tens of kilometers thick again. The moment the two sides collided, Ella's expression suddenly changed. The electromagnetic barrier that had previously been able to weaken the antimatter cannon layer by layer now dissolved as quickly as if it had encountered salt foam. Not only is this accompanied by a terrifying annihilation reaction, but the same is true for the hard wall made of elements at the rear, which barely provides any protection at all. This time, before Ella could react, the positron cannon had already blasted directly into the ground. In the explosion that resounded throughout the star field, the entire earth shook violently. Three bottomless depressions first appeared on the ground and expanded at a speed visible to the naked eye. The endless annihilation energy formed circles of shock waves that tore apart the solid rock formations beneath the surface. One kilometer, ten kilometers, a hundred kilometers, a thousand kilometers, the positron cannon soon broke through the lithosphere, reached the mantle, and collided with the raging magma layer on the surface of the earth with a radius of one million kilometers. Huge cracks are spreading like spider webs. Massive amounts of magma are thrown up and leap into the sky of 10,000 meters, while the positron cannon drills deeper into the ground at extremely fast speeds. The location of the outer core of the planet. The energy beams of the three positron cannons lasted for a full five minutes before they finally stopped. Vittorio also used up all the positrons produced by the anti-fusion furnace. Under everyone's gaze, the surface of the earth-yellow planet in front of them was covered with dust, and a large amount of magma was erupting from the ground. This is a truly apocalyptic scene. She must die now. Right. Aurora asked uncertainly. Although they were sure that the blow should have penetrated the core of the earth, they were still not 100% sure whether Ella had fallen 
because the planet in front of them had not completely disintegrated. Not yet, but it's almost there. Lin nodded with satisfaction. Although these three positron cannons did not really kill Ella. Lin could sense that Ella's aura became extremely weak. What's more, their purpose this time is not to completely destroy the planet. Then just leave it to him and... That's it. Lin In reached the void of the universe with one step. And reached the planet with the second step. The expansion speed of the space-time nodes behind him is getting faster and faster. It is obvious that the master of this plane does not even have the power to suppress the space-time rift. God's domain expand? Lenin's approach is also very simple. That is, to directly seize control of this divine domain. A large amount of magic emerged from the other side of the time-space gate, containing the magic and elements of Lenin's will, and began to spread in all directions, seizing control of this time and space. First it was this area that was completely destroyed. Then it was an entire continent. And then, it was a small half of the planet. The master of the plane finally couldn't bear it anymore. A full moon blooming with endless starlight appeared in the sky above the foreign land. And inside was Ella's true body. After a long time, the two sides met again. But the situation turned 180 degrees. This time, Lin En had the absolute upper hand. Ella's face was full of disbelief. She didn't expect that it was not the moon god who invaded this world. But Lin En and those wizards, who had caused huge trouble to her in the eternal star, the magic star in your mouth, if she remembered correctly, before she left the Eternal Star, the other party had just been promoted to legend. Without enough faith accumulation and no divine personality to dispel the poison of faith. How could the other party set foot in the divine realm? Chapter 582 A Lightspeed Spaceship Using God as Fuel Countless doubts flashed through Ella's mind. But it was no longer important anyway. What was important was that the other party also broke through that realm and arrived in front of her. It seems that the Lord of the Undead was killed by you, Ella said with great confidence. A doubt in her heart was finally solved. This is all thanks to you sealing the space-time gate connecting the two places, Lenin said with a smile. Otherwise, even if he could defeat the Lord of the Dead, he would not be able to prevent him from escaping. Ella's face suddenly darkened. Her strategy of attracting the Lord of the Dead to the Eternal Star was to drive away the tiger and devour the wolf. But she didn't expect that the wolf actually ate the tiger. And she was the next one. Where is Diana? The God of the Moon? Ella asked again. She had clearly felt the existence of the divine power of the moon before. Is it possible that these wizards awakened the not-quite-dead moon goddess Diana on the moon? And the two parties reached some kind of cooperation? You will know soon. A smile appeared on Lennon's face. And then nine huge and delicate gears, tens of meters high, appeared in the surrounding airspace. He was not just standing here chatting with Ella. The arcana lock, which exuded gray-white mist on the surface, quickly extended from the inside of the gear and rolled towards the new moon goddess from all directions. Ella naturally never thought that she could make the opponent retreat with just words. When she raised her hand, the endless starlight appeared in the palm of her hand. It condensed into shape in just one second and turned into a slender silver sword more than ten meters long. Cut off the gear, accompanied by a heart-wrenching muffled sound. The silver rapier failed to leave the slightest trace on the surface of the gear as the two clashed. On the contrary, the contact surface of the sword body was becoming rotten and decaying. Ella's expression changed slightly. Although her power had inevitably declined a lot due to the previous protection, Positron Cannon, facing an existence of the same level in the Divine Domain, she was unable to even extend the opponent's power. Destroy. In just this moment, the overlapping locks of the Arcana had rolled over, blocking the surrounding time and space, and then wrapped around Ella, who had nowhere to hide, and her arms, waist, and legs seemed to be possessed, bound by lifelike arcane locks. The nine huge gears soon began to rotate slowly. Under the action of the exponential law, the binding force continued to increase tenfold. In an instant, billions of tons of high pressure were exerted on Ella's divine body. Not only that, the gray-white mist attached to the surface of the arcane lock is like the most violent acid, corroding the god's body into pits when it comes into contact with it. Ella finally remembered that this was clearly the death power of Donatus. The Lord of the Dead. The body is bound. The space is blocked. And even the sharp blade condensed with the power of the moon cannot shake the arcane lock. Under this almost desperate disadvantage, Ella, the new moon god, still does not give up. With cold eyes, staring at Lin, he suddenly spoke. Starfall! The moment the words fell, Ella turned into the moon. A bright moon that was bound. Immediately afterwards, the bright moon began to expand rapidly and finally exploded suddenly, 
It took Ella several months to construct the divine body with the resources of the entire plane. It exploded instantly, and its power was no less than that of antimatter annihilation of the same mass. The arcane locks, which were made of special shaped materials and blessed with the power of death, began to fall apart under such power. Violent energy waves raged in the sky above the foreign land. Faced with Ella's almost fatal move, even Lin and had to temporarily switch from offense to defense. A ruthless god is never easy to deal with. Not to mention that he is still in the opponent's divine domain. Ayla may have the ability to detonate the entire planet. And there is a risk of serious injury if she is involved. However, Lin realized at the next moment that he had overestimated his opponent. And Ella did not have the courage to die with him. At the moment when the god's body exploded to open the arcane lock, a strange polygonal crystal suddenly flew out of the terrifying energy shock wave at an extremely fast speed, flying directly towards the endless void outside the planet. This is undoubtedly the Godhead, the most important source of power of God. After a round of trial confrontation, Ella, knowing that she had no chance of winning, immediately made the choice to escape. Losing the divine realm that he relies on for survival is undoubtedly a very serious blow to a God. And there is even the possibility of falling into the realm. But as long as the Godhead is still there, if you are lucky enough to find a new plane in the endless void, then it may not be possible to start over again. This pseudo-self-destruction after putting herself to death did give her a chance to escape. Ella almost exerted her ability to control space to the extreme. Every time her Godhead flashed, she could span thousands of kilometers. However, this is still too slow for Lin. Ella, who had just crossed the troposphere, soon discovered that Lin's figure appeared directly in front of her. It was obvious that someone was better in the study of time and space. Let's end it here. Lennon stretched out his hand and made a flipping motion. And the surrounding time and space immediately curled toward the center from all directions. This is exactly the magic, four-dimensional prison client bottle. The space comes from four different dimensions. And then what emerges inside is gray-white mist, the divine power of death. The priesthood is a very wonderful thing. Just like when large mass uranium-235 comes together and fission occurs and matter and antimatter collide and annihilate each other. It is one of the many laws operating in the universe. Death is one of the most important laws. After all, everything must come to an end, and even the universe may be no exception. However, Lin also realized that the priesthood he obtained was not as powerful as he imagined. In comparison, it was more like a slow decline rather than a direct death. After all, Donata's title is the Lord of the Dead, not the God of Death or the Controller of Death. His priesthood should be just a branch of the concept of death. Otherwise, it would not be just a god with medium divine power. Fortunately, this is enough to deal with Ella. The gray mist of the undead continued to erode the godhood, further weakening Ella's remaining strength and pushing Ella, the biggest enemy Lin and had encountered since time travel, to death step by step. God will die too. No doubt about it. Once the godhead is shattered, the divine realm disintegrates and believers die. Even high-dimensional life forms will have their consciousness annihilated and merge into the void in quantum form, becoming one of the countless surging microscopic particles. Don't even think about it! Ella's roar came from within the godhead, and the powerful divine power of the moon burst out immediately. But she was preparing to use her final power to detonate all the elements in the planet and destroy the enemy in front of her. It's too late! Lin said with a sneer. If the other party had made a desperate move just now, there might have been a chance to die together, but now his divine domain has enveloped the entire planet, killing Ella's last chance to fight back. It has to be said that it was undoubtedly an extremely stupid move for the other party to allow him to erode this divine domain before. Now is the time to pay the price for this miscarriage of justice. At this moment, Ella finally found that she suddenly lost control of the elements in the planet and could only be swallowed up by the gray-white mist of death in despair. The divine power was corroded and the will was consumed. Just when Ella thought she was going to perish here today, the gray-white mist of death suddenly receded. What on earth do you want to do? Ella, who had broken free from the fear of death, stared at Lin in in front of her with a strange and puzzled look. She did not think that the other party was well-intentioned and prepared to let her go. Of course I'm taking you to see Diana, the god of the moon. Haven't you always wanted to see her? Lin said with a chuckle, then stretched out his hand to grab it and the space-time several kilometers in front of him turned into a Klein bottle. Together with Ella, who was trapped inside, she fell into his grasp. Moon God? Lennon's words made Ella fall into fear again. She was able to enter the Divine Realm precisely because she had taken Diana's Godhead. If the other party was still alive and had cooperated with these wizards, 
This would undoubtedly be the worst case scenario. Got it. Lin In had no intention of explaining. He held the illusory Klein bottle in a few steps and once again crossed the distance of 100,000 miles and returned to the starship. In fact, he deliberately set up magic protection around the spaceship, even though it was not easy for the quantum divine body to invade the spacecraft. Lenin could enter and exit at will. Speaker Lin, how is the situation? Vittorio and others immediately gathered around and asked hurriedly. Where's Ella? Have you caught her? Due to the natural disasters caused by the previous positron cannons, the entire planet was shrouded in gray dust. In addition, they were 100,000 kilometers away, so they couldn't see how the God War was fought. For the result was nothing. Lin smiled and directly showed the Klein bottle in his hand. The illusory bottle looks extremely weird. Its opening and entrance are completely fitted together at a strange angle. And a fist-sized polygonal crystal can be clearly seen inside. Harav. Aurora and Vittoria recognized at a glance that this was the godhead of the moon that they had seen in the holy city. There was a light and shadow with an angry face vaguely reflected inside. That was Ella. Undoubtedly. I never thought she would have this day. Aurora said with emotion, knowing that when they were in the capital a few years ago, just one incarnation of the opponent almost wiped them all out. Hurry up and try this new power, Dennis urged from the side. He couldn't wait to know how powerful a living god can provide. Lin nodded. He was also very interested in this, and even walked to the alchemy power area inside the spacecraft. Ella, who was trapped in the Klein bottle, felt increasingly uneasy as she listened to the conversations of several people. After seeing the scene in the power room clearly, she couldn't help but feel chilled in her heart. A huge rock ball with a diameter of more than 10 meters is suspended in the power room covered with alchemical runes, tightly bound by rune locks. This is lunar soil, or the body of the moon god Diana, and the divine power of the moon that she sensed before was emanating from this mass of lunar soil. These wizards. He actually used the body of god as the source of power for alchemical creations. You are blasphemous. Ella gritted her teeth and said. She couldn't believe that these wizards dared to do such crazy things. Thinking of Lenin's words just now, she immediately realized that they wanted to treat her as another source of motivation. Are you crazy? Ella's eyes shining like stars looked at Lenin angrily. They are all gods. Completely transcendent beings. Even if they are hostile to each other and attack each other, it is still a matter within this group. Letting any mortals participate is a blasphemy against the identity of gods. If their secrets were to be discovered by mortals, the power, status and glory of the gods would never be the same. This universe is huge. So big that it's beyond your imagination. What does God mean? Lenin shook his head mockingly. Diana, the god of the moon, probably had the arrogance of being a god when she arrived at the eternal star. But she was directly killed by several spaceships that came from a long distance. He believes that in the universe, the disk civilization will never be the most powerful. It is even questionable whether it can be a powerful civilization in this galaxy. There may be higher dimensional civilizations. Lin-In was not interested in explaining more to Ella. A stubborn and illiterate god. So he directly took out the lunar soil and replaced Ella, who was trapped in the four-dimensional prison. Unlike Diana, who died with only residual consciousness left. Ella, who still retains her rationality, obviously will not willingly be the power source of a starship, which requires some coercive means. A large number of arcane locks swept up again, tightly binding the godhead. And then the gray-white mist of the dead appeared again. As long as Ella did not want to have her will wiped out, she must constantly mobilize divine power to cover the outside of the godhead. Then the two divine powers collide and dissolve each other. And the powerful energy that bursts out will be guided into the power system of the spacecraft. Providing. The disadvantage of this is also very obvious. That is, Lin and himself has to stay here to continuously provide energy. However, the alchemy circle to draw out divine power can be studied later. The most important thing now is to verify their previous conjecture. Vittorio drove the spacecraft back to the moon through the gap in time and space. After declaring the victory of the war and arranging the personnel to enter the foreign land to clean up, he began to measure the speed. This time the target is still the distant brown star. Vittorio maximized the efficiency of the energy supply system in one breath. And the godhead bound by the arcane locks was constantly shaking. Anger humiliation, resentment, and unwillingness flooded into Ella's mind. But her consciousness was erased. And she had to increase the supply of divine power to resist the invasion of the fog of death. Under the powerful energy generated by the collision of the two divine powers, the curvature engine began to operate overload. And the spacecraft flew out of the moon within a ten thousandth of a second. 
speeding towards the brown star. Chapter 583 The Moon Goddess is drained of her divine power. With the blessing of powerful energy provided by divine power, the space around the spacecraft was curved into an arch shape that was narrow in front and wide in the back, pushing the spacecraft weighing hundreds of thousands of tons forward at an unimaginable speed. However, Harav and others inside the spacecraft could not feel how fast the spacecraft was because they had completely lost their reference. In the past, one could rely on distant stars for rough positioning. But now in front of everyone, the light curtain that allows them to view the outside world seemed to have malfunctioned and was full of chaotic light spots. Raphael immediately turned to look at Aurora and asked in confusion, What is going on? Speaker Aurora, is your projection magic broken? Aurora frowned as she looked at the projection screens in front of her. She was sure that there was nothing wrong with her magic. But the screen that was supposed to show the scene in front of the spacecraft was only a blur of strange colored light spots. And the screen that showed the scene behind was completely black. This is proof that the spacecraft has reached or exceeded the speed of light. Lin explained with a smile. Harav and others paused for a moment. Then looked at Lin in in surprise. I think you haven't forgotten how we see things. Right. Lin reminded. It's because our eyes receive electromagnetic waves that can be recognized. And then, they are converted into corresponding images in the brain. Arad was the first to answer. Naturally, they have not forgotten this basic theory. And then, they also realized what Lin said about light. What is the curtain? Everything they see is actually information brought by light. Since the speed of light is extremely fast. For people who are in a low speed state on the planet. This information exchange is almost real time. Even the power of the legendary wizard is difficult to sense this subtlety, which is crossed by light, delay caused by distance. But it's different now. They are flying beyond the speed of light. At this time, the information flow transmitted by electromagnetic waves will accelerate towards them. This is very similar to the sound barrier. Dennis smacked his lips, and soon thought of a similar phenomenon, which was the sound barrier encountered by fighter jets when they broke through the speed of sound. It's just that light has no mass so the obstruction to the spacecraft is minimal. Lin nodded. This is similar to the red shift and blue shift phenomena caused by the expansion of the universe. But it is more exaggerated. To put it more appropriately, they are flying forward at super light speed. So the information flow transmitted from the front is compressed. Just like when watching a video, pressing the accelerator several times, or even ten times, in the universe. The only thing they can see, and the most common thing, is the light from a large number of stars. Countless light points pass by the projection screen at extremely fast speeds, naturally turning into a large chaotic light and shadow. As for the light behind them, because the flying speed is slower than the spacecraft, it cannot catch up with them at all, and the projection screen will become pitch black. In fact, this kind of delay in information flow already existed during the previous test flight at half the speed of light. After all, the curvature engine is different from the traditional propulsion method. For them, light. That is to say, the speed of information transmission is not static. It's just that they are in the dark and wide space of the universe. So it is difficult to notice this. Then how should we locate the target now? If a battle breaks out, attacking and aiming will also be a big problem. Harav asked in a deep voice. Lin thought for a while. This was indeed an urgent problem that needed to be solved. After thinking about it, he responded, Maybe we can start from a higher dimension. In low dimensional space, the propagation speed of information cannot exceed the speed of light. This is limited by the rules of the universe. So we can only start from higher dimensions. Of the two methods he could think of, the first was to use quantum entanglement technology for positioning. For example, they had visited the brown star once before, and Lin conveniently left a quantum coordinate here. Through the high-dimensional quantum entanglement effect, the position of the planet can be determined in real time even at superlight speeds. The second is to include the entire area within the scope of God's domain and establish a four-dimensional space-time model. So that no matter where the spacecraft flies, he can know the direction. Both methods have shortcomings. The universe is really too big. Even if it is just the space area of a star system, it is at least 10 billion times that of the eternal star. To transform it into a divine realm, the magic power required will be an astronomical figure. As for quantum coordinates, although they are easy to use and low cost, you only need to place three different coordinates in the current star system. And you can determine their current location based on the relative distance between the spacecraft and them. But this is only suitable for navigation within the star system. The span between stars is calculated in light years. It is simply impossible to accurately determine the position based on a few quantum coordinates. 
let alone locating flying enemies. All the wizards present began to think about it. This was the first time they had encountered this problem. But they came up with some solutions after working together. For example, Harris suggested that since the information flow they obtain will be accelerated, then as long as they know how many times it has been accelerated, they can naturally calculate their accurate sailing speed at the moment. After all, the transmission speed of the information flow is a fixed value, which is the speed of light. As long as the navigation speed is known, the three-dimensional model of the galaxy based on their previous observations can also determine its own position. Lenin shook his head and did not approve of this approach. Under normal circumstances, it might really be useful. But it was different now. The curvature engine created a distorted space-time field on the outside of the spacecraft. The space ahead is being continuously stretched in. Since the distance is shortened, from the perspective of low dimensions, both the light-carrying information and the spacecraft exceed the speed of light. Of course, the real situation is that the distance between the two parties has been greatly shortened due to the distortion of time and space. So the light curtain appears not because their speed is really many times faster than the speed of light, but because the light itself is accelerated when it crosses this space. As everyone continued to discuss, Lin and suddenly interrupted. Stop the spaceship! We're coming! So fast? Hera paused and immediately looked at the atomic clock placed inside the spacecraft, staring at the gradually passing time, counting from the time they set off. Only about a minute and a half had passed, although Vittorio was also a little surprised. He still reacted the moment he received the order. The continuous flow of divine power in the power chamber was suddenly cut off, and the surrounding distorted time and space gradually returned to smoothness according to the rules of the universe. It only takes less than 20 seconds to go from super light speed to completely stopping the spacecraft. This is the power of the curvature engine, even though Vittorio's reaction was already very fast. When they came to a complete stop, they realized that the brown star, their destination, had been far behind them. It's incredible how fast it is to know where they started. It was about 1 billion kilometers away from the brown star, and it would take a full hour at the speed of light. But now it's just used. One minute and fifty seconds, Harab said extremely excitedly. And this was still far beyond the brown star. And the real arrival time would only be earlier. Anthony and others were also secretly frightened. They didn't think that the speed of the spacecraft had reached twenty or thirty times the speed of light. So it could only be the difference in the speed of time. You'll know after a few round trips and check the time, Lynn reminded. Vittorio nodded, then launched the spacecraft to the brown star, where he reinstalled an atomic clock and then returned to the moon. After going back and forth several times, they not only tested the stability of the power system of the spacecraft, but also measured the speed. The speed limit they could reach has exceeded 1.5 times the speed of light. This is undoubtedly a new milestone. Using a living god as fuel and energy, the increase in speed can only be described as amazing. It's just that Ella, the greatest hero, obviously doesn't think so. The continuous super light speed voyage has almost drained her of her divine power. If Lin hadn't removed the fog of death at the critical moment, her consciousness and soul would have been destroyed. Obliterated. Lin was thinking about the speed of time. Last time, he discovered that the speed of time on the spacecraft did not match Einstein's gravitational time dilation formula at all. And there was a big gap. This is probably because when the spacecraft is sailing, the surroundings are not like normal large-mass celestial bodies, which are centered on a round point and spread in all directions. But a special structure in which space and time in front are compressed in space, and time behind are expanded. So this requires a new equation of space curvature per second to complete the calculation requirements. It seems that the alien civilization is nothing more than that. It seems that their speed has not exceeded the speed of light. Right, Raphael said with a smile. When I heard that the unknown civilization killed Diana, the god of the moon, and was able to jump in time and space and fly at sublight speed, it scared Raphael so much that he was always on tenorhooks. There was even a great wizard who pessimistically believed that the opponent the moment of arrival is when the parliament is destroyed. Now they were not only able to create space-time nodes, but also achieved a comprehensive surpass in speed. So much so that Raphael had a feeling in his heart that the other party was nothing more than this. All the wizards present also nodded, and the haze that had been condensing in their minds suddenly dissipated, seeing Harab and others becoming more and more optimistic, and even thinking that they have surpassed alien civilization now. Lin shook his head speechlessly and said, we can create a super light spacecraft so quickly just by using some tricks. Unless we capture the second god. We can only produce one spacecraft like this. But the opponent's spacecraft can be mass produced. 
it's completely there may be tens of thousands of sublight spacecraft. Not to mention, the materials they used to make the spaceship were the opponent's technology from a thousand years ago. How to solve the light curtain and accurately locate the enemy while flying at super light speed are all problems that need to be solved. This is also the disadvantage of jumping directly into technology. Many things are pieced together here and there. However, there is no other way. Even with the support of the database in the brain, coupled with the magical energy of magic, a few years is really too short. And it is not enough to directly transform a magical agricultural civilization. A big step towards interstellar civilization. Under Lennon's words, the gradually increasing confidence of Harav and others returned to where they were before. And they began to focus on how to solve these problems. How much time do we have? Aurora asked. Judging from the distance, it's about four to five years. Lennon said hesitantly. The other party's speed had stabilized. During the time when they were preparing to attack foreign lands and build interstellar ships, they had not made any long-distance space jumps. Four or five years is not a long time. But it is not a short time. Counting from the time they left the wizarding land to counterattack the kingdom. It has only been less than eight years. Just stay here well. Lynn turned to look at Ella, who was trapped in the climb bottle, and reinforced it again to prevent the other party from escaping. After defeating Ella, the former enemy, in the following months, the council focused on the spoils of the war of foreign land filled with a large amount of magic power. This is undoubtedly another source of energy, but it is also a huge mess. After Lin and spent time and effort to expand the divine domain to the entire plane, he realized that the situation on this planet was much worse than he imagined. The loss of a large amount of material had turned the land into a large desert, and the entire plane was on the verge of collapse. The planet is on the verge of disintegration. Those three positron cannons that penetrated deep into the core of the Earth obviously made this situation worse, directly affecting the gravity and rotation of the planet. This plane will completely collapse in up to five years. Even with Lin and his current strength, he cannot save a planet that is about to collapse. He can only delay the arrival of the body moment as much as possible and let the engineering team hurry up to guide some useful materials and as much magic power as possible into the Eternal Star. In the new round of parliament, a large number of MPs quickly formulated a five-year plan to move out of the foreign land after a period of discussion. However, due to the time difference between the two places, it was not as long as five years at all. So they could only try their best. Choose a few of the most important things to move. Rescuing minerals is the first priority. We must explore the interior of the foreign land as quickly as possible to see if there are some rare minerals that are not found in the Eternal Star, Vittorio suggested such as the minerals they used to make the corona metal. It comes from a foreign land. Sanchez, who is proficient in plastic surgery, also added, And those monsters living in foreign lands can all be rushed to the Eternal Star, and we can set aside a dedicated area for their care. Chapter 584 I have mastered the key technology to disintegrate the kingdom's rule. In October, the autumn wind blew slowly across the lakeside and across the wilderness, bringing a hint of coolness to the people in the northern border of the kingdom who had been busy for a day. Tyler is an ordinary worker in a small town in the northern part of the kingdom. He has received several awards for his outstanding workability. But few people know that this is just an identity he used to hide. Just a few years ago, when the empire ruled this land and the glory of the Lord still existed in everyone's heart, Tyler was still a high-ranking great earl, the Lord's pastor on earth, and a prepared church bishop. It's a pity that this once extremely glorious identity has now become a reminder. His castle, property, and territory have all been devoured by those shameful wizards and demon minions. So that Tyrell has to abandon his past pride. Everything. He fled the prosperous imperial capital in a hurry. Hiding his identity. And came to this desolate northern town. As for becoming a worker. It is a helpless move. Because now in the entire kingdom. As long as the hands and feet are still agile. No one from the 70 year old man to the 10 year old child can stop working. There are even people competing for many jobs. Perhaps because he was too unique and attracted the attention of those wizards. Tyler suppressed his humiliation, unwillingness, and resentment in his heart and found a job in a workshop that produced new muskets. With the outstanding social skills of the nobles and the excellent physical fitness brought by baptism, he managed to get into a management position and solve the problems of identity and food. But Tyrell is not satisfied with this. Nor has he forgotten his identity. The hands that were originally used to hold the sword were used to cut and polish wood and they had to work with the smelly poor people every day. This was undoubtedly a shame for Tyler, a former noble and clergyman. Fortunately, 
Tyrell believed that all this was only temporary. So he was able to endure it. In fact, in the northern part of the kingdom, there were not a few people who had the same experience as him. After all, the northern border is desolate and has a mixed population. It is located on the edge of the kingdom and has a large inaccessible area, which is very suitable for hiding. In the past, it was also the headquarters of the church's God's punishment army. Now that the empire has disintegrated and the church has collapsed, this place has become the most active place for the church and nobles. And they have gathered strength to form a secret organization, the Moon Watchers. Only former nobles, church personnel, and the most staunch believers of the Moon God are recruited. With only one purpose. And that is to awaken the Moon God from his slumber through devout prayers and end the doomsday. Well, it's just a deep sleep because the church system collapsed so quickly. A large number of bishops and even cardinals died inexplicably. This bizarre situation plunged many remaining clergy into endless panic. But no one wants to believe that the moon god, the creator of all things and possessing infinite divine power, will fall. Just before, the holy city conveyed the news that the end was coming, which allowed the remaining nobles and church personnel to figure out what happened. It must be because of the moral collapse and lack of faith of the people of the empire that the great lord fell into a deep sleep in despair and acquiesced to the coming of the end. As long as they still pray devoutly. One day, the lord will wake up from his endless sleep and cleanse the entire earth. When the time comes, they can not only regain their previous glory and status, but they can also go a step further and become high-ranking cardinals or even kings and emperors. Tyrell is a member of the Moon Watcher organization. And today is when they hold a regular meeting. In order not to lose face in front of his colleagues, Tyler took off his dirty work clothes and put on a pair of gorgeous clothes bought with a lot of money, which was not eye-catching in today's kingdom, because even the dogs on the roadside may be wearing colorful clothes, and the grooms and vendors on the roadside are no worse than the nobles in the past. In Tyler's view, this undoubtedly violated the order and dignity of the world, and would have aroused the wrath of God before. The video of this rally was set on a farm not far from the town, when he first took over the title from his dead father and first became a lord. Tyrell once went to inspect the farmland in the territory, and everything he saw was a smelly and messy scene. Animal excrement, garbage piled all over the floor, and even traces of urine and unknown dirt on the walls made people almost nauseous. And those humble farmers are stupid and ugly. They only know how to wave their hose on the land, regardless of whether the splashed mud will contaminate pedestrians. That scene was forever engraved in Tyler's heart. And he believed his father's words more and more nobles are noble people appointed by the great moon god to assist bishops and priests in managing intelligent creatures in the world. But this time when Tyrell arrived outside the farm, he saw a different scene. The road was flat and wide, and the large and neatly divided wheat fields could not be seen to the edge. Three large, strange-looking alchemy instruments are galloping in the less, carrying out a new round of autumn planting. Seeing this, Tyler couldn't help but feel a little jealous in his heart. In his opinion, this farm was simply a new type of territory. And the wizards actually let a humble farmer manage it. These damn wizards! Tyler cursed secretly in his heart, then straightened his clothes, and after going through an identity check, entered the farm. Tyler was not the latest one to come, but he was not the first either. More than 70 nobles in gorgeous clothes were gathering in the farm to talk and talk about past deeds. What made Tyler a little embarrassed was that most of the nobles present were wearing this year's latest and most popular clothes but what he was wearing was already the old style from the year before, and he looked a little out of place among the crowd, directly in front of his eyes. Northern, the former seventh prince of the empire, was surrounded by a group of nobles, talking loudly about how they should mobilize manpower to counterattack the magic kingdom after the moon god awakened. After seeing Tyler walking into the farm, Northern suddenly felt his eyes light up and walked over quickly. You came just in time! Great Earl Tyler! Who do you think the great lord will make the new master of the empire? There is no doubt that it will be you. Your Majesty Northern. Tyler said in a good-natured manner. Northern laughed and reached out to pat Tyler on the shoulder, promising that after they had passed through the most difficult time, defeated the wizards, and regained the glory of the past empire, they would definitely give him a gift. In return, he received the title of Grand Duke and a large area of the most fertile territory. Tyler expressed his gratitude, but he couldn't help but lament in his heart. Those gathered in this small farm were all important ministers of the empire in the past. But now they were reduced to this. The former adjutant of God's punishment army was blowing glass in the workshop. The high-ranking bishop was lurking in the city guard as a squad leader. And the most miserable nobleman was even reduced to a dumb picker. However, according to his own statement, 
This was a sacrifice made for the great lord. Because the dumb carrier is the only position that can enter and exit some key areas without verification and can provide a lot of key intelligence. Only here can they feel that their proud identities as nobles and clergy are still true. Tyler sighed and thought, and then soon noticed that the noisy chatter in the farm suddenly subsided. He quickly turned his head and looked over. The person who came was none other than one of the few remaining bishops in the church. The sleeping moon god said the proposer, Lord Cedic. All the nobles and priests present hurriedly saluted respectfully. The seventh prince Nozon took a few steps forward and asked eagerly, Bishop Cedic, I don't know how long it will take for the great moon god to wake up. Cedek stared deeply at Nosan, then looked at the other nobles, who were also looking forward to this answer, and answered calmly, This is closely related to whether our prayers are pious. The Lord needs to see our repentance and sincerity. But obviously, the faith of some of us is not as strong as he stated. Cedek's words made Tyler and others change their expression slightly, and their eyes began to wander towards the colleagues beside them with a strong look of wariness hidden in their kind eyes. Three months ago, a small noble who betrayed his faith revealed the location of their gathering to the wizards, which resulted in the Moon Watcher organization losing a lot of manpower and even almost annihilating the entire army. This profound lesson also made Tyler and others become vigilant, and the meeting time was changed from once a month to irregular summonses. Cedek looked at everyone present, and after a long time, he changed his tone and said with relief, but I believe that the true betrayers of faith have been expelled from Moon Watcher, and the rest are our own people who are trustworthy. Then, before Tyrell and others could reply, they spoke again and announced a big news. Not long ago, he sent signs of the Moon God's awakening. Are you sure, Bishop Cedek? Prince Northern was so excited that he couldn't control himself, and his tone was trembling. The other nobles and priests were all staring at Cedek, as if they would rush up and tear him apart if he said a single word. No. Of course. I'm sure. Bishop Cedek said categorically, and then raised his hand to prove his words with facts. A faint light immediately appeared in the palm of his hand. Divinity. This is magic. A great nobleman shouted with excitement and a crazy expression. Although many people recognized that this was just the simplest magic spell, the light spell. The meaning it represented made everyone feel ecstatic. I knew that the great moon god must not have abandoned us. A pious priest knelt down and cried out. When the church collapsed and the empire fell, the remaining clergy realized that they had lost the ability to perform divine magic. This is undoubtedly a very serious blow, which has shaken the faith in many people's hearts, leading to an extremely terrifying speculation as to whether the great moon god has fallen. Some people cannot accept the facts and choose to commit suicide, while others are frantically searching for any evidence that the moon god still exists. For example, the changes in the moon phase some time ago and the unusual moon day that lasted for several months have become proof that the god of the moon has not yet fallen, but has just fallen into a deep sleep. The Moon Watchers organization was thus established. It's just that these evidences are very weak in the face of the increasingly dark reality. Five years. They have been waiting for five years. And now they finally see the dawn. This ecstasy lasted for several hours without stopping. The excited Prince Northern even proposed a grand celebration dance. As if he had seen the victory in advance. Bishop Cedic had no choice but to speak, bringing everyone back to reality from their illusory victory. Although the great moon god has responded somewhat because of our devout prayers day and night, the end is not over yet. We have not done enough, and the Lord's tests are still continuing. What else do we need to do to pass the Lord's test? Tyrell quickly asked, Do what we should do, and the Lord will judge everything. Bishop Cedic said simply and clearly, and then changed the topic and asked about what they had done for the Lord in the past three months. What things? Inspired by the impending resurrection of the moon god. All the nobles present immediately boasted about how many people they had secretly recruited in the past few months and what critical information they had obtained. It is precisely based on this that they never think that they are working for evil wizards to make a living. Instead, they endure the humiliation and prepare for the great cause of the empire and the church's counterattack. Soon it was Tyler's turn to speak. He raised his eyebrows and said proudly, After two years of exploration, I have successfully mastered the skills of those wizards in making muskets. Hearing this, everyone present was immediately in awe. Bishop Cedic also had a look of surprise on his face. They will never forget that it was this new weapon called a musket that defeated the divine punishment cavalry that the empire was proud of. Even some bishops died in frustration under the siege of the large group of musketeers. Very good. Very good. Prince Northern looked at Tyrell with red eyes. 
as long as you are willing to contribute the blueprints. You will be the king of Hadrata when the empire is restored. The nobles looked at Tyrol with envy in their eyes. The kingdom of Hadrata is now the most prosperous area in the entire empire. Even the former imperial capital cannot compare with it. Bishop Sedek also quickly made the same promise. Having received dual promises from the future emperor and the pope, Tyrol handed over the blueprints he had painstakingly drawn. One of the biggest secrets of the wizard-ruled empire. The blueprints for making muskets and bullets. Chapter 585 The premiere of the magic movie. After learning the good news that the moon god was about to revive and getting the design drawings of the musket, a group of nobles and priests who had been confused since the collapse of the church and the fall of the empire saw the dawn of hope. The next thing we need to do is to continue to strengthen moon watchers and select believers who still believe in the great moon god from those officials, businessmen and even civilians. Only more and more pious prayers can let the Lord see our sincerity and repentance. Bishop Sedek said solemnly, This is not an easy task because for more than five years, those cunning wizards have used money, materials, land purchases, and other means to try to corrode the faith in the hearts of the people of the empire. Fortunately, the thousand-year rule of the empire and the church is still deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Although many civilians have obtained abundant supplies, they are very poor spiritually, longing for the great lord to redeem themselves. Those wizards only conquered the bodies of these people, but did not really occupy their hearts. Everyone in the world misses the grand scene of the nobles and the church ruling the entire continent together. Therefore, within the empire, there are still many citizens who secretly worship the moon god, but they dare not pray openly due to the cruelty and persecution of the wizards. Tyrell and other nobles also echoed Sedek's words, talking about how to build a large musket factory and mobilize the people to oppose the wizards' rule, listening to everyone's serious discussion on how to counterattack the magic kingdom. A young imperial viscount in the corner had a strange look on his face and almost laughed out loud. Pym is a viscount of the empire, but he is also a member of the Dark Guard, responsible for eliminating all threats within the kingdom. Of course, the identity of this nobleman was not false. Otherwise, he would not have been able to sneak into the Moon Watcher organization so easily. However, Pym had long seen clearly that the empire and the church were bound to fail. So he made an early bet and decisively changed his family. As a price, all the hereditary titles and land were taken away, but the family wealth was retained. More importantly, the parliament did not restrict anyone from becoming a wizard or learning magic, with a knowledge reserve far higher than that of ordinary people. Coupled with the power of the magic network, Pym successfully became an official wizard. Powerful magic and various novel alchemical creations are all new experiences that have never been enjoyed before. Whether traveling or living, it is a hundred times more comfortable than being a noble. It's just that people's greed is always endless. Pym naturally hopes to go one step further and become a great wizard. This represents greater power and longer lifespan, as well as the possibility of entering the core of the parliament. But Pym knew very well that his knowledge was far from outstanding. The only thing he could hope for was to achieve high enough merit. This was why he left behind a decent and comfortable life and became a secret guard. Moon Watcher was his target. And Pym sneaked into it to find out what amazing conspiracy the remnants of the empire that had gathered together were plotting. The result made him extremely disappointed. That's all. That's it? Pym was sure that if these people had seen how the parliament captured the holy city, they would never have come up with the ridiculous idea of using muskets to organize civilians to counterattack the magic kingdom. Just due to the need for military training and the lack of opponents, they used conventional weapons when attacking major cities in the empire. That is, muskets and cannons. Even so, without the support of the church, the so-called elites of the empire were vulnerable to firearms. The so-called imperial capital only held out for three days before it fell. This was because they did not let go of the bombing for fear of hurting civilians. It seems that such conservatism has led some people to have some unrealistic ideas, thinking that they can threaten the kingdom by relying on old firearms technology. It is simply a fantasy. Realizing that this organization was just a bunch of idiots with brain problems and still immersed in past fantasies, Pym was disappointed. It seemed that the expected major achievements were about to fail. However, regarding the awakening of the moon god, the church clergy need to report it as soon as possible to regain their mastery of divine arts. The nobles and priests who were discussing loudly did not realize that there was a traitor among them. A tall and thin little nobleman seemed to have suddenly thought of something and hurriedly reminded him. My lord bishop, I heard that the wizards recently created something called a video stone, which is shown in a loop throughout the kingdom defiling the great lord and promoting the rule of the parliament and wizards. 
Video is stoned? What is this? Sita couldn't help but frown. Very wary of the novel creations created by the wizards. It seems to be almost like an opera. And it will be screened in the town tonight. The young nobleman said hesitantly, hearing that it was similar to an opera. A look of contempt suddenly appeared on Sidek's face. Of course he knew opera. It originated from the stories sung by bards. They were dramas about warriors slaying dragons. And down and out nobles gaining recognition from big shots and reaching the pinnacle of life. Some poor people, traitors and small nobles are very enthusiastic about this. But in Sidek's opinion, it is just a script compiled by bards to satisfy the imagination of the lower class. And it is not worthy of the stage at all. However, considering the fanfare of those wizards, Sidek still looked at everyone and told them that if they were free tonight, they could go find out what the council was up to. In the evening, the old nobles who had finished their gathering left one by one from various secret passages in the farm. If such a large gathering of people were discovered, it would easily arouse suspicion. You must know that the parliament has offered a very high reward for capturing these remnants of the empire and the church. Many untouchables, who have completely abandoned their faith in God, are extremely keen to report and report some suspicious objects to the local affairs officer. Therefore, even if the farm is contracted for dozens of miles around, they have to divide up carefully. Action. Tyrell was one of the last people to walk out of the manor, and he was still reluctant to leave the moment he stepped out. Because here he was the great count of the empire and the future king of Hadera Tower. And once he walked out of this door, he changed again. I return to that ordinary worker. Tyrell only hopes that the great moon god can wake up soon and restore the glory of the empire. After secretly returning to the town, Tyrell, who remained vigilant, immediately noticed the difference. A huge poster was posted at the gate of the town, which instantly attracted his attention. On the poster, a ferocious-looking priest in white robes is holding a scepter high, facing a wizard Yao Yao with flames, storms, and ice floating around his body. Behind him, under the protection of a shield composed of elements, two figures can be vaguely seen. A poor man and woman in ragged clothes, but with firm expressions. Tyrell could tell at a glance that this was a life-and-death showdown between the church bishop and a wizard. It seems to be related to those low-level untouchables, which makes people think a lot. The posters are also very detailed. Whether it is the powerful magic, the gorgeous magic, or the wrinkles and expressions on the faces of several people, you can clearly see it, as if this duel is happening right in front of you. Tyrell knew that this was a magic called optical photography by wizards, which could record what happened. The cover of the magic daily uses the same magic, and some ignorant civilians even think that wizards put frozen time into the photo. Of course Tyrell would not believe such outrageous remarks. Not to mention that all major cities sell an alchemical creation called a camera, which can take a lifelike photo by pressing the switch. Just buying a camera requires 50 gold coins, which is not something ordinary civilians can afford. This poster was like a super enlarged version of a photo. Even Tyler, who had not been very interested in movies before, couldn't help but feel a little curious at this moment. After hesitating for a moment, he walked in the direction indicated by the poster. The movie screening location was chosen in the widest and eye-catching square, and the ticket price was not expensive. It only cost one silver coin, which was equivalent to a few days' salary of the kingdom's citizens. It was not a problem to grip one's teeth and take the whole family to watch it. This also means that the number of people watching the movie is beyond imagination. Almost all the citizens of the town had arrived, and tens of thousands of people gathered in the small square. The 5,000 chairs prepared in advance were not enough and there was not much space to place them. The rest of the people could only stand and watch. Film. The citizens on the outside whose sight was blocked struggled to squeeze in. But there were also some smart ones, who brought their own mats and stood taller than the other. Hundreds of children even climbed to the eaves above their heads. This is what happened. The best viewing position. With his excellent physical fitness. Tyler squeezed his way to the front amidst the shouts of abuse. Although there was no seat, he could clearly see the scene in front of him. The center of the square is a large area that has been deliberately left vacant. There are no opera singers or even a stage. The only thing that can be seen is nine projection stones suspended in midair. Seeing that the time was almost up, Sean, who was in charge of the screening, asked people to stop selling tickets. Then he cleared his throat, used a loudspeaker spell, and shouted loudly, Quiet! The sound, as loud as a bell, instantly overwhelmed the discussions of tens of thousands of people making the noisy square slowly become quiet. Although there is no very strict hierarchy in the kingdom now, there are still some in private, especially wizards, who have a great say. After the square became silent, 
Sean announced that today's movie screening would begin. With a flick of his finger, the nine projection stones suspended in midair immediately dispersed and flew to every corner of the square. Immediately afterwards, a dazzling bright light burst out from it, covering the entire square. Tyrell subconsciously narrowed his eyes. When he opened his eyes again, he couldn't help showing a look of horror on his face. All the civilians around him exclamations continued. In this short moment, they arrived at a farmland from a lively square, with green grass under their feet and a yellow-orange wheat field in front of them. Tyrell couldn't help but squat down and wanted to pull out a piece of grass to confirm the authenticity. But his hand went through the blades of grass. Obviously this is not a real thing, but a projection of magic and light, which together form a visual effect that is enough to be real. Chapter 586 The Big Bang Magic Movie and the Excited Kingdom Citizens the magic version of 3D projection technology amazed the kingdom citizens who came into contact with it for the first time. They felt like they were in the story at this moment, watching things happen in front of them with their own eyes, which can be said to be a full sense of immersion. The plot of this first movie in the history of the Magic Kingdom is not complicated. It tells the story of the farmers at the bottom of the empire. The male protagonist Dave was born into an ordinary serf family in the Imperial Barony. The early stories are also related to the daily encounters of this family such as heavy labor, a large number of exorbitant taxes, exploitation by the Lord's tax officers, and bullying by local bullies. They had more or less personally experienced all kinds of harsh treatment that Dave encountered in the movie. Naturally, they were filled with indignation and couldn't help but clench their fists. Countless troubles came one after another, which can only be described as harsh. But Dave shouldered them one by one. Supporting him through this endless suffering was the poor but warm family. Although his mother died young, his father was Dave's most solid support. He seemed to have endless strength, and his wheat planting technology was also the best in the whole town. In addition, Dave also has a fiance, who is not very beautiful, but she is also a bright spot in this small town. Such a difficult and peaceful life obviously did not last long. Under the anxious attention of everyone, the life that was originally manageable quickly ushered in a turning point. First, the mountain like father fell down due to malaria. The bishop in the church who preached God's love for the world all day long chose to stand aside because he could not raise 15 silver coins for treatment. The helpless Dave could only watch. He watched his father fall ill in front of him. Immediately afterwards, another piece of bad news came. The young son of the local lord fell in love with Dave's fiance while inspecting the territory. Instigated by several attendants, he failed to control himself and started to taint the other woman. When the plot was at its most depressing, it finally broke out. In a rage, Dave took advantage of the night to sneak into the temporary residence of several people. He wielded farm tools and attacked and killed the son of the baron who had defiled his fiancée. Then he took him with him. He fled Nordland overnight with his fiancée. Good kill. That's how it should be. Kill these damn nobles. A strong worker shouted excitedly. And the bishop and the tax collector. We must not let them go. Another rough-looking worker said angrily, waving his fists. The rest of the people in the territory were equally excited, clamoring to make the nobles. Priests and bullies who persecuted Dave pay a bloody price. The shouts of tens of thousands of people made Tyler feel a little restless among them, and cold sweat broke out on his back. A few years ago, no commoner would have dared to judge a noble or even a cleric in such a fair and honest manner. But now the situation has obviously changed. The kingdom is no longer the domain of the nobility and the church. Dave's outburst in the movie made all the townspeople who had been feeling aggrieved for more than half an hour let out a strong sigh of anger. At the same time, they couldn't help but feel a little worried. Killing nobles by civilians is a serious crime in the empire. As everyone expected, the angry baron sent a large number of guards to hunt down the absconding Dave. Although Dave relied on his agility and determination to escape round after round of arrests, the tainted fiancé was already mentally and physically exhausted and could not survive the days of hiding and even sleeping with half an eye open. In a heavy rain, the two people who loved each other soon had to part ways. Raindrops composed of magic and light, and shadow fall from the sky. Although they do not soak clothes like real rain, they enhance the atmosphere to the extreme. Everyone watching the movie in the audience was completely immersed in Dave's tragic situation. Even the man who weighed more than 200 pounds was crying so hard that he couldn't open his eyes at this moment. Fortunately, in the second half of the movie, Dave's fortune finally turned around. Under some circumstances, he gained the appreciation of a wizard, became a wizard apprentice, and even joined an organization that resisted the brutal rule of the empire. Here, 
Dave realized that the source of his past tragic experiences was not at all a test of the Lord as advertised by the church. And there was no so-called kingdom of heaven in this world. Dave, who has broken the shackles of common sense, finally awakens and prepares to work with other wizards to overthrow the rule of the empire and the church and liberate those empire citizens who are still suffering from the abuse of the church and the oppression of the nobility. After painstaking study and several experiences, Dave gradually grew from an apprentice to a formal wizard capable of acting on his own. Perhaps it was fate, but during one of the team's operations, Dave discovered a bad behavior of local nobles oppressing the poor. It was almost a replica of what happened back then. Except this time it didn't lead to tragedy. Dave stood up firmly, killed the noble, helped the two loving civilian men and women evacuate to a safe place, and started a life and death showdown with a church bishop who came later. The brilliance intertwined with divine magic and magic kept leaping up in the square. The townspeople who saw it kept exclaiming and secretly sweating for Dave. Several workers, who couldn't stand it angrily picked up the things on the ground. The stone was thrown fiercely at the bishop in an attempt to interfere with the opponent's spell casting. But this was obviously just a useless effort. The stone passed directly through the bishop's body. As spectators, they could not interfere with the development of the matter. Fortunately, after a hard fight, Dave defeated the enemy with difficulty. Although he failed to protect his wife back then, after gaining strength, he protected the happiness of others. The movie ended abruptly here, resting on Dave's slightly forlorn back. The whole process lasted more than three hours, which can only be described as long. However, the townspeople watched it with gusto, and even felt like watching it for two or three more times. No problem for hours. Although the ending of the movie is relatively satisfactory, there are still many blank spaces in the content. For example, after becoming an official wizard, will Dave return to his former barony to avenge the evil deeds of the local nobility and church? As a filmmaker and screener, Sean of course understood the expectations of the public and soon announced Day 2 The Secret of Luna will officially air in three months with screenings in cities throughout the Magic Kingdom. The title of the movie alone made people think a lot and some brave townspeople even began to talk about what shameful things the moon god had done in private. Listening to the comments of the untouchables in his ears, Tyler, who had also watched the entire movie, felt a chill in his heart. He could naturally tell that the wizards were trying to shake the belief in the moon god from the foundation. So much so that after watching the movie, I came up with the idea at the last moment that the death of the bishop and the nobles before him was so satisfying. But in fact, whether it was the son of the baron who defiled Dave's fiancé, the pastor of the church, or in fact, the bishop did not do anything really extraordinary. After all, all the serfs in the entire territory were the property of the Lord, let alone defilement. Even if they were killed directly, it would only be a fine paid to the church. Some of the wilderness areas in the northern border of the empire even have the tradition of first-night rites. But many lords have no intention of fulfilling it at all. Because the appearance of most peasant women is really hard to compliment, Tyler thought angrily, but did not notice that their abnormal performance had been recorded. Number 69 Number 137 Number 540 Number 7031 And number 9520 behaved abnormally while watching the movie and need to be arrested. Arrest? Sir Sean? A wizard glanced at the townspeople who were preparing to leave and asked in a low voice. They played movies on a loop in every city in the empire. In addition to propaganda, it was also a means of identifying ourselves and the enemy. Those who agree with parliamentary rule. When watching The Legend of Dave, their emotions will fluctuate with the progress of the plot and they will also sympathize with the protagonist's experience. However, According to their investigation, there were several townspeople who just watched the movie. Men, I watched the movie with a gloomy face throughout. Sean naturally noticed the abnormality of these people, but he waved his hands to stop the other party from further actions. I already know their identities. They should all be members of the Moon Watchers. Let's spare their lives for the time being. This is also an order from above. As long as they don't take too drastic actions, don't pay attention to their actions. Having said this, Sean turned to look at the secret guard covering his face. Pim, you can continue to keep an eye on them. Sir Sean, what about the resurrection of the moon god? Pim asked hesitantly. This matter seemed extremely important to him. But the wizard from the royal capital in front of him hardly cared about it. Thing. I have already reported it. When I return to the capital in a few days, I will personally tell the lord about your findings. Sean explained succinctly. In fact, he had received similar information more than once when he was showing movies on a loop in the kingdom. 
The Moon Watchers were not the only remnant church organization on the entire continent. He vaguely guessed the reason for the Moon God's awakening. Only a few senior officials in the entire council knew that the god the church believed in was captured from a foreign land by the magic star. Perhaps this was the reason why some clergymen suddenly reasoned for restoring spellcasting ability. As for why these remnants of the church were allowed to act, Sean didn't understand. However, the speaker's power was unfathomable, and his wisdom was vast. It was not something they could guess. Following orders was undoubtedly the most correct choice. Seeing that Sean remained tight-lipped and unwilling to reveal too much, Pym also knew enough not to ask any more questions. He couldn't help but guess that maybe the Moon Watcher organization was used by the Parliament to fish for money. This group of nobles and churches who are not bright-minded. The remnants cannot make any waves. But the existence of this organization can fish out those careerists who are hiding in the dark and oppose the rule of the Parliament. Okay, we should clean up and go to the next place. After the tens of thousands of townspeople watching the movie dispersed in an orderly manner, Sean took back the nine projection stones and used his own cleaning method. Magic. An inexplicable magical wind blew by, gently lifting the tables and chairs that were swaying on the ground. The target of the second burst of magic wind was the peeled garbage scattered on the ground, also responsible for dust removal and finishing work. In less than half a minute, the originally messy town square became neat and tidy. Sean nodded with great satisfaction. His self-created cleaning magic seemed to be perfect, and he just needed to name it. Unlike most wizards, who focus on researching how to make spells more powerful, Sean is not very interested in fighting. He still prefers to study magic that can make life easier. Although the parliament is still facing some crisis, and the development of combat magic is still the top priority, there should be enough people responsible for researching similar spells, and there must be someone responsible for making life easier. Right? Sean stayed in the north for two weeks, which was also the last stop of the kingdom screening tour. Then he took the airship with satisfaction and returned to the kingdom with his work, and got Lin in as soon as possible. Summoned. Sir Sean, I have watched the movie you made. The script is very good. Much more exciting than I expected. Lin was not shy about his words of appreciation. This is Kingdom's first movie, and it is also the first time that Sean and others have filmed a movie. Combining so many elements, the effect is unexpectedly good, completely beyond his expectations. Thanks to the book you gave me about script creation and lens use, I was able to complete the filming of the movie within half a year. Sean spoke humbly, and after a pause, he continued with emotion. Some time ago, listening to the civilians recount their past experiences also gave me a lot of inspiration. I just put their stories together. A very important factor why his, Dave, is so popular throughout the kingdom is that the plot is based on a true story and is played by the person involved. Naturally, the acting skills are superb and the effect is outstanding. Of course, the real Dave did not have the reverse situation in the second half of the movie, and his fate was much more tragic. This time he participated in the movie and fulfilled his dream back then. Lin patted Sean on the shoulder, praised him a few more times, and then talked about some of the problems he discovered while watching the movie. For example, the length of time is too long for a movie of more than three hours, and the details of the plot are not appropriate. Some boring plots can be deleted or even removed without affecting the main plot of the movie. Sean nodded. He had discovered these problems during hundreds of screenings. Fortunately, the film's premiere was novel enough. So the people of the kingdom were able to tolerate the relatively boring plot in the early stage. By the way, Speaker Lin, Sean suddenly remembered the business and hurriedly reported. During this tour, I received a lot of information about the moon god. I heard from a secret guard that the remaining priests of the church seem to have recovered their ability to cast spells. Chapter 587 A Foreign Land Invaded The news of the moon god's revival was not beyond Lin's expectation. Or it could be said that this was the result of his deliberate laissez-faire. There are about three reasons. The first is as bait. A group of church remnants who have been exposed under their noses have been greatly reduced in threat. They can be dealt with at any time if they want. Instead, it is better to use them to fish out more people who are hiding in secret and plotting against the kingdom. The second is to charge the new power system. Although they successfully built a faster-than-light spacecraft, the energy consumption problem had always been a headache for Lin. It was only after they captured Ella, the living moon god, that they were reluctantly solved. However, the last time she went back and forth in the universe, she almost drained the energy core of Ella. Without the blessing of the divine realm, the moon goddess was extremely weak. If he doesn't give the other party some hope, 
Lin is really worried that Ella will be completely ruined and even choose to commit suicide now their spaceship can't find a second core that can be used as a replacement. The third one is related to one of his plans. But whether it works or not depends on whether the other party can cooperate enough. Naturally, Lin would not reveal these thoughts to Sean. It was not that the other party was untrustworthy, but that there was no need for it. After indicating that she already knew, Lin ignored the topic and turned to talk to Sean about the shooting of the next new movie. If the biography of Dave One starts the story from the perspective of an empire farmer in order to enhance the sense of involvement of the empire subjects, use similar experiences to make people empathize with them, and review the dark rule of the empire and the church. Then, the biography of Dave, too, will truly reveal how the church relies on a fictional Bible to brutally exploit and rule civilians. However, in Sean's opinion, both Dave's Story 1 and Dave's Story 2 can only be regarded as prequels. As a foreshadowing of the background, Dave and a group of wizards who oppose the empire alone are the rule of the church cannot be shaken. What he plans to photograph next is the legendary life of the magic star in front of him. This is the real prelude to the counterattack. Sean kept talking about the filming plan for the follow-up movie. Listening to a script adapted from his own experience as the protagonist, Lin's expression became more and more weird, especially from Sean's perspective. It means knowing things like a god and being omnipotent. Lin and couldn't help but think of how he almost fled all the way to the Aida Harbor in embarrassment in order to avoid being hunted by the church and obtain a relatively safe research environment. He felt a little ashamed, but had no intention of correcting him. After all, it is a movie script, and it is normal to have some artistic processing. So Lin just gave some constructive suggestions from the perspective of creating the script. Although Sean is full of creative ideas and thoughts, and is eager to discuss them with Lin. He also knows that movies are only a tool for entertainment promotion after all. The magic star probably has a lot of more urgent matters to deal with. So he said goodbye and left quickly. As Sean closed the door, Lin, who was in the room, disappeared directly into the empty room. Contrary to what Sean expected, Lin In who stayed in the capital was just an avatar. At the moment, he is studying how to design the new battleship shape with Dennis and discussing the next development of the kingdom with Harav and others. Incarnations like this still exist in the Land of Death, the Alchemy Research Institute, the City of Fire Oil, and even in foreign lands. With the blessing of huge computing power, multi-threaded operations, and split thinking are naturally incomparable to Lin In. Easy. As for Lin's body, he is doing a very important thing, which is to expand the divine domain to the entire eternal star. In order to cope with the war with the Lord of the Undead, Lin In performed the ceremony of becoming a god in a hurry. The divine domain only covered a continent, accounting for only about one-tenth of the entire planet, and its largest limit was one factor as magic. Although the space-time doors opened by the moon goddess Diana sent a large amount of magic power to the world and helped him complete a large part of his work. Even so, it is obviously not enough to master the entire eternal star. Fortunately, with the control of the moon and foreign lands, they have gained new sources of magic power. So during this period of time, Lin In has also continued to expand the scope of the Divine Realm, and has basically occupied most of the planet, containing the power of will. The magic even reaches deep into the earth, different from the foreign realm where matter is lost and even collapsed. The Eternal Star is a true star of life. It seems to be very young and extremely energetic, containing very powerful potential. If the planet is compared to a person, the thick rock layer is the skin. The surging magma layer is the blood rushing in the human body. And the core of the earth is like the beating heart. As the fusion deepens, his power is also further improved. Lin In estimates that when he completely covers the entire world with the divine domain and fuses the center of the earth, he will break through from a weak divine power to a medium divine power. That day shouldn't be too far away. However, things were not always so smooth. Lin In, who was concentrating on raising his power level and handling the affairs of the kingdom, soon realized that there seemed to be some problems in the foreign land. After capturing Ella and seizing control of the foreign land, he once again expanded the space-time gate connecting the two places, using the expansion of the Divine Realm to achieve communication between the two places. However, there is some delay in this kind of communication. Only when the magic power is transmitted from the other side can he learn what is happening in the foreign land. The only way to completely eliminate this delay and control the two worlds at the same time without any obstacles is to make the time flow rate in the two places consistent. This will undoubtedly require a relatively long waiting time. And now there is a sudden alarm from the foreign land. 
which makes Lin somewhat worried that this may be some small tricks secretly carried out by the gods of the main world. Thinking of this, Lin and lowered his true body. Just relying on the incarnation in a foreign land might not be able to solve this problem. A multifaceted crystal between reality and illusion appeared out of thin air. And then the surrounding elements rushed in crazily, constructing a person's internal organs, brain, bones, and finally muscles and skin. In just three seconds, his body had condensed into shape. Immediately afterwards, Lenin stepped out and crossed the rift in time and space. Foreign land, Broken City Arcana. This city, just like its name, has been weathered and has been continuously destroyed and rebuilt during several cross-dimensional wars. Now it has become one of the transfer stations for material storage and transportation. After all, this place was very close to where they opened the space-time rift. Even though the damage was serious, Lenin still spent some effort to repair it. Not only that, in order to facilitate the engineering team to carry out the rescue of foreign materials and avoid going in the dark, they built a super-large fusion reactor in the center of the continent, which was constrained to a position 100 kilometers above the planet, just like the sun does not stop all the time. It swayed with light and heat, illuminating the surface of the Earth for hundreds of thousands of miles, as bright as day. That's right. They artificially created a new sun. Although it is far less huge than a real star, the effect is the same. Everyone who has arrived in a foreign land from the eternal star can't help but sigh at the greatness of magic when they look up at this artificial sun. Of course, even with light, it still cannot hide the desolation of the foreign land. This is especially true around the broken city. Under the baptism of hundreds of hydrogen explosions, there are huge potholes all over. It takes a lot of effort to restore them. Divine power is by no means a small amount. So Lin left these potholes here and just used magic to create a bridge that could pass through. The moment he stepped into the foreign land, Lin In realized the problem. The world seemed very peaceful on the surface because the invasion came from a higher dimension. Lin gradually extended his perception, and the magic power containing what was attached to the invisible curve of time and space. And then he clearly felt that the space of this plane was being torn apart. The most severe tear was over a canyon about 300 kilometers away from here. Fortunately, a real cross-border portal had not yet been formed. Is it because there are not enough accurate coordinates for positioning? Lin In thought to himself. When the Lord of Death invaded the Eternal Star, and when they invaded foreign lands, they almost created a space-time node connecting the two worlds in a very short period of time. This time, the other party took such a long time and failed to break the barrier of time and space. Lin suspected that the intruder did not have the truly accurate coordinates and used a positioning method that was more vague than the coordinates. This may be the reason why the moon god escaped from the main world with his own divine domain, but was still approached by the Lord of Death. This meant that there was still a chance to make amends. Lin immediately took action and mobilized more power near the torn airspace and began to reinforce and repair it. Two powerful but different forces used space as a battlefield to interact and compete. If the time and space of this airspace were compared to a piece of tempered glass, then the other side would be hammering it with hammers, while Lin was constantly reinforcing it with tape and wooden boards. But soon Lin discovered that similar cracks began to appear in other airspaces in foreign lands, even in mountains, rivers and seas. This makes patching the space particularly difficult. It's like whack-a-mole. After finally pressing one, another one pops up, which is very annoying. What makes Lin even more uneasy is that it is not the same force that tears apart time and space. This means a very unfavorable news. The other side wants to break the time and space channel. There is never more than one god. Chapter 588 Only peace under reciprocal deterrence is true peace. CLI. Bang. Violent lightning continued to gather in the void. And soon, a burst of cumulus clouds and rain fell along with the thunderstorm. The engineering teams who stayed in the foreign land looked at the sky one by one. And they were all very surprised. You must know that the weather in the foreign land has never changed since they entered the time and space gate. Rain and thunder have become a rare thing. Compared to the ordinary workers who were watching the excitement, a few great wizards had serious expressions on their faces because they noticed traces of magic in the thunderstorm. This is not thunder but the aftermath of a magic collision. Just as they thought, the skies above the foreign land had become a battlefield. This battle cannot be seen or touched. But it is equally dangerous, and can even determine the life and death of all living beings in this plane. The areas where the space was torn apart began to become more and more numerous. And even Lin and could not achieve complete protection. Soon a tiny crack appeared in the sky above a forest, and several flame demons with their bodies burning with flames emerged from this ray of time flew out of the cracks in time and space. 
but before it had time to show its power, it was crushed to pieces by the surrounding rioting elements. Similar scenes soon appeared in other areas of the foreign land. At the most dangerous moment, three space-time cracks appeared in the void at the same time. Fortunately, this rapid offensive did not last long. Although there was more than one god invading the foreign land, without the exact coordinates, the power they could project was greatly reduced. In addition, Lin and occupies a geographical advantage. The entire divine realm was also under his control. And he successfully suppressed the opponent's attempts again and again. The scouts, who were sent over were killed the moment they emerged. Ten hours later, the increasingly terrifying thunderstorms in the sky finally subsided. And the confrontation at the high dimensional level also ended. Lin and undoubtedly won the victory, and did not let the opponent break through the foreign space defense. But obviously this does not mean the end. Lenin knows very well that this is most likely just a trial. And the gods of the main world may not give up so easily. Thinking of this, Lin separated an incarnation and returned to the eternal star to convey the message. As for his body, he must stay here to guard against another invasion. Half an hour later, in the Magic Kingdom, more than 40 great wizards, who were stranded in the capital walked into the newly built Magic Tower a few years ago. This is the highest conference room of the kingdom. The entire tower is made of solid mithril. It is more than 800 meters high and reaches into the sky. It is also the core of the royal capital's protective formation. The energy supply has also changed from old the fusion furnace has been upgraded to the latest antimatter annihilation device developed by the parliament. Even if the Lord of Death comes, it will take a lot of effort to completely break the protection of the royal capital. The interior of the conference room is very spacious. Enough to easily accommodate tens of thousands of people. And the decoration is more advanced than the sky realm in the wizarding land. What attracts the most attention is the magical images projected around the conference room. It was divided into 75 pictures. There are bustling streets. People passing through. Vast wasteland and solid barriers. The 74 most important cities in the kingdom and the interior scenes of the lunar outposts. Only Lin In, who has achieved absolute control over the kingdom and the moon, can do such incredible things. Speaker Lin! After entering the conference room, Dozens of great wizards immediately saw Lin sitting on the main seat and saluted respectfully. Even Raphael, who had been promoted to the legendary wizard, was no exception. Although on the surface, Raphael is now at the same level as Lin. That is only because the parliament has not established a higher position. Every wizard knows who is the real person in power in the parliament today. Many people even privately call Lin the god of magic to distinguish him from the other speakers. In addition to these great wizards who are stranded in the royal capital, the rest of the council members have also arrived. A total of 879 great wizards and 9 legendary wizards. This is all the information that the parliament has accumulated over this period of time after defeating the empire and the church. However, most people are scattered throughout the kingdom and are participating in this important meeting in the form of magic projection. With the power of the magic network, even if they are thousands of miles away on the moon, they can reach here instantly. After all the congressmen arrived, Lin En had no intention of talking nonsense and gave a general summary of the information coming from the foreign land. Are they going to launch an invasion so soon? Harif couldn't help but frown and immediately realized the seriousness of the matter. Although they attacked foreign lands to build a fortress to attack the main world, they had long expected to confront the gods of the main world. They even considered capturing these gods to use as power sources for the spacecraft. But they did not expect the other party. It came so quickly. Can you confirm how many people there are? No. How many gods are they? Aurora asked solemnly. Not sure. But there are at least four gods who have invaded foreign spaces. Lenin said in a deep voice. At least four gods. All the congressmen present couldn't help but take a breath. This is undoubtedly extremely bad news. If these foreign gods fight on their own, they can still defeat each other as before. And even rely on capturing the gods to create super light spaceships. Converting the opponent's combat power into their own combat power relying on such continuous accumulation to compete with the main world. The final battle. However, this idea was about to be shattered before it even started. Once the gods of the main world unite, it will be particularly difficult for them to win. Where are those alien spaceships? How far away are they from us? Vittorio suddenly asked. This is also a question that the other wizards want to know. If we don't speed up or slow down along the way, we still have about three years to reach our galaxy. Lenin stretched out his hand, and tapped it in the void. And dots of fluorescence appeared in the center of the conference room. This is a simple star map. Stitched together based on the coordinates of each star they observed. 
although it may not be very accurate. It is enough for rough positioning. Harav saw the red dot flashing in the void at a glance. This was exactly where the alien spaceships were. And they had almost completed four-fifths of the way. Of course, for a long distance ahead, the opponent jumped directly over and had no clear path. Those stars that are extremely far away and marked with reddish rings are the coordinates of establishing contact with the quantum communicator captured by Lin In. They are most likely the territory of this alien civilization. Are there only three years left? Anthony sighed. During this period of time, he frequently traveled between the eternal star and foreign lands. And his concept of time became a little confused. But if you think about it carefully, they did spend a lot of time researching, building lightspeed spacecraft, and preparing for wars against foreign lands. Harav and others also frowned. Three years is a long time. But under the seven times speed of time in a foreign land, it is only five months. Now it can be said that they are facing two wars at the same time. Whether to solve the troubles in foreign lands first and fight the gods of the main world or to prepare for the possible interstellar war first is undoubtedly a question that needs to be carefully considered. The wizards present were quickly divided into two groups. Many wizards believe that since the gods of the main world have already set their sights on foreign lands, they should solve this problem first and use them as energy sources for the new spaceship. Solve it? How to solve it? A great wizard said with a sneer. Now they only have the combat power of Lin. The magic star. And the main ship that uses God-powered spaceships can barely be counted as one. Even so, it is only equivalent to the combat power of two gods. And their enemies have at least four gods. You must know that in the war between gods, even the legendary speakers can't find a chance to intervene. Although the antimatter cannons carried on the other battleships can pose a threat to the gods, they can only provide some fire support at most. Raphael had a different idea. After thinking for a moment, he spoke. No matter how many gods there are in the main world, they cannot easily invade foreign lands without definite coordinates. Maybe we can find a way to bring them closer one by one to deal with them. This proposal undoubtedly allowed the originally clueless members to see a feasible path. They were not afraid of a single god, not to mention that coming would mean leaving the original divine domain, and their strength would be greatly reduced. I'm afraid it's not that easy. Lenin shook his head, feeling that this suggestion was unreliable because the gods who invaded the foreign land did not fight independently, but rather worked together. As for the fact that their combat power will be greatly reduced if they leave the divine domain, they understand that the gods of the main world should know better. In particular, they also killed the Lord of Death, a god with medium divine power. With the example of the Lord of Death, the other party will definitely be more cautious. Vittorio also nodded. He also disagreed with directly starting a war with the main world because it is almost impossible to win this cross-border god war in a short time, and it can easily turn into a two-sided enemy. Condition. Are you sure you can resist the invasion of these gods? Speaker Lin? Harav asked solemnly. He also agreed that he should first withstand the invasion of the gods of the main world, protect them from them, and first deal with the alien fleets that formed to approach. After excluding the fear of sublight speed ships, in Harav's eyes, the threat of these fleets is smaller than the large number of gods in the main world. This time the opponent should just test it. It may not be so easy next time. Even if you are prepared, it will be very difficult to fully protect yourself. Lenin shook his head, waiting to see the faces of the wizard showing up one by one. With a bitter look, he opened his mouth to comfort again. But it's not that easy for a god to come to another world in his true form. When the Lord of the Undead came to this universe, he used the sacrifice of a nine-ring legendary great lich as a bargaining chip. And when they attacked foreign lands, they use the remaining will and power of the moon god as a link, stimulating Ella's godhead to obtain an opportunity to open a rift in time and space. It seems that the situation is not too bad. Sanchez couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Using a foreign land as a battlefield, they are not afraid of one or two gods coming. They will only kill them and make them into super light spaceships of energy. To send many powerful gods over at once would only require an astronomical amount of energy. As long as they are careful enough, they should not let the other party succeed. There may be other alien fleets here for friendly exchanges. And they may not be a threat. A congressman said optimistically. Lenin raised his eyebrows. It is true that this possibility cannot be ruled out. But the probability is very low. After all, one of the opponent's fleets was directly annihilated by the moon goddess Diana. In short, we must be prepared with both hands. And we cannot place our hopes entirely on the enemy's goodwill. Lin said noncommittally. A peace established with reciprocal deterrence can be considered a truly safe peace. In fact, 
in recent years. The alchemists of the Council have not been idle. They have once again built five galaxy-class spacecraft with a maximum speed of half the speed of light. They are also equipped with curvature engines and can break through with only one energy source. Limitation on the speed of light. There are still two interstellar spacecraft under construction, plus the three spacecraft that were previously built and modified, which means that up to ten spacecraft are expected to be put into the battlefield. This is undoubtedly another good news. They are not unprepared for this war. After arguing about who to fight first, the focus of the next discussion in the Council quickly turned to how to speed up the collection of foreign materials. This plane that is destined to collapse does not have much value in holding on. If the situation is not right, evacuation can be regarded as an excellent strategy. Lenin didn't know how the gods of the main world positioned themselves in foreign lands. It was probably related to the fact that the moon god came from the main world. But they definitely don't have the coordinates of the eternal star. Even if the foreign land is lost, the other party may not be able to find it. The space of the big universe is much more stable than the other side. And the energy consumption required for arrival will be greater. And the connection between the two sides can also be severed by closing the space-time door. In this way, they are equivalent to possessing two space shields of foreign lands and the big universe. Listening to the arguments and discussions among the members of the House of Representatives, Lenin was thinking about another issue. The current strength of the parliament is not enough to compete head-on with the main world and the disc geometric civilization let alone at the same time. Face these two threats. Unlike Harav, Lin will not underestimate the power of a real interstellar. The time of the two sides' invasion is also very close. So, can they find a way to use the intelligence gap to leverage their strength? Chapter 589 Rescuers and Nature Conservation Association In a foreign land, in the broken city, Ripple suddenly appeared in the huge time and space nodes, and then a series of transport convoys emerged from the time and space gate passing straight through the city full of sentries and guards, driving on the road built with magic. Here comes the smooth and wide road. Hill, the plastic apprentice who arrived in the foreign land for the first time, looked at the outside world through the transparent window of the transport convoy, in sharp contrast to the solid and flat road below the convoy. It was the devastated land full of ravines and craters. He said with emotion, Teacher, is this a foreign land? It's even more desolate than the moon. Those are the traces left by the battle between Lord Magic Star Lin and the God of the Moon. The great wizard named Court explained with a smile, and then shook his head. But other places are not much better. I heard that this place was once a star of life, but it is almost at the end of its life. Even planets will come to an end? Hill's face showed a look of astonishment. In her opinion, the main body of the world is composed of stones and soil. Is it possible that even hard stones have a lifespan? Of course, everything will die one day. The old wizard responded with a smile. Then will this day happen in our world? Hill frowned in great concern. This. The great wizard couldn't help but pause for a moment. Hill's question undoubtedly touched on his knowledge blind spot. So he coughed twice in embarrassment and spoke. Who knows? Maybe. But that will happen a long, long time later. Hill couldn't help but wonder how long it was. But before she could figure it out, the advancing motorcade stopped. It was obvious that they had arrived. The Great Wizard Court immediately stepped down from the transport convoy to avoid being questioned again. What they arrived at was an open woodland, surrounded by earth and stone walls created by magic. Although it looked simple, in fact the protection level was very high, and the entire site was shrouded in alchemical circles. As soon as they got out of the car, several people heard bursts of violent roars and the sound of steel being hammered. It seems that these little guys are not very peaceful, Cord said with a laugh. Of course. How can anyone who can survive in such a harsh environment in a foreign land be at ease? The wizard guarding the entrance also laughed, and soon led the two of them into the cave surrounded by earth and rocks. In the woodland, unlike other wizards who come to foreign lands to transport supplies, they come here to rescue foreign monsters. Because once the world collapses, all creatures living in foreign lands will suffer catastrophe. It would be too wasteful to let them disappear with the world. Therefore, during the previous meeting, Sanchez, who had just become the speaker, proposed a proposal to rescue these exotic monsters and bring them back to the Eternal Star to be raised. This is undoubtedly strongly supported by many shaping, potion, and alchemist scholars. Whether it is based on practical considerations of enriching magic materials or considerations of protecting life, this rescue plan must be implemented. However, it is not easy to capture these exotic monsters. Every monster they encounter either has strong power or special life-saving and escape skills. 
When Cord stepped into it, he saw a seven-meter-tall giant beast at first glance. It was angrily trying to tear open a steel cage with its claws. Unfortunately, it was electrified. Under this, the violent giant beast quickly fell to the ground, its body trembling with the electric current. The other monsters imprisoned here are also tightly restricted by magic. Isn't this a bit too cruel? Hill couldn't help but said. Actually, we have also tried non-cruel methods. The wizard who led the way shrugged and kept talking about the difficulties of their work. In fact, when these monsters were captured, members of the Nature Conservation Association tried to use psionic magic to communicate with them, but apparently with little success. Compared to comics changes, these powerful monsters, who have lived in harsh foreign environments for a long time understand better that having a big fist is the last word. Court also knew that it was unrealistic to tame these monsters in a short time, and it was already good to be able to achieve this level of control. The men we sent out also found a colony of griffins, but it's a pity that they can only stay here forever, the wizard said with regret. These monsters that already exist in the Eternal Star and have spawned groups are not worth their time and energy to save. Our time is limited, so we can only do our best. Court also felt it was a pity. Their ability to do this rescue work was largely based on their love for these creatures. Okay, let's get down to business. Cord didn't wait too long and ordered the wizards present to work together to load the dozens of newly captured monsters into trucks and transport them away. Those monsters that are too large can only be equipped with a few wheels under the cage and dragged along by transport trucks, loaded with heavy objects that could move several tons or even dozens of tons. The return journey was much slower than when we came. After half a day, we had not even completed a third of the distance. Even if they gave these restless monsters sleeping powder before traveling, there was no guarantee that they would wake up halfway. Cord was thinking about it and was about to instruct a few wizards to reinforce the cage in case something was unexpected. When a piercing alarm suddenly sounded, What's wrong? Cord's expression changed immediately, and he stuck his head out of the window to check the situation. To his expectation, there was no problem with the cages holding those monsters. Heaven! Look at the sky! A witch accompanying the car reminded loudly. What sounded the alarm was a magic detection device placed on the roof of the car, which could detect strong magic reactions several kilometers away. Cord raised his head and soon saw the culprit that triggered the alarm. It was hundreds of strange monsters with wings and flaming bodies, almost turning the sky into red. What is this? Is it a new kind of monster? Hill stared at the group of flame demons emerging in the sky and said excitedly, They came to the foreign land just to find those unseen monsters and bring back the eternal star but the other party actually took the initiative to send them to their door. Cord's expression became a little serious. Unlike Hill, who arrived in a foreign land for the first time, this was not the first time he had performed such an escort mission. We have never been attacked on a large scale in the past, because the Warcraft living in foreign lands are very vigilant. When so many of them gather together, the magic reaction is very strong. Ordinary Warcraft will not choose to get close at all, let alone adventure strikes. More importantly, the appearance of these monsters reminded him of the advanced troops from the main world that the magic star had mentioned when he attended the last meeting. In this moment of delay, hundreds of Balrogs had already swooped down. Violent machine gunfire also rang out, in order to ensure that there would be no problems while transporting these monsters. In addition to the protection of the Great Wizard Cod and a dozen official wizards, the convoy itself also carried some light weapons. The terrifying barrage swept past, and the fifteen Balrogs that were charging the most eagerly were immediately beaten into gags. And then their bodies suddenly exploded, and their lava-like limbs fell down like erupting magma. Each Balrog is like a moving explosive barrel. Their semi-elemental bodies can withstand most attacks. If they encounter a blow beyond the limit, they will explode directly, and the flames generated by these explosions will not hurt. To the rest of the companions, it will become their source of benefits and strength. Kord saw with his own eyes a Balrog that had half of its body shattered by the barrage. It directly merged with the remains of its companion, recovering all the injuries. It showed no intention of retreating in the face of the continuous barrage. As if killing is their only purpose, Cord frowned. This didn't look like a natural iteration of the species. It was simply a war weapon that had been artificially modified. Frozen breath. Seeing these flaming monsters rushing down despite the machine gun fire, Cord raised his hand, and the frost in the sky quickly condensed in midair. The next moment, it turned into a violent cold wave and rolled towards them. The Balrog. The scorching flames collided with the extremely cold frozen breath, and the reaction was very violent. All the Balrogs that came into contact with the ice crystals first shrank in size. 
and then exploded directly. Kord secretly sighed in relief. It seemed that the strange monsters that attacked them were not as powerful as they imagined. Their power was only at the level of the second and third rings. What was commendable was their semi-elemental body and the ability to self-destruct. I can handle it on my own without needing to apply for support. Just as he was thinking this, Kord's face suddenly darkened because several exploding Balrogs flew at a very low altitude and the scattered flaming remains actually burned a cage restraining the giant beast for several seconds. A big hole. The venue that was originally relatively controllable immediately became extremely chaotic. Damn it! Kord yelled and had no choice but to expand his territory and dispose of these flying explosive barrels as soon as possible to avoid releasing more dangerous monsters. It took a full hour and a half for the wizards present to finally solve these big troubles. As a price, two official wizards and more than a dozen guards lost their lives. They all died unluckily from the claws of the monsters that were broken out of the prison. Down. Kord's face was extremely dark. But what worried him even more was the meaning of the appearance of these weird monsters. The originally calm sky had changed color at some point. And a strong storm seemed to be coming. Chapter 590 Planetary Hypervelocity Particle Collider Strong storms continued to surge over the foreign land. And only black clouds were left in the sky. Just like the end of the world. A huge monster roared and tried to squeeze out of the space-time rift. But as soon as its head was exposed, it was crushed into pieces by the elements squeezing from all sides. As soon as Lin and finished solving the trouble on this side, the trouble on the other side emerged again, which was almost impossible to prevent. It was only a month since the last large-scale invasion. And this time the magnitude was even more exaggerated, with a quarter of the entire foreign airspace affected, although Lin In was not unprepared during this period of time. The opponent's offensive this time was more intense and determined. A total of six gods took action. Even across the endless void, they still brought great pressure to him, just repairing the space-time cracks that frequently appeared in foreign lands already occupied most of his energy. As for those time and space gates that have been crossed, the soldiers who pose little threat do not have much time to pay attention to them. At the same time, the news that the foreign land was invaded again was conveyed back, and the parliament responded in just ten minutes. Several galactic spaceships that were ready to go, as well as hundreds of thousands of elites from the kingdom who had been prepared, quickly arrived at the broken city through the surging time and space nodes. Harav, Aurora and other speakers also hurried over staring at the strong storm and thunder in the sky above the foreign land. Several people understood that the current battle situation might not be good. However, the broken city was safe and sound. Although it was attacked by a large number of Balrogs, the defense force in the city was very strong. And it didn't take much effort to deal with all the incoming monsters. Just as Harav and others were worried about the situation, a familiar figure appeared in front of them. How is the situation? Speaker Lin? Aurora asked quickly. It's very bad. It seems like they don't intend to give up easily this time. Lin said with a raised brow. Then is there anything we can do to help? Do we need to transfer the several interstellar battleships that are undergoing sea trials and modifications together? Harav said with a solemn expression. There are still two battleships being manufactured by the parliament. And several newly built spaceships are still in the trial stage. If a decisive battle is held now, the power they can mobilize will probably be much less. No, it's not necessary for the time being. Lin In shook his head. Although the situation in the foreign land was tense, it was not completely out of control. He called Harav and others over for another matter. Next, I plan to prepare a return gift for them. The protection against the foreign space may be weaker. I'm afraid the other party will not miss this opportunity. So you need to deal with those enemies who may invade the foreign space. Lin In said coldly. Are you going to have another large-scale hydrogen explosion? Arad was a little eager to try it. The last time 700 nuclear explosions were fired, it directly destroyed millions of kilometers of foreign land. The huge power made him so excited that he couldn't sleep for several days. That is simply the pinnacle of fire elemental science. There are still a lot of people left in the parliament. Enough to do it again. The power of the hydrogen explosion alone is probably a little weaker. Lin and shook his head. It could be seen when they used 700 rounds of hydrogen bombs to attack foreign lands. Although it seemed to cause a lot of damage. In fact, it was very difficult for God to it does not pose any threat. Not to mention, they may have to face more than one God. And if they work together, they may even be able to directly resist them. Instead of hydrogen explosion, do we need to directly use the antimatter cannon? Arad thought to himself, but Lin did not explain any more. After reminding everyone a few words, he floated into the sky 
and once again strengthened the divine power spreading throughout the foreign land. The chaotic foreign land returned to calm in a short period of time. However, this is obviously just an illusion, with a large amount of divine power spread to the surface of the entire planet. Such high-intensity protection cannot last long and soon begins to decrease layer by layer. Under Lin's deliberate control, the space protection in this hydrogen-exploded desert land was far weaker than in other places. Just as he thought, this area soon became the focus of the invasion, and space cracks soon appeared in the void. Hundreds of thousands of Balrogs began to pour in crazily. They were artificially created semi-elemental beings. They were the vanguard and cannon fodder of the invasion. Their only mission was to rush in front of the enemy as much as possible and use a gorgeous display to defeat the enemy. He will self-destruct and die together with the other party. However, they were not dealing with those weak plane natives this time. So they dealt a fatal blow when they broke out of the time and space rift. Cannons are ready to fire. Since the enemies they have faced recently are too high end, the artillery unit, which was the main force of the kingdom's war, has never had any chance to perform. Now it finally has the opportunity to fire. One by one it's like taking a shot of chicken blood. Amidst the deafening roar of artillery fire, 8,000 round cannonballs flew out from the rifling, causing a sharp whistling sound and hitting the densely packed balrogs that came like raindrops. These SH. LS were not ordinary lead bullets. They were made of metal. After flying in the void for about 20 seconds, they suddenly exploded. The violent fire spread along with the shock wave, covering a range of hundreds of meters. All areas are covered. Huge mushroom clouds rise up. What these artillery fires are the latest works of the Alchemy Research Institute. An extremely simple thermobaric bomb. After flying out, it will hit or sense the magic power fluctuation within the attack range. It can be activated and is extremely powerful. It is used as a substitute for nuclear weapons in conventional combat. After all, the destructive range of the hydrogen bomb is too large and is not suitable for use within one's own sphere of influence. It is indeed refreshing when it explodes, but the subsequent processing is enough to give a headache, although the power of thermobaric bombs is far less than that of hydrogen explosions. It is undoubtedly much easier to use, and it is perfect for dealing with weak and clustered enemies. Under the attack of 8,000 thermobaric bombs, the Balrog army that flew out of the rift in time and space were all torn apart in an instant, and the resulting explosions even plowed holes tens of meters deep on the surface. But the battle was obviously far from over. As the out-of-control rift expanded further, more powerful invaders soon appeared in front of them. It was a large group of energy-formed behemoths, each possessing pseudo-legendary power. The sheer number of them was simply mind-numbing, and even thermobaric bombs could not pose a fatal threat to them. Use the Sunfire Cannon! Vittorio immediately ordered. The modification of the antimatter cannon has not yet been completed, and currently only a few spacecraft are carrying it. Therefore, Yongin cannon is still one of their most powerful offensive weapons. The moment the voice fell, dozens of Yongin cannons that had already adjusted their muzzle directions emitted a huge roar. An extremely strong light of destruction soon poured out from the muzzles, forming cones of energy that penetrated the sky. Pillar, wipe out all those pseudo legendary beasts that dare to invade foreign lands. On the other side, after handing over the battlefield to Harav and others, Lin no longer paid attention to the battle situation below, and focused most of his energy on controlling the electromagnetic force in foreign lands. A few years ago, when he had just been promoted to the Divine Realm, when fighting the Lord of Death, Lenin had used the magnetic field over the continent as a motor to restrain the coming Lord of Death with powerful electromagnetic force, and then used used the antimatter cannon to kill them completing a battle in which the weak defeat the strong. This time, Lenin still planned to work on the magnetic field. But this time, he was more bold and prepared to use the magnetic field of the entire planet to launch an attack. Only such an offensive can make the other party fearful. When Lenin raised his hand, a large number of elements in the void surged and gathered in his palm, and then decomposed and shattered into basic particles. Under the restraint of divine power, tens of billions of protons were separated and tightly bound together forming a group of micron-sized solid balls in the void, which could not even be seen with the naked eye. But creating such a proton ball was already a bit overwhelming for Lin. You must know that the scattered neutron cannon carried on the spacecraft they intercepted is only at the nanometer level. It is precisely because it is too small and extremely fast that it cannot be found after it is launched. So it is usually used as a disposable items for use. The damage caused by such a small neutron cluster is extremely terrifying because its density is so high. For comparison, the density of naturally formed neutron stars is 8 carat 14 10 carat 15 grams per cubic centimeter. 
which is equivalent to weighing more than 100 million tons per cubic centimeter. The mass of a proton is a little smaller than that of a neutron, but only a little. The difference between 1.67262163 times 1027 kg and 1.67492721 times 1027 kg. Although the internal density of the proton ball created by Lin is not as terrifying as a neutron star, it is still astonishing. Just such a small, invisible proton ball has a mass of more than 50,000 tons. Only God can pick up such an exaggerated thing. And all Lin needs to do is speed it up. Accelerate. Speed up. Lin bent his middle finger and placed it under his thumb. Then with a snap of his fingers, the proton cluster weighing 50,000 tons flew out like an arrow from a string and then continued to orbit in the newly formed vacuum magnetic field. Accelerate. That's right. This is exactly the electromagnetic orbital acceleration method used by the particle collider, able to accelerate an elementary particle to close to the speed of light. Although the proton cluster created by Lin was hundreds of millions of times larger than the basic particles, the accelerator he used was equally astonishingly large. The vacuum orbit that spread across the entire planet's surface had turned the foreign land into a planet-level super high-speed particle collider. Chapter 591 Breaking the Void Proton Water Droplets The proton ball weighing 50,000 tons is galloping in the vacuum orbit on the planet's surface, constantly moving in circles. The circumference of the alien planet is far inferior to that of the eternal star, with a circumference of only about 30,000 kilometers. Due to the serious mass loss, the planet's own gravity is only about half of the eternal star. But the electromagnetic orbit of 30,000 kilometers is already very terrifying. Due to its excessive mass, the initial velocity of the proton ball is only 1,000 kilometers per second. But under the action of the electromagnetic accelerating ring surrounding the entire planet, the speed begins to soar. After completing the first circle, its speed has exceeded 10,000 kilometers per second. Then came the second lap, the third lap, and the fourth lap. The speed is getting faster and faster. At first, it takes a few seconds to circle the planet. Later, it is reversed. One second is enough to circle around the planet. Harav and others below all felt a faint palpitation that did not come. At first, they thought it was some extremely powerful being trying to cross the void. But they soon discovered that this strong sense of danger did not come from the rift in time and space. Instead, it's on top of their heads. What is Speaker Lin planning to do? Sanchez stared at the sky. Although he could not see the extremely tiny proton ball, he could feel the powerful pressure and the sense of crisis that penetrated his bones. This seems to be a vacuum electromagnetic track, Vittorio said in a deep voice. The strong magnetic field that permeated the foreign land could not be concealed, so he could see it at a glance. No, this is more like the particle collider built by Speaker Lin in the north, Raphael corrected, and then roughly explained its principle. It is very simple to say, it is to use electric fields and magnetic fields to accelerate charged particles. Under the action of the Lorentz force, the charged particles will continue to increase their speed until they are close to the speed of light. Hearing this, Sanchez and others were all speechless, vaguely guessing Lin's thoughts. Anthony on the side was even more astonished. This was a bit like the electromagnetic propulsion acceleration method he originally proposed using the planet as a magnet, deploying a large strong magnetic field and having the spacecraft continuously accelerate around the planet. However, because this acceleration method was too cumbersome and time-consuming, it was directly rejected at the meeting. Unexpectedly, Lin and suddenly used it in this place. While everyone was discussing, the proton ball had already traveled 50 times in the vacuum orbit, and its speed had increased to 200,000 kilometers per second. In fact, if Lin hadn't created a long vacuum orbit over the foreign land, the atmospheric waves would have been enough to wipe out hundreds of thousands of the kingdom's elites below. It is impossible for a real divine war to allow him to spend such a long time preparing a spell. But the current situation gave him this precious opportunity. Two-thirds the speed of light. Has this reached the limit? Lin waited a few more times. As the speed continued to increase, the acceleration of the proton ball by Coulomb force alone became slower and slower. Firstly, the gravity of the planet inevitably has a certain impact. Secondly, the speed of light is the upper limit that low-dimensional space can accommodate. The closer it is to the speed of light, the more difficult it will be to continue to increase the speed. This resistance is invisible and tangible. Buting. It is the power that comes from the most fundamental source of time and space. Fortunately, even so, it is enough. According to the kinetic energy conservation formula x sad face 1 half mb caret 2, 
the greater the mass and the faster the speed of an object, the more terrifying the energy it explodes. The mass of the proton ball is more than a hundred times that of a single particle cannon. And its power will also be more than a hundred times greater. Lenin stretched out his hand. And the electromagnetic orbit existing in the foreign land began to change its direction little by little, aiming at a cracked space-time gap. Then Lenin raised his hand and made a trigger-pulling motion, saying in a cold voice, Accept my gifts, gods of other worlds. The proton ball, which weighed 50,000 tons, but was surprisingly small in size, had already flown into the gap in time and space before Lin and could finish his words. On the other side, in the main world, is the domain of the god of thunder and war. The six summoned gods are making final preparations to break through the barriers of time and space. The space-time rift that was torn open in front of him has expanded to tens of meters in size, which can accommodate legendary level beings to enter, and it continues to expand. It seems that their resistance ends here? Lotto, the god of Earth, said in a relaxed tone. However, the ability of the new moon god to withstand it has completely exceeded his expectations. Even though the two sides are separated by endless void, the power they can exert is limited. But it is not something that a new god can easily resist. Don't be too careless. Lotto, the person we fight may not be the new moon god. The god of life and creation on the side couldn't help but remind him that he had been in contact with the moon god Diana and the other parties, he was very familiar with divine power. But when they fought across the void just now, what he sensed did not look like the divine power of the moon. This made him feel vaguely uneasy. The god of life and creation knew very well that as the first batch of gods to invade the moon god realm. To put it harshly, they were no different from the Balrogs, who rushed into the rift of time and space. Now that two gods have fallen one after another, it is natural to be cautious. So what if it's not the new moon god? Lotto, the god of earth, sneered. They had already tested it out in the previous confrontation. The other party was just a weak god. He could withstand their offensive solely because of his strength. Control over the divine realm. Once the space-time rift is completely open to allow them to enter, all these resistances will collapse in an instant. Then, as if he remembered something, Lotto, the god of earth, looked at the god of life and creation and said rather dissatisfiedly, If you hadn't changed your mind midway last time, we would have completed the Lord God's instructions long ago. The other gods also nodded. A total of six gods took action together to deal with a new god who had seized the power of the moon. They really looked down upon each other too much. The god of life and creation was speechless. Just as he was thinking about whether he was being too cautious, a warning sign suddenly appeared in his heart. Then a dazzling stream of light suddenly flew out from the space-time crack in front, instantly breaking through the surging atmosphere, tearing apart a huge legendary beast that was about to squeeze its body into the crack. Then, there is the god of earth standing in front, like the god of life and creation. Lotto also felt the strong sense of crisis at the moment the proton ball flew out of the rift in time and space. God's thinking is extremely fast, even though it only takes a millionth of a second for the proton ball to fly out of the space-time gate and arrive in front of him. Lotto can react immediately. In just a short moment, the body with the appearance of a Moko man immediately it turned into an extremely hard rock. This is the core of the earth, a magical technique that replicates the protective layer of the core of the planet, and then blesses itself with one-tenth of the power of the earth from the plane. It can even survive the attack of superior magical techniques. However, this extremely solid defense was meaningless in front of the proton ball, which weighed 50,000 tons and exceeded two-thirds of the speed of light. It did not play any blocking role, and was destroyed along with the hundreds of thousands of balrogs behind it. Breakdown, along with a deafening roar. The entire space-time was directly torn apart, and the atmosphere of the plane was cut into a long vacuum zone, which was then quickly closed, and the surging atmospheric waves shattered everything around it. It only took a thousandth of a second for the proton ball to pass through the small obstacle in front of it, and another thousandth of a second to cross the entire column of the invading legion, and fly into the enemy's camp more than ten kilometers away, within that city. This is the domain of the god of thunder and war, and the country of the Mensai people. They are warlike bloodthirsty, and advocating the honor of blood and fire. Under the leadership of the great god, they continue to fight and conquer more than a dozen planes. No one has ever been able to counterattack into the god's domain in the past. Today all this came to an end. As a red stream of light flew by, the towering statue of god was cut off at the waist, and rows of solid houses collapsed in the burst of fire. In the end, before anyone could react, it sank into the ground. But this was not the end. It was just the beginning of showing its power. In a vacuum, 
the destructive power brought by speed is not obvious. And the atmosphere of the plane only embodies it. Only solid earth and rocks can reveal its power. The moment it hit the surface, it was as if the entire continent was shaking and shaking. And an extremely powerful force of destruction exploded. Just the aftermath of the hit made half of the city fly into the sky. Countless Mengsai people who were dreaming of rushing into another dimension to burn, kill, and plunder just like before even figured out what was happening, and perished with their dreams. In a total of one tenth of a second, the attack was over. The proton ball that rushed out of the rift in time and space penetrated the entire plane directly from the ground and flew into the endless void. There is a huge canyon on the surface, extending for tens of thousands of kilometers. The magma inside is surging and erupting, making people wonder whether the deepest part of the canyon leads all the way to the ground. Because everything happened so fast. At that moment, the gods present had only time to protect themselves and were unable to rescue them. They could only watch the domain belonging to the god of thunder and war being completely destroyed. The unlucky god of earth, who was still talking to them a second ago, has completely disappeared. Although the defeat of the divine body and divine personality in the main world does not mean complete death, it also means that one will fall into an endless sleep. And there is even the possibility of being robbed of the divine domain and priesthood. For ten seconds, the interior of the divine realm fell into a deathly silence. And no one dared to stop it. Even when the gaping space-time rift began to close rapidly. Chapter 592 Strong Interaction Force and World Destroying Proton Cannon The wide open space-time rift slowly closed under the attention of the gods. Which also meant that the results they had spent most of the day disappeared. The god of life and creation breathed a sigh of relief. After all, this meant that they should not be attacked again in a short period of time. But at this moment, the impact of this proton cannon has just spread. The war legions that originally had high morale were torn in half from the center by the surging atmospheric waves. Millions of balrogs and void behemoths disappeared. Anyone who makes the slightest resistance will be killed on the spot. The city behind was even more in disarray, with most of the city turned into ruins. The dust in the sky the remains of broken buildings, and the magma spewing from the ground mixed together to form a doomsday scene. Countless believers trembled and knelt on the ground, crying and praying for the arrival of the god of thunder in war. In fact, there was no need to pray. Such a huge destruction was naturally sensed by the god of thunder and war instantly. The next moment, the diffuse dark clouds began to emerge over the divine realm, gradually gathering together, and the violent power of thunder flashed inside. Whether it is the gods present or the more psi people who are on the verge of collapse under the impact of the proton ball, they can clearly feel that a vast and terrifying pressure is permeating the entire divine domain. This is the anger of the great gods. The surging thunder soon broke down from the diffused dark clouds. The thunder pillar with a diameter of more than 100 meters illuminated the land with a radius of 100,000 kilometers. The brightness at the core was more than a hundred times that of the star. Lord Harriet, the great god! The gods present greeted him hurriedly, shouting the true name of the god of thunder and war. Although they are all gods, they are also divided into high and low gods. There are four levels from weak divine power to great divine power. The second is the gap in clergy. For example, the god of fire's priesthood is just a branch of the thunder god's priesthood. The upper limit is almost fixed, and it will be restricted to a certain extent. Unless he can obtain a second priesthood, he will be a weakling in this life. A god with divine power. The two priesthoods of thunder and war cover a very wide range, especially the former, which is almost the fundamental force that constitutes the world. So Harriet is also one of the most powerful digital gods under the Lord God. The terrifying pillar of thunder quickly dissipated. Inside was a 90 meter high plasma giant, shrouded in intense light, and the constantly beating arc turned into a spear that was firmly attached, bound in the palm of his right hand. His eyes, like incandescent lightning, stared at the five gods in front of him, and reprimanded violently. Answer me! What is going on? A quarter of an hour ago, Harry was discussing the strategy of attacking that large plane with the main god. Unexpectedly, he suddenly sensed that one of his divine realms had been severely damaged. So he hurried back. The reality was much more tragic than he imagined. The entire plane was penetrated from south to north, and the destruction at the rear was more terrifying than it appeared on the surface. Because Lin's proton cannon was a two-stage attack technique. Law! In addition to the destructive power brought by the mass and speed of the proton ball itself, when it encounters an obstacle and its speed begins to decrease, this thing will explode like an unstable bomb. Because every proton has a positive charge, and based on same-sex repulsion, 
It is not easy to bind a large number of protons together. But it's not impossible to do. Relying on ultra-high pressure or ultra-speed collisions and other man-made factors, the distance between the two protons is reduced to 10 carat dash 15 meters. Under the strong interaction, the repulsive force generated by the electromagnetic force can be overcome and the two protons can be tightened, tightly glued together. This is how atomic nuclei are formed. Lin In was obviously not yet able to control and influence strong interactions. So he actually used some tricky methods. The entire foreign element is a mimic of divine power. So Lin simply relies on this control of divine power to force protons into balls. 50,000 tons is the limit of what he can achieve. At this moment, the inside of the proton ball is like a spring that is full of force. As long as it is blocked by a strong enough force, it will explode. The other half of the plane was directly beaten into a plug. It would take at least a thousand years to repair it. And the amount of divine power consumed would be countless. How does this keep Harry from feeling angry? Even the gods of the same realm found the wrath of a great god a bit unbearable. The god of fire hurriedly explained. Lord Harry, we followed your instructions to use the weak connection between the moon god realm and the main world to open the time and space rift leading to the two places. As a result, we suffered a counterattack from the other side. The god of fire told the whole story in an embellished manner and even bluntly said that the enemy this time was too powerful and they were no match at all. After hearing that the other party had transformed his divine domain into this horrible state with just one blow and even knocked the god of earth into a deep sleep, Harriet, the god of thunder and war, also realized that things were a little beyond his expectations. Before, he had never paid attention to the native of the plane who had captured the moon godhead. So after obtaining the method of locating the moon god realm from the lord god, Harriet had no intention of doing it himself. Not liking it, he left it to the other gods to deal with. But now the situation has obviously changed. Destroying a divine realm with one blow is definitely not something that a weak god who has just been promoted can do. This is most likely a person from that unknown large-scale plane who has powerful and even powerful abilities. A god of great power. Even if he comes in person, he is not sure of victory unless the opponent is forced to leave God's domain, or the battlefield is placed in a fairer place. Lord Harry, do we still need to continue? The God of Fire asked cautiously. Of course. Harriet's voice was extremely cold. Since he obtained the priesthood of thunder, he has never encountered failure in more than a dozen planes, and he has not even been able to meet any decent opponent. This time the God's domain was destroyed, but it made Harry burst out with extremely strong interest. He is the master of war and the executor of victory and he is also eager to defeat more powerful opponents. The efforts of several gods and the sacrifice of a large number of cannon fodder are not meaningless. The fire demon army that invaded that world is the creation of his divine power. When they die, they will quietly spread his divine power in that world. As long as with enough numbers, he can determine the coordinates of the moon god realm through this connection. Next, I will ask Lord God to bring the entire moon god realm back to the main world. Then in a fair duel, I will erase him from this world, Harriet said arrogantly and confidently. Flying in the sky lightning struck down again, and in the spreading arc of electricity, his figure disappeared again in front of several gods. Foreign land, broken city arcana, staring at the space-time cracks that were gradually closing in the void. The hearts of Harav and the others were finally relieved. They once again repelled the invasion of the main world without losing a single soldier. It's a pity that we can't see the destructive power of this blow. Vittorio said with regret. He wanted to see what happened with Lin's massive battle and the blow that was launched with the planet as its orbit. What a powerful force it can unleash. In terms of power, it should be barely at the level of a destroying star. In the interplay of light and shadow, Lin's figure appeared in front of everyone. So, that thing can destroy a world? Raphael said in shock. Although he has seen a lot of unimaginable magic over the years, and even witnessed Vittorio using a scattered neutron cannon to fly away a huge satellite on the spaceship, but facing a truly world-destroying power. Still shocked. You must know that according to their calculations, even if a million hydrogen bombs hit the eternal star at the same time, the destructive power would only cut off a layer of the surface, and they would not even be able to penetrate the rock formations below. If the location of the hit is accurate enough, it is still possible to destroy the world, Lenin shrugged, with two-thirds of the speed of light and an extremely huge mass. This proton ball is an indestructible bullet. Completely it can penetrate directly into the core of the earth and explode inside. Once the core of the earth is severely damaged, the entire planet will disintegrate. But this is the most perfect situation. And the probability is not high. 
because he has no way to aim accurately at all. The worst case scenario is to fly into the endless void close to the surface of the planet without causing any damage. Fortunately, judging from the fact that he easily closed the space-time rift without encountering any obstacles, he shouldn't be so unlucky. With this lesson, it seems we can have a good rest for a while. Harab also had a little smile on his face. No, I think they will never give up easily. A proton cannon won't make the opponent retreat. Lin shook his head, breaking Harab's illusion. The power of the main world cannot be underestimated. Although they killed two gods one after another, they are not very powerful existences in the main world. What's more, according to the information extracted from the remaining consciousness of the moon goddess Diana, there are more than a hundred gods in the main world. They have control over countless planes and can destroy a world in the battle between gods. It's not something commendable. What worried Lin and the most were those main gods, whose strength was completely inestimable. This was obviously a completely new realm. Lin Ng couldn't even imagine the incredible things that the other party could do. Achieve precise control of the four basic forces? It is still possible to create quark level, and even smaller elementary particles. Chapter 593 Run away with the planet towards eternal freedom? One and a half months passed in a blink of an eye. Just as Lin expected, the gods of the main world did not give up coveting foreign lands because of the terrifying power of this proton ball. However, in comparison, they became cautious when invading. There have been many changes, and there are no big moves like before. This was also within Lin An's expectation. He sent this blow with a somewhat intimidating meaning, based on the fact that the combat power of gods will be greatly reduced if they leave the divine domain. It is enough to deter those gods with limited strength, so that they dare not easily step on it. Enter a foreign land to buy enough time. Under such an urgent situation, the council once again accelerated the collection of materials from foreign lands and took away everything that could be taken away. All the rarer mineral locations were exploded by Lin one by one. And then, he directly used divine magic to remove them. It is very convenient and quick to separate it, and then use the spacecraft to pull it away directly. The Wizards of the Nature Conservation Association have also accelerated their actions in recent times. Relying on a magic radar developed by a research institute that can detect magic power and vital signs to frantically capture exotic monsters. As of today, more than 300 types of Warcraft have been captured including some powerful legendary Warcraft. Those alchemists and potion masters who like to do research are so happy that they are going crazy. There are new discoveries almost every day. In addition, under Lin Un's control, the magic concentration of the entire foreign land dropped by more than seven levels, and a massive amount of magic poured into the Eternal Star, which allowed many apprentices with low magic talents to naturally complete the tasks of formal wizards. Promotion the transformation of the Eternal Star into a divine domain has reached the most critical moment, and it is only one centimeters away from being completely completed. But such a smooth situation actually made Lin somewhat uneasy. In recent times, the other party's small-scale harassment has not stopped. Every day, millions of Balrogs die in foreign lands. Under their early warning and protection, only a few are unlucky enough to happen to hit the rift in time and space. Unfortunately, the workers were killed. If this continues, the other side will not be able to conquer this plane even if it takes a hundred years. It should be impossible for the gods of the main world to be so unwise. Lenin felt something was wrong. But their current understanding of gods, especially the methods of main god-level beings, was very limited. And it was difficult to guess what methods the other party would use to break through the barriers of time and space. But no matter how you improve your strength, the first priority is to deal with threats. Taking advantage of this relatively stable period, Lin N returned to the Eternal Star and began the final ritual of integrating this living planet. The magic mix with will continues to penetrate deep into the ground, passing through the mantle that is thousands of meters thick, until it reaches the core. In the past, Lin An had always believed that although the Earth's core was the most important thing on a planet, to put it bluntly, it was nothing more than a mixture of high-density elements. However, when the magic touched the Earth's core, he felt an unprecedented power. The feeling of passing. He seemed to have become the star of life, that has stood in this star field since ancient times. The outer crust is his skin. The solid mantle is the bones and muscles. And the hot magma is the rushing blood. In the core of the earth, it keeps flowing with the beating of the heart. This kind of powerful vitality is something that Lin In has never felt when he controlled the foreign land and the moon. The core of the former is like a dying old man. And the latter is just a satellite. Less than 50 times the size of the eternal star. One third the size. At the same time, Lin can also control the planet's magnetic field at will. 
or it seems that the magnetic field has become a part of him. Just like the perception of an outsider, Ling can even see the waves caused by the bursts of solar wind. The restraint of the sun's gravity made him feel extremely uncomfortable, and a vague thought appeared in his heart. Let's fly with the planet. Fly to the boundless void of the universe and run towards true freedom. Lin In was just a little short of taking action. Fortunately, he quickly realized that it was not freedom at all, but asking for trouble. Without the brilliance of the sun, although they can still rely on nuclear energy and antimatter to obtain energy, it will undoubtedly be a lot more troublesome. A stable star field environment is particularly important for low-tech living planets. Just look at the fate of the foreign land. Even with the divine protection set up by the moon god in advance, which greatly delayed the loss of temperature, it almost turned into a dead zone in a few decades. So even though he was facing a group of alien spaceships with unknown technological levels that were about to arrive in this divine realm, Lin had no intention of running away with the ball. This universe seems very dangerous at first sight. If there is one alien civilization, there will probably be a second, third, and fourth one. Secondly, how fast can they run such a big ball? If you can't reach sublight speed, you will be overtaken by those alien warships sooner or later. Lin and quickly adjusted his emotions and completely integrated the eternal star, plus the moon and the foreign land, which was equivalent to controlling three planes at the same time. And his power was naturally further improved. Lin felt that he could do more than before but it still took some time to become familiar with these new powers. But now, it was clear that there were more important things to do the new spaceship that the Council had spent a lot of resources to build had already finished. With one step, Lin left the Eternal Star and reached the universe. And with the next step, he stepped into the desolate moon. The distance between the Eternal Star and the moon is hundreds of thousands of kilometers. But with the help of the magic of stretching space and shrinking the Earth to an inch, it only takes a few seconds to cross it. Ten large battleships were parked neatly on the surface of the moon. Five of them adopted a disc shape that imitated alien technology. The other five used a diamond-shaped structure that Dennis and others figured out, which was convenient for the head and tail, place curvature devices respectively. The reason why there are ten ships instead of more is because the spacecraft requires human control. Only the computing power of the legendary wizard can satisfy this. Now the number of seats for the Speaker of the Parliament is exactly ten. As for developing computer technology, and using AI to assist the driving of the spacecraft. Lin In has long thought about it, but it is not easy to implement it in a short time. The wizard itself is a super optical brain, and low-end technology is not as good as the magic network. Easy to use. It's a pity that we only have Ella as a qualified energy source. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to worry about the troubles in the main world and those damn alien fleets, Vittorio said with regret. Changing a power source is not just as simple as breaking through the speed of light. It can also maximize the strength of the energy shield. From the last time we entered a foreign land to fight Ella, we can see that the spaceship is not without its shortcomings. First of all, its size is too large, making it a living target. At medium and long distances, it can also rely on its extraordinary speed to let the enemy pursue it. It's not as good as myself, but it's hard to deal with gods that exist in physical form at close range. It feels a bit like hitting a fly with a cannon. Not to mention that the opponent also has the ability to control space, which can weaken the high-speed advantage brought by the curvature engine to a certain extent. Lenin's mentality was very peaceful. The fact that the Council could go from a feudal magical civilization to a direct replica of an interstellar battleship within a few years was already an exaggeration. He couldn't ask for more. By the way, how has that one been doing during this period? Didn't he cause any trouble? Lin suddenly remembered Ella, who was trapped in the power room and acted as the energy core, and asked, That's not true. Although there were a few commotions, it was generally quite peaceful. Vittorio raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, In recent months, they have not stopped training for a day, in addition to simulating responses to various harsh situations. The purpose is also to consume each other's strength and prevent Ella from having time to accumulate more strength to break through the constraints. Lin glanced at the location of the spacecraft's power room and nodded. In that case, let's continue training. The ten spaceships quickly set sail and flew to the farthest brown star, where they conducted the first cluster attack drill. At the same time, in the disc-shaped main ship, Ella, who was trapped in the power room, also noticed that the divine power was being rapidly drawn. Starting again? Ella secretly thought that although someone had set up a barrier to seal off her external perception, there must be some deep meaning for the other person to use her divine power so frequently and regularly. Countless possibilities flashed through Ella's mind. 
and she quickly guessed that the wizards were facing a war. So they conducted frequent pre-war training. The targets are most likely the gods of the main world. Ella, who also possesses part of the memory of the moon god Diana, naturally realized this instantly. Apart from this possibility, there is probably no other enemy that can make these wizards be so cautious. And war means conflict. But it also means your own opportunities. Ella has never given up on the idea of accumulating strength to fight back. In recent times, apart from a few deliberate outbursts to test the strength of the restraints and to reassure the wizards, she has been silently accumulating strength for the rest of the time. The source of these powers is the remaining believers in the Eternal Star. For Ella, it is undoubtedly an unexpected surprise. But it's normal to think about it carefully. The rule of the church and the empire for thousands of years has been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. No matter how much the wizards slander and abuse, they will never be able to completely cut off the faith in the hearts of tens of millions of people. In the unknown area, the cities and the corners of the country, the power of the parliament cannot reach the mountains and forests. But his beliefs are still deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. No matter how powerful a being is, it is difficult to control everyone's thoughts. Based on this, even though she was trapped in this area of less than 10 square meters, and the humiliation of being used by the wizards as the power source of this huge alchemy machine, Ella still endured it. She needs a suitable opportunity, and I believe that day will not be too far away. Chapter 594 The Speed of Light Positioning Method and the Pawn That Covers the Sky The foreign land floating in the endless void has no seasons and no years. Time seems to have lost its meaning here. If he did not rely on the atomic clock to record time, Cord would not even know that he had been here for almost three months. The work of rescuing rare monsters has also begun to become more and more difficult. First, they have caught those that are easy to deal with. And the rest are some monsters that are good at hiding in deep mountain caves. Secondly, those Balrogs from the main world that explode themselves at every turn are really annoying. In addition, the locations of time rifts appear irregularly. Recently, several ships have gone to search for new monsters in the sky. The airship encountered an attack. Even though the casualties were not large, it still caused a lot of trouble for their work. Is this the monster we are going to capture this time? Hill said excitedly as he stared at the three-headed monster in the album. Yes, this is a newly discovered species yesterday. I named it the three-headed monster. It may be a variant of the Hydra. The two have many similarities in appearance. Code explained. This will also be their last goal. In view of the fact that the foreign land has become more and more dangerous, the parliament has issued instructions for gradual evacuation. And there are still about four days left before the deadline. Having not returned to the kingdom for three whole months, Cord was very much looking forward to what kind of wonders he would see when he returned to the Eternal Star. After all, there is a sevenfold time gap between the two worlds, which means that a full year and nine months have passed since the Eternal Star. Coupled with the ever-changing urban transformation of the Eternal Star, every wizard who travels between the two worlds will inevitably wonder whether they have jumped to the future. This strange phenomenon once again proved the correctness of the magic star's quantum theory. The flow rate of time is not constant. It will change according to changes in speed and space. It took Cord more than 10 seconds to break free from this reverie. And then he cleared his throat and planned to start assigning tasks for this operation. But before he could speak, an attendant rushed in and spoke urgently. Lord Cord, this is an urgent summons from the parliament to evacuate all personnel stranded in foreign lands. Now, Cord couldn't help but frown. They had already found the lair of the three-headed monster. And they could get it done in half a day at most. Yes. Immediately. Immediately. The attendant said with great certainty. Okay. Cord glanced at Hill and others who were quite unwilling. And finally sighed. Since the parliament issued an emergency order, it must be a very critical matter. As for what it was, the attendant who came to report didn't know. But there was no need to explain. Because the whole earth shook violently. What happened? Was there an earthquake? Hill was so frightened that he almost hit a pillar next to him. I'm afraid it's some kind of large-scale attack, Code said very fast, with a solemn look on his face, and hurriedly called for everyone to evacuate as quickly as possible. In fact, it wasn't just the ground that was shaking, but the entire planet. Five minutes ago, in a foreign land, inside the kingdom's external command, a group of senior counselors were discussing the kingdom's next plan. Now that all the important materials in the foreign land have been basically moved back to the Eternal Star, it is time to fully evacuate. Several great wizards even suggested that they could blow up the entire foreign land directly, so that the gods of the main world would not be able to attack the Eternal Star. Star's bridgehead. However, many wizards objected, 
after all, this is a whole world. And it would be a pity to give up like this. And now the gods of the main world can't do anything to them at all. The Balrogs invading foreign lands can only cause some minor troubles. They can continue to guard this world to obtain more supplies until they drain the last trace of foreign lands. Use value. Don't forget. Now we don't have the energy to defend against two invasions at the same time. Raphael reminded these overly optimistic wizards. The reason why the foreign land is still able to resist the main world now is entirely because Lin and spends most of his energy here to repair the emerging space-time rifts. But they are still facing threats from alien civilizations in the universe. This is the more urgent matter. Once the power is mobilized back, the stalemate in the foreign land will instantly collapse. And the time and space gate left here will also become the best support for the enemy's invasion. Harev and others also support Raphael's view. The focus of the discussion now is when is the most appropriate time for the parliament to evacuate, and whether the foreign land needs to be destroyed. Lin In did not participate in the discussion, but the uneasiness in his heart became stronger and stronger. But he still could not figure out where this uneasiness came from. He even suspected that maybe the other party's attack had already started. But he couldn't feel it. What exactly went wrong? Lin pondered as he once again deepened his consciousness into the foreign land and began to observe the world from a more subtle level. He rarely does this on weekdays, because this is a world that is about to die. So Lin In has never expanded the divine domain to the core of the foreign land. If the connection with the foreign land is too deep, it will be greatly affected when this plane collapses. Once again, he carefully examined everything in the foreign land, pausing on every blade of grass, and soon noticed something was wrong. In those places where the time and space cracks had been opened, there were some undetectable power residues. Lin and instantly realized that this should be the magic left behind by the self-destruction of the Balrogs, who entered foreign lands. But generally speaking, this weak remnant of power will soon be assimilated into the divine realm. There is obviously something different this time. This special magic power is very stubborn and can even resist the erosion of the divine realm. And because the power is too weak, it cannot even be noticed unless the amount is accumulated to a certain extent. Is this why the gods of the main world keep sending those monsters to carry out suicidal attacks? Lin and quickly thought of this. These accumulated special magic powers could obviously be used as coordinates. However, just when he was about to try to remove these magic powers, he made a new discovery. The entire plane seems to be moving in a certain direction. Normally, this is not a big deal. Because foreign lands have always been aimlessly wandering in the void. And in the boundless void, there is no difference between moving forward at a constant speed and standing still. Plus there are no people around. Even the specific speed and direction cannot be determined with any reference object. But this inexplicable feeling is very obvious. Speaker Lin. The sudden shout interrupted Lin in thinking. The person who spoke was Harif. They were discussing whether to buy a few more days to carry more supplies back to the Eternal Star. But Lin In remained silent. F.A. couldn't help but feel a little strange. Now! Immediately! Inform all those who are still stranded in foreign lands to evacuate. Lin stood up and gave the order with a solemn expression. Then he looked at the shocked members of the House of Representatives and spoke again. Everyone, the war has begun. Please mobilize all the interstellar battleships prepared for war. After the words fell, Lenin did not explain any more, and his figure disappeared directly. At the same time, the projections scattered everywhere were also withdrawn. This was to concentrate his strength to deal with this time. Threaten. Lenin issued a war warning inexplicably, and then disappeared immediately leaving the wizards present at a loss. Fortunately, they all understood that the magic star would never joke with them at this time, and would mostly use his own abilities and not aware of the danger. Just do it. Everyone. Vittorio took a deep breath and continued to ask, How many people are stranded in foreign lands now? And how long will it take to ensure that all of them are evacuated? There are a total of 270,000, and most of them are guards. The rest of the laborers and wizards responsible for transportation. Exploration and collection total only about 30,000. They can all be evacuated in half a day at most. The congressman in charge of statistics quickly reported the report. Then inform them. As soon as possible. Arad roared, slamming the table. On the other side, Lin, who had recovered all the scattered power, was floating in the sky above the foreign land. As his strength grew, Lin became more and more aware that the world seemed to be attracted by something and was moving in a certain direction. After pondering for a moment, he stretched out his hand and tapped it in midair. In an instant, several bright beams of light flew in all directions. The propagation speed of electromagnetic waves in vacuum is the speed of light. 
and the speed of light is the upper limit of the speed that can be achieved in the universe. This fixedness makes light an excellent reference object under certain circumstances. After just one second, Lin Ying calculated based on the formula that they were heading in a certain direction at a speed of 10,000 kilometers per second. And of course, they would not let the situation continue. But first, we have to clean up the magic power that remains in the foreign land as coordinates. Lin Ying thought something in his mind, and wisps of gray-white mist soon appeared inside the foreign land, everywhere where the time and space rifts appeared. Since the divine realm alone cannot erase the remaining will of the gods in these magical powers, then give death a try divine power. All things will come to an end. This is the power of the death priest. Even if he only obtains a small part of the power of the death priest, it is enough. Under the corrosion of the gray mist, these special magic powers that exist in foreign lands, like tarsal maggots, are gradually dying out. The traction against foreign lands is also becoming weaker and weaker. But Lenin's expression became more and more solemn. Because the enemy's counterattack soon arrived. An incredibly huge hand that almost obscured the entire field of vision stretched out from the distant void. And its five fingers were like grabbing he held a foreign land firmly in his hands, like he was pinching a football. Chapter 595 Three Gods Arrive A foreign land on the verge of being broken. Lenin never thought that a hand could be so big, with a diameter of over 10,000 kilometers. Those five pinched fingers are like huge and towering mountains, almost covering the entire sky. At this moment, a violent roar suddenly resounded throughout the entire plane. But it was ten interstellar-class battleships deployed in foreign lands in advance. And at this moment, they activated the scattering particle cannon on the spacecraft. A million neutron clusters with a mass of nearly a thousand tons and a speed close to one-third of the speed of light flew out. It took only one hundredth of a second to cross the distance of the entire continent and collided with a giant hand covering the sky. The volume of each neutron cluster is not much larger than an atom. But its destructive power is more terrifying than a hydrogen bomb. Amidst the deafening explosions, the palm covering the sky was torn open. Under the rock-solid skin, countless dense blood holes were revealed. And blood mist composed of divine power continuously erupted from the inside. Immediately afterwards, nine arcane gears appeared in the void. And the infinite elements in the air began to surge, forming runic locks that tightly bound the huge palm. Hundreds of billions of tons of high pressure were instantly exerted on the huge palm riddled with holes. However, this thing is tougher than Lin in imagined. The arcana lock extending from the void was dragged out of cracks. And the blood holes that exploded were repaired quickly as fast as the naked eye could see. Under the heavy obstacles, the giant palm that covers the sky is still grasping the foreign land. Just like a child holding a ball with his hand. And then dragging it towards the direction where it came from. Obviously, after secretly changing the path forward in the foreign land and failing, the other party adopted the simplest and most straightforward method, preparing to pull this plane into an unknown zone with unrivaled power. Main god? Looking at the huge palm that was still strong under the terrifying attack of the scattered neutron cannon, Lenin's expression was very solemn. Just from the distance of countless billions of miles, the magic projection transmitted has such terrifying power. If the opponent's true body is here, I am afraid that the entire planet can be crushed directly with the move of a finger. Use positron cannon. Lenin raised his hand and tapped it, and an electromagnetic wave was quickly transmitted. The test just now was not meaningless. At least he realized that this huge palm was still made of material elements. No matter how hard it was, it would be difficult to resist the positron cannon attack. This is the strongest spear in the material world. The ten galaxy-level battleships quickly began to gather momentum. The terrifying electron beams were condensing in the reflection port at the front end, and then they flew out rapidly. The target was the wrist that connects the palm and the arm. This is also the thinnest part of the entire arm. But even so, its diameter is more than 3,000 kilometers. Lenin did not take action, but once again activated the arcana lock to bind the entire giant palm. Firstly, his full blow was far less powerful than the 10 positron cannons. And secondly, Lin didn't think their attack would hit so easily. However, what happened was beyond his expectation. The attack was extremely smooth. The ten electronic cannons were like the ten sharpest knives and cut directly into the connection between the palm and the arm. Just like rotten flesh encountering strong acid, the weak wrist began to melt rapidly under the bombardment of the positron cannon. And a large amount of divine blood spilled into the void and the earth. In just a few seconds, the positron cannon penetrated the wrist, which was comparable to the diameter of the moon. Back and forth. After losing its constant source of power, the giant palm holding the foreign land began to shake unsteadily. 
The blood hole punched out by millions of neutron balls also stopped recovering. Lin In was naturally not going to miss this rare opportunity despite the accident. As his mind turned, a large amount of deuterium and tritium elements poured into these crazily. Within a quarter of a second, the blood exploded. Millions of hydrogen bombs exploded simultaneously, generating so much energy that it was enough to tear a small mass satellite into pieces. Even though this kind of thermonuclear weapon is no longer the most sophisticated weapon of the parliament, it is cheaper, larger in quantity, and easier to use. The magic power required to create a piece of antimatter is more than a thousand times that of deuterium and tritium elements. Under successive blows, the giant palm as huge as a planet finally collapsed. But there was no joy of victory at all on Lenin's face. Because the divine blood spilled from the giant palm turned into a turbulent flow of energy that began to spread to all parts of the foreign land. And his divine domain was actually being eroded in reverse. The place where the divine blood is spilled is where the opponent's divine domain is. Lenin noticed this immediately. And the gray white mist of death instantly enveloped the area covered by the energy turbulence. However, the fog of death, which had always been invincible before, failed to play the expected role this time, and could only barely slow down the expansion speed of the energy turbulence. Is this the power of the Lord God? Lenin once again raised his expectations for the power of the main God. This is completely a gap in hard power. If he hadn't merged with the core of the eternal star, and been promoted from a weak divine power to a medium divine power, I might not even be able to stop the turbulent expansion of these energy flows. At the moment when the divine realm was suppressed, a huge gap appeared in the space-time protection covering the entire foreign realm, and a conspicuous space-time crack began to emerge in the spreading bloody divine realm. A large number of long-awaited Balrogs quickly broke into this plane. The Melsai people, who had been humiliated by the proton ball attack, also organized a revenge army, led by more than a dozen legendary priests, and rushed towards Broken City. Lenin ignored these soldiers, because the energy of the collapse of the giant palm was enough to allow the gods to cross the barriers of time and space and reach this world. The scorching flame surged from the void and quickly condensed into shape. Under Lenin's gaze, a huge figure stepped out of the flames. That is none other than Salos, the god of fire. Immediately afterwards, two more figures emerged from the void. Although the scene was far less majestic than the god of fire, it made Lin an even more afraid, because their aura was no weaker than his own. The appearance of three gods in a row undoubtedly means that the situation is completely out of control. What's strange is that neither party has the intention to take action immediately, and the situation has become deadlocked. Lenin is waiting for the fire support of the interstellar battleship, and the three gods who have transcended the barriers of time and space do not dare to act rashly, because they are coming in their true form this time. So they naturally need to be cautious and cautious. Be more cautious. Someone's previous proton cannon made them suspect that there was also a god with powerful, or even great divine power here. Although standing in this energy turbulence composed of the remains of the main world, they can exert most of their power. But after all, they are not as free as they are in their own divine domain. Lord Harriet, the god of thunder and war, may not have the idea of waiting for them to die, using the surge of energy to build a stable two-term passage, and then come in person, compared with the rat-throwing weapons among the gods. The battle on the ground was obviously much more brutal. The fierce sound of artillery resounded non-stop, and thermobaric bombs fell like meteors into the crowd, causing the earth to tremble with explosions. Amidst the sound, mushroom clouds rose up. The enemy's counterattack came soon. The powerful legendary priest held his scepter high, and endless thunder fell, causing thousands of casualties in an instant. Where is the thunder wizard? Faraday cage! Build me a Faraday cage for protection! Igna! the great wizard in charge of the command, shouted with all his strength. Since the legendary speakers have all controlled the interstellar battleships, they can only rely on weapons for protection here. Forty sunfire cannons roared in unison, and the cone-shaped destructive light instantly emptied the battlefield. But from the rift in time and space, the number of enemies rushing out increased instead of decreasing, seemingly endless. Although the order given by the parliament was not to hold on to the end or to eliminate all the enemies, but to try to persist until all personnel were evacuated. This was not an easy task. Just the aftermath of the huge palm that covered the sky and sun killed countless unlucky people. And now there are only less than 150,000 people left alive who can receive the signal. Cord and others were one of them. Their luck was not bad, but it was definitely not very good. Just a few minutes after they left the station in the airship, they were destroyed by a terrifying energy wave. However, before a few people had time to lament their brush with death, 
they were forced to pass through a long war zone. Even as a five-ring great wizard, Kord seemed very powerless in such a high-intensity battlefield. There was nothing he could do except pray for better luck. Unfortunately, luck alone obviously cannot last long. The airship traveling through the flames of war was soon targeted by a legendary beast. This is a strange dragon-like creature with two heads and four legs. Its body is covered with dense scales, and there are barb-like spikes on its back. Normally, Kord and the others would have been extremely interested in this strange-looking unknown monster. But now, they were just terrified. Because the opponent's sharp claws covered with sharp bone spurs directly tore through the alchemy protection laid by Kord, and struck straight towards the huge airbag of the airship. This is undoubtedly one of the most obvious weaknesses of the entire airship. Once the airbag is breached, a crash is inevitable. Kord knew very well that if they lost the advantage of high-speed flight, the possibility of escaping back to the broken city would be almost zero. Fortunately, at this moment, a bright laser beam flew over from a distance cutting off the sharp claws of the legendary beast. And then everyone saw a silver eagle flying past the middle. It was faster than the wind and faster than sound. When it passed by, only a blurry afterimage could be seen. And the rolled up air almost overturned the airship. It's a supersonic fighter! Hill shouted with great excitement. It was obvious that support from the parliament had arrived. Chapter 596 The God of Lies and the Web of Shadows Over the foreign land, a silver fighter plane sped through the intertwined flames of war. The laser beam shot out from the front was like the sharpest knife, cutting off the sharp claws of a legendary beast, and then died in its painful body. Amidst the roar, he turned the fuselage around, dodged the flapping of its wings, and shot it down with several missiles. In such a brutal battlefield, stalling when landing means death, facing the ground-washing thermobaric bombs and sunfire cannons. Even a legend would find it difficult to survive such a blow. After solving this enemy, Lydia quickly ran towards the next target without any pause. The frightened Code sent out an electromagnetic wave to express his gratitude, repair the damaged alchemy protection in the external field, and then relax slightly with his heart in his throat. Although the next journey is equally scary, it is undoubtedly much safer in comparison. In order to protect wizards like them, who were unlucky enough to be stranded on the other side of a foreign land, the Parliament dispatched a total of 150 supersonic fighter jets to carry out escort missions, and eliminate those powerful flying monsters at targeted locations to prevent the opponent from directly breaking through from the airspace. After more than three hours, Kord and others finally saw the broken city that had been renovated several times. Fortunately, we are finally back! The moment the airship landed, Hill was so happy that he almost cried. Even Kord's legs were a little weak. The most dangerous moment on the road, apart from the attack of the legendary behemoth, was when a sunfire cannon hit. The edge of the cone-shaped destruction zone was only a few meters away from the airship. About 20 meters. Although before launching the sun flame cannon, a corresponding electromagnetic signal will be transmitted to warn them to avoid in advance. But the range of the thing is too large. Once it is rolled up, all of them will be beaten into atoms in an instant. The person responsible for responding to Cord was Mori. An old acquaintance. The few people who had just escaped from death did not bother to reminisce about the past. They worriedly asked about the current situation and how many people were still stranded in foreign lands. Obviously, they are not the first batch of people to arrive in Broken City. Nor are they the last batch. Over the past three hours, more than 100,000 people have been gradually evacuated. It is expected that all those outside will return in half an hour. All the defenders who stayed in the Broken City will also leave. That means you only have four hours to evacuate at most? Cord couldn't help but frown. If you remember correctly, Many wizards from the Nature Conservation Association had applied for research projects on exotic marine ecology. That place was extremely far away from here. At the speed of an airship, it would take at least 10 hours to reach the broken place. City. We're just afraid that we won't be able to wait for them. Maury shook his head helplessly. This doesn't mean that the parliament has given up on these people on its own initiative. But that now it can't receive their electromagnetic wave transmissions at all. I'm afraid it's a disaster. Phew. This attack from the main world was too sudden and too intense. Even the legendary wizard was unable to resist the energy impact of the first wave of giant palms. Those unfortunate enough to be in the impact range have almost no chance of surviving. Kord sighed. In that case, let's stay and help. Mori was immediately overjoyed. Now they were very short of manpower. When the guards gradually evacuated, that would be the time when protection problems were most likely to occur. Although they planned to use large-scale bombing with hydrogen bombs, to fill the protective hole created by the evacuation of the last batch of personnel. 
some high-end power is still needed to ensure that no accidents occur. In the absence of the speakers, the Great Wizard is already the highest combat power they can bring out. Heaven! Look in the sky! While the two were chatting, a high-pitched exclamation suddenly sounded. Code and others immediately looked up with nervous expressions, and a chill suddenly appeared in their hearts. A lightsaber made of energy, and nearly infinite in length was slashed from the sky. The terrifying power gave all the wizards present a feeling of imminent death. Fortunately, the target of the lightsaber was not them. It deflected and cut a huge canyon on the battlefield where the gunfire roared. This is the antimatter sword. As the target of the lightsaber attacked, the god of fire was almost split in half on the spot. Although he was the most powerful one on the scene, he was indeed the weakest. He was targeted a lot by Linen, and was also attacked by Linen. Anger was aroused. Ultra-high temperatures that were so hot that they could distort space and time and dissolve matter erupted from the entire body. It was a powerful force beyond stellar flares. And the storm of flames covered the entire sky. Under the high temperature of tens of billions of degrees, all the surrounding elements were rapidly disintegrating. And fire rain soon began to fall in the sky. Although these rains of fire are just the aftermath of the spell, they are still powerful, hitting almost every place on the ground without distinction. Whether it is the Mengsai people pouring out of the rift in time and space, or the wizards holding on to the broken city, all within attack range. Linen didn't dare to ask for help too obviously. Otherwise the creatures on this planet would be easily targeted by the opponent. As for the high temperature of tens of billions of degrees, he didn't take it seriously. His whole body was already shrouded in a neutron shield. And the temperature required to dissolve neutrons was in the trillions. However, in order to take the battlefield away from the foreign land, and avoid causing too many accidental injuries. Lin still flew away from the coverage of Firestorm. In fact, the gods who came to foreign lands did not deliberately target the ants underground. After all, for them, although believers are the key element to maintain power, to put it bluntly, no matter how many people die, they are just a number. That's it. The god of fire, who broke out again, but failed to achieve any results, roared angrily. Ankara, what are you waiting for? The god of fire was extremely aggrieved. Apparently there were three gods who had arrived in the foreign land. But on the surface, he was the only one actually fighting against them. The god of life and creation went to deal with those strange-looking alchemy creations that could pose a considerable threat to them. While Ankara, the god of lies, has been hiding in the dark since the war began, and will only come to help in critical moments. When the god of fire shouted, Lin An immediately became vigilant, compared with the god of fire in front of him who only had weak divine power and did not pose much of a threat. The other priest's responsibilities and power were completely unknown. The gods are the targets he really fears. His perception within the divine realm had been expanded to the extreme by him, and an unfounded sense of crisis suddenly emerged in his mind. However, this area was filled with the other party's divine power, and it was impossible to determine the specific location of this unknown god. Where will it be? Lenin speculated about the other party's priesthood and possible abilities and the sense of crisis in his mind became more and more intense. This made Lin extremely confused. He was under the protection of a neutron shield. Even if he was a god with medium divine power, it was not easy to break through this protection, since the thread does not come from the outside. It only comes from the inside. The next moment he realized this, Lin found that part of his magic power was suddenly out of control. No, you can't say that, because this part of the magic power is not your own. It was Ankara, the god of lies who took action. His vocation was lies and disguise. He could even quietly integrate his magic power into the realms of other gods and launch a fatal blow at the most critical moment. Web of shadows. Silently, the divine power spread across the entire area turned into tiny threads and instantly condensed into a huge shadow grid, which quickly gathered and enveloped the surrounding airspace for thousands of meters. Lin In, who was trapped inside, was like a prey captured by a spider. A strange tearing force was exerted on his body and soul at the same time. And the true form of Ankara, the god of lies, finally appeared. It was a blood-red mother of blood desire that was a hundred feet tall. Its back was covered with strange model patterns. And its huge arthropod-like legs were like twitching. The strings vibrated in the web of shadows. And the invisible power was transmitted to Lin and's body through the links of the threads. The head with eight compound eyes opened its fangs full of sharp teeth as if it was looking forward to enjoying this gluttonous feast. Chapter 597 Killing the Gods Again Lies About Godhead The attack by Ankara, the god of lies, was undoubtedly very sudden. 
as early as the air raid between Lin and the God of Fire. Ankara had begun its layout, quietly filling the surrounding area with its own divine power. And even analyzing and camouflaging it became Lin's own magic power, directly disintegrating the neutron shield's protection from the inside. Lin In, who was bound by the shadow thread, was immediately in danger. These threads are somewhat similar to his arcana locks. They are high-dimensional creations that extend from four dimensions at the same time, tightly binding macroscopic matter, microscopic energy, and even the soul. Ankara, the god of lies, who existed in the form of the huge mother of blood desire, constantly used her arthropod-like legs. After several tests to confirm that the opponent had no possibility of escaping, she impatiently waved her huge arthropods along the shadow. The web crawled over. The god of fire looked extremely ugly. Because Ankara's shadow net not only trapped Lin, but also isolated himself. In the past, he was the one who was responsible for being beaten and confronting the opponent head on. Now when it's time to reap the rewards, the god of lies plans to take it all for himself, without any share of his own. His priesthood should belong to me. Ankara, don't forget, without my assistance, you would never have been able to capture him so easily. The god of fire reminded him angrily. From the previous confrontation, it can be seen that the opponent should be a god with medium divine power. If he obtains the other party's priesthood, he will definitely be able to get rid of the dilemma of being a weak god. This is also the reason why he actively requested to enter this dangerous divine realm. However, Ankara, the god of lies, did not pay attention to the meaning of the god of fire at all. She completely ignored the threat of a weak god. After finally catching a god as her prey, Ankara naturally wanted them all. What's more, she knew very well that when the great lord Harriet came, it would definitely not be her turn to own this divine realm. So the godhood, priesthood and divine power were the things she could really win. Seeing that the two gods from the main world had begun to argue about how their corpses should be distributed, Lenin's expression remained calm, not at all panicked as he was behind bars. Because enemies hiding in the dark, with completely unknown strength and capabilities, are the most dangerous. Once placed in front of the stage, they lose their due threat. This mysterious calmness also made Ankara, the god of lies, somewhat hesitant, even slowing down his forward movements. But in the end, he still couldn't hold back his desire for godhead and priesthood. The only thing she is afraid of now is the great god who may exist. But from the test just now, it seems that the other party is not in this plane. Otherwise she would have been crushed to death long ago. How could she wait until now? It's almost time! At the moment when the huge mother of blood desire arrived, Lin suddenly said, Ankara, the god of lies, who was about to swing down her forelimbs, couldn't help but pause, because just as Lin and spoke, a strong sense of crisis filled her mind. Although Ankara was never willing to believe that the god bound by the shadow web in front of him could pose a threat to him, the sense of crisis in his heart could not be faked, and his eight arthropod-like legs suddenly lifted up the shadow web. The dense shadow threads hooked in the void, just like real spider threads, surrounded Lin in forming a large closed cocoon. But even so, the threat was still not eliminated. And Ankara realized that the danger did not come from Lin inside the shadow web. In the boundless void 10,000 kilometers away from the shadow-shrouded area, the five warships that were facing the attack of the energy beast suddenly changed their direction. And the terrifying electron beams in the reflection port at the front were rapidly condensing. After a few seconds of preparation, a total of five positron cannons crossed the barriers of time and space, and shot into the foreign sky. The shadow web of Ankara, the god of lies, can weave a completely independent high-dimensional space. Without knowing the coordinates, it is difficult for outsiders to perceive and hit it. This is also the reason why she was able to hide beside Lin In and the god of fire without being discovered. However, Ankara, the god of lies, ignored a very critical element. That is, Lin In is in the web of shadows, and he himself is the best coordinate although he took back most of his power in order to deal with the gods from the main world. There was one exception, and that was the main ship of the spaceship. After all, that part of the power is used to trap Ella in the power melt, and cannot be easily separated. This also means that the two parties can still contact each other when necessary. At the same time as Ankara reacted, the positron cannon was ready to go. In just one twentieth of a second, it had crossed a distance of tens of thousands of kilometers, and bombarded the shadow network. The layers of high-dimensional silk threads, like spider webs, were blown out of several huge holes. Ankara, who couldn't avoid it, was also hit by a positron cannon, and most of his body was directly evaporated. 
the hundred-foot-tall mother of blood desire let out a sharp and angry roar. Although the positron cannon exploded part of her body, it did not have any substantial impact on her. What really frightened Ankara was that at the moment when the power of shadow declined, bursts of gray-white mist of death suddenly erupted from the inside of the cocoon. A bright lightsaber cut open the large sealed cocoon and cut off all the shadow threads binding the surrounding area. Lin In was indeed trapped in the net of shadows. But he was not completely powerless to resist. The reason for his cooperation was to fish out the god hiding in the shadows, like a poisonous snake. The identities of hunter and prey changed instantly. Akra is obviously aware of this. He who brought the other party into the web of shadow is the prey trapped in the cage. Amidst the ear-piercing screams, the huge mother of blood desire retreated. And the surrounding shadow threads were quickly retracted, trying to evacuate the enclosed time and space here. Unfortunately, it was obviously too late to retreat now. When Lin In raised his hand, the space and time around him began to distort and gather, and the invisible shadow threads began to crack layer by layer. Then the antimatter sword in his hand suddenly chopped down, and the target was locked. Ankara, the god of lies. As a god of lies, she stepped into danger the moment she revealed her true identity. But the temptation to devour a god was too great, big enough for her to take the initiative to expose her weaknesses. The antimatter sword cut through the shadow protection surrounding Ankara without any accident, and struck directly at the ugly and ferocious body like a spider. The entire space shook violently. Endless energy storms continued to rage, and countless small black cracks appeared in the void. Ankara's body was also torn apart by the surging energy waves, and angry and shrill roars resounded in the void. In just a few seconds, this artificially created independent space collapsed. Lenin's figure slowly appeared in the sky above the foreign land while Ankara, the god of lies, completely disappeared. Her body had been annihilated by the impact of antimatter energy, and her godhood was also severely damaged. Like a broken crystal, it was like being held in the palm of Lenin's hand. The god of fire, who had been blocked outside the net of shadows, was so frightened that his body shrank in size. The flame surrounding him changed from an expanding and outward state to a restrained and cyclic state. A moment ago, he was angrily scolding Ankara for wanting to monopolize all the achievements. But now there is only panic and fear in his heart. A god with moderate divine power was killed just like that. If he had entered the web of shadows together just now, I'm afraid the end would not be much better. Even Lin In was a little surprised. Even though he made a surprise attack and used the positron cannon of the star battleship to weaken the opponent's strength, the resistance of this big spider was indeed lower than expected. However, since the opponent puts a weak god in front and wants to use a secret sneak attack to fight two against one, it only proves that his frontal combat strength is definitely not outstanding among the same level and can even be said to be the bottom. Immediately afterwards, Lin In set his sights on the remaining god of fire with malicious intent. The god of fire looked at the godhead held in Lin In's hand. He hesitated for a while between surrendering and running away, but finally decided to fight because a powerful thunder was brewing in the void. Obviously, Ankara's death has brought greater energy. And the great god Harry is coming. Lin and also immediately noticed that the foreign electromagnetic field was showing signs of being out of control. Is there a priesthood regarding electromagnetism? Electromagnetic force is one of the most original forces in the universe. Beings who hold similar priesthoods may be stronger than imagined. After a round of consumption, Lin had no intention of fighting again. So he just crushed it in his hand and it shattered. After seizing the priesthood of Ankara, he conveyed the order to retreat. At this moment, most people in the foreign land have already evacuated. Dozens of great wizards work together to throw out all the hydrogen bombs stored by the parliament. Under the cover of bursts of explosive mushroom clouds, they abandoned the broken city and retreated to the big universe. Inside the lunar fortress, the last ones to evacuate were naturally the 10 galaxy-level battleships. Compared with Lin Un's close-to-hand combat, the battle here was much simpler. They just used the super high speed of the spacecraft to attack from a distance. The besieger the god seemed to have no intention of fighting to the death. And overall there was not much danger. After receiving the signal to retreat, they gave up the entanglement with those energy beasts and started the engine to the limit. In the power room, Ella, who had been patiently aware of this change in energy extraction, suddenly opened her eyes. It's time to. Chapter 598 Ella, how could you still have such powerful power? In the main world, in the boundless void, ten interstellar battleships simultaneously increased their sailing speed to the limit. Although there is currently only one main ship that can break the speed of light. Even the remaining nine warships have reached their maximum speed 
and can cross a distance of 10,000 kilometers in only one fifteenth of a second. However, when it actually started, the Torio discovered that the surrounding space had been blocked at some point, and the speed of the spacecraft sailing in it was greatly reduced. Just like a ship stuck in a quagmire. It's the god's domain! Harav reacted immediately, but he didn't expect that they had been carefully keeping their distance. When exactly did they step into the other's god's domain? He could only use full horsepower, mobilize Ella's divine power, and rush out of this area. Block space. The god of life and creation on the other side since the fall of Ankara. The god of lies. He hesitated for a moment, but immediately launched an offensive. He knew very well that if he failed to achieve any achievements, he would just sit back and watch the other party escape. Furious. The great god Harriet would never let him go so easily. The boundless void around him soon turned into his own divine realm. In the process of fighting these strange creations before, he was not without any achievements. Those energy giants created by divine power are not just victims. After they die, the remaining divine power will leave coordinates in place. Based on this, an independent divine domain space can be constructed. A large number of energy remnants wandering in the void gathered together and turned into dozens of light shadows with a size of more than 10 meters. Its appearance has obvious Yaver characteristics and its body is condensed by the power of light and faith. Well, the speed of such a creature of light is naturally astonishing, and it even passed through an interstellar battleship, whose speed dropped sharply under the influence of God's domain. How long will it take for us to leave this area? Vittorio asked very quickly. Seven seconds. The assistant on the side replied very quickly. Seven seconds was undoubtedly very short, and even two seconds had passed after they finished speaking. It's just that for high-level battles, every second is precious. Just as the voice fell, a huge light shadow had already caught up with him, swinging the huge lightsaber in his hand and slashing at the bigger figure in front of him. Huge spaceship. Evasion does not exist. This is the disadvantage of interstellar battleships when facing gods. Their excessive size makes them a huge target. Once trapped in short-range combat, some powerful weapons will be difficult to use. The 10-meter-long light shadow is undoubtedly a giant, but in front of a battleship with a diameter of more than a kilometer, it is as small as a mosquito. A warning red dot sounded on the projection screen inside the spacecraft. And Vittorio had immediately activated the main ship's protection system. However, the electromagnetic barrier as the outer layer of protection was not activated. And the lightsaber actually hit the outer SH. L of the spacecraft. Only then did Vittorio realize something was wrong. And suddenly turned his head to look in the direction of the power room. It was Ella. Who was the power source of the spacecraft who could no longer remain calm and directly cut off the energy supply. The main ship that was about to leave the realm of God actually stopped in place. And the arcana lock that bound Ella in the power room was also tight to the extreme, as if it might break at any time. Damn it! The Torio couldn't help but yell. If Ella breaks free at this time, they will all die here without a doubt. You think of a way to expel those pure light monsters? Just leave her to me! A voice resounded in the spacecraft at the right time and then an illusory shadow appeared in the spacecraft. This is the manifestation of the remnants of Lin and power left in the power room. This incarnation provided the coordinates for the five previous antimatter cannons. Vittorio was a little hesitant. He didn't think that he could stop the moon god with just one incarnation. You must know that the protection in the power room blocked the opponent's ability to perceive the outside world, which means that Ella may not be able to stop him, knowing the crisis they are facing now. Since they choose to attack, they must have someone to rely on. However, Vittorio also knows that the threat from the outside is equally urgent at this moment. Although the outer SH, L of this spacecraft is made of special metal and can even withstand a nuclear explosion at close range. It still has an upper limit and cannot be completely blocked. Attack of a god. This incarnation obviously did not give Vittorio a chance to choose. After saying that, he stepped directly into the power room. From the outside, the space in the power room looked very small with an area of only more than 10 meters. But in fact the space here has been expanded and is as big as a house. Inside, arcane locks stretched out to restrain Ella in the center. But most of them had been broken open. The incarnation that stepped into it was not unexpected. As the divine power surged, the dim chains on the ground were rejuvenated, and they rolled towards the center again like a snake. Ella also noticed the strange thing here, and saw at a glance that the person who came to stop her was just an ordinary incarnation. The surprise was obviously greater than the surprise. Because this proved that her guess was correct, she was fighting with those masters. The gods of the world are fighting. And the other party 
doesn't care about themselves at all. In recent times, the divine power of the moon that had been secretly accumulated burst out in an instant, and all the arcane locks that bound the body were broken. A bright moon appeared in the power room, which also meant that Ella had activated her divine power to the extreme. The entire space shook violently, and even the mist of death spreading inside was forced to open. The endless starlight in the raised hand condensed into an illusory crescent moon spear, which crossed the distance of time and space at an extremely fast speed and crashed down towards the avatar appearing in the power room. A series of solid arcane gears emerged in the void and were instantly pierced by the spear condensed by starlight. But these slight barriers were enough. The spear deflected and flew past, destroying the power room and even the entire the spaceship was shot through. And the incarnation had no intention of giving in. It was still blocking the only exit. The two blue spheres in the palms attracted each other and kept rotating exuding a terrifying aura. Obey or die! A sound like a loud bell resounded in the small power room, facing Ella, who was breaking free from the restraints. The elusive incarnation remained calm, and could even be said to have issued the sentence arrogantly. What he relied on was the ball of positive and negative uranium elements in his hand that was compressed to the extreme. Uranium is the element with the highest mass naturally found in nature. Lennon had previously spent a lot of effort to create a lot of antimatter uranium for research and it was kept here as a backup. In this small power chamber, Ella had nowhere to hide and nowhere to escape. The possibility of surviving the energy impact of annihilation of matter and antimatter was extremely slim. The only drawback is that this thing has a very wide range. Once it is detonated, let alone the power room, everyone in the entire spacecraft will not be spared. How could you still have such a powerful power? Ella also sensed the strong threat posed by these two positive and antimatter balls with a look of disbelief on her face. How could a mere avatar display such a powerful force? Magic. My power is indeed limited. But it's enough to deal with you. Elusive avatar said coldly, trapping a living god in the power room of the spacecraft as an energy source, and even tacitly allowing the other party to recover some strength to a certain extent. Lin naturally could not be unprepared. In order to ensure that the situation is still within a controllable range, he has abundant divine power here. The most important thing is to be able to mobilize the energy of the two positive and antimatter furnaces inside the spacecraft. As he said, these powers may not be enough to deal with a god in his heyday. But it is enough to deal with Ella, who has lost her divine domain and followers, and has declined to the extreme. The surrounding gray-white undead fog has completely dissipated, replaced by a large number of positron beams, which wander everywhere in the power room. Forming an invisible closed prison, Ella stared at the illusory incarnation her face uncertain. The power of the two fusion furnaces was constantly being mobilized. With every moment of delay, the possibility of her escape would decrease. Just dying with an avatar and a spaceship is undoubtedly a huge loss. What's more, she has achieved part of her goal, and she has no idea of fighting to the death. Lin's incarnation naturally saw Ella's hesitation, which was also what he expected. The overlapping mathematical locks reappeared and were sealed again in the power room. The two positive and negative uranium element balls in his hand were thrown out and suspended on the top of the power chamber. Once the opponent made any excessive reaction, this thing would be detonated immediately. When the illusory incarnation stepped out of the power room again, the situation inside the spacecraft had become very critical. The three-headed light shadow broke through the protection of the outer SH. Ellen broke indirectly. Vittorio almost single-handedly delayed these pure energy behemoths until Lin's incarnation came to help. And then they were all eliminated. Speaker Lin, has the trouble in the power room been solved? Vittorio asked with great surprise. Just now, a silver moonlight gun directly broke the protection of the spacecraft. He thought Ella was about to completely out of trouble. Start the spaceship. Lin and did not mean to explain. But it was a bit strange that the god of the main world, who created this divine domain to trap them, did not take advantage of this rare opportunity to launch an attack. Lennon didn't know that just when he took out the two positive and negative uranium element balls, the god of life and creation also felt the powerful energy fluctuations. He was being plotted like the god of lies. He was very careful. Exion chose to wait and see from a distance, just controlling the shadow of light to try to harass and destroy the spacecraft. Chapter 599 As long as Ella cooperates enough, we can win this battle. A bright light streaked across the endless black void, breaking through the barrier of the god's realm and spread to the space-time rift leading to the moon from the foreign land. The restarted spacecraft flew along the trajectory left by the beam at an unimaginable speed. But before returning to the Eternal Star, Lin still needs to do one last thing. And that is to destroy the entire foreign land. 
It is not that difficult to do this. This ravaged world is already on the verge of collapse. It only needs to exert enough force to completely destroy it. And what Lin chose was to detonate the Earth's core in the most thorough way. The destruction of a world, the Torio said with emotion. This destruction began before the spacecraft flew into the space-time rift. And the gradually cooling Earth's core exploded with its last power. A series of ferocious ravines spread out on the surface. And terrifying lava flows spewed out from the ground. Forming beams of fire pillars rising into the sky. Tearing the Earth apart. And all creatures stranded in a foreign land suffered a devastating blow. The warlike Minsei had just burst open the gates of the broken city. And were about to rejoice in their victory again. When they were swallowed up by the magma that spewed out of the ground. Even the legendary priests had frightened expressions on their faces. Maximizing the glory given to them by the gods. But whether it was a strong magical shield or those who tried to fly out of foreign lands. They were all in vain. No living thing except the true gods could survive such a great destruction. What the god of thunder and war saw when he arrived was such a tragic scene. Millions of Mensai people were destroyed at the same time. And their souls returned to the kingdom of God. Although the death of a believer is just an early harvest of nutrients for the gods. Paying such a high price in exchange for a collapsing plane is obviously unbearable. The god of fire. Solos. Is the first to face the wrath of this great god. Flame is the subordinate priesthood of thunder. Although the two parties are not affiliated. The suppression of this priesthood is even more terrifying. Solos knew very well that if it had not been for the rules set by the Lord God, the God of Thunder, and war would have launched a divine war against him to take back this missing power. Therefore, Solos had no pride in being a god in front of the great god Hariel. He hurriedly told everything that happened after arriving in the foreign land, and said that he was just a weak god. Even Ankara, the god of lies, was killed by the other party. I am completely powerless to stop the other party's actions. Ankara's death was already felt by the God of Thunder and war after he stepped into this area. What really surprised him was that the person who killed Ankara was not a great god from another big plane as they expected, but an outer god whose strength was almost the same as Ankara, only at a mid-level level. He still relied on tricks. The god of lies was killed after his true identity was exposed. In other words, not only is Ankara dead and the moon god realm destroyed, but we also lost the coordinates to enter that large plane. The god of thunder and war was extremely annoyed. Without the exact coordinates, he wanted to find a, a completely unknown plane is nothing short of a fantasy. That's not necessarily the case. A flash of light appeared in the void. And it was the god of life and creation who spoke. He spoke again, without waiting for Harriet to question or accuse. Great god! I bring the key to that large plane! As he spoke, the god of life and creation opened his hand. Bright moonlight bloomed in the palm. And Ella's figure soon appeared inside. This is not Ella's true form, but an incarnation. Her judgment in the power room was wrong before. Ella made two preparations from the beginning. When throwing the moonlight spear, she also gave part of her power to project it. It was you who killed the moon goddess Diana and took away her power? The god of thunder and war looked at Ella, who was only the size of his own palm, and spoke mockingly, while the powerful power of thunder continued to surge around him. The terrifying pressure made the full moon behind Ella begin to tremble unsteadily even though she was facing a great god whose power was far stronger than hers. Ella still had no intention of giving in. She explained with a calm look in her eyes, I didn't kill the moon goddess Diana. I just got her relics and gifts. And the wizard who killed him is our common enemy. The wizard's council holds extremely powerful power. And it is far more difficult to deal with than you expected. I think this time you should have seen those huge alchemical creations that can move at super high speeds and fire terrifying energy cannons. According to my understanding, they have hundreds of these creations called spaceships. Ella continued to exaggerate the power and invincibility of the parliament in order to increase the value of her own existence. And then said categorically, The power of those wizards cannot be underestimated. Without my help, it would be impossible for you to step into and occupy that world. I smell the breath of lies. Moon God. Harriet interrupted Ella's words directly. His cold tone resounded in the void. And the next moment, a strong arc of electricity suddenly struck the slightly illusory on the projection of the full moon. The spreading lightning quickly enveloped Ella, which was a feeling of pain and paralysis that penetrated deep into the soul. No matter what, we all have a common enemy, and cooperation is the best result. The god of thunder and war couldn't help but laugh. A mere foreign god with inferior divine power had just tried to deceive himself, so he was not worthy of discussing cooperation with him. No need. I have a better plan. The god of thunder and war directly stretched out his hand 
and grasped the full moon transformed by Ella into his palm. This incarnation contains Ella's split soul, which is connected to the other person's true form through a subtle connection that spans time and space. If a god is used as the energy source, it will be enough to open a space-time channel large enough to accommodate a person. The passage of a powerful god. In the vast universe and unknown galaxy, Vittorio and others who successfully escaped back to the moon breathed a sigh of relief. The situation just now was so urgent that they almost thought they would stay in the boundless void there forever. After the severely damaged spacecraft slowly landed in the lunar base, and no enemies rushed out, everyone's anxious hearts completely relaxed. They looked at the huge and blue eternal star in the sky and couldn't help but sigh. The beauty of life. They all survived. Even one out of ten spaceships. Which was undoubtedly a blessing among misfortunes. In this way, the threat from the main world has been eliminated. Right. Without the coordinates, it is impossible for them to find this place in a short time. Raphael said in a relaxed tone as he walked out of the spacecraft. You must know that there is a seven times difference in time flow between the two worlds. In any case, they do not need to worry about the gods of the main world coming over for a long time. Just thinking about the alien fleets that are gradually approaching the eternal star. Raphael is one of the top two. In this confrontation with the gods of the main world, not only did they not gain much advantage, but they suffered a lot. With so few manpower, even the main ship suffered serious damage. No, it's not that easy. I don't think it will be long before they really step into this world, Lin retorted. But, since you have blown up the foreign land, these gods should not be able to get the coordinates of the Eternal Star. Vittorio couldn't help but frown. It is true that they do not have the coordinates of this Star of Life, but there may not be other ways to locate it. After saying this, Lin turned his head and looked in the direction of the main ship's power room. When he was fighting with the moon god before, he noticed the opponent's small movements, but he didn't pay attention to them. In other words, this is the result of his deliberate laissez-faire. Before, Lin in temporarily let go of Ella's believers in the Eternal Star, allowing the other party to accumulate some strength, in order to let Ella reveal part of the information at the right time. It's just that the action of the main world this time really caught him off guard. A main god personally took action and almost crushed the entire plane. The remaining power caused three gods to descend into the foreign land at the same time. Fortunately, his goal was achieved in the end, and the situation was not completely out of control. Do you want to guide the gods of the main world to start a war with those alien civilizations? Harab immediately understood what Lin meant and was speechless. This is undoubtedly an extremely dangerous move. But if it succeeds, the rewards will be extremely huge, whether it is the main world that claims to have hundreds of gods, or the alien civilization that was capable of killing gods thousands of years ago. They are far from being able to deal with it now. Lin and nodded. It was obviously not a wise move to confront an enemy whose strength far exceeded his own. The main god made him even more afraid. So it was better to find a way to take advantage of this intelligence gap and reap the benefits. Is this really possible? Aurora said extremely worriedly. She doubted that those alien fleets were really capable of resisting the power of the gods of the main world. Then it depends on whether Ella cooperates enough. Lenin said with a smile. Regardless of whether he cooperates or not, Ella will always reveal some information about them. Especially for spaceships. As long as the gods of the main world recognize this strange alchemical creation as their logo, the probability of the planned success is still very high. The only thing that needs to be worried about is that one side is much stronger than the other side and can easily kill the other side. However, this possibility is not high. If there is such a big gap, then the resistance is meaningless. Chapter 600 The Magical Power of Simulated Divine Power and the Priesthood of Lies In Autumn, in the Eternal Star, in the Magic Academy of the Royal Capital, Johnny, who has become a tutor, is holding a book and looking up at the blue sky. Under the beautiful sunset, it is an extremely spectacular scene. A huge silver chain circulates above the sky, as if it is splitting the entire sky into two halves. Under the influence of farsightedness, Johnny can clearly see the giant screen full of mechanical beauty and the continuous flow above it. Rune Magic This huge planet-ringing creation was built three years ago, and is now largely completed. As for its function, there are divergent opinions within the parliament. Some wizards believe that these ring-shaped creations are the residences built by the magic star for themselves, palaces standing on the sky, to show their uniqueness and greatness. But this statement is obviously untenable. Because as this thing is gradually built, no matter from any angle, it does not look like a place for living. Therefore, many alchemists began to speculate 
that the speakers were preparing to build a very large electromagnetic orbit around the world. And in the future, inexhaustible electricity would fly down from the sky. Johnny wasn't quite sure why. Because she had already left the core of the school. Although she has reached the limit of the third ring wizard at the age of more than 20 years old. As long as she reaches the quota to call the magic network. She can be promoted to the great wizard immediately. She is obviously good enough. But now the situation is different. In the past, it was difficult to see great wizards who could serve as the high-end combat power of a kingdom appearing in large numbers like carrots. Nowadays, more than a thousand people have successfully broken through the great wizards. Those newly promoted great wizards may not even be selected by the parliamentarians. And they have to go through many selections. Johnny knew very well that his talent was good. But it was by no means top-notch. Compared with a magic star who had gone from being an apprentice to a transcendent mortal realm, it was not worth mentioning. And it was difficult to provide much help. However, in today's magic kingdom, as long as everyone is willing to shine, Joni chose the education industry to pass on new and interesting knowledge. This is what she is most happy to do. A slight smile appeared on Johnny's lips. And suddenly, a hand gently patted her shoulder. The witch immediately shuddered, secretly annoyed at her lowered vigilance, and turned her head suddenly, only to realize that it was her friend Deborah who made the move. Johnny, have you seen the movie a few days ago? That Dave is so smart. He was able to sneak out from under the nose of a cardinal with 20 apprentices and also convinced the local city lord to believe in false gods. I have doubts. Deborah chattered about the plot of the movie, her face full of excitement. Obviously, she still hadn't fully recovered from the exciting plot because she grew up in the land of wizards. Deborah didn't know much about the past history of the kingdom and she wasn't too interested in the dispute between wizards and the church. But after watching the movie this time, she was shocked to realize how bad these people are. Those priests not only enslaved the poor together with the nobles, but even made up the so-called kingdom of heaven. In fact, they turned the souls of believers into nourishment to support the god. So in watching the movie, Deborah was filled with righteous indignation and wanted to rush in and use magic to fight alongside Dave. It was not until the ending that Dave successfully avenged his fiancé and she breathed a sigh of relief. I am even more looking forward to the next sequel because I heard that the story about the magic star will appear in the next movie. But it would still be a few months before the response to the next movie would come out. And Deborah couldn't wait any longer. The only person who might know all of this, Johnny, became the subject of her inquiry. Joni sighed helplessly. Since last night, many people had asked her the same question. But in fact she did not know anything. So she had to mention the word she had agreed with Lynn and again. Again, she had told this nonsense story almost a thousand times and she even began to doubt whether it was true. Now I am afraid that no one would believe that the famous magic star was just a person when he was still in the empire. A wizard apprentice who has studied magic for half a year. I even taught him. Johnny's thoughts drifted further and further, thinking of the days when he was on the run in the empire, and also thought of the dead Kent, Buck, and White Dove, and their teacher Kalu. After the parliament counterattacked the empire, Johnny had inquired about the teacher. But unfortunately, the information he received was that after being escorted to the holy city, Kalu was burned to death on the rack in front of a crowd of believers. A little sadness surrounded Johnny's heart, but it was quickly dispelled, because the dark rule belonging to the church had completely ended, and no one would be burned at the stake for researching knowledge in the future. Just as Johnny and Deborah were recounting their deeds, Dave too the secret of the moon was also spreading throughout the kingdom and the actor who played the protagonist suddenly became the most popular figure in the entire magic kingdom. The plot of the movie caused an uproar among ordinary people. Because while the plot is exciting and exciting, it also reveals the essence of faith and exposes the so-called kingdom of heaven of the moon god is actually a complete scam. After the death of all poor people who believe in the moon god, their souls will be stored as materials for the promotion of false gods. With the first movie as a foreshadowing and using Dave's experience to resonate with everyone, the second movie is surprisingly effective in revealing the true nature. Most civilians have limited education and do not understand high-end things like acting. In their view, this was the plot that really happened in front of them, vividly showing the insidious faces of the priests and bishops, coupled with a terrifying-looking soul sacrifice ceremony, which undoubtedly aroused the excitement of a large number of poor people in the kingdom. Panic. Some citizens who still maintained the habit of praying in private went home in fear and smashed the statues of the moon god they secretly enshrined, and even cried and begged the wizards to save their souls and the wizards of the parliament have already prepared the secret medicine for baptism. Of course, these secret medicines are not so powerful that they can directly forget their faith, 
In fact, these shallow believers do not need to receive psychological treatment. The secret medicine has only two effects. That is, it is good for the body's health and makes people feel energetic. But before that, they will experience extremely intense pain. This is both a small benefit and a punishment. After all, only through pain can we remember. Anti-belief has also become the mainstream of the kingdom today. On the one hand, it is aimed at the remnants of the church. And on the other hand, it is to prevent wizards with ulterior motives from replicating Ella's belief in becoming a god. This is not an unfounded fantasy. In the past few years, the parliament has arrested many wizards who are trying to reverse the course of history. Either they want to improve their strength and break through because of their poor talent, or they have the ambition to become gods. However, with the increasing control of the parliament over the kingdom and the popularity of the magic network, the number of wizards who choose to take desperate risks has become much smaller. With the popularity of Dave II in the kingdom, the parliament also issued an order to arrest believers of the god of the moon due to the plan at the time. This was actually a closing operation to clean up all the remnants of the church and nobles who were lurking in the kingdom and trying to cause trouble. Tyler and others, who were feeling angry and frightened by the broadcast of The Legend of Dave, were all arrested before they could hold a meeting to discuss the next plan. The group worked hard. And the newly established musket workshop was also, it was directly incorporated into the state. They were not the most unlucky group. A member of the moon-worshipping organization in the kingdom was horrified to discover that 20 of the 30 people in the organization were undercover until the moment he was arrested. Even the founder everyone is a fishing organization. The comprehensive report of the believers was quickly handed over to Lin In. A total of 316,340 people? Lin In flicked the booklet filled with names and identities. And all the information appeared in his mind. This number is much higher than expected. You must know that those who can be included in the list are unrepentant devout believers or traitors who are doing things secretly. You know, in the original battle with the church, Ella sacrificed all the devout believers. And now there are still so many. After pondering for a moment, Lenin wanted to understand that their earth-shaking transformation plan for this continent had offended the interests of too many people. These people were unable to resist the parliament by virtue of their own strength. The God of Resurrection Moon became their way to regain the past. Rights are the only hope. And faith will naturally gradually become firmer. Sir Speaker, I wonder how these people should be dealt with specifically. The wizard in charge of the report asked cautiously. Keep them locked for now. I still need them for some use. Lin waved his hand and said without any intention of revealing it. He had kept this group of believers inside the kingdom before to make Ella's escape more natural. So as to attract the gods of the main world to launch an attack at the right time and help them resist threats from the universe. As for now it has a new use. Because when he was in a foreign land, Lenin designed to kill a god and seize the god's priesthood. His name was Lai. For the time being, he only experimented with the effect of disguise. Using the law, he even can imitate the power of other gods. If you swell, this would undoubtedly be a powerful weapon. And Lenin planned to use it on these followers of Ella. However, how to use the connection between faith and gods to once again strengthen one's ability to control the situation is a question that needs to be carefully studied. Fortunately, the number of test products is large enough, so it should be able to withstand the torment.